of our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowing Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple Shows on Achanda and have some fun. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda.
right and early, isn't it? Well, here at our hotel, we have got a happy hour. And yes, a happy hour at 7 a.m. Don't worry, what that means is that the prices go low, 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 but only for this hour only. And of course, that means that at 8 o'clock, the prices will jump up. And what you want to do if you want to grab a bargain is check out your baskets as soon as you make your mind up. Right, uh, right, of course, make it. You know, shop ahead if you want to, if you want to have a look at the bargains that we have got. But we have got some absolute essentials, uh, of course we do. And one of my favorite heat guns ever uh, is the Ranger Heat Tool. And it's a feature here in the first bundle that we have got. Uh, now, the reason why I love the heated uh, to craft, Ranger Craft Tool, and I have been using the white option, the white kind of color, but now I got the black one, which I even like better. And I'll explain you the story. Now, the, first of all, let me open it up. What I like about this uh, heat tool is it just has got one speed, but it is, um, can, I, can I say, not the highest speed, but it's warmer, warmer, kind of, it gets hot and hot. Uh, now, it's getting very busy. If you want it, please do check out your baskets. Now, one of the reasons I like it is because it has got a wide aperture uh, here. So, it kind of, the heat, not only is kind of um, directional, but it, it is wide enough. So it doesn't, when in Boston powder, you know when sometimes you kind of overheat it because it's a very directional, uh, you know, heat, uh, too, too hot. Sometimes, you know when it's too hot sometimes? Well, that's the thing. Whether it is, because it's wider, and of course it's very, it, it's hot, but not too hot, then it's absolutely fabulous. Also, I love how it, how, you know, it, the full, uh, the full ergonomic design of it. So you can hold it like this, and instead of having it, holding it, vertically like this <laughs> so you can actually see what you are embossing the other thing I love about it is the fact that uh, you know the changing color is because that's if Tim Holtz of course Tim Holtz works very closely with Ranger the Ranger are the manufacturers of his uh, you know distressed inks the one reason uh, like Tim was saying is like I like this dress, but I don't like dirty. And of course, white was previously the color. The one I have got home is white. The one I have got in the studio is black. Uh, it's because it kind of stays pristine uh, more longer. That's one of the reasons I always wear black. Stays, you know, fine for years rather than other colors. Anyway, that's, uh, that is what you, one of the items that you are getting in this bundle, and I adore it. Then you are getting the Sukiniko uh, stencil and sponge dovers, which we found out that Sukiniko, thanks to Derek and our producer, Mike, Suki means moon, and Niko means cat in Japanese. So it's moon cat, and therefore we have got the moon cat in here, which is uh, really small, so you cannot really see it, but the, in the O, there is a Okay. And of course, what you have got, and then you have got, so you can put your finger inside, and then you can dab as well, and you have got the dome effect as well, so you can, uh, you know, dot color into it. Now, then, what else we are getting? We are getting two blending brushes in here. These ones are spot, and I, you know that I love my blending brushes. Now, these ones are incredibly soft. Of course, you can use them for makeup if you just wanted to use for makeup, but also it's fabulous to when you have got a stencil. By the way, we do have got a nine. Karen Kids is here with Craft, uh, craft Treat. So you could blend in some colors in as well for uh, those amazing stencils. So you can use the dubbers and the brushes for that. Uh, those. Also, you are getting ink yet jet um, here ink is for refills if you want to refill but however i think this is will be fabulous to create backgrounds they are dye based ink so you can bring in and you know like create um, ba fabulous backgrounds as well now you are getting yellow a magenta and cyan so you have got the primary colors which means that you can mix them uh, and create any any color you want now then you also are getting two pots of black which means that you have got the blackness but also means that you can create shades of any colors so you, if you mix it up with your colors, right? So you want have got a darker blue, for instance, a more moody blue, and a you know night sky, for instance, blue. 
then you mix a little bit of a flag and that will create that glorious uh, night sky blue right if you want to go for this bundle uh, 31 pounds and 99 pence is your price you are loving it so grab it before it goes out of stock uh, approaching 20% of the stock has gone so grab it by checking out your basket 403-267 is your item number now we mentioned embossing powders, didn't we? And of course, what you need embossing powders, well, we have got a set of uh, six of them here. It's called Metal Magic. It's by Demi, uh, Demi Moore uh, as well. Yes, it is Demi Moore. Moore. Demi Moore and Moore. Uh, right. So. <laughs> I don't, I, they make fun of my pronunciation. I just wish they could say, ojo con el conejo, conejo, hijo, but they can't. There. <laughs> and that's not even one for, uh, you know, I, it's, not, you, it's not even rolling my R's. Anyway. So we have got here uh, six embossing powders, which are metal magic by uh, Demi Moore. Now, what you have got is, uh, you know, Demi, so you have got big pots in here. So these ones are proper. It's like about twice the size of twice the size of uh, in the regular embossing powders in there. Now, what you do, like I remember with Demi, Demi so you can, uh, when when you go, uh, I remember they they were married. Uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't hear the what they are saying because I saw one. <laughs> oh, this is a happy hour. Okay, yes, right. Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Create, I remember Battle Magic. What she decided. What, what she had this moment where she was kind of di uh, punching something, and then you're using embossing powder over it, and then melt it away, and then it created that kind of metal magic because it's the metal look, but of course it's pre-punched, so therefore you have got that element. Uh, you, because you are getting so much in each pot. Let me see how much. You, it's just, I don't know how much you are getting in each, but definitely it's like the size of a twice a pot. Um, so two parts basically of traditional uh, terminal I think it is right the other thing I love about this one is that you are getting two of of the most useful ones which are the ones the most used ones which are silver and gold and then you are getting the pink and the blue now you are also getting and let's show it now a 60 by 30 a craft mat now this is really good because I never I, you know, I, I haven't seen one this long for a very long time. And the thing is also when you are crafting, you want to have your inks in here, you want to craft around here, you want to have your embossing powders, also it's heat resistant, so it's perfect to put your heat gun here as well. Also, if you are, you know, if you are like our Molly, I will get one of the voices in my ear. Uh, one of them, yes. Uh, you know, that I, I believe she has a, lot, a lovely area for her makeup at her house. So imagine that you have got your, your, you know, you have got your hair tools that are heat, you know, like, you know, your straighteners or your curls, whatever they are. And you want to have, oh, now put this on the table so it protects it from the heat of those tools. Also, if makeup comes in and you can always wipe it clean. So it's not just for crafting. It has got a multi-use, but of course, the inks will blend beautifully in here and the embossing powders as well. 19 pounds and 99 pence, which makes it half price or actually better than half price by one penny. 135211. Do not forget to check out your buses, especially for the first item. Very busy for that one. Then we are coming into spring. Uh, we have got flowers. And you know what? Oh, one of it's funny. True story, I am very bad with plants, uh, except succulents and orchids. That's the two only plants that I'm pretty decent with. And you here, you have got an orchid. Look. Yeah, I don't understand why orchids being such a challenging flower, they do seem to thrive with me. Maybe it's because we are equally as difficult as each other. Uh, so, but look, uh, oh, high maintenance apparently, I'm high maintenance. Actually, I'm not. I'm actually the most laid back person. Well, not, 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 not the most laid back person, but you know. But look at that. I just love the idea of, on the head, I look at the grease. They're on point today, aren't they? Well, 
ask every day. Anyway, so we have got as well, I love these ones, and a friend of mine, my friend Angela, lovely Angela, uh, when I, uh, you know, she was showing me, she sent me pictures of one of her friends had made her a lovely tree using beads like these, already arranged into wire. So you have got these gorgeous things, and then you can do like um, a light catcher for the windows. So you have got the pink ones and then the red ones, so you can take them apart and create a proper tree and kind of elaborate it a little bit more. This could make a lovely um, also kind of um, how you call it a brooch a brooch so you could create a few more as well kind of creating like a brooch like this and then oh, that would look amazing onto black wouldn't it then you have got different flowers in here these ones some of them are fabric some of them are foam but look at the realism now we all know that sometimes we can make our own flowers but do you have the time all the ways to make your own flowers do you sometimes have to want to have something that is ready made and then you can just put it into your, into your creations the fact that they are formed some of them it means that of course if they go even into the pose they will jump up they have got that springiness some of them are mulberry paper and i love the way that you have got turn and turn so you can mix them up if you want to take them out of the um of the bunch you kind of just stir one up and then you can see you can even cut this with a strong scissors like the Tim Holtz or the Outward Archer and then you have got of course the butt itself you have got different sizes in here you have got also the, the gorgeous uh, fabric ones as well now this could be a lovely corsage it could be uh, elements for a kind of beautiful display so sometimes when we do those beautiful boxes with battery operated tail lights we want some flowers into it to kind of add more detail into it this could be it now you have got a full bundle 14 uh, 14 bunches of flower you know approximately uh, but you are getting so many more flowers in each one so I mean some of them with glitter and of course it's an assortment of spring flowers 9.99 is the price it is a bargain I think this is a bargain so I would check that out and of course remember you can multiply it as long as we have got a um, stock you can multiply it zero 023840 is your item number. Now, already busy for the embellishment. Kate, as well, what is it? Well, we have got in here brats. You know, shall we show you how a brat works? Uh, shall we show you the one that looks like our director? Let's have a look. No. That's like uh, But it's quite funny, isn't it? Uh, the brat, not the director. Uh, right, no, the director too is he's funny sometimes. Look at that. I just don't want to make him in, like report me or anything like that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, look at that. So you can see in here the uh, uh, kind of it's a football, something like that. So you have got the legs here, and you know what you need to do. You create, you create a hole, you put the legs through, and then you open the legs. And then, of course, and that will secure. That's perfect for bellum and things like that. Now you are also guessing. Uh, how you got it? Wog uh, Googly eyes. Yeah, I kind of sometimes I pronounce it googly, but it's it's now it's googly eyes, right? And then, oh yeah, it's true, like a googly. Yeah, they're kind of one of the ways of you know, uh, yeah, uh, throwing a ball. Is it? It's a spinner. It's a pr spinner that does that, doesn't it? Yeah, apparently I'm on my own. Can you imagine a Spanish woman telling t teaching cricket to a northerner? Yeah, that's just very wrong, very wrong. And then we have got the kind of gorgeous, and look at that, the green one. So that's perfect if you have got images like uh, stamps that uh, you have got like, um, you know, you know, Tracy Hay that designs are good, amazing. You have got the alpacas, you have got like teddy bears, you have got, so these will, uh, goggly eyes, you will be very, very good. Then you have got funny as well. You have got, oh, look at that. That's a fish as well. Then you have got, I believe, a rugby ball. You have got an American football. You have got the stars. You have got the smaller brats as well. Oh, these ones are really cool. These ones I want to show you um, because these ones are really different from anything I have seen. So now that's a brat, right? 
so the same thing, like the legs are here, so you put them through the hole and then you kind of secure them with the legs open. However, you have got here that kind of rolled up. What it means is that you, for instance, if you have got like a pendant or something that you want to hang, so for instance, a you know, drink catcher, you could put, put threaded a needle through it with thread and then you can hang it. So this is really kind of a really kind of different as well. Uh, so it kind of also creates a lovely decoration, but it has got that duality in purpose as well. And I love this. If you are doing a get well soon card, this would be really cool aren't they I really love them there's not something really quaint about them and there's also uh, hearts in there in pink well all of them so you are getting 30 packs in total I don't know how many pieces you are getting there uh, but you have gotten them for 9.99 and you have got 44 minutes to check out your bicycles but why not check them out right now to make sure that you grab a bargain now this makes me happy. I don't know why. I think it's this color. Uh, now, apparently, Joshua Thomas. Apparently, those are the names of our Monlays producer, um, father and son names. Joshua, I, not, not her son, no. I mean, yeah. Uh, Joshua, I like the name Joshua. And I, I used to like the name Tom until something, until I met some Tom that there wasn't. Anyway. Moving on from that. <laughs> anyway, no, definitely not the boy I'm sure he's lovely. Never met him. Uh, right, so we have got, now, you have got in here a leather and fabric a swatch collection. You're getting 50 pieces in total. 25 uh, fabric and 25 leather. Now, for 12 pounds, and not, uh, 12 pounds, this is really a fabulous bargain. Why? Now, this is kind of what you call it. It's the kind of mixed media dream. This is the ones that, uh, if you like MDF pieces and you like to add texture, different texture, this is fabulous. Me looking at this, I know I will keep the red and the green for my colors, like kind of to keep the colors. Then maybe the blue, that, that's a beautiful blue, kind of a denim blue in here, really nice. But per personally, I'm not a purpley, purple person. Yeah, I don't, but I like the texture. And although this one is a really nice one, so I might put it, I glue it. This would die cut with your steel ruled eyes. So you know the ones that are deep dish, the ones that are like fake. Those ones you can die cut with them as well. Some of the mixed media dyes, the ones that are thin, but it's still kind of a deeper blade. These ones, for, of course, you could, you could try to kind of die cut them with them as well. Then you have got the linen as well in there. But think about our journals, our journals covers. You could sew them together if you have got a denim, um, denim, um, how you call it, denim um, needle. Uh, this is very thick. I mean, this is incredibly thick. So if you have to have a good sewing machine to go through both layers. However, there is kind of a quite fun to do that as well. Uh, I also think just gluing them, just kind of because they have been cut with pink and shears, you could almost do like a puzzle as well. So there is a lot of possibilities with uh, the fabric, but remember you are also getting the leather. Again, I think this is for mixed media or journaling to create that kind of sort of elements into it. So for instance, you could, and let's grab, um, let's grab one again. I mean, I should have gone for the black, shouldn't I? But you could, if you see like this, you could sew it again. If you have got a leather uh, kind of needle or denim needle, sew that. And then you have got a little traveling journal. So you have got the spine. One is for the spine and the other two are for the um, main, the cover, back covers and um, front cover. Then we have got, of course, the mixed media element. Uh, you have got the ability to stamp on it to create would leather work as coasters as well? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. If you, hey, Melina, studio at hotchannel.com, have you ever used leather for, um, yeah, because it kind of could be quite cool, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure you could, cut, you know, give it a varnish. See, I don't know much about leather. I mean, I don't really use it you know that much for for a home home you know like i never had a letter so far or anything like that because that's quite posh um but uh that could be look, look at that now you have got um 
you know, to there and massive saving. You are getting all of them, uh, 12 pounds. Just that's all you're paying, 63 pounds saving. Uh, the, it wipes clean, that's true. Leather has got that kind of element that is kind of, oh, patches. Yes, that's a good idea. If your double denim wear is a little bit, you know, kind of it's a little bit old, the kind of the, the, the denim has kind of, right, that would be really good to kind of create patches to secure it as well. Or oh, jewelry, you know those jewelry like kind of like uh, earrings as well, that kind of thing, or pendants that then you put metal into it and leather. Uh, that could be work really well as well. You could create if you wanted to with um, with leather, you know, bangles as well. You know, kind of those wristbands. Now, of course, what I would do is like this to do, or like a little bit of a you know a superhero uh, like kind of bracelet, yeah. Little cuffs as well, uh, right? And then, mm, what else would you do with this once as well? Uh, uh, more mobile holders. Uh, yeah, you could do that as well. You're gonna, oh, a little wallet. Yeah, you can definitely do that because then you can. Oh, that would be quite cool actually. That's a good idea. I like that. Uh, yeah, you could create them like this. Uh, you can. Oh, yeah, that's that. You are on fire, Webster. Uh, our director suggested to kind of create, you know, those uh, cutlery holders. Uh, so if you sew it together or you kind of, and then of course you can put the, uh, you know, fork and knife or monogram their initials. Uh, now, you know, there is, there is these foiling machines that you want for more foiling. So you could do that as well. Yeah, our director has got very good ideas, considering that he's vegan. He knows how to use a little bit of leather. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> right. If you want to go, I mean, of course, you can create tassels as well with leather. Uh, 12 pounds uh, is the price. Zero, one, four, five, two, three is your item number. Right, as so we are moving on to you have been shopping ahead. Twenty five percent, oh, twenty percent of the stock has already gone. Twenty five or twenty percent? Uh, yeah, a quarter. Uh, we are, a quarter. That would be a quarter. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, happy hour means that we have got about. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh. 37 minutes uh, till end of show. Uh, remember that at 8 o'clock it will jump up to 40 quid, so you do not want to pay that. Yeah, it's 30, 30 plus 9.99. Wait, oh. <laughs> Apparently, the other day, can I make a, a small thing? I made my day that I did a show with um, the lovely girls, uh, Josie and Nina from Daisy B. This, uh, craft, and they love how I pronounce the word, one word. I can pronounce my word properly. Waffle. That's waffle. Yeah, because it's, it's one of the other Sam's said, like, let's say waffle, um, because it was dog related. So it's kind of a mix of woof woof and lovely. <laughs> so, and then since then, I kind of, that's one of my favorite words. And so, yeah. And it, it cracked her up, it cracked Josie up, and she's like, oh, you know, this. Yeah. So, anyway. That's, that's the thing. Right, so white face gray board, two millimeters thick, 12 by 12, 15 sheets in total. Right, so first of all, gray board is great. It is a great surface for mixed media, it's inexpensive, it gives you durability, it gives you things. But what what this downside of gray board is that you have to prime it. If you want to have colors that will stick to it to true to nature, if you want the vibrancy of a red or a yellow, if you spritz it onto the gray board, it's gonna dull a little bit. However, you know, if you are like me, that you are a lazy crafter, let's say it, and you don't have time to, oh no, I need to just sew it and let it dry and then I can use it. Why not go for the white face because this one allows you, it has got the, the super strength, it's a two millimeters, so you can see it's like about 2,000 micron uh, in thickness, but you have got the white element. So uh, straight away, you can bring in your color spritzes, your inks and your distress, you know, oxides and so on and so forth. You will have all the positive from a uh, chipboard or gray board, but none of that dullness of the color. You don't have to spend time priming it. You don't have to spend time or money kind of spending, you know, with gesso and letting it dry and then it for 
this straight away you pick it out of there it's dry it's worked you can do it you can stamp quick clean and simple projects now you are getting and they are 12 by 12 which means you can just straight away have a massive piece you can cut them down i was just thinking that one of my favorite sizes for mini albums the, uh, the, the other day i was looking through all the mini albums that i have made in the last 20 years and a lot of them i mean there was this size well not a lot of them but you know a few of them they were six by 12 which means that if you just cut it in half and then you just pierce it two holes through it then you have the cover and the back cover and of course that means that it's straight away for instance if you want to glue your graphic 45 your chow bella your stampedia beautiful papers you have you can do it onto the gray side but you don't have to color the white side if you don't want to or you can use, use them both so that kind of saves you money because the fact that you only have to cover one side again means that you are saving papers for the next one so it's a really saving kit this one because it saves you money for not having to use gesso uh, time because you don't have to let it dry T uh, again money because you are not wasting as much paper into putting it in the bag as well so all those possibilities you getting 15 so if you want a six by six you would get four in each one of these uh, these ones so you could have well four times 15 it would be 60 apparently uh, yes of course it would be oh my maths are so bad See, this, I mean, I really needed to think about it that uh, seven three one two nine nine zero seven is your item number how long do we have huh yeah yeah I'm very bad at numbers as well yeah well, true story, I have got synesthesia when it comes to numbers. So numbers are not quantities for me, are a spatial things. So it's a really weird thing when I have to, I really have to think very hard about numbers. Anyway, that's, that's the reality. Now, we have got a really, really lovely one done. Now, Maya Rod is a company that if you have been crafting for, I would say, 15 years, you will know it. Maya Rod is one of those companies that did a lot of embellishments, has done a lot of ribbons, beautiful ribbons. And I'm the proud owner of some of these things as well. And I'll tell you, they are about 10, 15 years old, and I still have them. They make the loveliest little uh, projects to upcycle as well. So it could be a little, well, for me, it would be eraser uh, packs in here. You could have a little bit. Uh, then you have got, of course, the inside, you have got a perfect project now especially if you have are homeschooling kids and you want activities for them to do you can let them have these have some uh, you know kind of children's paints and let them have fun we're just painting the car the plane the truck in here they are cheaper, so they are very durable. You have got also the uh, glue, so you can glue uh, different elements. Uh, so this one is, you can say, 35 millimeters. Um, and you have got, is also the it's white acrylic glue that dries clear. Then you have got, and I'm gonna go and say, uh, somebody put some of the letters that they kind of correspond to the people that are here, except one, one is missing, but we can see it. Oh, where is this? The Right, so we have got also acrylic plastic letters. So you can see they're about, I would say, two inches in height. So you have got the P for Paula, you have B for Ben, you have got the M for Hannah, and then we have got the H for Hannah, and then Molly, yeah, and then we have got the W for Webster. See? Uh, right, so we have got them all the letters there here, and I love the tints. I love the way that you can create. Think about it. I kind of almost buy, I have to say, originally I bought these ones for uh, display. So I did a project, for instance, which was um, I just used a little bit of ribbon to cover this. And I kept that the journey of a lifetime because I put a picture, I believe it was from Japan. And what I did, it was painted, so I put some uh, washi uh, paper, uh, and then I just put some beautiful display of a picture. So you can have it as a shadow box as well, a shadow display. So there is lots, it's not just the storage, it's the fact that you can then use it. Uh, and, and then you have got elements like this one. Can I do it? Can I, well, no, that it create a mess. But you can see you have got all the structures. Now keep those bits. Those bits are really good if you want to add dimension, mixed media detail, or you can throw them away if you wanted to. But you have got also the crisscross. 
Uh, I was just saying before um, this hour that I want to create a Zen garden in my little patio. And one of the ideas I have is to, cr to, to create something like this, painted black over a white wall to create that effect of the screens from the Japanese gardens that they have got. So you could do something like this and to create it into your uh, crafting. Then you have got the flowers that I cut. So again, you can pop them out and create like stencils as well. These are really good if you are, you are into your mixed media to add just layers of texture because once that you take them out of here, you can then cut pieces and add and layer them, then paint them over with gesso or acrylic paint and then layer more on top of it, overlay them as well. Even the frames like this, you know, just kind of adds that kind of element into it. I kind of now want to play. I just want to just sit there and have, I love that. Look at that, those ones kind of rather dramatic. And then finally you have got chipboard stickers as well with different, oh, sweet and precious and totally love it. And check this out. And uh, I love hearts. And uh, awesome. And wonder and strong. I'm proud, and, and right, and that is, I believe this is a button, so when you pull it out, I believe, you know, can you see it? It's not, uh, you have got like, it's not a face, it's just kind of a, like kind of a button, or elongated button. Have the stock on of this bundle if you want it, check out your baskets. Uh, now 19 pounds, 99 pounds is your price. Uh, you, 955389 is your item number. Right, we have got a fantas fantastic, a deceptive, so I like that, fantastic. Um, now we have, I don't know how you pronounce it properly, so I do apologize. Uh, we have got the essentials that are the uh, five mil um, square, you know, foam pads. We have got them in different uh, thicknesses. So you have got the one millimeter thick, and then we have got this, uh, you are getting four or so five of the three millimeters thick. So you can see them there. Then what else you are getting? You are getting tissue tape in three millimeters, which actually, I will say one thing, for tissue tape, which is double-sided tape, but the one that you can tear away really easily. And then it, you can see it here, it has got like, it's double-sided, but it has got that adhesive uh, tissue kind of elements into it. Uh, now, it's very rare to find with three millimeters, and it's always a good thing. I love my red liner tape, don't take me wrong, but I like to have as well uh, tissue tape, because it's easier to cut it, like I just tear it, rather than kind of cut it with my scissors. Then you are also getting the uh, glue dots, the smaller ones in here, so you are getting, uh, so you are getting three uh, rolls, uh, they are slightly the same size, I believe, um, yeah. They are permanent and clear, which means that they are the ones that you put them like for embellishments that you want to, to stay. And then finally, we have got these ones, which are a little bit bigger. And you can see that they are red liners, so they are going to be very strong, very tacky, but they are also clear as well. So these are the clear. And then you are actually... Oh! So we have got a, a set of a bell crew, uh, 50 pieces of the kind of, so kind of, uh, there it is. And that proper Velcro, we can say the name because it's Velcro. Uh, it's not hook and loop, it's actually Velcro. Uh, 14 pounds and 75 pence is your price. You have got a side of saving of 29 pence. Uh, 2 to 1, 0, 6, 6 is your item number. And of course, you have got 26 minutes to check out your baskets if you want to grab any of these bargains. Uh, right, yeah, of course, we do want to get some bargains over here. Then we have got the red liner from Crafty Devils. Now here, uh, you are getting 12 rolls, so you are getting 60 meters in total, so they are five meter rolls. Uh, you are getting the 12 mil, so you are getting, uh, you can see here, you are getting five of the uh, 12 mil. And then you are getting, uh, I believe, you are getting uh, two, so nine mil, uh, and you are getting, sorry, if you have getting five and this 12, that would be seven of the nine mil. Uh, so you can see, of course, yeah, five minutes in each of those rolls, and you can see them here as well how they come to you. Now, red liner tape is one of the, well, it's the strongest um, 
double-sided tape that you can get and of course it's heat resistant the liner is red but the actual tape is completely transparent I like the tissue tape that you can tear it with your hands and this one you can however it's much stronger bond and that heat resistant like the tissue isn't so it's one of those things that I will say I have got over 80 different types of adhesives in my studio but red liner tape is one of those ones that always has its place especially in different widths as well if you are assembling die cut boxes this is one of those ones that I truly strongly recommend because it's an instant wrap right if you want yours is 195 uh, 634 is your item number 12 pounds and 19, 90 pence is your price you're saving 17 pounds right and then we have got a uh, sketch books as well so a collection here now you are getting the a4 a5 a6 and you are getting two of each now you can see them they are white so it means that immediately you can stamp on them and you don't have to prime them but also creates lovely presents uh, so you can decorate them with papers as well the covers are 250 gsm but the inside are 150 gsm so it's a thick paper there is uh, 36 pages in each uh, of these um, kind of lovely sketchbooks now they are fabulous sketchbooks but also they are good to practice they are also excellent for planners so if you have got planner stamps, um, for instance, our Lottie does the Mama makes and there is a lot of uh, planner stamps. Uh, so you can see them, you, you can stamp into them and that way you can save a little bit of money to create in your own planner. But of course, if you want to sketch out different projects, this one will work really well as well. Right, if you want your plain sketchbook collection, uh, you are getting A4, A5, A6, all of them, two of each of them for $9.99. I also think it's a really good one because it's completely wide. So a lot of the times are a line or a grid dots and things like that. And there's just, you know, there's things that I like lined when I have to write list. But when I want to sketch or not sketch so much, but when I want to kind of plan something or kind of press the new stamp and say what also this would be really good if you wanted to keep a record of all the stamps that you have got uh, so you could stamp them all into the A4 ones and you have, have two maybe you can have one for you know say Alan create the next one could be um, you know something else by the way there is two hours with Leone later on of sale uh, with amazing savings so of Alan create so stay tuned for that uh, uh, 10 and 2 o'clock uh, 775 one zero seven is your item number and of course you are saving uh, 10 pounds so 9.99 is half price SAAA is it SAAA yeah did I say right no SAA SA that's how we would say it in Spanish. So, uh, right, uh, you are uh, well, the Society for All Artists. That's what it stands for. Uh, for uh, you are getting four brushes here, and they are beautiful. And then you are getting the liquid pencil pots. Now, in here, what you are getting is the graphite brushes. So you are getting the oval wash, a half an inch. Look how soft those bristles are. They are super soft. I love them. Just, can I stay here all day long? It's just doing like this. Is there something incredibly pleasing about them? Then we have got the dagger. Dagger? 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 The, 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 yeah, dagger. Uh, so it has got that kind of a little bit slanted uh, kind of bristles in there. Again, super soft. Then we have got the round four uh, in here as well. And finally, we have got the round zero. Now, this is one of the teeny tiniest ones that I have seen in a while and but it is always a use for these ones now but why because you can go in I like to do miniature watercolors and this is exactly the size of brush that I would use to color the tiny miniatures now that kind of creates it can go into the smallest elements in here but they are graphite brushes which means that they are designed to use with the liquid pencil that is a graphite so what it does it gives you the element and I kind of that sort of um, you know the liquid you know the pencil look into it so if you like to do you know the look of a graphite look uh, you can do uh, you know but you like to you feel more comfortable with the you know brushes this is perfect for you this is the yellow of course it is graphite so it is not a pure yellow it's kind of a yellowish tone to the graphite 
I should I should do some some into the actually, can I do it into here just so you can see it am I allowed to kind of go in I mean I'm not an artist I always say that is because it's not yeah so you can see in here oh I love that can you see that there is a little bit of of a red but it kind of has got a really reddish stone okay yeah it does kind of kind of a sketchy look i mean i just shouldn't have gone for these one but kind of gonna go in kind of uh seriously i, mean, I don't know how to draw or paint you know I, I always tell the story my dad who loves me very much or so he says he he teaches art and he has been teaching ours many years and he said yeah you should just stop coming to the classes i don't think you will are ever going to be able to actually do any you know any good drawing or anything like you're not going to be an artist ever but he said but you're very good with color but you can see in here you have got a little bit of a face at least so you can see there that you have got that brush that kind of element of a graphite and of course you can then bring it in in there all right noses definitely not cannot do noses anyway so you can see in there that it has got that kind of really lovely element to it very different 21 pounds and 42 pence is your price you're saving 28 pence uh 418600 is your item number uh now magnetic sheets have been very very busy uh so if you want yours you know what to do check out your baskets you are getting 24 sheets for just 20 pounds and 19 pence now you are not getting the dice this is just uh, for displays purposes only but you can see in here that it will attach now i always say storage storage is one of the best investments you can do into your crafting yes it's not sexy we all want the beautiful papers and we all want the pretty inks and things like that and we're thinking magnetic storage it's not that pretty it's not that sexy is it but it is actually because you are actually making sure that your dies you are going to find them and use them and they're going to be perfect what i would do actually is i would go for the white um the white faced uh, gray board, I would attach it to it and I will create like a folder. So that could create, so then you can, oh, I know, coming back, coming back, All right? So what you do in here is you attach it into one side, okay, you can see it here. You can either trim it and then create holes in here so you create the binder or you can use cut um score it or uh, you actually cut it a little bit not all the way through it and then you can create and use two of them and then you have got like a calendar like a flipping calendar but you have got it as a magnetic sheet so you have got the your dice in here so then of course you need two of those ones you are getting 15 details at the bottom of the screen uh scoring like this then you glue those bits together and then you create like a tent if you know what i mean and then of course you have got the magnetic sheets that you flip flop uh, that could work really well wouldn't it and then you have it on, on the table and they don't take much space but you can just roll it them up 660-965 is your item number you are saving 20 pounds 20 pounds and 99 pence it's all your pain so better than half price grab yours by checking out your baskets now our chipboard bundle from Maya Roach well we, that's a limited stock so that means that 90% of the stock has already gone grab yours by checking out your baskets now if you want it remember you can you have got the alphabet there uh, and you can see that perfect there all the alphabet all the stickers and all that cheapers as well as this uh, of course you can have uh, well it will come under the storage uh, tents right 955-389 is your item number limited so means that you need to check out your baskets now here at Hochenda, there is even uh, other ways of saving. Of course, that is one of the ways is freedom. Here's Leonie to tell you more. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. 
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Oh, it's, it's great. I'm also looking at Leone. Right, we are back at the beginning. Oh, sometimes that's the best way, isn't it? Because we have got Ranger Heatil. Uh, as I mentioned, this is m one of my go-to heating uh, tools and embossing tools. The reason why I love it is because of the wide aperture of the you know distribution of heat. So. It doesn't overheat it. Like with other heat guns, sometimes, like I, I like the wow embossing tool as well. It has got two day speeds. However, the nozzle is a little bit finer. And what it means is that I like to have them both. So sometimes I will go for this one because it's a slightly lower heat, but it will be an even heat and a wider, not a wider mouth. So it kind of wide um, as well. Now, if you are just tuning in, it's like, why is she go doing with a hair dryer? Well, this is definitely not a hair dryer. This is much a stronger heat than a hair dryer. Please, please do not ever be tempted to use this on your hair. You would damage your hair. hair. But what it also is not like, uh, unlike a hair dryer in which blows, you know, I would say, lukewarm or maybe medium heat uh, sort of hot air but a lot of air like your hair kind of moves a little bit this doesn't it's much more intense heat or more higher temperature heat but less air and that means that that will melt embossing powders if you put embossing powders with a hot uh, hot uh, you know a blow dryer a hair dryer that blows the, the the powder all over because it blows much more air so hence why is if you had, don't have one please invest into one if you want to do your crafting also it's great if you have got acrylic paint and you want to kind of speed it uh, most people don't recommend to uh, or, you know kind of dry your acrylic paint because it's plastic and plastic doesn't like heat However, if you are going to use it, this would be the one that I would go for because it's, as I mentioned, it's not higher heat. And of course, you have got that less, um, you know, like diffuse heat. Uh, you are also getting the Sukiniko uh, or Mooncat uh, sponge dovers for stencils. So you can put your finger in it and then a dover. Then you have got the set of uh, five inks in here. They are uh, inject uh, refill um, kind of inks, but you can use them in your crafting. You are getting yellow, magenta, cyan, and two blacks. And you also are getting two uh, blending brushes that are perfect for those stencils when you want to spark color in, in, in any area. 31 pounds and 99 pence is your price 4303267 is your item number then we have got the embossing powders from Metal Magic, uh, Debbie Moore, and we have got, uh, of course, the blending mat. Heat resistant, the blending mat, I really love the fact that it's a very large one. The fact that it has got that 60 centimeters wide means that it will protect all the area. So I can have my blending inks in here, I can have my 12 by 12 papers, and then I can have my stamps or my embossing inks as well here. So you are getting those as well. And then we have, yeah, that's that's quite, I'm quite impressed. Anyway, it's moving. No, it's not moving. That's, like, yeah, that's quite, yeah. Uh, the, the power of a st uh, the same power of the embossing powder. Uh, right, so you're getting two of the gold, two of the silver, and then you'll get a blue and a pink. Right, oh, look at that. It's staying as well. It's magic. But well, it is metal magic. Oh, wow, I don't, that's quite something, isn't it? 19 pounds and 99 pence, little things tickle me. Uh, now, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Then we are going to the artificial flowers, but we have got 11 pounds, uh, 11 pounds, 11 minutes uh, to check out your baskets before the price that goes up. Uh, 023840 is your item number. We also have got an emboss, um, an embellishment uh, pack in here. Uh, you can see it is coming up next. You are getting 30 packs in total with those brads, those googly eyes, as well as other embellishments. 
999 is your price, you're saving 30 pounds. 490413 is your item number. Uh, then we have got this uh, fabric and the leather swatches in here. Remember, perfect to create, uh, you know, kind of art journals, covers, and things like that. You could create your own wallet. You can sew it in as well. I love the cutlery, I am cutlery uh, kind of holder uh, idea. You can monogram as well. 12 pounds and 19, uh, 12 pounds is the price you're saving, a massive 63 pounds. Uh, these ones are quite, you know, I would say this is kind of upholstery. So you could then, of course, create, a, you know, patches to kind of mend some elements. I think that would be lovely to die cut and mix media. And of course, for your art journals as well. 014523 is your item number. Then we have got a uh, white face a gray board and I really love it. I think it's a great product because it has got all the benefits from gray board in one side. So this is gray board, two millimeters thick. So that means 2000 microns, but also it has got the white smooth side in here. So you can stamp, you can sketch in it, you can emboss into it, you can cut it. I wouldn't die cut this because it's highly dense, even not, not even with the steel rule dies, but a craft knife I would definitely go with several times. Just be careful. 9.99 is the price. Massive saving as well here. 731.907 is your item number. Now, Mayor Road, the chipboard with the 10th technical sellout. So if you have it in your baskets, if you check out right now, you will still get it. So make sure that you do that. You check out your baskets. Now we have got the sketch books. Um, here we have got them in three different sizes, the A4, the A5, and the A6. You are are getting two of each six books in total now in each of them you are getting 36 pages you are getting them 150 GSM inside it 250 GSM on the outside perfect to kind of kind of look at see you can cover it with papers and you can stamp on it and you can of course use it for creation your own creations look at that this this is our D did that uh, she's talented the defeat Simmons she's so talented and then of course you can add some paper, some, some stickers, and then I go in and I smashed it with something else. Anyway, all right, so that is uh, the uh, plain sketchbook. 775-107 is your item number. 999 is your, uh, your, your price, actually, but remember to check out your baskets. Right, and then we have got Crafty Devil's Red Liner. So we have got a set of 12 rolls. They are five meters in each, so you are getting 60 meters. You are getting five of the 12 mil and you are getting seven of the nine mil i'm pretty sure that's the correct amount but you know the word me that uh oh so actually it's supposed to be six of each so i uh, think of yes that's it anyway <laughs> that's why when you get them home please does them with a corn flour or talcum powder i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna try it but it's not worth it to do it at 7 a.m. Anyway, 1290 no, $12 is your price for all of them. Uh, red liner tape, high, super strong, super instant grab, and as well as, of course, uh, your heat resistant. 195634 is your item number. And now, of course, we have got another adhesive bundle from Fantax Sag. Now, uh, now, 14 pounds and 75 pence is your price. You have got glue dots, tissue tape, three mil, which is very rarely that you see it, and really handy to have. You have got foam pads in three mil and two mil, uh, one mil, and then you have got your velcro uh, closures as well as your red uh, liner uh, glue dots. All of that for fourteen pounds and seventy-five pence. Two two one zero six eight six is your item number. Now, very very busy for the magnetic sheets, and I'm not surprised. Is the way that I prefer to store my dies. There are many ways that then they kind of, you can use as leaves to do it. I also cut them in half and to half for the smaller set so they go last longer. You're getting 24 sheets of A4, but again, if you want to do fridge, fridge magnets and you want your kids to maybe color into paper, you can do that. You can cut it. If you have got the deep dish uh, dies or the uh, steel rule dies, you can like cut them with those ones or the mixed media dies as well. They are something that I always buy in bulk. So you can by all means multi buy them and then a way means that you can find the dies that you have got you store them correctly you are you 
basically we invest our money into crafting and especially in dyes, right? They, they, they cost our money. And what's the point of investing in something if you cannot find it or you can, uh, or, or you're going to put it in a, in a shoe box that you can never find the right shape? Put them in magnetic shades, put them in folders, whatever way you, uh, there are many ways of them. Some people actually attach them to the back of their doors or the walls so then they have them in the wall. There is plenty of ideas there. 20 pounds or 99 pence for 24 of them, 660-965. I will be quick to check out uh, your everything, uh, the, uh, check the baskets out because uh, we are very busy. Remember on the website you can find everything but you have got about five minutes to check out your baskets before the prices all jump up. So not to, to do to not do that to not pay extra, then of course what you need to do is make sure and check out your baskets right now. Right, uh, I'll I'll see you in about an hour time. But the one day special is fabulous as is our Scott. So it, he's here for the next hour ahead. Fabulous. Well, it is Elizabeth Craft Designs One Day Special, and it's a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous one. I'm so happy to see you, Scott, every single time. Then we have got Craft Treat with Karen Kids, and then I'll create a 10. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Achanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. 
don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on the channel. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hello everybody, a very good morning, lovely to be with you, thank you to our lovely Paula for your brilliant happy hour, lovely to be with you for this hour and I hope you're all well and warm as well, it's going to get a bit cold isn't it, but uh, it's great to be with us for a fantastic one day special uh, which has been really, really busy when it launched yesterday, the Elizabeth Craft Designs, absolutely fantastic, your essentials that you're going to need, really busy, I want to let you know straight away that we are calling now three quarters of the stock has has already gone. Now, I want to make this really clear as well that that's everything. That's the whole lot of the stock. So when this has gone, the last 25% of the remaining stock, when, that, when that's gone, that is it. The one day special will have sold out. We're already very busy this morning. Individually, by the way, because you could have actually got, there's two sort of sets here together. This top row, that's gone individually already. So that top row doesn't um, actually now exist on its own. The only way to get that top row is in the one day special. And if you were looking at the bottom row and thinking, do you know what, I'd like to go just for the bottom row itself, well, that is also limited stock on its own. So again, once that's gone on its own, the only way to get it is the one day special. The one day special is 75% uh, gone already. You get the idea. Uh, the dispatch, by the way, is going to be for you on the 5th of Feb, so 10 days uh, that we're looking at now for you, but there's some brilliant savings to be had and huge amounts, of course, that's in this complete bundle. As you can see, we are looking at 101 dies, 39 stamps. It's one of the biggest one-day special collections I think I've actually seen. It's huge amounts. If you're a Freedom member, by the way, you've got a brilliant saving on this one. £31.14 pence off, so that brings everything down to £172.22. pence. Now, that one-day special saving there, 31, is actually on top of all the, um, as the £36 saving of all the individual savings that's accumulated. So you're getting a really fantastic offer on this one. I will just stress this again. Um, please, if you like what you see, when you hear the descriptions and you see how you can work with this, get this into your basket because, as I said, there's no more coming back on extended. When it's gone, it's gone. One one zero. Five, four, one. Now, Scott, you're saying, that's great, I get the idea, you've driven that message home really well, thank you very much indeed, but what can I do with all this? Well, we have the expert to tell you all of that, of course, I'm just here to tell you numbers and facts, but lovely Esther, when I click my fingers, is there. Oh, lovely. Hi. Good morning, <laughs> Esther, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm really well, thanks, I'm really good. I'm in the studio, so I'm happy, I've made it here, which is great. Okay, how yes. are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. The, you don't have snow yet? No, it's coming. It's coming, apparently, over here yes. as well. Just Sunday, yes. Over here, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got so my scarf exciting. ready and my bubble hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, th this yeah. is such such an incredible uh, one-day special that we've got uh, here. Yes, it's, it is. Yes. There's so much. There is so much in here. Just, can you just give us it in brief, before we go into more detail, just, again, what we can expect to sort of get from this whole collection once we got it? Yeah, well, it's a huge collection this time because I couldn't stop uh, designing. <laughs> uh, I had so many ideas. I had so many ideas. So, and and when we were at ten dice, I said, "Okay, we have to stop now because it's going to be too <laughs> too much," you know. And I I still have many more ideas for uh, yeah for a range like this. So, 
Um, but it's all a bit inspired like nature, botanical, flowers, plants, garden, things like that. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, they really are fantastic. I, I know we're going to show in a second uh, some some uh, some finished samples that we've actually got here on on the video and show those how they can know because what this actually sort of does there there is so much in here that you can really personalise yes. those files and folders when you're working. They are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. And um, a lot of people have lots of papers and things at home, so you can combine anything uh, with it, and it's yeah, it's really versatile to use. So you can yeah, make it your own. If you like bold colors or bright colors or more like a uh, vintage style like I do, uh, it's up to you what you what you are going to do with it. So yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really good. versatile. Yeah, yeah, versatile as well. And uh, honestly, if you yeah. if with so many dyes and everything to work with here, you really do get a lot of versatility to be able to do with these. Esther, tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll let you just get yourself mm -hmm. set, uh, if that's okay, then yes, for okay. the for the first mm -hmm. demonstrations, and we'll share with everyone yep. what we've got already. So uh, we'll be back with Esther shortly. As I say here, for all of this, there is a huge amount you'll be able to do. Please don't wait uh, for any more inspiration from Esther as you see the presentation. If you are wanting these and you want to go for the I can't stress, stress this enough. Please get this now. We are really busy this morning already, and when it's gone, it has gone. Just to help you, just to understand exactly how to work with all these fantastic dyes, uh, have a little look at some of the inspiration. I think we've. Oh, have we got it? Oh, he's not got. Oh, oh, bear with everybody. Bear with everybody. We will be able to. Are we there? We'll try, I tell you, we'll try that again. We'll lose that at the end. It'll be fine. I'll tell you what to do. Have a little look at this as some of the inspiration that you could create when you go for the one day special. QVT. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Again, as you heard then from Esther talking about this, you know, you do have lots of chances yourself with what you want to sort of uh, add on to this, of course. But there's a huge amount. And what I love about it, there are so many little bits that go together with this that make every page turn, that every, whatever you're turning over into, you know, really different and fantastic. Now, I know that we're talking about the planners. We have got the planners uh, that you, you'll be able to sort of uh, work with, of course. They are available with us if you want to go for these. They are absolutely fantastic. Really, really popular. We've got three different colour varieties for you to look at. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. This is the espresso that you can see. It's 1899-238-583. Beautifully bound, actually, when you can see. So that's your espresso with your planner. Uh, really lovely, very stylish, aren't they? Uh, now, though, I know that this one is beach, and it is a beautiful, gorgeous warming blue on this one. Absolutely love this. Uh, 687979, proving to be very, very popular indeed, actually, the beach. But we've also got the beautiful beautiful olive green that's one of the other options that you can go for. This is 964 379, that's 1999 for that again. But the lovely thing is, these are just the beginning, of course. What you then add to the insides are what really does make the difference. So let's go straight back over to Esther and see our first of our demonstrations on your brilliant, really popular, and very busy one day special. Are you there with us, Esther? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> of course I am. Lovely. I wouldn't dare to go. I wouldn't dare to go away now. <laughs> Good. Don't leave me on my own. <laughs> no, no I, I won't leave you. <laughs> no. Um, I was thinking. I, I just. I have three planners here of three sidekick journals. Uh, loads of examples from our design team. Um, I was thinking, shall I show some first for some more inspiration, and then do the demo? Yes, absolutely. Please, yes, show yes? away. That'd okay. be lovely. Thank okay. you. So, yeah, I will start with this one. And uh, let me see. This is made by, uh, I have to peek, Jamie, <laughs> Marjolaine, and uh, yeah, there are so many talented ladies in our team. So uh, let me let me start with this one first. This is made by Marjolaine. No, sorry, sorry, by Jamie. 
She's in our design team from last year, I think. Right. And she uses a lot of uh, botanical. That's her, her style of working. And she's also using real dried flowers. So if you have a flower press or something like that, you can use those too. Oh, that's beautiful. And yeah, here you can see one of the mini file folders. She used some of the stamps. I will do it uh, quite quickly because I have to, really much to show to yeah, you. Cool. <laughs> uh, some beautiful uh, pictures from her garden with a little bit of snow. I hope we will get more snow this weekend, of course. Again, some dried flowers over here and here. Uh, another mini file folder, which is from the news, new release with one of those cute uh, paper clips. Uh, another picture, stamps. And here she made a little pocket with a, with a cool, well, a beautiful picture. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's a little bit <laughs> Christmas style. Yes. Uh, a mini file folder again. And you see she's got her own style uh, to work with. So mm. that's really, um, yeah, so much fun for me to see when they send it in. Uh, all the things they think of and, and create with it. So everybody does his own, uh, everyone does his own thing, you know? Yes. And this is the one else showed yesterday, this week. It's a fold out page. And then you, this is her last one, the scalloped page, and she made uh, a little window in here with uh, uh, a cellophane bag in between. Oh, that's lovely. So there, yeah, and there are some seeds or stems, some, something is inside here. I don't know exactly what it is. Mm. I love it. Uh, and then I move over to um, Marie Claire. Marie Claire, her style is always black and white. And as you can see, it's completely different from, from this, yeah. Uh, from, yeah. So that's so much fun to see. So uh, everybody can do his own thing. And Mar uh, Marie Claire always uh, stamps all those words separately. So it's a lot of work for her to do all those stamping. Mm. It's not paper she's been using, but she just keeps repeating to use our stamps. It looks fabulous, that. See, it's beautiful, I love yes. that. And, <clears throat> and it's really neat. And uh, I think me personal, uh, I can't do this because it will be smudged everywhere, you know? <laughs> <laughs> with, with the black ink and white paper. These are some a really cool tags she made, uh, a mini file folder, a gift label, and it's all made with uh, the new release. And you also can see the wave pocket over here she's been using. Uh, uh, also the fold out page, this one says this week, and I'm going to demonstrate this one uh, later in the show. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, uh, here are the plans. They go with the scalloped page. And a small detail, she used some glue, I think it is, as a water drop over oh, wow. here at the, at the planter. <laughs> and some water on the, on the table, I think. <laughs> so th that's really cute. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, yeah, here's another pocket, and she added cellophane over here. Do you say cellophane? Yes, cellophane, it is. Cellophane, yeah, yeah. Acet acetate, yeah. Another tag. Uh, this is the seed pocket, Els also showed yesterday. If you have time, I'm going to show it today to you too. And you can put all bits and pieces in it. And she made a string closure on it, and you can see there are some seeds over here. Yes, that's nice. I'm not sure if it's visible on camera, but... Yeah, yeah, got that, it's great. <clears throat> and this is another fold-out page which says today. And that's her own, uh, yeah, the black and white. And now we go to Marjolein. And she has also her own style, and she made a, um, a garden journal. And I think I've got her first six or seven months over here for this year. Right. So it's not finished yet. I'm, I think she's going to add pictures. But I will uh, browse through it and, and show you what she has been doing so far. So January, of course, she could do some pictures already. She used a little girl stamp, some frames, and some journaling. And February, it's still empty, you see, but she, she prepared it. So she yeah. can add uh, a picture over here. She can do some pictures here or maybe some journaling. Uh, again, the little girl. Uh, here's one more for March. So you can prepare a whole journal uh, for a whole year if yeah. you want in yeah. advance. Yeah. Uh, this is one from the older uh, releases. This is a little, oh, no, how, how do you call it? A plant stick, which you can put in. You're, normally you put it with your plants and it says the name of the plant. Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, I know the one, yes. The, Those little sticks. The little sticks, yes. little lollipop sticks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, something like that, yeah. <laughs> but it's a planter stick, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I, I, I can't come up with the correct words, so please forgive me no, if I'm forgive me. saying I'm something wrong. I'm exactly the same. I'm I've got no excuse, but uh, I'm with you, oh. it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you know what I mean. I do indeed.
Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, another um, waste pocket over here with a tag uh, in it. The lovely bee stamps and, and the other mm. sentiment stamps. The little globe she added here. Uh, text again for pictures or journaling. This is one of the um, honeycomb die sets. I like that one, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's cute. She put back some of the dice, yes. which fell out yeah. of here. Yeah, bit of pencil, she, yeah. Yes, and she distressed the edges a bit, so it, they pop out really. And I, I think that's a cool idea. Yeah, nice that. <clears throat> yeah, and this is the month of June, which she also prepared. Uh, more space for pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry, Myerline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> have She'll to be careful you. because... Yeah, I have to send it back to the, to the <laughs> girls. <laughs> and here she made another um, wave pocket with uh, one of the file folder tags oh, included. Yeah, so um, do you want me to continue now with the, the, the demonstration or do you want to go back to the studio first? No, 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 please do continue. It's fascinating oh, okay, to look at the, okay, what, okay. what's so lovely that you're, when you're showing these, yeah. every page turn is demonstrating that, you know, we had the real difference from the black and white. We've got the lovely colours of the sort yeah, for florals yeah, that was in there. Yeah. But, but every page turn, what I love about them is that there's little secret yeah. compartments, a little pouch that unties, you've yes, got an extra yes. flap that will open up. You've got the little pouches and pockets, the mini ones as well. But there is so, which is what yeah. I love about this collection is because there is so much you're going to get that every page can be different. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And it's up to your own imagination what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you this set now. It's the fold out page and it says this week with the dice. Great. And I'm going to assemble it and, yeah, make a, make a, a demonstration or one of the, yeah, how do you call it? Yeah, no, a, good, uh, a demonstration. A, a yeah. sample. Yeah, demonstration, a sample for you. So I, of course, already prepared some things, so I don't have to do that uh, during the show, which costs a lot of time. Perfect, perfect. And, yeah, and as you can see here, we have cut the letters. I already uh, cut them, and I put double-sided adhesive at the back. So I am going to apply them now. And because I'm going, you can do it on this side if you want, but I want to... The, the page to be folded like this in my journal, so right. I'm going to apply them on this side. And it's very easy, or maybe it's easier to see like this, um, because you see the contour. Do you say contour? Yes, yes, yeah, contours, yes. And then you know, yeah, so you can't make any spelling mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what you can do is start at the top and go all the way down with applying the letters, but I like them to be a little bit, um, oh my, uh, let me think. Well, when you apply them on top of each other all the way down, yeah, it's like a, a rooftop, you know, like all the... <laughs> all the slates, I like yeah, the to, tiles. Yes. Yeah, and I like it to be a little bit uh, different. Ah, I see. So, for, yeah, for example, I'm going to apply the T and the H over here. And then, for example, I will take the S first. So, like this. Oh, yes. And then it will give you a little bit different effect in the end than uh, applying them like um, a rooftop tile. Yes, I got you. The overlapping. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the overlapping. That's what I mean. Yes. So, and I, I just do it randomly. I love the fact that, the, you know, that the contours are there. It's all beautifully matched to go with it, which just gives yeah. that lovely professional finish as well, doesn't it, when it's all, con all completed? Yes. Yes. And, and it's easy for you to apply the letters. Yes. Yeah. But again, this, I customer. know you're doing this yeah. in, in just the black at the moment, but if you wanted to really yes. mm -hmm. have a lovely bright page, every one of those letters yeah. could have been a different colour, different paper, for yes. example. Yes, it's really cool. And that's what I say, if you like the, the bright colours like orange and pink, or it will be really different, yes. but also very, beautiful, also very pretty. Okay, for this one, my idea was to glue the letters down like this oh and now my plan falls into pieces now okay i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay sometimes I, I had i was planning on doing it this way but i can do it this way too so no worries that's good very uh, versatile then, yes very versatile <laughs> where are my other elements right now oh here okay this is one of the tags it's this one. Oh yes yeah and you can uh, cut it both, uh, two different sides. So you can 
take the, um, the solid piece, it's this card, and there's a little frame here included. So right. if you cut the, the solid one and the frame together, it will give you this one too. So you can put them on top of each other. Right. I hope this makes sense. And what's really cute, and I saw it in Marie, Marie Claire's journal, and she made this. So I wanted to show it to you too, because uh, she, uh, she die cut both of them and then cut one off over here and she applied a little cellophane bag oh, with uh, paper clips. So it's really nice yeah. to, um, to give this as a gift to a friend or you can put little bits and pieces in it. Uh, maybe some stamps if you want to give them to, uh, to a friend or yeah. here she put in the little um, um, paper clips but you can do sequins or other embellishments. It's, and I, I like thought that. it was a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah. very cute. Yes, it is. Like, yeah, when you send someone a card, you can, yeah, it's a little gift. Yeah. I thought it was really fun and I wanted to show it to you. Lovely, it's great. But that. I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use it in a different way now uh, because I stamped one of the new uh, girls on some vellum paper and I want to um, attach this in between the two layers. So I am going to use my, oh, uh, where it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I'm looking for my, Hold on. I thought I had everything everything prepared, but of it's course. in the wrong envelope. It's always it's always the way. It's always the way. We're be yeah. best made plans and all of that. So. Yeah, and and I had some um, double sided adhesive, and I did put it in an envelope, but it's in the wrong envelope. <laughs> okay, it's yeah, it's here. <laughs> it's for the next pre presentation. Oh. Uh, but it's here. It's no all right. We found it. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I knew where it was somewhere. <laughs> now I have to, Yeah. <laughs> In my room. <laughs> yeah. My, my okay. finding system is exactly the same at home, if I'm um, honest as well. I knew where oh, I put it. Yes. Someone's always, yeah, somebody and, else has and, always moved it. <laughs> yeah, and it's always, most of the time, it's right in front of you. <laughs> yes, it is. Exactly. <laughs> That's what's happening to me. Yeah. If yeah. I'm looking for my. Uh, adhesive or glue, it's somewhere, but it's also always <laughs> very uh, or, close to you. Or if I'm always looking for my glasses, they're on my head. <laughs> amount of times <laughs> I've gone around is. looking for them and they've been there all the time. It's, it, I, I know, yeah. it's okay. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same one looking for your phone and it's in your hands. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I think this is the easiest way for me. You can measure it uh, before you apply it, but you can also do it like this. Right. And then trim, trim the edges off. So, my scissors, where are those? <coughs> That's a lovely stamp, that, actually, isn't it? Really lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of my new uh, girls. <laughs> so I'm trimming this off, too. Yeah, very cute. And if you want, you can do some journaling here or maybe add another um, sentiment stamp. It's all up to you, but I leave it uh, this way for mm. now. And, of course, I have to attach this one to the solid piece. So again, oh, some of the double-sided adhesive. Well, I mean, it is lovely again when you're working with uh, the different mediums. So I know we've got the papers that are there as well to work with, but when you're working with yes. other things like vellum, again, and, and every page turn just has that different feel and different look about it, you know, regarding yes. of the, yeah. the colors. But I think that's what's so yeah, lovely about the whole collection. Yeah, and, and vellum is always um, neutral, yeah. I think, and it goes with, it goes with almost everything. Everything, yes. Yeah, and I think a lot of uh, the customers at home will have some film at home too. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to apply those together or attach them together. And if you want, you can distress the edges, of course, but I leave it for, for now, I leave it like this uh, to save some time. Uh -huh. And now I see what I was going to do wrong. My planning is not working because I stamped the girl on this side and I was planning on doing it this way, you know, so she was oh, showing yeah. up here and now you won't see her. Okay, but imagine she's a little bit more to the left, okay? Yes, <laughs> that's all right. Okay, just pretend she's not uh, hiding <laughs> on, behind the, this week <laughs> she's not hiding she's not okay no then we have also in the set this li little or small uh, few master uh die oh, yeah you see him over here yeah and what i did to prepare it i took some paper from the reminiscence book 
and it's the book. I think it's also on the show, is it? Oh yes, we've got that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah with yeah. the uh, with the washi yeah. tape. Yes, yes, the combination. And I took the numbers from the bingo cards over here. Oh yeah, so they're I great. Can, yeah, yeah. And those numbers go exactly, well, almost exactly behind the openings of the of the wheel. So I already prepared it. I just trimmed them down, you know, those separate numbers like this. Yes. And in the back, you can see all the squares. And I just put a little bit glue around it. And I made a little um, bread. This is what you call a bread, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> or, a bread, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, in between, so it can turn. Oh, like pretty. Oh, I see. Yes. So my, yeah, my plan was to attach it somewhere around here. So I have to make a hole somewhere here. It's just eyeballing. I'm not really good in measuring and the rough uh, making it more. Yeah, making it more difficult than it is. So <laughs> as you can see, and I wanted to be. Oh, I wanted to say you one more thing. Mm. If you want to use it, uh, for example, on the edge of a page like this, it's better to apply a, uh, another one at the back like this. Right. So it co it covers up the. Um, the little pieces, you oh, know. Oh, I it's, see. Yes. It's more, yeah, it's more pretty if you want to show the backside. If you do it like this. Got you. But for but for me now, it's only on the page, so it's not necessary to cover the the backside. And I am only to go into. And I want it to be this way because uh, there's a little bit of text over here, and I want to be it to be. You can read it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> But I mean, when it's turning, it's turning, you know, it's not yeah. that much of an issue, but I thought it was cute to that do it lovely. like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then the girl, uh, more like this, but she should be here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's and our little then, thing. Only we know that. Nobody else needs to know yeah, that. That's only, good. No. That's all right. And what's also uh, really fun about these mini few masters, you can use them as a whole reinforcer over this. Oh, so right. what I did, when, yeah, what I did when I designed it, wait, I will move this away for uh, the middle one is exactly fitting uh, the middle part of the, the, the middle of the three rings. Oh, the, I see. You can, yeah, you can use this in the the sidekick planner, which we are working on now. But you can also use it in the larger planner, the original one. Right. And if you're moving moving it, like it looks like this. But if you're moving it like this, it exactly um, it lines up. Fits. The, yeah, it lines up. Yes, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It lines up perfectly. So. For example, you glue it down like this, and then trim this off, and then you've got a really cool. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, so it's yeah, lovely. Yeah, so it's going to be here. It's not really a reinforcer, but you can use it as a, a yeah. reinforcer too. So I thought about that when designing it. That's great. That I love the fact yeah. that it doubles uh, so, up. It doubles up on that. That's lovely. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So okay, this one is going to be here, and then I'm going to apply some. Um, reinforces uh, around the the holes over here and if you want you can so do some journaling in here uh, <clears throat> what i also like to do is with the washi tape because this one says this week and then we've got this cool washi tape and you can take parts of it this so this says let's make stories you would be able to glue this one down only no. let's make stories this week that's or, great. Um, yeah, happy little moments. You can do it too, like this, or stories together, or make stories together. It's all up to you. Yeah. I think I'm uh, I'm going to use um, the happy little moments for this week. Oh, we I'm all sorry. need happy little <laughs> moments in a week. Yes. Yeah. Especially now. Especially now. <laughs> yeah. Especially if yes. people are doing homeschooling. Yes, yes, yes. I love need, a happy little it. moment. Yeah. <laughs> are the schools open? Are the school, all the schools open in the UK or still closed? No, we're still closed. It just means that so okay. far, mummy and daddy are teaching, but I try to lock myself in the staff room. <laughs> <laughs> That's really smart of you. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I've yeah. been in there since January. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the schools are going to, are opening here again on Monday. The the for the the smaller children. All oh, right, I can send mine there then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> send them over. <laughs> uh, I will I will create a spare room for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send them with a the bubble out. They'll be fine in the snow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, don't forget their hats and, and scarves exactly. and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be fun, wouldn't it? It would, yeah, I'd love that. Yeah. Okay. Now's a really good time to do a school exchange. We'll send everybody yes, over. Yes, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, well, this was just for, for this one, and it really looks really nice. I love that. When you, yeah. I'm going to s sneak it in somewhere. Oh, here you can see the same <clears throat> idea from uh, oh, Anita. Oh, yes. Yeah, she did it here. So that's also really cool. Uh, I like this idea too. Yeah, that, that looks great with so, that. So, and if you want, you can also do a picture in here or, but for for the show, I was thinking this was a really nice with that's the girl lovely. and do some journaling over here. Oh, that's, but listen, thank you so much for, I, I know you've explained <laughs> okay. how some of those dyes work in that as well. So thank you very much. We'll yeah. just let you reset. We'll, we'll do a quick yeah. recap and then we'll come straight okay. back to you we'll then. Come back. Lovely. Okay. See you soon. Okay. See you in a minute. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it, oh, oh, well, I, she's absolutely fantastic, isn't she? Now we are with the one day special. Oh, yeah, we're over three quarters of the stock uh, already allocated. Um, really lovely. And again, as you can see there, you know, with the demonstration, the lovely thing is there is so much you've got to hand on this, which is absolutely brilliant. But for every page turn, you've got a different look, a different feel. You can change that with your different papers, the colour schemes that you use. It's those personal little touches that you add into this as well that really do make the difference. But you've got so many tools at your disposal with this collection that no uh, uh, you know if you give the same all this the same kit to the to, to 10 people not not one of those um, files would look the same I mean there is so much room for your own individuality to add into these and not just for obviously you know this journal but for years and years to come you you're probably you know only gonna touch the surface on some of the elements you've got in here it is jam packed with dies that you can work with and of course you've got your stamps uh, which are lovely we saw a couple of those being used also um just a second ago you know and uh, that's all part of the set here now this top row uh, that was actually a, a complete set on its own that has gone uh, individually so you can't actually get this unless you go for the complete collection and this is what they actually the stamps that were just being used just there uh, that you can see uh, so but this is only now part of the complete one day collection in your essentials now when you think about this for any collection to start if you're just starting your collection with these to do work your journals or you're adding to what you've already got you know you're getting so much in here 39 stamps which is phenomenal 101 dies uh, which is uh, again a huge huge amount which is absolutely brilliant um what was that sorry but all oh, the dice sets. yeah let's just turn around some of the dice sets so you can see again a little bit more of an idea of exactly how we how you can use i know we just had the this week one that's just been used uh, there but this will give a little bit more of an idea of how some of these actually will look once they've been cut within the pages and what you can add but as you can see you've got so many different elements that are all going to go together i know paula was saying that just on the on the crossover we had a second ago from the uh, her happy hour uh, at, uh, at seven to this hour just saying what an amazing Amazing, amazing collection that this is and she was absolutely you know really glowing about it because there are so many elements it's the little pockets that you can have it's the little the little wordings that are going into there those little pouches that are into there there is all those elements with nature and gardening and you know that you can sort of go for it. if that really is something of a theme that you really love perfect for keeping your journal again for all your gardening ideas your photographs of course throughout the year and those little pouches those little pockets that were being made as well just really lovely so every page there's something fresh to look at which is incredible now we are approaching now 80 percent of the stock i just want to uh, if you are just tuning in with us this morning you've got your coffee or your cup of tea or your fruit juice with us um and you're just just starting your morning i just want to make uh, the point it's not one of those again then we say okay 80 percent but when that's gone there's another one extended the whole of the stock is now in play that is it there are no more we can't get any more for this one for the one day special for you there's the last 20 percent of the stock going we still got a live show at 12 and another live show if the stock is there for the one day special at four so please grab this now of course individually if you're going to go for the different sets on these of course there are savings across the board all of those 
All of those added together is £36 worth of savings, of course, which is brilliant. Now, that is on top of, then, the £12 that you're getting for the one-day special saving here. Now, that is amazing. Now, uh, non-Freedom members, you'll be saving £48 in total when you think about that one. Now, if you're a Freedom member... <sighs> £67 pound saving and your 14 pence, don't forget that. But really, phenomenal amount of savings. And don't forget, that for that price of 172 that includes delivery. So you really are getting a huge bundle with a huge saving on there. Now, even, even better, of course, is the best way is to spread the cost. If you want to go on your Flexi, it's been split over three payments. That really does make a difference. And your first payment for all of this, £57 pounds and 41 pennies only, which is absolutely brilliant. 110541 is your item code that you'll need for this. But if you're looking at that, you're salivating at the idea, licking your lips with what you can do with your journal with it, don't delay. Please grab it now whilst you can. Now, I just want to point out a couple of the other things. This is the, I love this. This is the, um, the book and the, uh, the washi tape. Uh, there's all parts of one uh, section, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, approaching half of the stock, we saw some of the washi tape that was being used uh, a second ago, of course. And again, you don't need a lot of your washi tape, do you? But you've got lovely amounts on those with your six washi tapes that you got there. And of course, you've got your book. This has got 64 sheets in it. And I looked at this and I just thought, this is absolutely amazing. The pages in here are absolutely brilliant. There are so much you could do, whether you've got your... I mean, they are double-sided again, but you've got even individual projects, of course, you could take for that. We look at the numbers, uh, but even just on those, you could just cut some of those out. And you've got, I mean, one page You've got little elements here that are really... I mean, there's so much in this book. There is a huge amount. Beautiful colours. Um, I love all the numbers. You've got big, bold images, um, but just really lovely florals uh, that are in part of this uh, that you can see. We also had the bingo cards uh, that she uh, was looking at and using, but they are all in there. Um, really beautiful. Just a gorgeous book, actually, of all your papers, which is absolutely brilliant. There's the bingo page, of course, that she was working with and taking for those. 042 887, and that's 2590 that's with a nine pound saving that's a huge amount in that particular book now also uh, the planners themselves we've actually got three options on your planners to work with um, so uh, should we start in the, should we try and go the same order we did earlier on just you know because uh, it's uh, just to, just to help out really I like to do a little bit uh, this is the espresso uh, I'll just open them up because we saw them earlier on the photos but just to give you an idea how you're looking so you've got a really lovely bind in the second again just pressing down on the two little tags there so that's really nice to bind them together. You've also got then, you've also got the side, you've got the little slits in the pocket there, you've got your side pocket, you've also got your side packet at the back, and you've also got then your little area to pop your pen holder in there, all brought together with the elasticated binder, of course, and even a little tag on the bit there that you can actually add anything onto there if you want. This is your Espresso, it's 18 99 that's 238 583 for the Espresso. Then, let's go to the beach. Oh, wouldn't that, wouldn't that, oh, a little moment then. Moving on. Uh, this is the beach. Uh, we're there. Eighteen ninety nine. If you'd like to go, there. I love that colour. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry about that. Six eight seven nine seven. No, what? No, apparently not. No. Um, six eight seven nine seven nine eighteen ninety nine for the beach. And uh, Hard Hardy, my blush is moving straight on to the uh, the beautiful olive greens that we have for you. I'm loving that. I'm loving the little sort of the, the little gold area that you can see. Lovely little little gold droplet. Uh, this is uh, 1999 964 379, and that's 1999 for those if you want to go for that. Really good prices. Uh, one more to show which are the uh, the reinforcer dice there. This is brilliant and, again, absolutely fantastic. I know she was uh, talking about, you know, reinforcing some of the holes around there anyway on the pages and, and some of the elements she was doing, but this will give you 12 dies to be able to do that. Again, and each one, you've got your chevrons, you've got your little daisies in there that you can see. I love this one, little, the little tags that you can see, but little rivets. Uh, so Certainly, if you want to go for the sort of mechanical feel and the look on those, really nice, actually. 296... 019, and that's 1899, and that's for 12 of your dies of your fantastic reinforcement sets. Uh, it's gorgeous. Right, shall we go back over and see for even more inspiration and how you can work with these uh, and uh, and see how it actually is doing? How, how are we? You're, you're still with me. Yes, I'm still with you. No worries. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's great. That's brilliant. I, I, we, yeah, we've got about I said 15 I minutes. Oh, yeah, we've got okay. about 15 minutes left try... still. Okay, I will do my best. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to show you this page the, from the new set. It's with the torn paper edge. And it has really cute elements like uh, a mini globe, birds, an owl, a water planter, mason jars, and a tap. So um, I'm going to show you how to make this page with a mat. Right. So what you can do, yeah. So you can um, cut one as it is, you know, like the, like the die itself. And then if you want, you can uh, take another piece of paper and dr draw the inside of the um, the die and then cut it out by hand. But right. I think that's a little bit too complicated with this torn edge because I want it to be exactly the same like this. So what I do is I cut another page and I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. So I'm taking my paper cutter and what I'm going to do is take, a, take off a little bit of the top part and at the bottom part. So it's just a few millimeters. Am I still um, visible on the camera? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, is this? Okay. Okay. And then you can see it's a little bit smart, smaller at the top and, and the bottom part. And I also want it to be the same distance from the edge on this side. So I take a pen and I think I should be somewhere uh, like here. So I have to cut off the holes, you know? So. Just some eyeballing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not measuring. Are you the same <clears throat> with cooking? Do you just go with a rough estimate yeah, of what you uh, Yeah. I, I hardly cook. I hardly cook, to be honest. <laughs> my, my husband does does most of the cooking. Oh. So I hope you, you can see it now. It's a little bit uh, smaller than the original page. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a distressed look. I was thinking about that, but I don't see my distress ink. Okay. Mistake number two this morning. <laughs> no one's counting. Nobody's counting. No. Okay. I'm sure there is some ink left on this. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> so it gives a little bit more of an effect when you put it, um, when you put the two layers of paper on top of each other. Right, right. If you distress it just a little bit. It's amazing how those, li those little yeah. tips, those little things can make yeah. a difference when it's done. Yes, yes, it pops out a little bit yes, more. Yes, yeah. Yeah, because both of those papers are quite busy, you know, and yeah. when you don't do it, it's, it's a little bit, yeah, it's not really visible, but you can see now it's can, much yes. more effective yeah. this way. It's just a little detail. Yeah. Okay, so I am quickly going to attach this because when you say 15 minutes, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, only 15 minutes. Well, it's actually 14 now, <laughs> yeah. but don't worry. But you know, <laughs> I don't want to put any more pressure on. <laughs> no, no, pr no, no pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> we're back together. At, we're really... back together again at 12. I really don't mind. Uh, yes, 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 no problem. I feel completely relaxed now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. I don't need to cover the holes, of course. So I'm going to eyeball it and stick it down like this. So this is a mat, and you can you, you can do it yourself. Then we've got those cute little file folders mm. also in this set. Yeah, they're great. And yeah, and these stems like these, uh, most of them fit the the space over here. So for example, you can make uh, measure it uh, before you stamp it. As you can see, this one goes here, oh, I see, and yeah. the home one. Yeah, the home one is a little bit too long. It goes on the other uh, seat pocket. It fits better over that one. Right. So I think I am going to use maybe the journal one, or should I do the home one? Yeah, the journal one. I like that one. So if you are not sure if something fits, just take out the cellophane paper or the acetate paper, and you can try it first measure before it you stamp yes. it. I see, yeah, yeah, measure it. Okay, I'm going to do some quick stamping. And this set also has really uh, cute other elements, which I also prepared uh, in advance, and I'm going to show them to you in a minute. Right, okay. So I'm going to do the journaling part over here. But what I love about these, actually, you know, regarding for the journal, but the, the other sort of stamps and the images we've got are great for m loads and loads of projects, aren't they? I mean, you're going to yes, get a yes, lot of yes. use, not just in journaling, but a lot of use across these. Yeah, you can also use them for cards or scrapbooking mm. or project life, 
there's so many possibilities. I think this one is really cute too. And yeah. then there's, um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, a butterfly? No, it's not a butterfly. It's cha cha cha. Oh, now my English is it, again. Um, what? Uh, oh, dragon, it's a, is it a dragonfly? Yes, a dragonfly. dragonfly. I was going to say it's at the tip of my tongue, but <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> okay, I'm going to <laughs> apply that one here, and I also cut one out of vellum. So if you like it, you can uh, attach those two together and don't glue down the, the wings of this one. Oh, I Just see. leave them like they are. So I'm only gluing down the, the dragonfly itself, and then the, the butterfly of the, the, the second layer. I am not gluing down completely. I leave the wings um, unglued. <laughs> right. Not sure if that's a that's a correct word, but, but I knew exactly what you meant, though. So it does. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, but you get that lovely uh, sort of freedom feel with them as well, natural yes, feel yes. with them. You you can pop up the wings a little bit like this, and then you can glue it down with a little bit, or you can use some double-sided adhesive or a stapler, but. I mean, stapling down a dragonfly is not really cool. Uh, no, <laughs> so we don't want to hurt the dragonfly. This is more friendly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I won't hurt it. It would look like a dragonfly with piercings. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, if you are going to apply this like this, so that's really cool on its own. I love that. That's uh, great. Yeah. And then you maybe can take a picture or something like that. Um, this is not the, the... No, I'm not going to use this one. I'm thinking of using one of those. You see, what I, what I really love about them is, my little trim. Is, is that every page, for example, it has, I, mean, I said there's like different looks, but actually it's almost like every page has really got several mini projects inside right. one page. Yes. They're yes. not just that's the page. Yeah. Yeah, and I love, I, that's what I really love about them, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way, uh, way to explain it. Min multiple mini projects on yeah. one page yes yes because you can also glue down one p picture or something if you like or if you don't have much time you can make it as complicated as you want yes yeah yeah and maybe i'm doing something like this and then or maybe two pick i think i take two because it's a little bit too much i'm trimming off and I think I will do something like this. So, yeah, okay. And then you can, if you want, uh, let me see. Um, these are the little cute, uh, oh, now I've got ink on my fingers. I'm sorry for that. Oh. <laughs> these are the mini, mini globes which are there. So I made a few as a gift oh, tag. Lovely. These are also in the same set. They're but lovely. you can also attach them somewhere here if you want uh, the mini mason jar. And oh. I made one as a gift tag too. They're cute. I hope you can. Yeah, can you see them? Yes, yeah, perfectly. Yeah, okay, they're... okay, okay. And this little cute bird, I want to show that one to you too. <laughs> uh, and I, there's also some double sided adhesive at the back to start with. And then you can take this part out. I'm putting this aside for a moment. And then, for example, I just took a, a plain piece of paper. It's a little bit um, off white, and I'm distressing it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I took out this part, and if you're going to distress this separately and put it back in again, then it gives you the effect of this one. I'm not oh, sure if it's I visible see. on camera. I see. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, a different color. It... Yes. Oh, I love those little so, mini jars, and the, and the, they are, yeah. they're so lovely. Yeah, they're so cute, aren't they? I will put them over here so you can see them. And then I'm going to place back uh, this little wing part or his belly. <laughs> so you can <laughs> see the effect with a little bit of distress ink, how, how different it looks. Yes. Yeah. And I think, oh, hold on. And now you can distress it a little bit more on the edges if you want, or leave it just like it is. And then you've got this little cute bird, and it's in the set in two different sizes. Uh, so yeah. there's a small, yeah. 
I'm, you see, here's the bigger one, and this is a smaller uh, one. Ah, yes, yes, got and, you. And they go, uh, they look both uh, in a in a different direction, so mm. you can put them on opposite of each other, and they look to each other like this. <laughs> yeah. See, can oh, you see? Oh, love birds. Yeah, yeah, love birds. So maybe <laughs> that's nice for fa for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a cool idea. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to attach uh, the picture over here, and then. You see, it's not really complicated to make pages like this because with one set you can al already do a lot of different things. Yeah. Oh, and absolutely. You can also mix mix and match all the sets together, of course, and also use the sets for the, from the first release because they all go very very well together. Yes. Yeah. So I think I'm going to put her down here. And you say there's there's and more to come. You've still got inspiration to make more. Oh, oh yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, but the next uh, now, this is the sidekick, and the next release will probably be the the largest ice planner again, the wow. the regular one. So we can't do everything at the same time. No. So it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> no. So th this one might be really cool here, and then you can add a little bird on top, or maybe here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it here. Otherwise, it's in her face. No, that's not funny. Oh, you should, oh, this is nice too. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to apply it like this. So as you can see, that's a really cool way to make uh, quite a quick page. Then yeah. you have some tab. You can make one of the tabs uh, maybe over here with the date or her name on it. So it gives you a uh, nice yes. idea. Um, yeah. Just to give you some uh, inspiration. I'm sure all the customers have their own ideas, and for me, it's also uh, really a surprise to see what the design team makes, because uh, when they send it to me for the show like this, yeah. I'm really surprised of all the all the things I see, I see, and and then it makes me think, oh, why didn't I think of doing it this way? <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, that's that's so much fun because everybody. Uh, has his own th ideas about um, yeah. things and, and creating stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So this is the page uh, for now. It, 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 I, am I still in time? No. Or? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely perfect. Yeah. We, we, we've okay, we've we've got about four minutes left. But I was just wondering before before we okay. say goodbye, uh, just two things. The yeah. first thing is, if yeah. if somebody's watching and they've never done journaling before, they've never mm -hmm. even they've yes. never works on one die they've even bought a, a journal in that respect is yeah. there any advice that you know just when you're starting out to, to, to go with this you know i know there's a lot of people uh -huh. watching that will do a lot of journaling but for those that are wanting yeah. to have a go is there any golden rule for this or anything like that no i i don't think there's a golden rule because um you can do it any way you like i mean uh, when we just started with the, the planners and the journals um, my idea was, um, and that's well, where everything comes from, yeah. that we have so many pictures on our phones, on our uh, computers and things like that. Yeah. And uh, our generation and our children is the most photographed generation ever. Wow. So, and I thought that was a waste uh, of, of pictures. Oh, uh, if they are only on your phone, you, you never see them again. Yeah. And when you make a book, uh, uh, or a journal, and you use those pictures, uh, it's so nice to watch back and browse through your memories and things come up again. So yes. that's when it all started. And if you like documenting things, and it doesn't matter if it's from your children, your dog, your cat, your garden, um, yeah, it, it's all up to you. Yeah. It's so versatile. You can use it so many ways. Yeah. But just start easy. Take a few dies, or um, now you've got those special offers, and and just um, start playing. Yeah. And I... we have we we have a, a great Facebook group. So for people who are new, please join the Facebook group. It's ECD Planners and Journaling. Right. And there is so many ideas and so many members who are posting the most beautiful things over there. So if you need inspiration and you are a starter, please join us in the Facebook group. That sounds absolutely perfect, and yeah. thank you so much indeed. I, I really appreciate that. So, um, just uh, we're, we're back okay. together at twelve. What can we expect from you yes. at twelve? What, have you got, have you got some ideas already? What we can see? Yes, yes, yes. I've got two more journals to show you Lovely. From, from our design team members, and I've got some great, great samples and demonstrations too. So perfect. hopefully we've got plenty of time then. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we will. <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for this last hour. Okay, you're welcome. Enjoy your break. Okay. I look forward to seeing you at twelve. Yes.
Okay, see you to see you later today. Bye bye. Say, see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, oh, absolutely amazing. What a lovely, lovely lady indeed. And you know what? It made me think. Then I was uh, when I was saying, you know, are there any golden rules? And she said, look, you know, we are the most photographed sort of uh, 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 time of our lives, basically, with all that. And I think that's lovely. I know we think about looking at these journals now. But if these are pictures that you're putting in there of your children or your grandchildren or your pets or your, your house as it is at the moment or your garden as it is or, or if you're going through, I mean, what a perfect time. I know we can't do much travelling at the moment, but what a perfect time to get some of those pictures that you may have on your computer, on your phone, uh, on your iPads or anything like that. Get those printed off and to start putting them together because we always say, oh, one day I'll do an album. Uh, Now's the time to do it. And what I think is going to be lovely is when we look back at these in maybe two years, three years, four, five years' time, maybe ten years' time, and someone else is looking at these as well and going through, when they find those little pouches and they find those little pockets, those little secret areas, and those photographs come out or an image comes out or some, some inspirational words there and they find them. And that's, I think, when your journal really turns into something really quite magical. You know what's in there because you're making it, but maybe in ten years' time we'll forget what we did on that page or we'll forget this or someone else will see it for the first time. This kit... I think that's the way that we start to look at those, which is absolutely phenomenal. We are creating memories, you know, and uh, you know, we don't want to leave that just uh, to, uh, to, so the, to the internet, do it for having those photographs. So what a way to do it. This is a kit that has got all those options for you. 110541, brilliant Freedom Member price on this one. If you're not a Freedom Member, then why not for this price? Because you're getting such a saving. And again, you'll still reap the, uh, the rewards as well there. Because actually your rewards on this is £67 saving, actually, which is really quite phenomenal. And of course, and the 14p. And, uh, and of course, you're also then going to get your rest of your posting and packaging for the rest of the month as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you're feeling inspired. I hope you started thinking about those photos somewhere and where are they and uh, what you could start to do with them. But uh, I can't wait to be back again at 12 o'clock with you uh, for your one-day special um, for even more of those. But don't forget to get those in your basket and get them checked out. For this hour, thank you very much indeed. Paula is up on the other side of this. It is your craft treat coming up next. And then the lovely Leone is going to be in the studios for all and create. I can't wait for that hour. It'll be absolutely brilliant. Then we've got also the Catalonia Dotsman is going to be coming up just after that. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app 
and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochander to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and Percovano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. How are you doing? Well, we have got a craft treat, and it's not just in name only, but also in person because we have got Karen Kids as well here. Good morning, how are Paula. You? How are you? And we're always looking forward to working with you. But also, this is the first time that uh, we I, we work together with a craft treat. It is. Yes, it's my first my first outing with craft treat. Yes, and definitely. I have to say, I, like as soon as we walk in, I saw one of the samples that Karen has done, and I was like I really really love her take so of course stay tuned for amazing demos because Karen take you take another spin into them it's not just me it's the miracles as well the ladies that do my DT team they've done some absolute marvelous samples well, you, um, you, I'm just going to do different techniques with it we've all had a different take you, you know that the lovely Jo Channon usually does craft yeah. treat she's re resigned from craft treat it's been given to me and I'm not mixed media it's all new to me and it's just a different different way I love that moving forward learning absolutely now we have got a happy hour a craft treat from craft tree to begin with now that kind of works it that you are getting the tote bag so it's a nice tote bag I love that because it's you know tote bags sometimes they have got like super long handles and neither yeah. Karen or I like long handles for bags oh no they so drag on the floor exactly. you'll send it with all exactly. in the bottom I yeah. knew you would understand yeah. about it. but also I love it because you have got a nice deep uh, gusset in here so it's a lovely but it's a perfect surface to bring our stencils onto. It certainly is it's big enough and it's also take your large journals as well if you want to be carrying your journals around. Absolutely. Now talking about the stencils you're getting two of them in and the happy hour now you are getting the amazing paisleys and of course those corner florals in here which you can use them on their own. Now this is a happy hour deal this bundle which means that the price, well, that saving of four pounds is here only for 57 minutes. So do check out your baskets. It's going very quickly as well as I can hear it. So please make sure to check. Don't think that it's going to last at all 57 minutes because the stock might not last. 067923 is your item number now. 
We have got lots to show you, uh, so I'll try to be as quickly as possible, but shop ahead by all means. Now, the first bundle we have got in here are 12 by 12 stencils. You are getting positivity, uh, and they are just a large mandala, which is one of my favorites, and dream big. I'm going to turn around the dream big because you can see dream big the letters, but if I turn it over, I like the other way around, uh, you can see the beautiful mandala here. Now, um, how much have you enjoyed picking and choosing these stencils? They are large stencils, so for my doodling into my journals, yeah. they've been absolutely amazing to doodle into. I can draw, into, draw around them. I get put off doing journals and, and pictures because I feel I can't draw. Yeah. This helps me. It's, it's something to, to draw around and then I can doodle. But I can never do the outside yeah. edge. This has given me all the outside edges. You can uh, you can uh, put stencil ink through them, put paste through them, uh, use them with pens, all sorts of things. But the nice big big focal ones, even make uh, wall art for them. Absolutely. Wall or art. I was thinking as well, upcycling uh, furniture. Definitely. Because the large yes, bold uh, yeah. elements. Yes, yeah. Catherine would love to be doing uh, it. Absolutely, using them. yeah, with her, and, you know. And they're very, very and nice. Uh, you know, the mandala is becoming popular again. It is. And isn't it's it? such a beautiful mandala. We always love a, 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 um, a dream catcher. And then you've got the, um, the cups and, and the positivity. And you said it so amazingly. I had to learn how to say positivity. <laughs> <laughs> Positivity. Uh, right, and uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 845572 is your item number. Then the next one set that we have got here is a set of four stencils, a smaller size, of course they are. Uh, this is the Karen and Paula size uh, sort of stencils, uh, rather than maybe uh, um, Natasha size, the other one. <laughs> She's got that, yeah. Oh, yeah, the size. And now here, you know, these stencils I absolutely adore. You are also getting the mask as well as the stencil and you can see them here uh, so if basically this one is a three in one uh, or actually four in one uh, then you are getting the peacock also two in one so you have got the more detail so imagine this will be a very good um, Karen to do maybe with stencil paste and then ink on top for the highlights yeah, but you can do two layers of stencil paste as Ooh, well absolutely. definitely two different colors glitter paste, glitter paste one. You must know my demos every oh. time. You know everybody's demos, don't you? You definitely do. I do know, but yeah. I kind of... No, you've uh, not seen it, but you're a mind reader. Well, I'm not Paul's a mind reader. A mind reader. We, I think we are crafters, so we kind of... Think you think about, along the same lines. Along the same yes. lines. Yeah. Then we have got in here the gorgeous, beautiful, kind of like... It's like raindrops. It could be also... Uh, it's a two-step paisley, so you can use them with those ones as well together. But I actually, you know what I was thinking? They are like tiny paisley or tiny raindrops or for a typography sort of thing. It's like a comma. It is. Yeah, turn it upside down. Yeah. It becomes speech marks. Absolutely. Put two so together. Don't think that because it's a stencil that you have to completely copy it like that. You can you can doodle or, sten or stencil through one item and then move on to the next one. Use it as an overall thing rather than just okay. thinking of it as a one Marvelous. thing. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Zero four three nine two four seven is your item now. Now the next bundle is incredibly busy, so please do check out your basket. You lo love the eyes, don't you? The eyes have seen it. Uh, now, uh, now, of course, you have it here. Now, I have to say, I love the fact that you are getting so many variations of the eyes. Yes. Yeah, you get five pairs, and you can use a left eye, a right eye. You can just use one eye. Um, absolutely stunning. Draw into them, stencil through them, just ink through them. Uh, you use all your different paste, everything else that you've got, and eyes are very, very popular. They are. Put that onto a journal or onto one of your pages and work round, round it. You've got the big focal for I mean, an eye. look at that. They are stunning. And then, of course, you turn it around and you have got all the eye. eye, eye. Uh, then we have got, of course, if that's not the only uh, stencil that you are getting. You are getting three more in this bundle. The prices are amazing. Yes, yes. Stuart's done a really good job with those, hasn't it? 
Definitely. And then, of course, you have got the gorgeous uh, kind of, um, we would say the eagle, or is it red kite, like here around the result, uh, the gorgeous bird flying, and then the gorgeous friends are the chosen, our chosen family. Well, that's true, isn't it? Friends it is. are chosen family. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about your birds. A bird's a bird. It's got two wings, and that's as far as I know, Paula. Well, we around here, there's a lot of red they kites. They are beautiful, And ospreys they? as well. Yeah. Did you know what an osprey is in Spanish? Go on. Aguila pescadora. I couldn't do that if I tried. <laughs> I it's, couldn't get my teeth round it. Yeah, it, it means um, a fishing, um, fishing eagle. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So they look very similar in here, but a quarter of the stock of this bundle has already got. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Indeed, absolutely. Uh, very apt, especially nowadays, like we can make the most out of it. We've got to make the most of what we're doing, haven't we? Yeah. And finally, what are your dreams? Uh, and indeed, it's kind of really positive to you work towards your dreams right? yeah yeah oh, and they're ideal for I've got right into journals and doing mm. bits on journals you know um, um, they, they completely mismatch all the way through they don't follow any pattern at all but, but whatever I feel like practicing yeah. or doing and words like that are just perfect for it absolutely right 30% of the stock has already gone if you want to grab yours the item number you need to take note of is 786383 16 pounds and 99 pence remember to check out your bus especially the, also the happy hour um, deal now of course Karen will be back at, two, uh, at one o'clock uh, but the happy hour only lasts until this hour is for this hour so make sure to do that right we have got the also very popular set here now what we have got here is and again four six by six stencils uh, and you are getting here the ornate corners the flourish corner the flourish uh, posit uh, positive and po uh, flourish negative it's a lot of flourishes in here. It's, it's very home decor, isn't it? it is. It's the ones that you can go to town on. The positive, the flourish positive and the negative would mean that you'd be able to do it in two colours if you wanted to do it. You can do the outside of the flourish and then the inside mm -hmm. as well. And, and also with them being on a, on a straight, you can do borders, con continuous borders. But I would say that that's geared very much for large pieces, mixed media and your furniture. Absolutely. So you have got them here for fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. You are getting all four of them. Uh, you know, ornate flourishes with the corners. Of course, you do have them there. And I love that you are getting the smaller sizes as well. Yes. Yeah. That's your card making. That's your little your little bits on your furniture. Just you you you, you you draw fronts. Yes. And then the tops of it. So it's it's all mixed matched. I love and that. And there's there's a use usability on every single one of those. Like that usability. A 744 a 236 is your item number. 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Now, now we are moving on to decoupage papers. And now uh, we are getting 16 sheets in this bundle. Uh, we are four kind of collections of designs we've been included. So basically, are 16 completely different, right? 16. There's four four packets. And there's four sheets in each, and each sheet is different. So there are 16 yeah. all together. Fabulous. So you are getting the peacock feathers, the peacock, the paisley, and the birds. Uh, so now, uh, uh, 16 in total. So four by four designs per pack, four packs, if you make sense. So for instance, this is the bird. So you are getting this design, which I think is adorable. Uh, all of them are. Look at that gorgeous bird in here. Then we are, so you can see that all four designs are different so that's the birds you are getting them all four of them so then you can see that this is a decoupage so then that's what you can do just put it onto your canvas with the decoupage paper then you are getting four of the peacocks and you can see them here again you are getting uh, four completely different designs and then you are getting also some backgrounds and then you are getting the paste lace and the peacock feathers i'm not going to show you every single one of them i'll do that a, a little bit later on but let me show you uh a gorgeous actually samples that we have got now 
Is paper decoupage, what do you use it for exactly, Karen? Well, you can use it for covering furniture. Oh, yes. It's not rice paper. You can tear it, but you can also cut it and cut it round and, and build, um, you know, cover the edges up. It's uh, for home decor. It's for doing cards. It's been done and put onto cards. It's nice, sturdy decoupage paper. The what we used to call the traditional decoupage where you layer it and not the 3d decoupage yes. but uh, absolutely top quality um it, i found that when i did it in some of them i got creases but by the next morning there were the creases that yeah there. i was panicking thinking oh i bubbled it yeah. but by once it had dried it dried flat it has and then that's a really nice shot because we can see in here the texture of the uh you know really kind of it nice has got a texture to it yes yes it's like a it's like a posh decoupage paper i would say yeah. Absolutely. Uh, 9.99 is your price. And uh, now, of course, if you want it, uh, you can have it. Uh, check out your baskets. 8497.83 is your item number. I just wanted to show you this because it kind of how well it kind of, sorry, I just only spotted this sample, uh, but kind of how well it kind of uh, goes around the curvature of the glass jar. Um, the curvature of the very door. Uh, right, of course, that's the papers. And also a super affordable price at 99 pens. Uh, right, layering stencils. Now, can you tell us, uh, Karen, about what is again the layering stencil concept? So a stencil, you would, when you're inking it, you would normally just go through with one colour. And then when you, if you want to put two or three different colours into it, you have to start thinking. This does all the thinking for you. So you've got one layer that you do with one colour and then you pop another layer on top and that does it does a second colour. So it's like the stamping when you know when you have the layering stamping when you can have three or yes. four layers. It's it's it gives you a versatility. Yes, you can use it all with one colour and you can layer it you can do it with one colour, put some on and then when you put your second layer on with the same colour it makes it darker. So it just gives all whatever you you're stenciling more depth. Yeah, of course you do. Uh, poppies, leaves, butterflies and pansies is what you are getting. Of course you can see the hummingbird there as well. 248909 is your item number. Then we are going to one of the sets that I love. It's one of those ones, no matter what you are doing, what technique you are doing, you want to have some texture stencils and these ones are it. Four, six by six. Uh, here you are getting the postal, the corrugated, uh, the stains and the splatters and newsprint. This is one of those ones that I can see myself using it almost in every page of my art journal. It's a staple. It's a staple. It's one of those that you can pop into the into your backgrounds. Um, you've, you've got a bit of everything in there. Anything that you want to do, you've got splats, you've got drapes, you've got newsprint, you've got uh, corrugated. So if you run out of corrugated card, you can make it corrugated yourself. It's just what I would class um, a staple stock that you need. You, ne you need it yeah. in your stock, in your stash, and it's one to go to whenever there's just that little bit of something missing. Absolutely, I love it. I, I uh, even the lines like this. It's just just the tiny lines that you can in, uh, every now and again need to. Uh, Fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Remember, you don't have to ink it all. You can just use part bits and pieces. Five eight four three zero five is your item number. We have got also paper pads. Uh, we have got the vintage uh, plates. Uh, plates or plats? I always think plats. I always get it wrong, don't I? Uh, no, it's not a monthly mega deal. It's not. Uh, it's just $9.99. Uh, you have got a saving of £3, which makes it incredibly affordable if you think that it's 12 by 12 papers uh, that you are getting in the vi vintage plats. Uh, 2184544 is your item number. Now we have got more decoupage papers. Uh, these ones are the hydrangeas, peonies, red roses and lemons. If you want some lemons in your life to make lemonade, well here they are. Paper lemonade actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the same quality as uh, the ones that we've got on the counter. They are gorgeous. They're, 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 a beautiful, vibrant, spring-like, you know. Yeah, back your books, but uh, don't back all your books with Absolutely. it. You know, like we used to do at yeah. school when we Absolutely. used to put things on, on books. Uh, 9 is the price you are getting. 16 sheets in total, four kind of collections, four of each. Uh, now, you are getting, and now we ask, uh, if you wanted some grey board, uh, this is, you are getting 12 sheets in here. A4, 9 is your price. 8, 4, 5, 4, 6, 8. Eight three is your item number, but of course, um, let's not forget about the happy hour. The happy hour is for this hour only. Uh, very very polar. Uh, of course, while stocks last, eleven ninety nine is the price you are saving four pounds, and not only you are getting an A four stencil, a twelve by three inches stencil, but you are also getting. Let me show you the uh, toe bag. I think probably Karen could fit in here on myself as well. Oh, and it's. It has got a zipper. Wow. I mean, I'm not seeing it. I, what, is, what is it? I shouldn't have checked it first. Maybe not. That's the best surprise when you don't yeah. check it. There is, there yeah. is a zipper as well that you can close it up. Uh, but you can see it here nice. And, it, and it's a nice big uh, wide one as well. So you could have your 12 by 12 tools as well there. Right, uh, Karen? Uh, that, that's the part of the happy hour, so do check out your baskets for that. Right, Karen, um, what are you going to do? What I'm going to do is, rather than complete a project, yeah. is I'm going to do some um, techniques. Fabulous. Things that you can do with stencils. Things that I've been, obviously, uh, differently doing with stencils yeah. to what I normally do. Um, I have done some um, coloured backgrounds mm. and I was doing a little bit of research and you know how we colour a background and then we start on uh, decorating it and then we put white yeah. pen on it and everything else and we tend to ruin as wh our white pens don't we? Yeah. I'll keep ruining white pens and I keep thinking well they're good quality ones why am I ruining them and what it is is once you've done your cardstock leave it 24 hours and I bet oh. you'll not ruin the white pens afterwards. If you ink on it, leave it yeah. three hours. And it's just a bit of research I've been doing because I've been going through pens like water. But probably my impatience. <laughs> so well. these, I've gone on to some nice blue colours and all I've oh, done okay. is spritzed it and just left it to dry. I've got my stencil and I've put some mm -hmm. um, sticky tack on the back of it rather than sticking it down. I'm very, very heavy handed with my stencils and you can see here, um, I'm very heavy handed with stencils so gluing it down with a, yeah, a low tack, a low yeah. tack spray. Uh, it's now, better Ka for me. Karen, sorry to interrupt you. It's just, I'm really sorry, but 40, approaching 40% 40 of the stock has already gone. If you want it, please do check out your baskets as soon as you can uh, to make sure that you do not miss out. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. No okay. problem. So the first thing that we're going to do is do what we normally do and get a nice little bit of black ink. Yeah. Are you using Memento? I'm using my Memento. I probably, am I using the right one or the wrong oh, one? I don't, I don't know, I'm so, uh, you know. It, it, I'm, I, I'm, no, I'm asking uh, you, Paula. Oh, yes, definitely, because <laughs> it's a permanent dye base, so it will come yeah. out, uh, but it's water base, so you will, you will be able to clean the stencil off. But also you can layer on top other elements and it shouldn't bleed because it is permanent. Yeah. Yes. Although it's water-based. That's great. That's great. It's the one that I found that went the best on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, for instance, I sometimes use a Saison just because it's more permanent. But for a stencil such a large of this, um, they draw, like, you would have to use so much more ink because it dries so instant. Yes, yes, yes. And also stains a lot more this stencil. Yeah. I'm, I'm not... Uh, I don't use uh, the stays on as much as what I should do because I'm ever so clumsy and I tend to drop it and I ruin everything. Mm. But I was doing this, uh, so the the background has been dried and then I'm going to take it off Look and all that. it does is you just give you that, which is absolutely beautiful. So that ink has gone through there, absolutely amazing. What I am going to do is... I love the drop shadow and the life. The life, the drop yeah. shadow. It means you don't have to think about it. Absolutely. Even if you only use that little bit. Yeah. So let's get some embossing powder on there. I suppose you could create uh, life is 
perfect. Our life is a wonderful. If you just use life, wonderful, and then you use is from somewhere else. Well, you don't forget, you can when you're journaling, you yeah. can do it yourself. You can Absolutely. do your own writing as well. The more you do the journaling, the more you do the writing, the better that you get and the more confident yep. that you get. So I will just heat that if that's all right. And then it'll just, I've got a bit of stick on there. And you can see I've just spilt a little bit. So I've taken the ink off, but I wasn't even going to do this. I've got a different uh, demo with that. Let's have a go. Excuse the, uh, it'll go quickly. It'll go very quickly, but you will see such a great, there we go. Please do check out your baskets. If you're especially the happy hour, remember the happy hour is only for the yes hour only. So you need to check out your baskets. Remember the baskets also refresh themselves every 10 minutes. So you may have put it about 10 minutes ago and then they jump off and then somebody else grabs it. If you want a happy hour, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Remember you that saving will disappear at the end of the hour. Our decoupage page papers are very, very, very busy, very popular. If you want them, if you don't want to miss out, they are these ones. You are getting 16 sheets in total, the peacock feathers, the peacocks, the paisley and the birds. Uh, approaching 40% of the stock, uh, you are loving it. And if you love them, if you want them, please do check out your baskets. Only 9.99 for 16 decoupage sheets. Right, sorry about that. That's no problem. I got. I was making such a noise. So <laughs> that's the uh, that's the one where you just put a plain ink through it. Okay. And then what have we done here? You can see a coloured, and I've got the ink. I've got a cut another coloured one, and instead of putting a dark ink through, what I have done is okay. I've started off with um, my wow. Uh, okay. I'm going to change, uh, change uh, okay. uh, stencils. Yeah. I don't want my wow thing to be uh, absolutely covered oh. in black because I've not cleaned my stencil off yet. Uh, stencils, if you can't get them clean, throw them in the dishwasher if you've got one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, when you get paint on them, you yeah. can't get paint on. And uh, sometimes you don't get them dried. If you stick them in the dishwasher, they'll clean up. Ah, Cheryl told me that. Cheryl, mm. uh, on on low temperature, on like thirty. Just when, just when you, as you wash your dishes. Okay, well, yes. Just as you, she just put, she just puts them in with the dishes. Of course, if it was me, I, I would. I would probably do a second work. Like I would put the craft stuff one time and then the dishes in another <laughs> one. Just saying. Just well, it's, uh, it's Cheryl, uh, you know, one of my DT team, Cheryl. <laughs> uh, Cheryl's told me about it. And uh, oh, if, if mine get gunged up, I'll take them to her house because I don't have a dishwasher. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? I was so proud. I was like before Christmas because I bought my house. And then yeah. I was like, finally, I was like, I'm not sure what I'm more happier of owning my house of or actually owning a dishwasher again. That was the thing. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, right. Over 40% of the approaching half, actually, of this bundle. Uh, the chosen uh, friends are the chosen it's family. Absolutely beautiful. The eyes are absolutely mm. gorgeous. Right. And then we would emboss that as well. I'm not going to let you what what make you watch no, me do that. Yeah. I'll pop that to one side yeah. uh, in no man's land, and then I'll do that in the break. Yeah. But I was wondering in in the um, you know cleaning the stencils as well. If you put a, a bathtub, we, we, we were talking in about the bathtub. That. Yeah, bathtub. Yeah, uh, full of, like warm water and yes. and, 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 and glue, uh, not glue. So yeah, Would I wash mine in the bathtub. Oh, I, right. I craft upstairs, and as soon as I've done it, I've got a, I've got half a bathroom with warm water. And they go in, and then when I've finished, I'll scrub them all and then start out. And so we have to make Jacob has to make an appointment to get in the bath because it's it's always got my stencils in it. <laughs> Last time it was your paper that it was like as well. Oh yeah, guy. paper in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah, you name it, I put it wherever there's a space it goes. Yeah. So here's one that I've in, I've uh, embossed mm -hmm. as. I was going to do that one and then another nice little technique and it's straight <gasps> inked paper do you remember this yes Paola? we we haven't done it for absolute years, years. ink to paper 
and all you're doing is putting your ink straight onto your paper and you've got your yeah, embossing there. Half the there. stock of this bundle has gone. If you want your uh, set of four friends are uh, cho uh, chosen family, expressing eyes, Make and like this wonderful, uh, you know, half the stock. Them. This is where we get dirt. You get dirty like this, but that's the, that's the beauty Probably of it. Probably to get dirty a few, yeah. you know, a little bit. And then, don't forget you can go over it once it's done, but then you start rubbing it off yeah. that bit. And then you put a second coat onto it because oh. obviously I've rubbed it too yeah. too quickly but just just for for uh, process uh, for demonstration purposes. Okay. But here's one that I did earlier. Not completely got it through. I've done it with the mandala there. Do you want me to lift it up or yeah, have it I down? Do they want me to have it down? Uh, no, 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 no. You, the, 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 there is fine because yeah. you can see there's the bits that I missed. I did this on the live and uh, just put ink all over it and then once the embossing it all rubs off so it's very much like you know the the scratch art that we do and uh, when we do that scratch art yes absolutely, um, yeah. scrape art and that but uh, something just different with it but the mandala looks beautiful and you can do any colors that you want to in there so yeah. that was that one yeah and then what else are we going to do well what we will do is we're going to just get cleaned up a little bit yeah, do you need a second? We can do a recap quickly. If you want to do a recap, yeah, we'll you'll do, do a recap. That. Yeah, we'll do that. Because we are very, very busy. Now, that said, that, we, that Karen was using there, you can see the eyes and the chosen family. Now, that is very, very busy. So, half the stock already gone. If you want yours, do please check out those baskets. Look at those five pairs of eyes. I love that you can use them individually or together to create that kind of alluring uh, look of the eyes. Then you also get life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. What are your dreams and friends are chosen family? That is the says that Karen has been using. And I love how you can just use one eye. I like this some phenomenal sample shows it with that circle. It's almost like the eye of God, isn't it? It's kind of or a light bulb as well. It does have that kind of slightly, you know, it's beautiful, but also kind of, oh, this watching. Uh, 786 uh, 383 is your item number. Now, the scent of a three 12 by 12s, also busy for that one. Uh, those of positivity, uh, the large mandala and dream big, all three of them, remember they are 12 by 12, they are really large, aren't they? Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price, 844572 is your item number. Then we have got uh, the six by sixes in here, you can see them here. And now they are the two set paisley, uh, the peacock feathers as well as the feathers themselves. I'm going to show you the feathers on their own because look at that, how gorgeous do they look when you layer them out and having that outer line as well. Gorgeous uh, bundle in here. The two step is absolutely great. £15.99 is your price. 043927 is your item number. Then we have got the ornate flourishes next. And these ones, you have getting a set of four stencils, which one of them is, well, all of them are kind of almost dual. dual. You have got two purposes in that. Uh, you can see here the flourish corner, yeah, you have, or uh, here the kind of border. You have got the negativity, uh, the negative and the positive in there. And of course, uh, unless you want some positivity and negativity, you have them both here. Uh, like here you have got the positive flourishes, and here the smaller and the largest corners. You can create a large mandala if you wanted to by duplicating it four times absolutely stunning think about your uh, pace think about your bringing your doodling think about your you know like if you want to upcycle of course your furniture 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price 744236 is your item number then we have got our decoupage papers. Over 40% of the stock has gone. Now we have got in here, you're getting 16 sheets. And let me show you the other kind of the ones that I haven't shown so far. Uh, so you have got the beautiful birds, which are absolutely gorgeous. The paisley as well. They do have, they do have that lovely texture into the papers. They do have like a, like a, how you call it, a, a textile, like a cotton weave sort of texture. They are papers, but they 
Please do do that. It's just it's lovely. Then you are getting the feather peacocks as well. Look under that. I've got that. That's upside down. So let me put it properly. And then those feathers one in here as well. So you are getting all of them. 16 different designs. All one of each. And of course you are getting there as well. The birds as well. 16 sheets in total. 19.99 is your price. And look at that. You can have created. And the fact that this paper it means that it will mold itself around the curvatures of the, your cylindrical tools or its cylindrical um, bottles as well. Oh, this this is a light. Oh, it turned out. Uh, gonna, can you see it? It's one of the seven day savers that sometimes we have. That the is, bottle yeah, the bottle lights, yes. LED lights. Right, so if you want yours, $9.99 is your price. And of course, having paper means that if you have got lights, some of the light will come through as well. 849783 is your item number. And then finally, we have got layering uh, stencils as well here. And I found some more samples of this one because I really love. And it's the pansy here that you can see that is layering. So you can layer the first color, then add another one, and then a third color. So you kind of building it up all together. Together. So this one is the pansy. You are getting the puppies and the leaves and the butterflies as well. Having the mask, having the kind of layering, having the, all those possibilities means that you have got lots of creative experimentation with this set. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Two four eight nine zero nine is your item number. And then we have got uh, an absolute joy of set here. If you want to add layers to your creations, if you want to create kind of vintage and even, you know, the sorts of elements, building it up, you are getting here the postal, the corrugated, uh, the stains and splatters and newsprint. I love how you can do clean and simple. I love how you can bring in those splatters as well. Look at that beautiful colors then those puzzle as well i absolutely love that uh, a quarter of the stock has gone uh, you can create art with them or you can create beautiful or uh, you know art journaling in here uh, right if you want it you can have it very busy for this one as well five eight four three zero five is your item number jump on the website and you can find everything that we do have there uh, so let's have a look at those positivities uh, and then now we have got the eyes as well remember that's I will have the stock I think at the minute uh, I would archer as well uh, gray boards we have got glue we have got more decoupage papers we have got more essentials like adhesives collections uh, look at those five star reviews and remember the happy hour half the stock gone uh, if you want it so and we are just halfway through the show you have got about 25 minutes to the end of the hours to check out those baskets so please make sure that you do that 11.99 is the price for the one day special I uh, sorry the happy hour all right <laughs> <laughs> Karen, what are you doing then? So I'm just going to finish off another couple of, oh. um, of techniques. I've done, again, with the embossing ink, the WOW embossing yeah. ink, and then I'm just using some powders through there. So you can, this is how you can use them as well. Yeah, so th you're using Luscious Indigo I'm going to, I'm using Luscious, yeah, yeah. So you're using a dry brush? Right? A dry brush, yes. Yeah. The Luscious, uh, the pigment powder, goes on dry yeah. as well as uh, you can wet you know you can wet the, the the pigment and then so you have dabbed the embossing in i've done pack. exactly what i did yeah. when i've been doing the 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 double embossing yeah and then well we just need a brush to clear it off and then brush it away and I obviously moved when I did yeah. it, so you don't, you always make sure you tape everything down. Yeah. But there you can see the eyes, and that's every yeah, single perfect. one. Yeah. Don't look at that one, I just put my hand over that one. <laughs> that's cause, all right. Because that's the bad one. Put that's, an eye patch. Uh, you, you, uh, just, put, just put an eye just, patch. Just walked into a door. <laughs> Got a swollen eye there. <laughs> and then the next one is we've done the embossing again on a plain piece. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some, some different inks on this one. And then I think that's quite a few of the techniques that I've done. And I'll get ready for. So I've got three different colours of purple. I've embossed yes. and I've put the embossing powder on. Yeah. 
and I'm just doing over with different colours yeah. and oh. just adding different colours, blending it in as we do do. Yeah. Uh -oh. Over half the stock of the Friends Are Chosen Family, Floral Watering Can and Expressing Eyes and Life is Wonderful. So if you want yours, please do check out your oh, mask. Just change that one because that's a nice lighter one. We don't want to... Uh, we don't want to contaminate it and as you can see the, uh, the powder will give a resist on okay. that one right. and, okay. and I'm not worried at the moment because I'm going to blend it all in in a second yep. so there we go get a clean bit of it was a dry a dry one so yep. I'm just going to blend everything in to make sure it all blends nicely and then again get the white get your wipe and just wipe it off and that gives you the white basis underneath yeah. there miss doing the embossing there i'm not perfect yeah <laughs> uh but that's, but that's a nice, right. that's that a nice little one to do as well you can put a butterfly on it yes i could put a butterfly i could cut one of these out yeah. and put these on and then there's a little bit of my journal oh, before i get ready for the yeah. next one so this is my journaling i love that I, um, I like a clean journal i'm going to try and make no dirty journals yeah. uh, but i never knew <laughs> that it could be such a thing as dirty journals I mean, dirty painting journals okay. with right. lots, of, lots of media and mixtures and I things know, i know what you mean so but dirty, just... it, yeah but somebody else might not like they <laughs> So, and then this has just been done with a white gel pen, and then it's done with lines and circles, very, very nice and and, and quick. Uh, that's I one I did it. previously. I love and that. And then this is the mandala. I didn't want to use it as a whole. Could you tilt it, tilt it a bit? I because can. you can see the metallic. If you, you want could to it, tilt it to the or, front. Or, yeah, they're, they're probably better there. Yeah, because and that's all meta metallic um, jelly. Jelly roll pens. Yeah, I love that. And it's just done done a half of it and then coloured it in. But yeah. this is a way to start off your journey. Get you get yourself working. Absolutely. Get yourself doing uh, with by journals. By the way, Cheryl, who's in the design team, has emailed in. Hi, Cheryl. She loves. She has loved working with this collection. Uh, what a fantastic show and uh, amazing pro uh, products, prices and demos. Yeah, the, I'd like to say thank you to all the yeah. design team. There's Cheryl, there's Carolyn, there's Sam and there's the other Sam. Oh, Sam yeah. Lang. They've two, all two done Sams. A, two Sams. They've all done an absolute amazing job. Um, they've loved the products, even down to making journals with the grey board. Oh, We've had Sam do that with the grey board, so make your own journals with yeah. the grey board. Um, and how long have we got? Oh, so we have got 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Do you want to set for another... another uh, so while well, you reset for the demo, then I'll show you the one day... Sp I, again, happy hour. What's... I mean, I just... Because this, I love the one day special so much that I'm kind of... Well, like, I'm dreaming of it. Anyway, so we have got here the craft treat happy hour. Uh, what you are getting is an A4 stencil uh, with this beautiful florals with scrolls. Now, uh, one of the things I love about it is it kind of has got the demarcations now doesn't tear away this is kind of thinly edged but that's kind of an idea of where if you want to mask this one so or for instance mask this one or mask the other two because you just wanted the corner one this is the lines where you can put your paper or your masking sheet so that way you kind of have only in this area then you have got also the paisleys in here, the gorgeous, beautiful paisleys with those details in here as well. Now, they both stencils, but you also are getting the gorgeous uh, tote bags. So think about your fabric uh, ink, your fabric ink pads. Uh, we have got Versacraft on the website, so have a look over them. You can indirectly uh, use these stencils onto your fabric, and then you will be able to wash it up. Uh, it's it's just well, you will be able to wash it without washing it off. That's how I should have pronounced that properly. Uh, the fact that you have got this toe bag, which has got a nice, you can see here, the gusset, the, the kind of depth of uh, the bag. And also you have got a nice aperture as well in here. So eleven ninety nine is the price for the happy hour. You have got 18 minutes to check out your baskets. Now, we have got here some papers as well. Now, that was the happy hour. That saving will disappear at the end of the hour. We do have got another set 
set of decoupage papers in here. Now, remember, it's four packs, and you're getting four different designs, one of each in each pack. So we have got the hydrangeas, the peonies, uh, that's uh, then uh, the, the, oh, which one is ah uh, yeah so this one is the pink peonies, the red roses, and then we have got lemons. You know I have to say lemons probably are my favorite. I love that they have vibrant and this is traditional decoupage or old fashioned you know like kind of the antique. Uh, so which I kind of guess is you can cut around them and then glaze them over and kind of create that kind of furniture upcycling. Uh, so remember you are getting four designs and you can see them here for the lemon in here as well and then of course you have got the hydrangea we have got the pink peonies and you can see they are focal points as well as border and finally we have got the red roses i do like the red roses as well 9.99 is your price 16 uh, sheets of decoupage paper beautiful texture as well 661876 right back to you karen so we're going to do a, a two-step uh, peacock i like i love peacocks Oh. I love, absolutely love peacocks. Yeah. You know, when they just strut around and they open all the tail yeah, and there's absolutely. all the colour. Uh, using some glitter paste from my stash. And I'm just going to pop a little okay. bit on there. Yeah. And I want to mix colours, so I'm just popping a couple of colours. I have got this out in stages because obviously there's drying time and okay. stuff like that. So pop a little bit onto there. And... All I'm going to do is stencil it through with my glitter paste okay. and I'm mixing colours there. But that's a very peacock kind of thing that we have got like it's hints greens and blues and, mm. and golds and then these reds and different colours. Yeah. You can, don't forget, you could do this just with um, texture paste and then colour it. Yeah. And that, that'll take off. So that oh, has given yeah. you your first stages. Yeah. If I just Very get, pretty. get this wiped yeah. off. You you need to clean it straight off, don't you? You do need to clean it straight off. Yeah. yeah. Or you put it in Cheryl's dishwasher. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, all, mean, be, we'll we, all be sending, yeah, you know, like, here's you can, contact me on Facebook and I'll give you Cheryl's address so you can... I can imagine, can it's like, I'm, but you're a professional or occupation. Uh, <laughs> stencil washer. A stencil washer, yeah. So that's your first one, then you let it dry. So then you get your second one and you can see with the holes where it goes. So you can just bob it on. And with it being a nice, nice um, size size stencil you don't always have to um, glue them down uh, glasses aren't working it's not my eyes that aren't working Paula it's glasses that aren't oh. working and then I'm going to get a little bit of gold and I don't need that much of the gold so instead of popping it on the stencil I'm just going to pop it there and use a little bit and I'm glad this is the uh, last one that we're doing because I've got dirty hands already and I'm just bobbing that through there. Oh, wow. And you just keep adding it. I'm not going to add any more on. Yeah. I'll just pop it on. Remember to keep hold of it because you're already going on to your second layer. Wouldn't do that with ink. You wouldn't yeah. need to do that with, with ink. And then we've got Oh, that. look at that. Isn't that pretty? And keep, that just yeah. does you your second one. Look at that. And we'll just get that cleared off. Yeah. So therefore, what we have got, we've yeah. got something like that. Yeah. But then, with the back of it, I thought, well, you know, it's a bit bland. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a bit bland. So, what we would do is, you get your decoupage sheet. Oh. And nice. we're going to, we'll do it on this one because that's not yeah. so much wet. And we're going to just get some gel. Use your decoupage glue, Ooh. whatever gel you've got, yeah. whatever you need. You have got the Samperia one, which m might be on the website. Let's have a look. It's possibly on the website, yes. It's, uh, it's uh, I'm, and I'm just gluing there. Yeah. 
half the stock of the decoupage uh, papers has gone, so you have got them there. Use, uh, like, uh, of course, and Karen was saying, any of your decoupage glues that you... you know, I'm just going to go over, and this yes. has got, like, a nice linen texture. And that, that's what I was yes. looking at. It's, lin it's linen like texture, linen yeah. texture, so it's got a lovely, lovely little texture to it. There is another word that in the bookbinding um, world they use as well, which is bookram. I think it's bookram, which is, like, kind of the that book binders fabric that you use. Yes, it does feel like yeah. it. It feels like the architrate, architrate, yeah, architrate, architrate that yeah. the girls, that the yeah. ladies bring as well. So, so I've got no no water, so I'm just going to get a baby wipe and cover my glue brush up so that yeah. it doesn't dry okay, out yeah. and I can clean it. So if yeah. you can't get to water, yeah. I'll just pop a wet cloth around yeah. it. And then we've got one here that's earlier done. It's not got any gold into it, but if you get, you can see how beautiful it goes on. And, and you don't quickly. even cut it. So. No, nope, just how quickly just it, it comes, yeah. it sands off. And I'm not doing much sanding there, just a little bit. I know it doesn't sound very good, I'm sorry about the mic. I'm trying to keep it away as far as possible. Oh. <laughs> right. You don't think of these things, do you? You know, when you're in your own room in your own little, your little bubble, you don't you don't think about the things, do you? No, yeah, absolutely. You just and then I'm going to get uh. three colours to get three colours of uh, jelly bean ribbon just to get into it. I need to make the hole and just get your scissors or anything else. And it's only paper, so you're only just making the hole go through mm -hmm. and you yeah, roll these um, up yeah just a nice quick pull it through well yeah you pull it through and you end up with that double-sided oh, yeah. oh, and it's all textured and then the beautiful paper on the back with the ribbon that's good yeah no, we we have got about five minutes. Do you want to prep? Uh, do you have anything that you can show us, or do you want me to just? Uh, if you don't have, don't worry. Well, I can do I can do a little bit more color. I can do some colored inking through. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. you can do it. Uh, but I want to remind everybody to check out their baskets, yeah. ink, especially their uh, happy hour deal. Uh, that's gonna end up in about about well. Uh, 10 minutes so if you want to grab a bargain remember that comes with the two stencils and, and the third bag so grab yours by checking out your baskets right and then we'll do a bit of doodling oh yeah show sure you how i yeah. do my doodling Absolutely, yeah these are different stencils that i've got and you can see that i've just yeah i'm starting to doodle on the yeah. stencils yeah and i'm getting a nice flat part yeah Runs in well with what you're just about to do. Yes, see on the next one. Yeah, the cut of, and Let's of get the leaf. Oh. So the leaf comes in three parts, in two parts. You've got the full one, and then you've got this one here. So you can either draw around it or draw onto the inside, whichever you want. Um, what I'm actually going to do is, uh, shall we do three leaves? Yes. So we're going to oh, do three feathers. leaves. Three is feathers. Is it feathers? Feathers. Well, feathers. actually, no, you are right. That looks like a leaf as well, doesn't it? Yeah, they are feathers. But they could... But I do apologise. No, no, no. I, but you they know can what? I, I know exactly because I would have said the same thing, exactly. I would have said it's a leaf because Where it could be a leaf. Where have I got leaves from when I'm doing feathers? <laughs> And then I'm just going round it. And I'm finding that um, a little bit tricky because it's not level on, on, the, on the paper. So on the next one, all mm. I'm going to do is I'm going to use <gasps> Love this that. part. Love that. And then I want that behind. So I've put yep. that there and make sure that I can do this behind by just going round it. I'm not worried that it's not perfect. Stop in there. Going into there. I'm not worried that it's not perfect because this is mine. This is this is for me. Yeah. It's not Crafting doesn't have to be perfect at all. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Yes. But it can be wonderful, like that saying yes. says about life. You can do yeah. that. The same. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going to do one there. And I will be playing with this in the uh, 
the interval so I'll, I'll i'll finish this off while i'm in the uh, in the green in the green row and i'm going to do it coming from behind i don't want it over the top so always remember it's like masking as well you can mask with stencils now are these spaces far too big yeah. for me to start thinking about what i can pop yeah. into them yeah yeah oh, they might be a little bit daunting yeah. i'd attempt that one and attempt that one however i've got the it even shows you here oh, yes. where you can use it yeah. so going that way yeah i can then yeah. start doing some doodling all there for me but don't forget you can do this with ink you can do it with emboss uh, embossing ink and put different colored powders on yeah and even so down to once you've done those you can cut them out Absolutely. and do them three-dimensional so that's the part starting the part oh, of my doodle look at that. What, what boy pen are you using again i'm using uh, uniball? a uniball yeah. but i do use yeah. jelly jelly, jelly roll. roll as well yeah i use jelly roll uh but black and white you can't beat a little bit of black yeah, and white absolutely. and got some more little dots there how long we got now uh, we have got about two minutes about two minutes do you yeah. while i'm carrying on with this which is not very very interesting but very interesting for me yeah do you want to have a rundown oh yeah absolutely i yeah. can do it now of course you have got the the peacock feathers uh that of course if you wanted to do check out your basket remember the one that i again third time uh the happy hour as well this one the feathers are come in this set remember that the feathers is a four in one stencil then you have got the pickers which was of course one of the ones that Karen demonstrated and the step to a step hastily or you can use them as one step 15 pounds or 99 pence is your price for this one zero four three nine two seven is your item number we have got also another popular set for that uh, now we have got approaching 60 percent of the stock has gone 16 pounds and 99 pence you are getting friends or chosen family floral watering can expressing eyes and life is wonderful uh, if you want it please do check out uh, your basket we have got another six by six uh, as well collection this one is the distress the backgrounds the corrugated uh, and the postal the stains and the splatters and the newsprint if you want it please do check out your baskets then we have got the decoupage papers which are absolutely gorgeous with that linen texture thin papers so it will mold it themselves into crevices if you are upcycling furniture you are getting 16 different papers in them all 16 different designs four of each theme peacocks um, and peacocks feathers uh, birds and paisley but not forgetting the happy hour uh, you which you are getting two stencils the a4 the three by six and the tote bag all of them for just 11.99 and of course that tote bag that's a really nice different tote oops so you do see uh, <laughs> you can see that <laughs> apparently i made somebody laugh because it's like why are you laughing molly oh uh, it's oopsie daisy and i say oopsie doopsie uh, that's it i just like i said you know it's a new catchphrase trademark paula pasquale right uh, we have got check out your baskets now karen look at that the gorgeous we are together again at one o'clock we are yes yes absolutely i'll have a rethink and see what other things that we can get Fabulous. Out to. um we'll do something with the decoupage paper Fabulous. at one o'clock yeah. now of course uh, do check out your baskets especially for that happy hour thank you so much karen thank you always a so joy always working pleasure, with you. you and of course i love the different techniques the, those amazing techniques do check out your basket stay tuned because after the break leona is back with a beautiful all on create and a lot of savings Oopsie doopsie. Uh, Alan Create next. Then we have got Catalola. Lola. Uh, that's Ben and El. Elizabeth Crafty says one day is special at 12. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut 
meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hello and welcome. It's marvellous to have your company. Um, now, we've got two hours of All and Create today. One now ofs and then one at two o'clock. Hooray! Um, and we've got some fabulous deals. Now, it's some things you might have seen before. Um, obviously, because there's a huge collection of our lovely cuties, you might have missed some of these. Or there might have been bundles and you didn't want to buy the bundle. Um, so now it's ones that you can start filling in because it's a pick and mix. I think this is such a good idea. These 
are fabulous. I love this collection. What we're going to do, we're going to tell you the pick and mix details first. So your first one, you pick and mix in three of them. Okay, so that works out £20 and £97 where you're saving £3. So that's one of the deals you can go for if you want to want three. However, we have got a better deal because you can actually pick and mix six of these for just £29.94. So essentially for an extra £9 was that, then you are getting an extra three set of stamps. So it's a really good deal is that. Saving £18, it really does make sense. Um, and for that, so what does that work out per stamp set then, Miss Charlotte? That's a question, isn't it? Um, 4.99 for your stamp sets um, so that is a brilliant way to go obviously the choice is yours and that is a thing you've got a choice uh, you're going to get a deal either which way you want to go for it if you do want to go for the six two zero three three nine two now we're scooching through them um can we scooch through them uh, I, yeah we'll scooch through them again can we yeah, can we? Can we just so we'll talk through them maybe a little bit? Um, now, the stamps are self, the stamps are self, so we can talk through them and see them proper. Um, the beautiful. I mean, I love these. Drawn by Janet. Janet is amazing. I love her quirky designs. I remember when we first released these, when Alan Crate first produced these, and it was like, oh, wow, they're so cool, they're so different. Um, and they're still continuing that, but now you've got... Oh, they've got so many things that you can build up your scenes with. So like with this one, obviously you've got your little character. You've got your sentiments. Adventure is just outside your window, which is fabulous. Um, and then, but you've got all these little extras. And the little extras, this is a really good thing to, uh, to start saving. So we've got our little girl there with her adventure. We've got some of the boys. We have got quite a lot of the boys within the collection. And I love the doggy on that one. Um, the next one, now with this one, you've got a really good you've got the flowers but that that would work as a gate it's really good as borders as well and obviously she's fabulous with all the gorgeous flower bouquet we've got the one with the little heart which is gorgeous and these are really good uh, the little hearts and that's a really handy stamp i had that i've lost mine i'm not gonna lie i know it's really annoying um, because that's brilliant for extending the legs Mm -hmm. So if you want them to be tall, so you can either have them sort of me and Paula size or you can have them regular size if you extend the legs. It, it can be done. It can be, and it's like, oh, look, they're, they're all normal. Um, and you, we're, it's blah, blah, blah. Anyway, next. I started being a pilot. I don't know. Uh, next, you've got one of the little lads, but he's got his little cap. Obviously, you can swap all the heads. So you don't have to have, you know, um, the girls in dresses. You can absolutely change the heads um, so you can make them whatever you want them to be um, and I love the grass in that one the next one that we've got I love the expressions as well he's like oh oh in there oh what have I done oh um, and I love that I think that's quite fabulous with the little fishes as well that could be someone for Pisces couldn't it um, next we've got again one of our little lads with his doggy I know ain't that cute I love him I just think he's ever so sweet really 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 cute and the dog is gorgeous You'll have a lot of animals, like in the next one. Look at the animals in here. This is so cute. I mean, she's ridiculously lovely. But look at the bunny rabbits. Oh, and they're so sweet. And the little flowers are all ridiculously handy. Really like her. She's adorable. Next. Um, again, more embellishments. Look at that. Oh, isn't that love? Eat, play, love, and your besties. And he's just so sweet, holding his little heart there. Absolutely gorgeous. Next. Now, she's got more little flowers. This one's handy because you can see all the gorgeous little flowers there. That's your flower market. Again, the flowers are really, really handy. They all stamp out really crisp. You'll be able to colour these in um, really easily. And, of course, you can use whatever you want with these. Now, next, this one absolutely she's one of my favorites actually I just think she's absolutely adorable I think she's lovely with brave wings she flies and these little twiddly extras like that's a cloud or it's um you know it can be a hill or just an embellishment really like that one now next we have got a lot so I, I 
uh, well, I'll only do this once. Um, we've then got the beautiful flowers. The flowers really handy for embellishments. I like the sun, I like the clouds in there. So you've got loads of gorgeous embellishments. Really recommend them because when you're building up your pictures, you kind of need them. The next one, I love the little flower pots. I think, isn't she just adorable? Um, gardeners have the best dirt, which is ace. And I love her little wellies. She's proper cute. Yeah, you could make that a horror. Yeah, 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 you could. I mean, that, yeah, it should be great. She's digging the best dirt. Um, now, the next one, this is lovely. Coffee is like a hug in a mug. So that's your little coffee girl. And I love the little coffee beans because they're fantastic for backgrounds. Uh, the next one that we've got is our little bookworm. Uh, she's fabulous. So she's reading a book and then you've got all your piles of books there. Get lost in a good book. So there really is something for absolutely everybody. The next one, uh, do you know what? I don't think I've got this one. Well, I might, you know. I love that one, though. I just think she's absolutely exquisite. You're never too old for a teddy bear. I agree. I love teddy bears. I've still got teddy bears. I've still got a teddy bear that I bought for a friend and I didn't give her. I kept it instead. She's really, I'm really bad at that. Um, the next one that you've got, I love that one. The little cowboy or cowgirl, whatever you want it to be, but I love that. And I like that wispy cloud as well. I think that's fabulous. Um, blaze your own trail there. The next one, now this one's got good embellishments again, because those could be party hats. They could be lovely bunting, um, and I think that's fabulous. And I love her, because she's got loads of space to colour in as well. Um, cheers! cheese or it could be a pyramid indeed um that or what or a slice of cake we prefer that um next um, now this one's cute because this one look she's got that fabulous headband on which is just gorgeous and um, she's got a lovely little wings as well glitter is my favorite color she's marvelous um Next, we have got um, the beautiful little flowers, and I love her with her little boots. Look at her little boots pointing in. I just think they're absolutely adorable, gorgeous. Next, and they could be little ice skates. Yeah, you could, I mean, this is the thing. You can choose what these are, you know, and you can easily mix them up so they, they are whatever you want them to be. And that one's beautiful. A true friend puts paw prints on your heart, indeed. And then you have got the little doggy prints there as well. Okay, the last lot, folks. Yay! Um, now the little traveller in his sweet look at his little face oh that's travel love at first sight and i do love the little uh, suitcase as well that's well cute and he's got a hat obviously so you know your other ones could be playing fancy dress with his hat if you want um the next one that you've got and she's really sweet she's got all the little birdies um and she's off i, I colored these in and cut them out and i can't find the birds so annoying uh, but she's got the little birdies which is adorable uh, the next one is your tea now obviously we've seen the coffee now we've got her with a huge mug of tea which is lovely a cup of tea makes everything better indeed especially if you've got cake or biscuits with it quite frankly um so that's your little tea lady this one is my favorite i think that's lovely born to chase the moonlight and that gorgeous she was the type of girl the moon chased and the stars wished for oh it's just so lovely and i do really really like the moon as well because it, it looks all sort of uh, crackly if you know what i mean beautiful that one isn't it and yeah song in our red now next now this one i love her but i want to shop this one ain't she so she's got a lovely little dress shop in the background there um if you've got the houses from the other collections from this um then obviously it mixes and matches beautifully and i love her in a coat i think she looks very stylish uh, the next one that we've got for you um is your little chef which is just adorable and she's got a proper sugar cookies uh, recipe on there as well how sweet so you can make your lovely little recipe cards with that one um the next one what we've got and i love these because these are so good for your happy planners because you could use them there's something for every different occasion um, now she's obviously um, your your 
airline pilot, so your air hostess, isn't she? Explore, dream, discover, adventure awaits. Say yes to new adventures. So she's quite fabulous. And again, your little hat there as well, so you can dress them all up. Oh, look at her. Isn't she cute? She's got a little bikini on. Now, this is the one. She, we had the original. We might have the original in this afternoon's. I can't remember. But she's just got her, her pants on. But in this one, she's got her, um, her bikini on. I love her. And I love her oversized glasses. I think they're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. It is really, really busy. Um, next, and obviously, someone playing his little computer games. Absolutely adorable. I like the fact that it's an open, um, an open screen there. So you can decorate that. You know, you can put anything in that screen as well, which is just lovely. So that's your little lad. Uh, the next one that we've got, nearly there, folks. I love the bird. I just think that is so cool. Um, if, you, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. Oh, yeah. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. And then you've got three of us a bird there and a fabulous, like, doodly little flower. Phew! Let me show you some finished samples. Aren't they fabulous? The samples by the team are always adorable. I mean, there's so many super cool samples. And you know what? It doesn't matter how many times you see these. They're always absolutely amazing. I always look through these and go, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I find them so inspirational. Now look, these little books are just exquisite. Look. And some are in this collection. Some aren't. Some you'll already have. Some you won't. Oh, look. I see one of my faves. Oh, aren't they fabulous? And look, how beautiful is she? Absolutely adorable. Yeah, I love them because you can use any type of background. I mean, you've got all sorts of stamp background using your, um, oops, using your wonderful, um, your stamps, you're also using your stencils, using your dies, of course. That one's got the dies on the show. So there's all sorts that's been used. Look at her. I just think she's adorable, absolutely adorable. Now, we have got the extras on later on at 2 o'clock. So, oh, the fabulous car. You need the car. And actually, 2 o'clock, see, this is the thing. You've got so many, so many variations. Please, please get ahead of us. Have a look on the website. See what we've got at two o'clock. Look at that. Look, look. And in there, look, when you open it up. Do, do, do. All the boys. Isn't that cute? So cute. Yeah, you could do a school class. I mean, you could do so much for these. So much. And, I mean, you can create your own colouring in books. You can create your own storybooks with these. I mean, there's so much you can do. OK. Yeah, you could do family portraits with them. Definitely. And you can apps And, I mean, I am into swapping the heads of them because you can do so much then because, obviously, you can give them different bodies. And now, we have got loads of gorgeous finished samples. We'll show you as many as we can, but we are busy. If you do want to go for these, I love it because, A, you get in a deal, but, B, it gives you the choice to pick the ones that, A, you haven't got or your favourites. So, if you've just had... You know, you've just seen bundles, but it's just one out of this one, one out of that one. Now you've got the choice to pick your faves. £29.94. pence. Now that's four or six of these. So that's working out at, what was it, press stamps, Four pounds and ninety nine pence per stamp set. Um, it is an incredible t deal. Two zero three three nine two is your item number. Now check the website out. Uh, we have got some deals on some of the other stamps as well, um, and some of the other. Um, we've got dies on the show. The wonderful dies. So many gorgeous goodies. So please check your baskets out. Um, if there's anything you want, you know what to do. You can ring us zero one seven double three six. Hold on a minute. Zero two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I had a proper blank. I got through it and then forgot where I were up to. <laughs> um, or, of course, you can get on the website, chanter.com. Oh, wow, that's really bad. Um, if you have any questions, email in. Or if you have used these already and you've got some finished samples, yay! Oh, I love you lot. You're already sending pictures in. You are superstars. Thank you ever so much. Uh, studio at chanda.com. Um, OK, now I haven't dug out my wonderful joke plate in ages so I thought oh I've got stencils on stage show let's dig out dig out the gel plate so that is exactly what I have done so got my gel plate I've got bits of card I was going to do tags but um 
but I'm using the, I like these A6s, I think they're really handy. Obviously from uh, Pink Frog, yes, Pink Frog, um, and my gel plate. So all I'm going to do, first of all, I've got some stencils. Now, um, we've got the A4 stencil, that is on this show. I do love this one, the Tribal, I think it's fabulous. You've got A4, you've also got an A5 one, so I, I like that because they're both a little bit different. That's one on this show, £10.99 pence is your price, uh, 529279. Um, the ones I've been using for the, the ones I've prepped already, uh, these ones, and I love that. Obviously, we haven't put them on counter, but I think they're on website, so do check those out. I mean, mine are filthy, but th that's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. You can, I uh, don't bother wasting time cleaning my stencil. Okay, so all I'm going to do is um, load my gel plate, first of all, and we're using a bigger gel plate but that's cool um so what i want to do i'm not i'm not sort of messing about with too many i might do a couple of colors no i don't want to mess about with too many colors today oh have you found it have you found it amazing they it's a i really love that stencil it's a very cool stencil so i'm just going to do a couple of colors okay put my tribal stencil down and then I'm going to go over the top. Now, going over the top of your stencil, you're lifting off some of the paint that's there, but you're also putting paint over the top of the stencil. So this means when you put a card on top of it, like so, then what you'll get is you're lifting off the paint, but you're also getting a little bit of the paint on the top of it, which I really like. I think that looks really cool. So that's one print. When I lift it off, I've obviously got paint on there. So I've got paint on here that I can pick up. So pop that on there, like so. Which are, and look, you get a really gorgeous print. So that's your gorgeous print on there. Of course, we have got paint on there. Now, if you use copier paper, and I'm going to pop that underneath because I might be able to get another print off my gel plate. Pop that there like that. Okay. And then copier paper over the top. What you end up doing is. Is, is, is. See, I mean, it's only a little print, but it's a cute little print, especially if you start building it up and it's cleaning your stencil. Whereas on that one, not much picking up, but it doesn't matter. Never, ever worry about the paint that's left on there. It's absolutely irrelevant because the thing is with something like this, Every time you're picking up, um, you'll start cleaning it. And honestly, you can get some brilliant prints from the leftover stuff on here. So please do not obsess about cleaning this. Um, there's a really, if you use some of your other products, like, um, oh, oh, in fact, I might pick it up. I think I've got some on the floor. If you put, bear with, if I put, have I put it on the floor? Yes, I have. If you put a layer of your glamour paste on your gel plate, let it set and then peel it off. That will pick up all of these and it looks really good. So do not clean your gel plate. I mean, I know that just sounds like me trying to get out of cleaning my gel plate, but honestly, it's, it, you get some proper good um, collect, um, prints. So I'm using my uh, Distress Paint. That's my picked raspberry. Um, I'm then going to go in with my yellow again because I love my yellow. And I'm actually going to use a sponge. No, I'll use... Um, yeah, we'll use a sponge for this. So I'm just going to sponge that one. Like so. You don't always have to use a brayer because sometimes your brayer... It'll, I'll be blending my colours too much and maybe I don't want that. So if you use your sponge, you start getting different effects again. And actually sometimes using a sponge, can you see, because you get those wonderful circles because of the sponge, and that in itself makes a really cool print. Now have a look at the stencils. You have got the stencils on the show and we have got some on the website. So that's that straight away. Love that. And don't worry about it drying because it's not a big deal. Let's use that stencil this time. So I'm going to pop that one there like that. Go over the top again just to lift but also to put some of the paint over the top of the stencil. There we go. I really like this one. 
I use this quite a lot. Um, now, you have got this one. The details are there. It does come in a set of four. It's a really cool little old stencil is this one. If you do want to get hold of this, um, you've got a £12 saving on that one. Fabulous stencil. It is £15.96 pence your price. So now when I peel that off, I've got a couple of prints on there. So I'm going to go print there which looks fab and now i start picking up see this is what i'm saying about not cleaning your prints uh your your gel plate because i've got a really nice print there i like these quite open i'm not going to go for um i don't want a full color on it i'd like that that sort of a bit of white on the card and i love look at that i love these prints i just think they look so cool and then another one here at the top i'm using a bigger gel plate which is a bit of a treat to myself this paint's dry now so i might not get anything on this but we're not bothered about that no we're not bothered about that but it looks cool but what you can do if you get something like this you can always do an overprint on it so you can always put another little bit of paint on there is that the yeah that's the globally duly bit so pop another bit of paint the paint i'm using which is absolutely stunning i love this color um this is my uh pentart so i've gonna i'm using the pentart currently which is just lovely again paint over the top put my card down like so and some t look and i love that just laying over which just looks beautiful and then pop that one on there like so and just lift that as well there so you've got all little layers love it oh something else you can do look oh uh, see i love this because before you know it you've got all these fantastic little backgrounds you know and something like this one where you've got the open space that's brilliant for for obviously then you can start building back in again so with something like that if i just move my gel plate up that there so with that one now if i say for instance let me get my i'll use this one if i use that one oh i want a bigger card at the back because otherwise i'll waste all my ink so if i now pop this one back over the top here which way around did it go there right so it's going to be going that way i want to spritz on this one so i'm spritzing on this one but i'm actually picking up the ink on the other one it'll make sense in a minute so i'm using one of my gloss sprays absolutely adore these of course we did have these on tv um just the other day so I'm, what i'm doing is i'm spritzing onto this one but i want to pick up the ink on my stencil that will become clear in a second and actually i'm going to use that one because otherwise my colors will blend a bit too much so use that one give it a good shake so what i'm aiming for i've got a print on there absolutely love that but then the color on there i know now i can pop that on the open space on this one and layer it over do you see what i mean so now so i'm using the stencil the paint that's left on the stencil to print over the top of the open space on that one and i absolutely adore that that's my favorite one now because i love the filling in the white gaps i just think that looks absolutely beautiful but it's only using the paint that you would have cleaned off your stencil and it's just the amount of layers you can create are fabulous now let's have a little look at all my backgrounds that we've got now because we've got loads of lovely little backgrounds to start playing with and start stamping so yay so we've got all our gorgeous little stamps um, and i've pulled a few of the stamps out the little one i have cut a couple out so i'll be using some of those but i mean you've got so many of your beautiful little stamps and they are just adorable now we have got a couple of favorites fly um that is one of our lovely little favorites um which is the fly one i think that is the one that is the one with is it the one with the little wingy ones um 
absolutely adorable. That's one of your favourites. Obviously, have a look at the website. That's where you can see all the different... Sorry, I'm looking around for my little, little stamping block. That's where you can find all the wonderful um, imagery if you do look on the website. There's so much choice. I've already cut these out, so I'm ready to go. All I need to do is build up a scene, but I will show you how well they stamp. So if I just bob my little bit of card there, and then, now, what I like doing is filling up my card. Yeah, I'm using my favourite too, the moon one. Now, this is what I like doing because maximise your card and then you can cut these out later and actually colour them in. So I'm going to put her on there and then I'm going to put my little teeth one on as well because she's lovely. So the one where she's having a brew. There we go. She's there having a cup of tea. There. Um, they're very, very busy. Why well, I'm pleased because it is one of those. I think this is great because it allows you to, to pick and mix whatever you fancy. And it is such a good price. And the thing is with these, there's a lot of the older ones that you might not have seen. You know, they're, they're really, really good to build up the collections. And it's all the extra little bits as well. So fill up your mat. And then when you come on, I feel I've got... a a magnet that's a bit big and then when you come on you can do loads at once you can these are brilliant for all your scraps of paper as well you know your tiny little scraps of white because they don't take much and you're filled up a space okay and then just stamp them out and they're ready for coloring in dink but um mr red poor little love Let's see, did I just not ink it? No, I didn't just press it down. Aren't they just perfect? So they stamp beautifully. The writing stamps absolutely gorgeous. And I really, yeah, there's some really good sentiments. Throughout the collections, the sentiments are amazing. And that's another reason that you start collecting them. Right, let's build a little scene up. So I've already got um, some backgrounds. Mm, it's Leone, isn't it? Five million backgrounds. <laughs> I love, love backgrounds, love backgrounds me. Look at the state, love it. Even the kind of planar ones, you know, I mean, I adore that. The ones where I've only used one stencil, these are the ones I were doing last night, where I've only used one stencil, but I absolutely love them. Um, they just look so effective. Like, oh, right, I'll stop messing and start actually doing something. I love that one. Gonna put a little bit of colour just because I can with my gloss sprays because I'm addicted to the gloss sprays and it works so well with these anyway. So if I just do a little bit of a, a spray, as usual, put a bit of card underneath it so you don't waste the bit of colour. And I'll put a bit of white as well. We have got tons and tons and tons of photos, so thank you ever so much. We are getting them sorted and we will show them um, in just a few moments' time. But thank you for sharing. I love that you share. See, look at that already. How cool does that background look? I oh, love backgrounds. I have to let that dry, so I'm going to start working on this one. Um, this is one I've already sprayed, so it's got the gloss spray, so it's got those layers. Now, to build up your gorgeous images, there's loads of ways you can build them up. See, it's funny because even if you just put her on there, she looks kind of cool anyway. You know, you could just put her on there. I've then got loads of little embellishments. Now, these ones... These little embellishments are actually, and I think this might be in the afternoon show, I'm not sure. Um, this one is your colour therapy. And your colour therapy is really handy because that little block, like when you start cutting them up, it works as a base, which looks really, really cute. So you could put them directly on. You can mix and match them up. So maybe if you've got some shaped dies, you can start mixing and matching them up and bringing the dies in so it leaps forward. Do you know what I mean? So if I put, because I kind of like that, but I do like this. See that little, because I think they suit the flower. I had, I can't remember. Where were these? Where were these? I had, I had, I had. Oh, I've forgotten what show. These beautiful dyes. Look at that, though. Doesn't she suit that? It absolutely works. Doesn't it work? So that's my um, little background. If I just get, I'll get a little bit of my cracked pistachio because I think that will work beautifully, just to give that a bit of colour, because you don't want it too bright, 
because otherwise it just doesn't work with it. So bring a little bit of the, the cracked pistachio in as well. Just knock back that, that whiteness. Same here, so just round the edges like so. And you can really, I mean with these, you're raiding your stash for your dyes, for all your little, um, you know, all your gorgeous little embellishments. You've got tons of lovely embellishments that are going to mix and match beautifully with these. And I will make it relatively quick now, because all I need to do now is stick, stick it together. So, pop your 3D foam on. You can faff as much as you want, but you don't need to. Using my little die to there we go go around the edges like that because that is cute she is cute she's just so lovely that glue needs to stick leona i'm going to put her with it what i want to do with this one my thought process is i'm going to do loads of tags and do a little tag book with these because i think that they'll just work with anything but a little tag book could just look adorable i have started making a book with these and i haven't finished yet so i do need to um i do need to use them really i've got loads of little and see i like cutting out all of these and then use them for other ones so you've got all sorts like the bee happy's lovely I love that. So I'm going to have the Be Happy on it because that's beautiful. And I'm, I love it because how ridiculously easy is this? Just now layering it up, you don't really need to do much. Pop the little Be Happy there. Like this. And then I've got some little flowers. So the embellishments, as I was saying, the embellishments are really, really handy. Because you will use these for, um, these ones are in the stamp set, the flowers. Yep, the little stamp flowers are in one of the sets. Um, I can't remember which one, I'm afraid. But they are in one of the stamp, and they are just so handy. Because, um, well, because they, you can use them with any of them. And you just build up your little scene with them. Like that one. Flower market! Or it could be raincoat! <laughs> but that's good, because again, and they're different. So when you're building up your collections, you will find that the, you know, that they are different within your collection. So it means you're not doubling up, and you are going to get loads and loads of fantastic little flowers and embellishments. So you've got a little flowers there which look gorgeous. That one that I've already cut out, that's from your colour therapy. And I like that because it just adds another little block of colour on the bottom there, which looks really, really cute. And then we'll use, then let's have a little look. So it can either be fly or flower market, because she is kind of with the flower market, or it could be um what shall we see with brave let your dreams be your wings i like that because she doesn't have to be flying just to have dreams does she so and i think that's a really cool little sentiment so that one's there now for the background i'm really quickly going to take because i know we've got loads of background stamps on as well um and i love the background stamps from all and create they're just so good um because it's just again when you look at that it, there's just so much on it you know there's so many different elements and all you need to do is pick out a tiny little bit. I mean, I know I do this all the time, but a tiny little bit, and it just looks good. You know, over stamping, just picking out a couple of those elements. Proper cool. And like these, these little sort of twiddly bits on there. Look at the little... T Isn't that a good stamp? Because you just start to frame it. So you can see now what it's doing. Because that kind of ends where I've... But this frames it. So this one is just... Oh, I love this stamp. I mean, all the background stamps are amazing. If you do want this one, the details are there for you. Um, and it is another one of those that you can get lots of different sets out of it. Uh, you've got three of these. They're really, really cool. Only eleven ninety seven as well. And uh, they're all good. Oh, £12 saving. Well, that is, you are saving more than you're spending. Oh, we like that, don't we? 273541 is your item number. Highly recommend them. The gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. And all I'm going to do, and see, they finish it off. And I always like popping a little bit of black on me work. But then, 
popping that on my little sentiment that's going to go on that side there and bob's my uncle look my little tag quick and easy relatively relatively quick and easy um but play with all your backgrounds play with all your stencils and then just build her up isn't she cute yeah i'm sure with that she's lovely such a good stamp um oh do we want to see pictures yay let's see what you've all been doing please that would be marvelous um so um if you'd oh look at that that's ace that's absolutely gorgeous. So that has got your little cowboy, which is beautiful. Um, you've got your little flower market, which is beautiful. You, your flower market, now that will be coming up in the next one. So your little stall there, that's going to be coming up in your next hour, which is gorgeous. We've got another one for you. Um, again, using the beautiful little market stall. Oh, look, our little fishing boat from this one. Beautiful. That's lovely. We love that. And all the little details have been put there. Um, we've also got a oh, little shaker. Oh, and now there are the dog toys in the corner. Just amazing. Best stamps in the world. Um, that's using the dies as well though which looks amazing next we have got for you <laughs> and the next one that's brilliant that's using your tea so that's your little tea and coffee ladies um oh which is really really sweet and i love it because they're all so different depending how you color them I mean, look at her with your fabulous glasses love that absolutely fabulous one more for us and this one oh look at him and that's using the stencils in the background there and then of course our lovely little lad um now if you do want any of these check your baskets out you have got such a good deal um right i'll get prepped for another demonstration and pass over to our um wonderful mr scottius oh thank you lovely lady i've just enjoyed sitting there watching the audience has been lovely it's been lovely cake crash for two minutes You'll be back to the professional in a second. I've just put a pop in. Uh, these are uh, these are amazing. I was just sitting there thinking, what a great opportunity. If you're looking at these and you've already got some of them, as Leonie mentioned, what a brilliant way to go. Do you know what? I'm going to fill in some of the gaps. You know, use those pick and mix. Get some of the other ones that you think, oh, that'll go really nicely with the other ones. So that'll work beautifully. If you haven't got any of them from the collection, what a great way to start. Because that, go for any six... Four ninety nine. it works out, per stamp set, you know. It's a really phenomenal, phenomenal saving. Really good. I want to show you, um, I know you've been through the whole lot with Leonie and just be preparing for another one. You've just seen lots of actually um, <clears throat> stuff that's been sent through, which is great. They look amazing with all the colours. I thought I'm going to show you how they look when they're just simply stamped onto the card. So they're really, I mean, really take it down. So if you're doing a really simple greeting card or just that one image, these work beautifully, actually. I wanted to show this because I just thought that's my favourite. I just love him. I just think he, he's absolutely brilliant. Take off, travel. Uh, lo love it. Love it first flight. See what they've done there. Love it, love it, love it. But just the simple cards, you know the ones that sort of put on there, thinking of you, hello, hi. But the, all the little elements as well that Leonie's been talking about work so, so nicely. I mean, they're great to put them in their scenarios and to actually build up those backgrounds as Leonie's showing you. But just look how great they work on their own. Just really simple, just onto white cards. So these are perfect, so I'm thinking... You know, obviously for your journals to work through and all those little elements you can bring in, which absolutely fantastic. There's a lovely coffee one uh, again, which is brilliant. But also I was thinking for, for, for younger people, again, that want to work on those projects because they're lovely to colour in. And, you know, they have a lot of fun simply stamping. Them. I love just the simple fishing rod. Just the fishing rod on its own. Just, you know, back in five. But you can see, again, just these characters on a plain page that will work so nice. And their cheekiness, the little cat. I wish I had a baseball bat, a little hat like that as well. That's... No, no, baseball hat. Not. I said the wrong... The wrong... Don't pick on me. Don't, I've, I've only got two minutes. If I get most of that wrong, that's not... That's a bode well, does it? Um, there's the simple... There's the ball. He's, maybe he's looking for it. Uh, where's it gone? Uh, it's gone to the page. But there again, that little grass stamp um, that Leonie was talking about. But they look absolutely fantastic, beautiful, aren't they? Just the flowers. So I know they've got some great characters. You know, they've got some fantastic characteristics. But actually, all the other little elements that Leonie was talking about, don't overlook those, you know, because they are really, really important to work with. Just the simple, the simpleness of those. I mean, that is just a beautiful little element again that you're looking at. I think these are absolutely stunning. Now if you do want to go for these, don't forget you've got that saving of £18. <laughs> I 
Dude, like, absolutely fabulous. You got that saving of £18, don't forget, if you're going to go for that whole pick and mix of all six of those. twenty nine ninety four for all of those. Absolutely brilliant. That's 203392. Now, if you do want to go just for the pick and mix of any three, then you can do the details for that or at the bottom of your screen. That's 317955. That's 2097. But as you can see, your biggest saving is if you're going to go for the pick and mix, of course, of any of those six, which are absolutely fantastic. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. So I know you have a lot of fun with those, but I thought just seeing them simply with the white background really allows them to sort of like to shine out really. But again, there are so many, honestly, there are so many that you could do with all the wonderful colour backgrounds that we're looking at. The website is the easiest way just to go through them, choose which ones you want to sort of put into your collection of your six, see where the gaps are at the moment between the ones you've possibly already got and the ones that you think will fill in, or some of the elements you've not seen before. Uh, I'm loving the little boy in the computer. Uh, I think that's great. I think that's a real... I did have that one to show you as well, actually, somewhere, but I think that... He's just so brilliant. I mean, how many, how many little people are on computers at the moment because they can't see their actual friends in real life? They're all online, aren't they? Uh, probably rings, rings true with lots of people. But if you want to go with that, pick your six, pop those into your basket and get those checks out. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, now, we've also got for you the fabulous die set. Some lovely little bundles here with some great savings. Also, really big savings. Now, I know that it may, some of you may have seen these before as well, but this is a really special offer, this one. £10 saving on these beautiful... These are your code, you've got your bursting buds, and you've also got the cells. And these are really lovely. I know we've got loads and loads of ideas that I can show you here of how these have been used, but the numbers really are really, really cool, actually. They've got a really very stylish feel about those, and they work so many wonderful ways uh, that you can go for these. Again, just simply, um, you know, printed out, as you can see there, stamped out on the black and white looks great. But to add to other features, again, you can sort of see that they're going to make a big, big impact. That's just one of those, of course, in there. But you've got those lovely details again. They cut out beautifully uh, for these actual dies themselves. But they really do give you a lovely, lovely look. And another one there, again with the number and that sort of the honeycomb feel that's in there behind it. Great for you for working onto your backgrounds and bringing them. Really lovely. 270852. You do have that £10 saving on there. So you're getting all three of those dies for 33.97. So really phenomenal saving on those. So do take advantage if you can do. Uh, that's our set of three. We've also got a wonderful set of two. Again, brilliant saving. Again, another tenner uh, that you're not having to pay out for this one. So it's down to £23.98. But again, really quite funky, actually. Really love that sort of the, the, um, the chessboard kind of feel that works really nicely. Again, you can see how that stamps out through the colours themselves. But absolutely fabulous, fabulous, fabulous dies to work with. Um, good, a good size dies. In fact, it might be worth, again, just to show you the actual size of the dies that you can see there and uh, gives you a little idea of scale. That's 298496, 2398 for that. Again, that £10 saving available for you if you so wish. A great way of catching up if you haven't had a chance to see these yet. Really good to get them at that deal. Now, we've got a lovely stamp set of four stamp sets here. £16 saving on these, which is absolutely brilliant. These are your four of your A7 size stamps. You've got the checks, you've got the tile pile, alphabet splatter, and the best word, splodge. Love it. Uh, again, really lovely sort of to work with all your backgrounds. I'm sure you've seen Leone working in this, sort of, you know, great ways to sort of bring them. But, you know, the splodges and the splats and all those kind of little features in there really can break up all that white space for you. Isn't it? But really lovely were these in black and white, all with all your colours. But brilliant, phenomenal saving, £16 off. You're saving again more than you're paying. The actual price is only 15 96 513 uh, Set of four... Now a set of three we've got for you uh, over here. Uh, this one we got £12 saving. It's brilliant savings across the board here. 273541. These have got your squared digits that you can see. Mini tribal, which is lovely. And you've got your circled numbers. This is really, really busy for these three with that £12 saving. Again, saving more than you're spending. Always the right way around. Uh, 1197 that means. But again, really fabulous. 273541. 
There is so much to see. We've not even touched again on all the other stencils that you've seen Leonie working with. So pop over to the website, uh, all the w's.hachanda.com. If you want to see what a five star review looks like, have a look on the screen right now. It has got an abundance of five star reviews right across everything you see in there with your all and create and those brilliant lines going through the price, slashed prices. So go for those prices while those deals are there for you right now. Put those into your basket. Please don't forget to get them checked out. Certainly on your pick and mix as well, by the way, because your pick and mix, don't let someone take the one that you wanted to put into your basket. So make sure you do grab all of those. Right, we've only got about 15 minutes left, so I'm going to... Uh, 10 minutes, sorry. Oh, it goes even quicker. Uh, 10 minutes left, so let's go straight back to Leonie. Amazing. I'll put that down, because I'm not really doing that. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Beautiful movements. Um, um, Should have been a ballerina. Should have been that. Should have been with your movements like that, Scott. Um, okay, so what I've done, that's the background I started working on earlier on, which I really like. So let's start building up on it. So this is a lovely thing about them. You'll pick elements out of each one. So this is the one with his little baseball, but Scott wants a baseball bat. Want a baseball bat. <laughs> um, I'm taking the grass off this one. And this is it. You've got so many little elements. They are so cool. So using my little, the grassy bit, and I've got my, my Versafine, and just stamping that in there, like so. So that's going to be going directly on. I should let that dry before I start putting extra stamp, um, before I start colouring it in. Um, that's my first layer. What else were I going to do? So I wanted to do loads because I actually wanted to put bunting over at top, but I probably won't have time to do bunting. But it's so, I mean, this is the thing. Where have I put other? There's so many different elements. These ones are brilliant. I highly recommend these because you can do tons with these. Like bringing the flowers in, first of all, the flowers are super handy. And actually, if you're like me and you've lost your long one, this will work as good legs. So what I mean by that is, and then I'll just show you really quickly, off she goes, tangent. Look, that one, if you stamp that a couple of times, like this, ink it better than I've just done, but ink it like this, then you can use those as really good legs. So then when you stamp, your little girl, and I will, let me stamp it on the actual project that I'm doing as well. Bear with. So this is the actual project I'm doing. And again, I'm working on a really full background, but even even though that's a busy background, they really stand out. They're fun and quirky, and they will absolutely pop, even when you've got quite a bit of stuff going on already. The flowers are ace. Because you've got those nice wobbly little, you know, stalks, it means, like, if I think about it, I want that to, to sort of move a bit, because I'm not masking anything off, but you can get your little flowers to have some good movement. Which is really cool. We, which is really cool. Obviously, it needs to stick. Um, if you ever, if your stamps, clear stamps, if they ever get unsticky, just wash them. Bit of washing up liquid. Um, let them dry, and they'll be they'll be sticky again. Oh, this is when you need a stamping platform. Oh, oh. Mm, little bit wobbly, but it's okay. We can fix that with colouring in. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes. Oh, put a little, let's have a little leaf. There we go. So at the bottom, pop a little leaf there. I'll pop it, I like these. I love this because you're just playing. What, you're hungry? Have you already had your breakfast? I've not had any breakfast yet. I'm hungry. I find early's, early shifts, I eat so much food though. Because by the time it's dinner time, I'm ready for my tea. And that, for, for those down south, is, yeah, it's not a brew. That's, yeah, it's dinner. <laughs> I know, I confuse everyone. It's northern, isn't it? Northern. It's not, oh, it's, a, it's definitely a northern thing. There we go. Those northerners. I know we are northern accents. It is a real northern accent. <laughs> I don't put it on. <laughs> I, I mean, I absolutely don't make it more northern. And I know some people's accents aren't quite as strong as mine, but that's just because we're all different. 
Uh, no, look. To extend the legs. Okay. Bit of clever stamping. I'm taking the ink off there. And normally, I do this with cutting them out. But... Look, you can then, and hopefully I've taken enough ink off those feet. So then, just put it like that. Yeah, I've made it really awkward, but look, I've extended her legs. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, she's walking in fog. And then, if you pop that down there, you see, and then just ink a little boot. Like this. I am faffing, I know. I've gone on a, on a proper tangent. I've got five minutes and I'm on a proper tangent where I'm extending her legs. And I haven't done it proper. I haven't planned it proper, so her boots probably won't fit her legs now. Oh, honestly. It, oh, I'm, honestly, I don't have faff. If I'd done it proper, but look how you can extend her legs. I love that. So now she's no longer me and Paula. Now she's regular lady. <laughs> I really like that. I really, I had to show you that because I really like extending the legs. It's like cutting off the heads, swapping heads and extending legs. It just makes me giggle. Right, five minutes, stop. <laughs> five minutes, extended leg lady. Bring on my other one. That really annoys me how I've done that. But it is okay. I can rescue it. When I start to stamp, it's okay. Now, you've also got all your clouds and things. The clouds, I would absolutely um, stamp these on your scrap paper, cut them out and put them on you can obviously you can ink them and actually stamp them on your paper and then color them in but they do look really nice if you do look aren't they pretty if you do actually stamp them and cut them out you've also got of course a little sunshine the sunshine can be an extra little flower but it just looks absolutely adorable as a little sunshine so little sunshine is there just coming over the clouds which is so sweet with this one i found one of my little birds look i only found one of my little birds the other one i don't know where it is but that's my other little birdie which looks absolutely adorable and then and then and then and then i've got where did i put my da, da, da. there and I've got my little, my, with brave wings she flew. That comes off that one. I can't remember the expression that comes off this one. Let me just have a look. Let me find. <laughs> oh, I'm having a rummage now, folks. Yeah, the little girl with the birdie. I've got it in this pile, I'm sure. I got it, got it, got it. So we've got fly away and you've got wing it. Wing it, which I quite like, actually. Wing it, so just wing it. Um... No, where have I put it? Where have I put Wimmy Wing it? Oh, Leona, you're so faffy today. So, I've got three minutes and I just can't stop faffing. Bring your coloured pens in. Do a bit of colouring in and then you won't faff as much. Okay, so, four things that you've, you've ruined and it annoys you. Use your white pen. And this is my fine white pen. I like the thicker white pen. But your white pen... It'll start to take some of that extra line out. So when it bugs you, when you've um, inked it wrong, if you do that, then it will help sort of mask it. And then, obviously, you don't see it as much. God, that's a nice close-up. Cheers, mate. <laughs> he loves that. He loves... It won't go in on a good bit, but the bad bit, in he goes. In he goes. He's such a cheeky chops. And then... <laughs> Cheeky chops. Oh, that Webster is a cheeky chops. I call him a strong word, but I'm on live telly. Um, so, just now, really quickly. Now, I am inking with water pens, so obviously, because I've got acrylic over the top, some of this ain't going to dry, but some of it will take. But I'm rushing because I know I've only got two minutes. Um, she's helping the bird as she talks to the birds so she's just having a chat really she's just chatting about weather chatting about lockdown how's it been for you birds are loving it quite frankly they're like yeah loving it mate i am um, i hope this carries on because you humans not being around is this so she's having a little chat at bird uh what do you fancy for your tea she's saying that's like tea supper whatever you call it you lot <laughs> dinner <laughs> So that's what she's saying. Other birds like, yeah, I think we'd like some mealworms, like that. Um, and then, this, uh, what, what, what are you on about in the end? 
Tea and dinner. Well, first of all, you get up, you have your breakfast, then you have your dinner, and then you have your tea. That's exactly what you have. That's how it should be. And then if you if you really yeah supper, what's that? Oof. And then you might have a brew in between. Don't say lunch, darling. No, we don't have us lunch. We have t tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we um, we haven't really got long left, and I'm now colouring in, which means you've lost me completely and utterly. Because colouring in is great. Um, please check your baskets. Out. I mean, look, even your watercolour pens, they do go sit over at top. Oh, I'm I'm literally out of time. Um, please check your baskets out. We're so busy. Everything blends together beautifully. I love the way you can build up your picture. I mean, when I've coloured that in. It'll look adorable. Um, thank you ever so much for joining us. We are back at two o'clock um, and it's going to be me and our Hayley. Thank you, our lovely Scott. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you at home and thank you for sharing your photographs. At two o'clock, join us then and share more photographs, please, because I'm very nosy. See you then. We all like to be a little bit nosy. It's fine, isn't it? We've got the um, Cutalola Dotsman coming up for you next. I think I did that right. Uh, then we've got that one-day special with me with the Elizabeth Craft, and then we've also got Craft Treat. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock, and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at a chanda. I got into crafting years ago, Ever since, I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on a Chanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. 
It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Well, hello, good morning, if you are just joining us. Welcome to Hachanda. Now, it's me on my own this hour, but it's it's actually going to get to play with this amazing Catalola uh, spend. Now, what is Catalola? Well, it's... Well, do you ever have seen, gone to a museum and seen those beautiful pieces of art, maybe by Surat, that has got all the pentalism, the, all the little dots that create that light and shade with just tiny little dots of color? Well, now there is that kind of develop into its own technique. So there are people, artists that can draw. But you know what happens if you just use any old pen to do that, which you can do, of course you can. What happens is that it's slow and it's very repetitive, which can be very mindful and can be good, but also it kind of hurts your wrist. So we have got, you know, so of course you have got this amazing story and amazing, you know, extraordinary technique, but of course there was a problem. A lot of people couldn't do it because of the wrist action that you require for it. So here it comes the Castle Lola. So it's an electric dock dots pen. So how it works, it has got a USB charger, it has got a battery, you have got a pen in here, and of course the uh, cartridges are refillable. You have got a switch on and on, and then I'm going to put a uh, horizontal sticker in. Okay, so I'm going to press that. Oh, this one is not charged. Oh, that, that, that's not all right then. <laughs> let me grab this one. Okay. Oh, let me grab the other one. Let me grab my one. <laughs> yeah, because... What's going on? What is... Oh, that's suddenly... Oh, here it is. Oh, sorry, I kind of was pressing too hard. But you can see, it. that's not how you start the show, Paula. But look at that. Can you see? I do know how to use it, I promise. Uh, but it's just, sometimes live TV, if something is going to go, like this is the first time oh, that it has happened that to me. Like, all right, anyway, so you have got one speed, and then you have got the dot, just press it on again, and then you press it again twice. I don't, seriously, they are shy on TV because that hasn't happened to me then. Okay, there. And then you press twice, and then you have got even more speed in there. You can see it. Right, so I'm going to do a turn it off. Okay, that's it off. Now my one, let's put it over there. What weird. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, you know when I said when everything that can have go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> Everything has gone wrong. All uh, right, fire alarm on the Menex. Uh, right, no, let's not get anything. All uh, right, so what you do it is you get yours, uh, you plug it in, 
and you press it and you attach it to a, a charger. So if you can do it with the computer, you can do it with the mobile phone, a charger that are five voltage and you keep it, the light will come on and then you kind of until the light goes off and then that's fully charged. Then, yeah, of course, you have got the rubber uh, element in here and this is what you can create. Now, this is just me. I cannot draw. I really, well, or, or I can draw, but not very well. And this was literally the second thing that I did. It's just kind of the eye in there. And you can see that you can do like kind of almost four stitching lines in there. It's so easy to shade as well. Uh, this is the first thing that I did. I just kind of went completely, uh, you know, like just one line. And one of the things I kind of love about it is that if you are like me, that you are scared of drawing, because these little, tiny little dots, you feel much more free included. So here, I went to, uh, you know, for instance, for here, what I did with, um, this is uh, Dolly Dimples, one of the, sh that she had before. And what I did, so for instance, when I did the nose lines, I did a little bit of an imperfection, and then I could go in. So basically you can, I, I made her nose a little bit too wide, so I could go inwards, and also doing a little few lines a little bit outwards as well. It's something that I was doing this while I was on, you know, watching TV. It's one of those ones that are kind of so relaxing. It was just one of those ones that you kind of go in, and because of the dots, you feel so much more, you know, kind of, there is a freedom to it. Then also I took one of the stencils from All and Create, one of my, and that was, again, I kind of just a stencil through it. So think about doing backgrounds that are a little bit different. They have got a little bit of texture. You can go in, let me, is this one, that, no, that's not the other one that is, I was, oh yeah, that, that's the one. So I kind of go in and then you go in, say for instance, I wanted to do, and then you do a line here and then you can do let's do the the two speeds and you can go in in there sorry i shouldn't have been demonstrating this here but i just kind of get excited can you see how quickly it has come up that triangle so easy and then you kind of shade more if you wanted to shade more shade more as well so it's a really cool uh like I just, I just think it's very cool. And now also, if you have gone for the all and create uh, beautiful stamps, if you want to create a black, black and white, I mean, I created that, that triangle in just seconds in there. Uh, now, that's the quickness of the speed. If you are an artist and you want to add shading without being heavy handed, this would definitely be one something that I would go for. I'm always really uh, kind of, what do I say? The, you know, kind of not so good, of, of, of course, of on shading, but this will, it was so easy to do. Right, we have got, uh, of course, the special price. So we have saving 12 pounds, 49 pounds and 99 pence is your price, but you have got flexi on this. So you can spread the cost in two interest-free payments of 25 pounds. 2230267 is your item number. Now we have got the trace down pack. Now when I opened it, I was like, what, what, you know, it's traced in paper. Uh, and it's like the graphite. But when I read into it, I read, of course, that usually tracing down papers have got wax. So if you are trying to, for instance, you have got a beautiful applique pattern to do embroidery, maybe embroidery or your spider, and you do it onto fabric. If it has, if it had uh, the paper wax, what happens? Do you know batik? It's not good for the fabric because it soaks into it and then of course creates different things. You want to have the trace down packs because they are graphite and white. And what did they do is have got wax free. It allows you to transfer. You can use the Catalola pen with them. So you, for instance, this is using the white. Can you see it? So there is no white cartridge in here, but if you want to create a snow effect, now any pen you can use them with the white tracing papers as well. So if you have got a stamp, you can stamp it onto a paper and then trace it onto a dark. 
using the white paper. You're also creating the graphite, so it's the traditional graphite as well, to create transferred patterns. So for instance, if I had this gorgeous uh, pat uh, face in here, or a picture, and I wanted to transfer it down into a uh, art journal to kind of the, the, uh, the, the little dot, dot uh, painting, I could do that. I could try to, you know, transfer just the outlines with the graphite and then kind of do the pantalism afterwards. But the fact that you can use the white one, and it's a proper white, you know, you can see the, the white. It's like tiny as dots because that's, of course, the Catalola. It's a great addition if you are going for the rechargeable Catalola. Uh, now, 13 pounds and 49 pence gives you both the graphite and the white one, five sheets of each. And if you're using the dots, you can reuse the same piece over and over and over. 358573 is your item number. You're saving four pounds and 41 pence, which for such an affordable price to begin with is a fabulous saving. Now, if you have got the Catalola, it's great to grab this next bundle. And remember that if you add this to the um, Catalola, that has got flexi, uh, flexi order. So you open a flexi basket, which means that if you add that, you can flexi buy these ones as well. Now, we get in here five refills of the uh, pink, five of the blue, five of the yellow and five all the gold. Now, blue, pink and yellow. Pink is more of a magenta. The blue is definitely kind of a cyan, uh, turquoise color. And then we have got the yellow. They are very much the primary colors, which means that if you are good with your colors, you can mix them up and blend them together. Not blend them is because they have the little dots, but create different shades because of the whole kind of element. The gold though is gorgeous. Now here, I went back to my roots and I used to love, like this is how I started uh, car making, it was to draw in with my, how you call it, the circle uh, shaper, that, well, creating circles, a spiralizer, uh, and then I would uh, embroider them into cards. So I did the same patterns, which is, this one is the flower of life, it starts with the seed of life and then it becomes the flower of life. Uh, and, it, and then just fill it in with the gold. Can you see the shimmer and the luster from the gold there? It's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, with the black, kind of highlights certain designs. So it's just a kind of a, one of those ones that creates a little bit of something different. I really love these artists that do a lot of black and white work going forward with them but of course sometimes you want a little bit more color so adding them that is fabulous now here i have used uh, one of the journals that we have got next but you can see again stamped into it i've used tracy hay stamps paddle uh, paddle up uh, you can find them on the website but look at that so i used the stamped watercolor and then i used the gold look at that can you see the gold how it sparkles it looks, it reflects it, and of course you can then do some shading in here, it adds texture, it kind of adds definition, and then of course I did the water. Now, if you wanted to create the effect of water, you could do that. Now, you might have seen, um, you know, one of the car making gurus from the USA, uh, Jennifer McGuire, did some technique like this, but she was using a regular pen. However, look how it was so much easier and quicker to do something like that. It's just, it's just the definition. It's just a kind of that sort of something a bit different. And it's so quick as well. Right. If you want to, you remember, if you add these ones to your uh, rechargeable pen, the Catalola, you can flexibite. And remember, you can do that as well for the journals, which can I say something? I'm a very posh, I'm very posh when it comes to journals. These ones are the very, very top, 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 and top of the art journal world. I'll tell you why in a second. 363-964 is the item number for the, uh, you know, refills uh, for your cartridges, and you can take them out and even when, as you went. You're saving six pounds, again, a beautiful saving considering that you are just paying, uh, well, just 14 pounds and some pennies. Right, talking about art journals. Well, um, these are journals we have got here with the set of the beautiful chain of uh, Savello. Now, here you have got a lay flat, gorgeous 300 GSM uh, pages. Now, that in itself is very extraordinary. Not 
uh, very rarely you get art journals with 300 years um, watercolor card. But even more extraordinary is they are not seams in here. They completely laid flat. They are the lay flat. Now, I haven't seen any other art journal. They might be, but I have never seen them. They completely lay flat, which means that you can stamp in the middle. It means that you can go in there. But the fact is, well, I'm not sure this one, but of course you can do some cut low line here if you want it. You cannot see a seam in there. You cannot. You know, yes, there's a you know, it's seamless. Uh, the other reason I love these ones is the fact that it's 300 GSM. But with watercolors, I have, you know, I love my watercolors. Never seen a watercolor journal react so well to the watercolors. It's just one really generally amazing. Right, here you also are getting 10 bullet tape um, colors, pens. Uh, you can see in here, so you are getting the yellow, the, the orange, reds, and you are getting more of a pinky red, a blue, the teal, the green, lime, black, and brown. And the yellow is pure sunshine. It's not light. It's not, it's not, sorry, not, it's not too light or too pastel that you cannot see it. It is vibrant and there. Uh, 29 pounds and 99 pence. They are water based, uh, but they kind of still kind of, it's not a, a ones that you will blend in with water so much, but they are not permanent in a uh, non porous surface. 662346 is your item number. 29 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving 7 pounds and 14 pin. Uh, then we are going into another bundle, which is a similar but different, if you know what I mean. Uh, you are getting Stabilo pens, but these ones are the fine liners. So let me show you exactly how. Now this one, this bundle is brand new to you to, uh, from Hotanda, and you can see the, the really tiny in it. I will be honest, I love a fine liner. The Stabilo ones are one of the ones that I have had for a long time. It's one of my go-to. Writes beautifully. Uh, I don't have necessarily, I don't have a reliable handwriting, handwrite, but if with these ones, do you ever find that there are certain pens which, with, which you can write really well? These ones are this. I mean, these ones, look, I mean, the joint script, I'm just always so pleased. I really think that this, and then if you look here, even the capitals, look how nice they look. And I have got not a very reliable handwriting. So as I mentioned, they are really brilliant. I really love them. And then you are getting the lay flood sketch and you can see there here as well. So you can kind of, it's exactly the same. It's 300 GSMs, lay flood. It doesn't have, it doesn't have that, uh, you know, kind of, Join, if you know what I mean, uh, and of course, it watercolors beautifully. Three two two five one zero is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Do you want to get them both, just the, uh, the uh, journals on their own? You can. And here they are. You have got the A four and the A five. Five five three zero five four is your item number. You are getting twenty pages in each of them. And 24 pounds and 99 pence. That, look at that saving of 10 pounds and 181 pence. Can I just reiterate how how good they are? I mean, I how I say I, I buy my art journals. I love my Ranger ones. I love my Moleskine. I love my. But these ones are something else. I mean, 300 GSM quarter color. Uh, the fact that it lays flat. If you like to draw, you can draw there. If you have one of those beautiful large stands from Alan Create, you can bring them across. Uh, so for instance, if you have them, you know, those Alan Create stamps, those gorgeous corner ones, you could stamp across it because there is no edges. It lays completely flat. So, cut a lot out. Here we have it. Right, so how they, do they work? Now, if we have got, let's just say, uh, kind of, we kind of go in here. And uh, now we kind of go in. I'm gonna just check which color I have got. This is the blue. And then I'm gonna go in. Okay, yeah, that's the black. So I'm gonna put it uh, here. So I'm gonna go in. Again. Uh, and then kind of, here, see, I kind of just draw it, yeah. With with the Catalola, I would say one of the things is that sometimes, um, like, I think I press too hard. Now, that's one speed. You press it down, and then that's it. You press it twice, and it goes super quick. Now, when I go in, 
look at that look at that and these pads are just so beautiful so can you see how i'm just kind of going in and shading a little bit now i move my hand a little bit faster to kind of create that shading in here and then i'm going to go in in here now if you wanted to go in with you know if you are asking me how long do they last it's about half an hour uh, of the charge but the good thing is you know the charger that i was talking about you can charge it you can work with it while it's charging and by the way the one that i had in the in the in the counter uh it does work it's just it's just that i was pressing too hard maybe i was a little bit nervous or maybe it was a little bit shy this one now i kind of wanted more shading here so i kind of stay more in there uh, you can see how quickly it's coming together now you could do this and then i kind of go in and then kind of go in there now i'm doing it freehand which is a little bit dangerous but see i made a mistake so i can go in no so now that's going to be like more of like a leaf of a flower i don't know what it's going to be oh that can be like a little bud in there so if i wanted to decide this i kind of go in can you see how you define the lines then you kind of come in there shading now i'm going to make this line a little bit thicker and then kind of come in there now i just i should have pencil it in a little bit but you know what why be why pencil it in when you can just go in and risk it there it is the over 10 percent of the stock of the catalola has gone remember it's rechargeable also the the paths you know remember that you are getting two you're getting the a4 and the a5 you have got an amazing saving if you put them both in the basket you can flexify them this is so much fun and it's, it's funny because you know i am a crafter i have tried so many different crafts in my life and you know i started crafting when i was about eight or nine with candle making so i have tried many crafts but i had never tried something like this and it just brings you know kind of you see this now if you if you had wanted to do like straight lines uh you know you, you sometimes well or if you are kind of thinking of a straight lines you have to have a very steady hand you not need to know where you are going but with this because it's tiny little dots you can do shading really well and without having to worry those lines i mean i have would have never done drawn these elements you know with a pencil right well no, i would with a pencil but not with a permanent pen because i would have been worried now i want to do a little bit of shading maybe some vines in here and you can go in can you see how i'm creating those vines in there now if you have got look at that can you see her now of course i'm not a person that can draw faces but imagine if you can draw faces how you can outline the lines with a pencil and then kind of come in and shade them or alternatively you could print a picture on then use your uh, transfer paper and then kind of follow those lines in here see how i just i just adore it i just think it's just so much also you could spell a word uh, if you had a pencil you could or i can actually do something as well i'm gonna, like, gonna do it here because uh, i'm gonna go in there but i i'm quite pleased actually i'm quite quite pleased with it i mean this this is just like just me playing just 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 doing it freehand just just going for it and of course then this is a stamp from uh, Tracy Hay so you can do that as well so you can go in and this is uh, did you see me creating that there was a plain paper there was no hand drawing there was nothing in there uh, no that was it just just going for it just kind of flowing in there do you want more definition you can bring more definition let me show you again so turn it one this can see look at that you kind of sit, test the one you press gently press gently kind of comes in then do two very quickly and then it goes far uh, stronger so now i can just go in 
and add a little bit more detail in here. Now, when you're holding it, you don't feel any pushback. You just feel it kind of gently. You do feel some vibration, but it's not that vibration of repetitive strain. It's just kind of almost like a gentle massage in your hands. Yeah, well, that's kind of very, I, I, find, I find it really mindful because it's just kind of, it's just kind of, kind of brought in those details and if you wanted a little bit of shading you can bring a little bit of shading there and then bring a little bit there as well so you have got that idea of just kind of free drawing there but uh, let's go for the color one now how you change the color okay there it is right so if you wanted to color cartridges so you have got different colors i have got the blue in here how you change the cartridges you unscrew the top and you can see the barrel comes off that has got a rubber edge uh, uh, surrounded or canister so it makes nice and soft in here when you take it out i was very scared i'll tell you a true story when i was kind of opening i was like oh, i don't want to take it so thank goodness i had you know so you just pull it out Okay, so you just pull it out, and now she says this. Don't be scared of it, and then you change it to, for instance, in this case, I'm going to go for the gold. A little bit of gold. So then you put it like this, and then you kind of screw it. It is scary, the first time it's scary, but then you kind of... And then you kind of press it, let it come in, and then you has got the more speed. Can you see it? Turn it off, two, you can see it's lower, turn it off completely. Right, so I'm going to do a little bit of gold into, again, Tracy Hay stamps. You can find them on her Chanda website. This one is uh, it's called I Can Fly. I love her stamps. So I have got the, the kind of the gold in here. So you hold the pen kind of as vertically as you can and also create kind of a texture as well. So kind of first you kind of go in the lines. You can see where, where you want it to go. You could draw it like this or then you can remember press the button here we have got the button and then you press it twice and you can see the speed in which that works in here so kind of kind of in and then kind of go in and create the elements so this is the thing as well um i always say uh, as a daughter of a fine artist and a niece of a fine artist i always don't like to the word artist for myself i always think of myself as a crafter or as a designer but that doesn't mean that I cannot indulge a little bit into an art of the gorgeous pentalism, the great artists that they have done it. So this is why I go to stamps, because I know my hand drawing isn't that great, but that doesn't mean that I cannot achieve the same effects. Look how gorgeous that, can you see it? It's just, it's just so beautiful. And of course it is gold and I'm using I'm using, of course, the A5 art journal that we, well, or the journal in the sketchbook that lays flat. Now, this one, you have got uh, two options to go for, but personally, if you just are thinking about it, go for the set of the A4 uh, and the A5 together. You are saving 10 pounds and 70 pence, I think. And it is a phenomenal lace plan. And look at that. Look at it. I just love this. It's just so uh, little on the screen for the pack of the, you know, lace flat um, journals. They have been really, really popular. As you can see, there is nothing. Now, this is where it falls. You can see there. When I lay flat, it's just lays flat. Now, that means that you could, for instance, do a kind of a really good over the top, like over the edge kind of thing because there is no I mean only when I kind of move it like this and then of course that means it's like um you know those those children's book the, the you know that you know those ones that they open properly in there this is how it feels it feels quality it feels that kind of durability also thinking that uh, you could draw like it's a sketchbook so if you are a landscape artist you could you know go across it I'm gonna so for instance if I were in Shall I do like a little landscape? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a stencil out of here just for the line. So I have got a horizon in here. So I'm gonna put the cutter in here. 
Can you see? Now, this is the, uh, the, 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 you cannot see it. Can you, I mean, just gently over there, you can kind of guess where the line is. This is how amazing this, this thing, oh, I love it. Okay. 30% of the stock of the uh, uh, Catalola. Catalola. Well, I, uh, I mean, I'm pronouncing like this because it's a cuttlefish and then Lola. L which, by the way, was the name of my late aunt who I adore. Her, you know that Lola, where it comes from, Lola? It's actually the diminutive, so like the same as Harry is for Henry, um, for um, Dolores. Maria de los Dolores, which is a, uh, yeah, so so that's a, one of the names. Anyway, that's, so, right, so, uh, so, yeah, in Spain, Maria de los Dolores, which is Mary of the Pains, actually, uh, and, of course, not many girls like that, you know, Dolores kind of Pains, which means face, and then Lola kind of was the way of, uh, short, short, you know, the, kind of make it into a little bit of a shorter version of Maria de los Dolores versus Lola. So you can see in here that I have got a kind of, a, I'm creating that landscape, those lines in here, those ridges in there. And then can, you can see it forming in here. And then I have got here the sea and kind of coming in. But this is one of the reasons why I kind of Okay, so then you kind of go in with the first speed, the slower speed. Remember, the Catalola has got two different speeds and 30% of the stock has already gone. And then, of course, you kind of go in with a high speed to create the shading. And then I'm using the art journal or a sketchbooks that lay flat so there is no crease in the middle. There is no absolute crease. And then we are going in here creating those lines in there and you can go in and add more texture and build in those lines think about maybe you have got a picture of your grand uh, you know grandchild your child and then you can bring and then kind of go in now also the other thing i kind of thinking is that needs a little bit of a moon a moon sort of element into here, the wooden egg. So okay, that's going to be a little bit risky, but I'm going to gonna go for it. Going to go for it. I'm going to... I just kind of really... I kind of really so I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to do around it. Well, that's a big moon. But instead of coming in, I'm going to go outwards. That's a massive moon, isn't it? So I kind of go in. I kind of go in. You know, I can see in here. And then kind of come in. in. I kind of kind of come in. And you can create like kind of kind of the darkness really, really in here. And then what I'm going to do is with the slower, kind of create a little bit of texture as well within. So you can go in and then again go inwards. 40% of the stock of the Catalola has gone. If you want yours, please check out your baskets. It's becoming very, very, very popular. And you can see it here how I'm creating that element now it's very very smart uh how it looks in the presentation box as well now very, most of you are going also for the the color cartridges because that kind of adds a little bit of more possibilities and i strongly recommend them remember that you have got a flexible option with the catalola so why not add the pens in here the, the cartridges so then you can flexi buy those ones as well and then, shall we do some clouds in here? Okay, and then, okay, oh, and then kind of, kind of really that. I just want to play more. I, I'm being told, I'm, I'm being told that I need to kind of do a recap, but, but I'm just like, no, I just want to be here. <laughs> it's just, that's the kind of, uh, kind of thing that you can do. But of course, I need to work uh, a little bit more the, um, 
This is so seamless, isn't it? And look at that. Can you see where the line is? No, you cannot see it, can you? You cannot see where the line is. And then when I fold it, it's, it's, not, it's just, I love these journals. And I would want to do a little bit of, you can see here that I blended. I went through this watercolor so much. Anyway, uh, moving on from that, uh, if you want to cut a Lola, you can see I get excited when something I really enjoy, uh, I get very excited. By the way, if you want to get excited with any of these items, let's jump ahead to the website because you can find exactly everything that we have got in here. Now, we have got the Catalola, we have got the Stabilo bullet, bullet pan, pens, we have got the A4 on their own, but remember, if you go for the A4 and the A5, you are saving £10, so it makes sense to go for those ones as well. Uh, now, you also have got the seven-day savers. Oh, I was wondering about these ones, because you have gotten their different pieces in here, 65 pieces. And by the way, you know what? We have got seven-day savers. I believe that is the zippers as well. I don't know if we do. I have it. But I just want to give a big shout out to Matt, who is the company that supplies it, who is such a lovely guy and always thinking. Anyway, moving on to the Catalola.pen. That is very, very popular. Uh, I think it was 40%, was it? 40% of the stock are gone. Now, what do you have here is, have you ever, and I'm going to say it, like myself probably, um, you know, I always look at artists, people who can draw, like our Ben, who's flooring, who can draw amazingly. And I'm like, I cannot do that. But I want to have a little bit of the joy of creating something like you have seen me. I don't have the confidence. For me to have the confidence to go on air and do it, it has to be an amazing product. It has to be a product that I feel confident to use it. And the fact that it's like this uh, kind of is the first mechanical dot pen that kind of creates all those dots means that with those two speeds, the first one being the slow one, if I make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You have seen me. I haven't done it perfect, but the results are pretty good if I say so myself. You know, and the way that you can build it up, the joy that you create, and I, you know, if there's things about it that it's like kind of yesterday when I was trying testing it for the first time. Yes, I did get it or yesterday or two days ago for the first time. And I went like, wow, wow, I can do this and I can do it pretty well. And I enjoy it. I, it, it just feels it's the joy, you know, and maybe you are watching and you're thinking, well, yeah, but you know, what are you going to do with it? Well, it's art. It's your own piece of art. It's your own piece of enjoyment. This could be an art journal about different shapes that you like, different stories, buildings. One of my favorite artists, uh, his name is, uh, you know, a current living artist. He's a, he, again, he doesn't call himself an artist. He's a craftsman and he's a, uh, you know, a good carver or things like that. He looks, now he looks, uh, you know, he draws and then he does that shading, that perfect shading. Now, if you're thinking about holding a pen, you know, that kind of is, and you have to do this repetitive. Imagine if this is not um, electric, right? So you have to do this all the time, you know? First of all, very slow. Second, that action, you know, going up and down, it would hurt. Having the pen, and um, you know, now it's gonna, I mean, Ben had to, yeah, now it's, it's a little bit slower than mine. That's what it's going to, then you can see that there it is. That, I'm going to turn it over again. You know, I'm going to do a little bit of an eye here. I mean, I'm doing it completely wrong. So, oh, that eyelash. She needs to have her eyelashes done. Look at that. And if you are not, uh, you know, confident with fine line drawing, this definitely kind of hel helps you for that. Also, think about it. We do have got the trace papers uh, in graphite and black. So that kind of gives you as well, you could transfer your pictures that you have got uh, from your, you know, ch children, grandchildren, yourself, and kind of create those, t those techniques as well. I mean, that's probably the, the most scary eye or in, on earth. Uh, yeah, the, 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 my producer kind of agrees with me that this is scary eye. Uh, but I, I admit it, I'm not, a, I'm not an artist. I did it upside down, and this is how quickly it took. It looks like a fish. It's a fish eye. Of course, 
it's a fish I like because it's Catalola from a cuttlefish. So, you know, I was very clever. I wasn't, I was just like, I just can't do it, right? Uh, but uh, now here it comes, of course, with the instructions. We have had a few e good emails. Uh, thank you so much. W Jane, you can print a photograph. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is what you can do. Instead of the tracing paper, you can do it with print a picture and then place it over a, a light box and then trace it there as well. That shading, that's a perfect idea. Use a light box if you want it. Thank you so much, Jen, for that idea. Um, now, of course, the stamps, images, maybe you have got Jane Davenport, the stamps of building a face. You can do that. Think about Dolly Dimples. This one was the latest collection that Charmaine was showing. And I just loved, I just added some shading. I didn't do this eye this is how it was this is how you can see that suddenly adding the shade into it I didn't want to do her more of the you know the chin because I didn't you know Anyway, you do want it. Anyway, £49.99 is the price. It is one of those ones that is rechargeable. By the way, you can use while it's recharging. When you plug it in, uh, the light will come up red and it takes about half an hour to an hour to charge, fully charge, but you can use it while it's charging. So you can plug it into your computer or an iPhone, uh, or sorry, iPhone or other phones are available that have got the USB charger of five volts. And now you are saving 12 pounds. You also have got the flexi buy, which means that you can buy it interest free payments, which means that you open that flexi basket, you can add other elements into it. And of course you can flexi buy those ones as well check out your baskets it's really so much fun 230267 is your item number then we have got those pads the paper pads well they are the flay flat i like I, I'll say it again because sometimes I kind of, uh, uh, some people here in this building, they laugh at me because they say, oh, you are so posh, Paula. It's not posh because I'm not posh. I'm not posh. I'm not from a posh family. But I like quality. I spend, I don't buy many things, but when I buy them, I buy them the best quality I can afford. I'm very much that sort of person. And... Uh, so I have bought a lot of art journals in my past and I always go for what's the thickness of the pages? How do they feel? How do they say it? I had never, and this is hand in my heart, I like, I, you know, I, I, I'm always very honest. Uh, I was so impressed with this one, so impressed. The first of all, of course, is a lay flat. So when I lay it flat, you can see. The pages are not popping open. Even my really expensive art journals that I buy, you know, artist quality, the pages, you have to hold them down if you're taking a picture or something like that. Not so with this one. This one means that you can cross and create a beautiful landscape. The softness, yes, there is a seam here, but it's a seam that completely disappears. You can stamp as well. Now you are getting both the A4 and the A5. Remember, watercolor is amazing on this. £24.99 and and is your price. You are saving £10.81. And and That's amazing saving, isn't it? Uh, 553054 is your item number. Now, definitely add, if you have gone for the Catalola, please uh, and flexibly it and add the uh, cartridges. What you are getting in here is the pink. Oh, let me grab, can I grab something? Sorry. Yeah, she, <gasps> oops. I mean, seriously, you know, uh, oopsie doopsie, that's the my new, well, no, it's not my new thing. I always have said that instead of oopsie daisy. Um, another another uh, brief thing. In, Spain, in Mallorca, we say that when we are extremely clumsy, especially one day, somebody's thinking of you in a nice way, and I'm like, Today is one of those days. Please stop thinking of me. I appreciate the sentiment, but just, just stop thinking of me. Anyway, so you can see here the blue, the cartridge, blue and the gold there. So these ones have been really popular. We are approaching 60% of the stock. Look at that gorgeous. It's such a smart decision. And you can see how adds that kind of beautiful coloring. Is the f p points in there. It's just, I love that. I love, by the way, if you are thinking what image this is, this is from Tracy Hay. I can fly stamp set. It's an A5 stamp set. You can find it on the website. I know it is on the website. But also, 
think about it, a geometric patterns. Use use your uh, your you know circle creators to create patterns in there, like the seed of life, uh, and then the flower uh, flower uh, flower of life in here as well. The gold has got that metallic luster, but you also are getting the yellow, the pink, and the blue, so you can create mixing and matching a little bit of other shades as well. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are getting five of each of those four colors, so you are getting 20 in total. 363964. By the way, I have been using them really a lot, and you cannot even see the. the the indent in, in you know like the ink is still you can see that it's almost full of them um, right moving on to trace down packs here now this is what you can use it when you want to transfer theme patterns into fabric for instance you can use the white one if the fabric is dark uh, think about tracing down as well images photos that you have got we have got a picture i believe that we are going to show you in a second because we, there is absolutely a stunning things that you can transfer on to. For instance, if you have got a stamp, all right, and you want to transfer into a fabric, this would be it. You stamp it onto paper, you place it over it, and then you trace it up because you don't have the right ink. These ones are tracing up but wax free. This is why you wanted to use it for fabric as well. Do you have got also, um, for instance, if you have got a picture, you can trace it down as well. Now you can use it onto acetate and metal as well. And if you're using it for, like for instance, um, our Emily, our producer, her dad uh, was home uh, ceramics, that's beautiful ceramics. If you wanted or he wanted to transfer designs into his ceramics, he can use this or you can use it. And then when you fire, you're in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, 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 in the kiln, sorry, I couldn't find the word. I knew I started with an a, a K, but I didn't know it. The K was fine, but the rush wasn't. Um, you could, when, as you fire in the kiln, uh, the lines will disappear. 13 pounds and 49 pence is your price. You are saving 4 pounds and 41 pence. 358573 is your item number. Right. Moving on to the next bundle that we have got here. Now, if you want to go from some fire, uh, these ones are the bullet nib uh, pens. And um, how weird, I went for red. Um, you can see here the bullet nib that you can have there. Perfect, beautiful, easy to write. And you can see there, and let me show you how they, they are water-based inks. So you can see that I always start with hello. I mean, literally. Hello. Uh, so, uh, Leone always starts with create. I always go like, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, or you can say, oh, you can see hello. And then you can go in. Gorgeous. That's how it. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, and see, this is how we, I kind of remember how to spell it because I think I spell it correctly. I'm not going to show you this, because I think in Spanish it's like gorgeous. That's how I remember. I mean, not that we pronounce that word in Spanish. That's not a Spanish word, but it's like spelling it. Uh, you have got also an introductory price there of seven pounds and fourteen pence. That's the saving you're just paying for twenty-nine pounds and nineteen pence. Six six two three four six. And then we have got the fine liner bundle here. Uh, you are getting all six beautiful colors as well as the lay flat sketch pad. Now, to just to show you, I'm going to go in. Shall we go for purple? And instead of doing hello, I'm going to say, uh, what were they going to say? Oh, what, what words? Wait. Oh, Hachanda. Hachanda. Okay, okay, there it is. That's uh, really, really nice handwriting there. I mean, it looks like a five-year-old has spelled that, hasn't it? But it's what it is. Um, at least six. I, I agree. My, maybe my director is right, six years old. Yeah. Uh, right. Remember that anything that you have seen on the show, uh, if you add it to the Catalola Flexi Buy, what happens? You open a Flexi Basket. What is a Flexi Basket, I wonder? Well, here is Leonie to tell you more about it. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? 
When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for a Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. And it does make it easier. So if you're pretty considering the Catalola, please do flexibite and add those cartridges and spread the cost of everything. Right, we had a picture from John. Wow! Wow! Oh my God, <laughs> apparently the sound I made is just like a tiger. Oh, I didn't know that tigers uh, made that noise. Anyway, you have got it here, the gorgeous tiger uh, that John has created with the Catalola. And you can see the little dots. Look at those shading. I mean, I've, obviously I cannot draw like that. I mean, you are so talented, John. Uh, incredible work in there. But that, of course, you can do it. We have had another email, uh, email from Eleanor. She's... Oh, she wants to know about the cartridge change. You know what? Very good, Eleanor, because we are going to change it. I shall show it now. Uh, I open it up and I take it on off my already color, but I'm going to show you it again. You just push it uh, down and here, and that's it. That's a touch. To put it out, you kind of take it out like that. It's a little bit of pressure, but then it automatically you feel it that is in there again. And if you hadn't put it well, well, <laughs> It would, sh it would show, it would fall off. Right, so we have it on and that's it. That's whole how you do it. You change it that quickly. Then you turn it on. Remember, charge it until the light goes off. When you charge it, the light comes on red, then it goes off. Then you press down and there it is, that kind of goes in. Then you press it twice very quickly and then goes into the second speed. So again, gonna put it twice, goes back to slow, turn it off off you just press it one again turn it one slow twice quickly goes fast and again you do it like this okay that's that's how you do it right so i'm gonna do uh i think she's gonna be a little bit of pink so i'm gonna put it on so again i'm testing the color uh here now see for instance here's coming in the ink coming through and then look how vibrant that pink is. Now, to kind of create it stronger, just put more speed in here and look at that. Look how faster I can go, much faster I can go in, shading those lines in here. And then I'm creating those lines really strongly. And then of course, kind of bringing in the, and then kind of, kind of creating that kind of little, you know, She's a very kind of shy and retired, but you see kind of, kind of go in the lines and if I have done a little bit too heavy, I can always go back and make heavy some other lines. But look at that, I love this. It's just so quickly that you can achieve this. It's about 10 times faster than if you were gonna do it by hand and without any of that repetitive strain injury. Now, if you wanted to see how two colors would blend, they don't blend per se, because obviously you would have the kind of the colors, but you can overlay them a little bit. So what you can do in here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the blue in to show a little bit more of the purpley kind of elements into it. So I'm gonna go in there and then kind of add this. Now, if you wanted to highlight this line, what you do is just kind of go in and darken it. But can you see how you can build the depth of the color in there really well? I love it. Right, so what I'm gonna do, turn it off. Then there it is, off. Then I'm gonna take it and again, unscrew the cap, hold it like this, pull it away, and then put the blue back in, press it down. And then we kind of put it and screw it there. Scott is kind of looking, and then, and then it's just like something else here. And then he's got pen envy apparently. Press one, and then it kind of goes in. 
I kind of go, and then I'm gonna go in. To, now, I can feel, can you see that it's kind of not going in? That's because I didn't press down enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press a little bit more, and then I'm gonna go in. So if not, it could be that, obviously I have been using it for one hour now. So now I can see, oh no, see for instance, now I know, now it has gone, I need to recharge it. So that, because it's, it does about 30 minutes of full recharge, but you remember, you can have it plugged in and then use it while it's plugged in. Uh, so I have been having it for about an hour, so playing around, so yeah, probably about half an hour of full charge. So that should work in here. This one should be fine. If not, well, there is somebody else who's thinking of me and badly, and then that's one. Yeah, that, this is one. And so so this, this is what happens. Now, isn't it funny that the first, that when we started the hour, that happened, and now it's happening again. Can we grab the other one? Because it's happening again. Oh, yeah, see, I, this one is fine. Okay. And now it's working. Oh, you know, it's shy. Now, you can see, it's kind of playing, sorry, it kind of went in, but it's, you can see it there that it's probably, just, but you can overlay, can you see how it's creating that purpley color by shading in it? So it's not mixing, it's kind of blending in those both colors and creating that sort of color. So it's just, it's not blue, it's not, it's not purple, it's not pink, but it's a mix of all the colors. And then of course you can go, and you can see with the blue separate, and then of course you have got those, those pinks and purples. Oh, you know, live TV always makes it look much more difficult than it is in real life. It's always one of those ones that I'll tell you what, if I can do this live on air, like let's show, let's show the landscape here. I never, you know, I'm not, a, I don't draw. I don't do anything like artistic, but this is just like, Look at that, I'm really proud of that. And uh, Or this one as well. Remember that if you go for the Catalola, go uh, Flexibyte, add the uh, lay flat journals, the, you're not gonna regret it. L think about your cartridges as well. Now, it is a joy of to use it, so make sure that you check out your baskets. It's just fun, but it's also a joy to see the results. After the breaks, Elizabeth Craft Designs with the One Day Special and the wonderful Scott is gonna tell you all about. Well, it is indeed the one day special from Els. Uh, now, craft treat at one with Karen Kids and myself, then all and create with Leone at two. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on a chanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda.
Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on her Chanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch her Chanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on her Chanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the very first afternoon show of the day. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 12 o'clock everyone, nice to have your company. Uh, my name is Scott, here with you for the one day special, which has been so, so, so busy. It really has. Now we are over 80% of the stock. Now why is that important? Well one, it tells us just how busy and how popular this has been. Two, I really have to stress this point, when it's gone, it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone. There's no more of this, no more of this, no more of this. So when this bundle... There's no more of this, but just in case you, if you wasn't sure, that's it. Um, so please, you've got less than 20% of the stock remaining to get this, and wow, what a bundle. Um, I had the, uh, the pleasure of working with Esther this morning on the 8am show, and what really struck me about this bundle is what's lovely, and maybe we can have a little chat about it again in this hour, but what's so lovely, Esther said so really striking at the end of the 8 o'clock, which is that we've got so many lovely photos and images that are either online. We are one of the most photographed periods of our lives right now with cameras and phones and iPads to get these. How are we going to look back on those images and put them in our journals? And lovely thing that you got here is it's a really exciting way. Every page turn, there's a little envelope, a little area, another frame, some other way that you can show off an image, maybe of your pets, of your children, of your garden or something like that to look back on. This really creates fantastic memories in really creative ways when you put these together in the whole of your books is lovely. Uh, the dispatch we're looking at here is the 15th of February, so only 10 days uh, to wait there for you, and you've got an amazing, amazing saving on here for you to go for. Please take advantage of 39 stamps, 101 dies. You can split this, all of that over your um, three payments, so your first payment for all of that is only 57 pounds and 41 pence if you are a freedom member on that offer which is phenomenal 
It's incredible. All the savings that you could have got on the individual bundles have all been carried over to this particular bundle that you're looking at here, which makes that your saving is phenomenal. In fact, you look at your one-day special saving there of actually £31.14, and pence, which is phenomenal deal. 110541 is your item code for this. Now, I will tell you, we did have this in other bundles. So you could have gone for the top row, the bottom row. Not anymore. The only way you're going to get what you see here right now is the entire bundle, all of all, all of that. Uh, so I'll tell you what we do. We should introduce... I'm going to take us through these, and really it was a lovely inspiration, actually, on all the variable different ways that you could actually work with this to get that lovely, uh, lovely different looks within your journal. So, hopefully, uh, we've got lovely Esther that's waiting to say hello. Good afternoon to Esther. Esther, hello. Hi again. Hi again. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, I'm a little bit. <laughs> so I think I have to go big backwards like and this. That's it. Keep going yes. as you are. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's lovely. Yeah. That's good. It's okay now. Yes, we're okay. there. We're okay. there. Have you we're had a little? There. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Did you have a little cup of tea, a little rest in between our shows? Yes, coffee, coffee and lunch. Love coffee and lunch. Perfect. <laughs> My, uh, yeah. Did you fancy a hot sausage roll by any chance? No, 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 sorry. We were just talking... We don't have those. <laughs> the only reason we were talking about that is because we've got the snow coming this weekend, so apparently our producer would like nothing better than a nice hot chocolate and a hot sausage roll when the snow comes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when the snow comes. Okay, I yeah. understand. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't don't judge yeah. us on that. Don't judge us on that. Um, no. <laughs> um, we had a really. <laughs> I <won't. laughs> um, I loved my hour with you uh, this morning, Esther. Yeah. And what what you said towards the end of the show really stuck with me, and I struck a chord because the way that we look back on memories with photographs and images, you know. What you've got here, what you've designed in this bundle is absolutely amazing to create the sort of magic and the excitement. When you turn a page, actually what you create with that and the way that we showcase those images, whatever they be of, like gardens as you showed this morning, flowers, it could be children, it could be, of course, uh, pets or anything like that. What you've got here is, is re all your tools you need to create that in such a magical and really inspirational way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was thinking you were going to continue. No, you're so right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so much It's so much fun uh, watching back to it later. I mean, if I take my journals from, let's say, uh, one or two years ago, uh, I can't even remember what we did then. Mm. So when I browse through them and I see, oh, uh, I went to the... Um, a big shop with yellow and, and blue signs, you know? Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> with my son. With my son or something. Those... Uh, general things which you do on a day-by-day -day basis uh, i like to keep record of those things so it's it's the small things you 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 just capture or document yeah and i think it's really fun doing it this way absolutely really really yeah. fun and, and it's gorgeous so and what you get in here because it's a huge amount i know you said this morning you know you had to you had to draw the line at some point because you still got lots more ideas still to come but yeah. these are yeah. these are lovely ways of just the edging of your page of your journal the actually you can do as well just around you know uh creating little envelopes creating little windows little pouches and pockets where you can just slide in those lovely little moments you know sort of really bring yeah. them to life but you also get a lot of you know you've got your florals in there you've got your gardening themes in there you've got your phrases and sentiments brilliant stamps again that are not just great for your journals but some lovely images there that you can use you know with all of your card making or anything like that as well but congratulations on on such a really lovely collection that we've got here it's absolutely oh, fantastic thank you very much yeah. Um, what, you. Do, what have you got? What have you got lined up for us in this hour? Are we going to be working again and just um, sort of uh, work away through like we did this morning? Yes, I've got uh, two journals over here from our design team members with all kinds of examples, and I've got some cute things uh, I made myself again. So I want to show those to you too. Lovely. I tell you what, then uh, okay. Esther, we'll, we'll allow you to get set up. Thank you so much, and we'll show the journal covers here, and then we'll come straight back to Esther then for uh, more of those fantastic presentations, which is lovely. So uh, really looking forward to this. And, and again, if you love your journaling or you're just starting with your journaling, I promise you, everything you. Need 
need is going to be here for you, or anything you want to expand upon is here for you as well. Just to give you those details again, it's 110541. That's going to be the Essentials 2.0. 39 step, uh, stamps, 39 steps, that's the play. 39 stamps and 101, not Dalmatians, dies are what you're getting, getting here, of course. So that price of £203.36, you got your one day special, of course, that's saving on top of that, so it's down to 191 and 36 pence. If you are free to member, of course, you're saving over £30 on this, actually, taking it down to £172.22. That includes your delivery also. So do get this, and as I said, over 80% of this bundle has now gone. There's no more coming back on extended, so if you like this and you want it, please don't wait till final call. Uh, hopefully, you never know, it may even be gone before then, of course, so do grab that. Now, of course, when you are working with your journals, you will probably need your, uh, your journal covers. Now, I've got three here to share with you, and they're all absolutely beautiful. It's all about preference, isn't it, for your own personally. But this one is absolutely stunning. More sort of the classics you're looking at here with your browns of the espresso. Uh, just to talk you through, and they're all the same design, only the cover colour will change. But you've got your elasticated, of course, your binder all together, and a really lovely feel that you can see on that, which is gorgeous. On the inside there, there's all your rings, and you just press down, of course, there at the uh, either end, which will open them up there, and then that will just lock into place. You've also got your two pouches, one at the front, one at the back. You've got your little slider down there as well for putting any cards, and you've also got a little pen holder also. Beautifully finished off with the stitch work, and it makes a really gorgeous, and it is branded, of course, with your Elizabeth Craft, as you can see there, designs the logo on there. If you'd like to go for this one, this is your Espresso 238. Five, eight, three. More of your classic kind of feel. Then, I think it's time to go to the beach. Um, beautiful colour, this. Absolutely stunning. Very, very cool. Uh, beautiful pastels of the sort of the minty greens and blues sort of mixing together on the beach colour here. Half the stock has already been allocated uh, on this. Uh, and again, exactly the same. Uh, you've got a sort of a lighter tan colour on the inside that you can see. And this one is 687979 uh, for that one. And it is proven to be, at the moment, the most popular. But who knows? Time Time could tell. Uh, we've got one final option for you, and actually this is really lovely. A little bit of an extra here because you've got your olive green, which is stunning, and then you've got these beautiful little gold splatters that you can see there. Really, really lovely. Very touch of class. Nice touch of class, uh, again, but beautiful looking. Whichever one you go for. This one is 964379, again, for this one, and it's 1999. 964379. Now, one more thing I want to share with you, and uh, these are absolutely brilliant. Uh, these are your reinforcement dies, and these are great. These You've got a whole collection of these, 12 dies, but if you're looking, maybe you're doing more of a floral kind of feel where you're looking with your garden pieces, well, maybe you want to go the one that actually has got the little flowers in there. Maybe it's more sort of um, the mechanics, etc. So you've got your cogs that you might want to be using. Whichever it is, you've got your tags in there also, but you've got lots of lovely different styles, so you can really carry on whatever theme it is that you're working with across the 12 dies you've certainly got there the image to work with it 296 019 only 1899 but really useful dies all of those absolutely brilliant um do we have chance to show the the paper did you say then and the washi if I do it quickly, if I do it really quickly, let me just show you. You may well see the papers being used, uh, of course, but it does come with these beautiful washi tapes that you can see here. So they are fabulous. You get six of those. And actually, in the, um, the papers, these are double-sided, 64 sheets, but there's loads and loads and loads of wonderful papers. And in fact, on some of them, you've got so many projects you could work from just from one sheet itself. But a really fabulous, fabulous... And I know this morning we were working with the bingos, uh, the cards, actually, and working with those. 042... Double eight seven twenty five ninety nine with your nine pound saving, but everything, of course, is on the website. Right, without any further ado, let's go to the lovely lady herself. Let's go to Esther and let's crack on with our lovely demonstrations. All good to go, Esther? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got two more journals to show you, and I will start with this one. This one is made by Kobe, and she was celebrating her sixty fifth birthday last year and she documented her birthday um, in, in the planner or in, the, in her journal. So I'm going to browse you through and show you what she did just to give you an idea of another style, another way to work. Yeah, uh, lovely, Kobe lovely. loves flowers. 
Yeah, she loves flowers, and her favorite color is blue. But uh, <laughs> I think you can see that. Yeah, lovely. So here she used it. Yeah, here she used a tag from one of the earlier releases. And here you can see those pockets again with lots of places uh, to tuck something in. And as you mentioned before, uh, those places where you can put something in, you like it too. But it's also good for some journaling. Um, let's say if you want to show someone your journal and they don't need to read anything. Mm. So you can do some secret journaling in, in places like this by putting it in. So I always think that's nice to tuck something away if yeah. it's not meant to be seen by everyone. So here's the wave pocket again. She also uses this one this week. And her beautiful grandson is here. And I'm not sure if you can see it. He has those, um, uh, uh, some kind of fascinators. How do you call those? Yeah, little, like a little dealy bopper uh, things, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's a, it says 65. <laughs> That's brilliant. I so love that. that it's, yeah, it's really cute. Uh, this is also from one of the other die sets, but you see the impression you get uh, by watching her journal. It's so much different mm. um, than the ones we saw before. Mm. So, and this is funny. Uh, this is us, her so, her daughter and great. Um, uh, hi, son-in-law. All right. <laughs> and they were not looking. <laughs> they are looking very, um, yeah, cheerful. Don't you think? <laughs> uh. <laughs> No, it's, it's just, I'm just joking. Uh, but it was, it was a really nice day. And because of uh, COVID, she was celebrating it outside. So we had uh, a garden party. Oh, lovely. And we, we, so we could, we could keep our distance, you know, just yes. to be safe for everyone. Absolutely. A little fall, yeah, a little fold out page over here, uh, strips with pictures. So it's really fun to see um, her style and, and working this way. And it's not completely finished, so she has <clears throat> some pages prepared and there need to be some more pictures over here. That's I think. lovely. So that's her journal. Uh, that absolutely and encapsulates, have... Esther, what we were talking about at the beginning of the show, just yeah. memories that come back in a yes, really different, yes. exciting way when you when you put them together like that. Fun to put together, but also fun to bring back out and look through. That absolutely encapsulates yeah, it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's important too, because you cannot look it back or very easily on your phone or your computer or things like that. And by the way, she just stamped on the cover. It's very good to stamp on the cover if oh, right. you want. Yeah, I did it uh, once last year. You see this one? Oh, cool. I that's lovely. I just stamped with... Yeah, with some, uh, how do you call it, permanent ink. Yes. And I just stamped all numbers from our stamp sets on it. So it stays on there very good. So That's great. Just an idea. Yeah. And now I've got some more uh, design team work. This is from Anita and from Anne. And I am going to start with Anita. She's doing a lot of DT work for our team. And she works really detailed. So I'm going to show you a few of her uh art pieces that's what i call them because they are so pretty and i'm not sure if you can see it she's using the flowers over here to make a mini book with one of the file folder sets from the new release so that's really cute you can do some journaling again or put some pictures in and tuck it away again uh, Esther, and this is the big question very quickly yes uh, we, we've had yeah. a, a question being sent through from tracy i yeah. think it is uh, tracy good afternoon but uh, we were just wondering about the size of uh, the 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 um the sidekicks uh, planners yes are, are they, they are the smaller. same <laughs> are, they, are they are they smaller no. than the the previous ones yes. we... I, I, yeah I, I will put two together hold oh, on lovely thank you <laughs> yeah so here's the large one, and this is the small one. Yeah, well, wow, yeah, the difference? quite a difference, isn't there? Yeah? Okay, yeah. So uh, this is the regular one, and this is the smaller one. It's just what you prefer. You can work in one or both, or it's whatever you like. That's brilliant. And some of the dice, yeah, some of the die sets you can use in both planners, but the pages, um, uh, the rings are in a different position, so you can't use the whole pages. Right. Not all of them. Yeah, no, not, not all of them, but it's a completely different size. Uh, the advantage of the sidekick is that you can take two pages out of the book. So uh, it gives you lots and lots of extra papers if you work with the sidekick, because you can get two pages out of one oh, um, yes. page. Oh, yes, I got you. Yeah. Great, great. I, yeah, I hope that makes sense. It does. That answers the <laughs> yeah. question beautifully. But, Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. But it's a good question, and a lot of people uh, ask it. This is also called personal size. Maybe that does that ring a bell to people, to customers who have uh, diaries, you know, for daily yes. appointments and things like that. Yes. That's the same size. Right. The smaller one. Great. Yeah. 
Okay, over here, Anita used the scallops page, and she really did a great job with all those details, with the flowers, the plants, tickets, uh, and layering. That's her. Well, she's really good in layering and coloring. And here you can also see the bird, which I did this morning. Uh, and she used two different colors oh, by... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think she used Distress Ink too. And here's another fold-out page with this week. And again, she made some kind of mini book inside here. That's cute. Yeah, that's really cute. <laughs> There's also some acetate, some acetate in here. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but I think uh, it's a little just, bit uh, shiny. Yeah, if you could just slightly to the yeah. left, we can see a little bit clear on that. It's a little bit out of shot, but... Ah, uh, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. That's brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, so it is a little bit shiny over here, so you can see there's acetate or foil, clear foil. Oh, that's very uh, she cute. Used, yeah, to make windows. Uh, another pocket over here. And this is a completely different style with lots of flowers. She's really good in flowers too. Mm. And all the layering, the fishes, and there's a frame so you can look through. That's So nice. that's really gorgeous how yeah. she did it, yes. Yeah, another pocket again with one of the tags from the book. Uh, another cute tag. Oh, that's something I sent to her. She put it in. <laughs> I didn't see <laughs> that yet. It. <laughs> that's, that's lovely. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, the hexagon page with flowers also from the book. The little girls over here. So uh, almost every spread looks different, you yes. know? Yeah. No, nothing is the same. And this is the one I showed you this morning with the little yeah, rotary that's great, wheel. That. Or, yeah. And it's really cool how she, this is really, I think I should, you could make a card for a man like this. Mm. You know, it's really a, a cool page. Yeah, that's great. You can make a, a birthday yeah, a birthday card like that. Uh, here she, over here she colored one of the, the stamps. Oh. The bird again. This one is saying today, these are uh, pieces from the sentiment strips. Are you able to see that? Too? Yeah, can, yeah, we can make that it out. Look, that's it looks yet. like it's embossed. Yeah. Uh, one of the slider frames, more tags, more pockets. <laughs> so <laughs> there's there's enough to to see and um, yeah to work with. Yeah. This is from Anne, and she is also uh, one of our design team members, and she is doing some uh, general um, how do you say, general journaling, I think. Right. Because I also always see pictures of her and some friends, and also days from day things from daily life or holidays, gardening. So you, you can use anything you like. Yes. So this, I think these are from her garden, I, I assume. Yeah, pretty, pretty, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what are they doing here? Oh, they're having dinner with friends. I'm not sure when this was, but it's probably a long time ago. <laughs> Tickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the girls sitting on the wave pocket over here. And more tickets, tucking pages, stickers, stamps. So you can see there's a lot of things going on in, in these journals. Absolutely and every time, yeah, every time I, I look uh, through those and I, I see new things, you know, because yeah. they're so detailed, they work so detailed and everything. Um, yeah, I see new things every time when yeah. I w walk through. That really lovely, and okay. it gives it a real taster, actually, of just how you can fill yes. the journals, yes. you know, with, with all those. And I do love those little secret areas that you can pull out the tags. Great ways of demonstrating on showing of the photos as well on separate bits that, that tuck away. So, yeah, perfect, perfect yeah. explanation there. That's lovely. Thank you. Okay. Do you want me to continue now, or do you have yes, to do yeah, something? Yes, yeah, please do. Continue, yeah? continue okay, okay. on. I, I keep, yeah, I keep going on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am going to do the, this one. And it says today. I know else did this one yesterday, uh, and I did the other one this morning. But I am sure not everybody is watching all uh, all shows, so no. I think I can do this one again. Absolutely. And I've got some other yeah, I've got some other ideas to work on with this. So that's why I choose to do this one. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I already cut it twice, and I want to tell you why. Because you can use it as it is, like this, and then you've got those uh, letters again and which is say the words today like this and that's what i did this morning i hope you remember i do but that was the yeah. one you did okay. with uh, this week isn't it when you retitled yes, them over correct. the top yes. yes that's correct so this is the same idea and only it has uh, a different text a different word right so this one says today uh this is how it uh, should work uh, when you buy it. I mean, but you can do other things and that's what I want to show it to you now So this is uh, what I did this morning and I don't think I need to show it again 
So I put this aside and then you see I cut it another time with this um, attached. But let's say if you don't have any of our uh, previous releases from um, the Sidekick collection, you can also trim this off and then you have a regular page. Right. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm not throwing this part away because I'm planning on using this uh, on another page. You can always use it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you don't um, have the other die sets and you want a regular page, just trim it off and right. then you can work on a page like this. Um, what I did, I cut the letters again, so the word today, this word, and I cut it twice, one from green cardstock and one from black cardstock. Right. And I am going to uh, make shadow letters. So I already prepared a few for you. And uh, let's me see today. So you see, I cut oh, one nice. in black. Yeah, and, and one in green, and you just um, glue them together, but a little bit off center, so it gives you a shadow. That's is that lovely. Is this visible for you? Yes, yeah? I see that okay. really nice. So, and to, yeah. Good old Todd. Yeah. So, yeah, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Todd. <laughs> so, I, I, yeah, I prepared a few, so you don't have to watch me do five letters uh, with the same technique. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so here's another one. Todd is no longer there. <laughs> Okay, today. And then you can use the word uh, any way you like. You don't have to do the layering, of course. You can also do one layer, but I like it. it it's, it's giving it a little bit more depth. You yeah, know? it is. It's, and then it's for, amazing that yeah. shadowing, isn't it, when you do it like that? You know, it really yeah. is very bold, yeah. stands out brilliantly. Yeah. Yeah, and I like the font too. So that mm. way, I think I'm going to put it down here. Not sure yet. In general, I put things down like this, and then I see how my... Um, yeah, how it turns out, and then I glue it down in the end. Okay, so this is finished already. Then we have uh, those slider frames. They're from the same set. I'm not sure if you've seen them. I will show them to you. They're here. Oh, yes. So this yeah. is a double slider. You know, the, the old-fashioned, yeah, I think it's called a slider machine, or uh, how do you call those? Ooh, when you have those pictures in, and you, you, you project them on the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh. A, slide, a slider frame? How, yes. That... How do you... Is that the old the old fashioned uh, yeah. way of doing it with the clicker? Yeah, yeah a pro Projectors. projector or something? Yes. 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 That's, I, I thought I thought it was called the slider frame, but uh, I there, think, there yeah, are pictures I think in here. Definitely on the same wavelength. Okay, okay. You know you so you, you know what I'm talking yes. about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I made two. So this is a double one and this is a single one. And I had people asking already why did you do that? Because um, if you cut them with uh, a die cut machine, it gives you those smooth edges. And when you want to have a single one and you cut this, right. it's not so pretty over here. So that's why I did a double one and a single one uh, in the okay. same set. Okay. And with the double one, and that's what I did last week, I think it's really cute. I made those cute little mini books. Are you, can you see them? Are you yeah. still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, with this frame, I, I, I doubled it, as you can see. And then you can put in some acetate like this. Yeah. Oh, and that's, that's, what I, that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did to make the cover and the back from, from this mini book. And then uh, with uh, a punch, like a, a crocodile or something, you make those re uh, holes. Okay. And you can reinforce them with the... Uh, Breads, no, reinforcement rings. Oh, yes. Or the, yeah. the iron things. Yeah, how do you call them? Breads, no. Breads, Reinforcers. Yes. Yeah, something like that. So, um, and you just use all your leftover pieces, so your scraps. It's only five by five centimeters. So I think in the US it's two by two inch or something. And you can use all your leftover pieces to make those cute little mini books. That's brilliant. And I, yeah, I will browse a little bit through them. So here I did some... Uh, um, paper cutouts, leftover pieces, as you can see, some um, sentiments, and all a little tickets, some of the stamps. Oh, yeah, they're lovely, Deb. Oh, here, here's, here's the wheel again <laughs> on a page. Oh, that's brilliant. We, yeah. we, you, if you so, wondered but, about uh, how that worked, by the way, that we did that at the 8 o'clock, wasn't it, that you did that, and then you popped yes. it through the centre and, and twisted back on it, but that's brilliant. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here I put something on the back, Oh, you see? covered over, yeah. So, yeah, and it, re it really looks nice also if you turn it around. 
So That's I great. put another, um, yeah, on the end. This is an old tag, some leftover pieces of paper again. This is an old coin holder, which I stamped on oh. one of the sentiments. For, yeah, so you can put anything in which you've got laying around just to make a cute little yeah, uh, book. Lovely that. And th yeah, and this one is, um, I took the cover of an old, uh, what's it called? A book with household labels, a vintage book of household labels. Okay. And I, uh, yeah, I put in some acetate in between, so it has this little cute window. Yes. And I printed some uh, very cute mini pictures of our granddaughter. Oh. <laughs> so she's, she's in here, and it's just for fun making those mini books uh, like this. Oh. Elle says it's a work of labor. Uh, oh, la yeah. a labor of love. Labor or, of love. Yeah, labor of love, yeah. So it's really cute with those mini pictures. At least I think it's cute. Oh, definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. So that's something else you can do with the slider frames. That's great. So what I'm going... Yeah, just, just, just something um, extra. Yeah. Okay, now I am going back to this page. I think I am going to glue this one down over here. And I've got a tag laying around, which, I, oh, I think I'm going to glue this one down first. And then the the word today on top of it. Are you, are here, you keeping it like yeah, that? Are you, you, gonna, are you the A or the D or the wrong way round? That says toe D. Sorry? Toe D? Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, okay, no, no, that's no, all right. Just... Just... <laughs> no. <laughs> well, thank you. That's all right. We don't want Todd to be upset <laughs> with that. No, Todd th can't be crying, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm having fun. <laughs> I so hope so am I, it's lovely, <laughs> it's great. It's all live TV, it's brilliant. Yeah, OK, OK. Um, here I, I, <laughs> I cut one of the frames and I stamped on the frames just for some decoration. So you can imagine if you put this one down on here with mm. a cute picture or something. And over here is one of the reinforcers from the reinforcement. Oh, set. yes, yeah. Uh, the flower one. Yeah, so I think I'm going to glue this one down. They're great, those. The reinforcers the, uh, on those, I know you get yeah. uh, 12 with them, but they're absolutely brilliant because you really can theme them, can't you, to the shape that, that fits in yes, with whatever you're yes. working on that particular yeah. page. Yeah, and they're so, yeah, also so versatile to use. And it's just also um, when you want to finish your page, it's some kind of. It's like you're missing something when uh, they're not there yet. Yes. You know, when you're yeah. finishing off your page and the, the reinforcers are not there yet, I always think, hmm, I missed something. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to uh, give Todd his permanent position <laughs> in this journal. <laughs> We're all watching carefully. I wonder how many people were, yeah. were shouting out of their screens uh, a few minutes ago. It's yeah. today, oh, it's not right. Tony. <laughs> uh, Tony, today, no, sorry. <laughs> and, and it's good it wasn't glued down yet. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. We're, we're all with you. Yeah. We're all there. We're helping. Yes. <laughs> I'm, happy. I'm happy you're there. <laughs> oh, that's nice to hear. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes things go wrong, you know, because, uh, yeah, English is not my first language, so uh, I, I probably will make a lot of mistakes, but I do my best. Oh, you do, you're absolutely fantastic. Very, very yeah. clear. To be honest, better than yeah. half the people here in the studio, and I include myself in that, oh. in my, with my English. So. <laughs> okay. I, I, think, I think when we do a sh another show together in the future, you might try and do Dutch, OK? Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. I, <laughs> oh, I don't think we've got one lined up for a, for a, for a while yet, but I'll, I'll look forward to it. Uh, I'll do my best. Yeah, you, yeah, you have some, some time to, to study. What's, what is today in Dutch? Vandaag. Vandaag. Oh, I might have to do with that spit on my microphone. No, vandaag. Uh, yes, yes, vandaag, today. Oh. Vandaag. Yeah, it's a, it's a, vandaag, yes, it's a strange word. If I hear you saying, say it, I think, oh, it's, it's, actually, it's a strange word. <laughs> you, okay. You can say that, I can't. No, okay. <laughs> and there's another word in this set, it says story, so I think it might be fun to attach that one here. Let me see if it's working. Yes. I also um, uh, applied some double-sided adhesive at the back for this one because it's so easy to work with. Let me see that. So, so it says today's stories now. Lovely. It should be having an S, I think, but okay. Stories today is also good. <laughs> yes. Well, and this way, you, yeah, this way you can set up your own page, you know. 
Uh, I've got some other reinforcers here, which I'm not sure they are not in the set, as I think now, uh, which you have uh, on the show today, but they are from another um, one of our sets. But oh, I like I to see. use those too. Yeah. Because they are not in the in the same set you have over there. Right, right. But it's just to give you an idea um, how to decorate and how to finish your pages. Mm, mm. These ones are there for sure, the circle one. And I will mix and match it a little bit uh, and not use six, uh, six, six the same ones. Yeah. Six ones the same, yeah. <laughs> So one more here. And again, you can see that you don't need really much uh, products or things to to make uh, a nice page. You no. can do uh, pictures the, here. Yeah. The, pa the papers, oh, though, the, the papers are so lovely, you know, in the book. Yeah. Um, the, and yeah. they have got so much on there as well. And you've got lots of the plane or the grid, that you know, the, that sort of yeah. style you're working with there or the lined. But you've also got yeah. some, I mean, really lovely, like, fonts and, and, and sort of images that are on there that, like you say, you don't need too much between that and the washi tape. No. You know, you, you don't no. need too much on there to create a real lovely no. sort of vision. Yeah, if you have uh, some plain cardstock at home, then, then you're ready to go. You know, yeah. you can make combinations, all kinds of combinations. So that's perfect. Uh, I think I'm going to this one here, so I was a little bit too quick with this one, but I can tuck it underneath. <laughs> oh, yeah. So oh, I'm yeah. not doing a picture, yeah, something like this. So, you see, it's uh, it's really, I think it it's is. nice. Oh, it should, yeah, I need to, one more reinforcer. <laughs> and if you want, you can put, um, uh, oh, what's the name again? Uh, a bread or a, a reinforcement, a an iron yeah. one here. Oh, yeah, like, with yes. a little bit of yeah, with some threads or um, to finish it off. You can. Oh, I think it's nice to do some stamping around here. Uh, garden. I think I am going to today garden. Let love grow. I like that one. <laughs> There's some lovely stamps on there. Actually, some really lovely yeah. images on those because you got journal, specimen, you got garden. But I love the I love the actual. You have got the details behind those words as well on that. Yeah, yeah. It's like a dictionary. Yes, yes. Really nice yes, that. Well, yeah, yeah. So it took me a lot of time to find out. Uh, or a, a lot of time, but I was looking for the, the dictionary words and then the explanation, and yeah. then it should be in English, and then it should be the correct English, you know, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think it's a, a really nice page uh, like this. Yes, lovely. So that was this one for now, and I'm going to show it to you what it looks like when I put it in a, in a journal. I'm just putting it on top of this one, but it's just to show you that it looks so much different when it's in a journal. Yeah, it does, isn't it? And, yeah, it finishes yeah. it off. Yeah. So here are the two mini books. That's and brilliant. Yeah. Love That's that. This it's... one for now. Yeah. So that... I've got something more to show you. Do you want me to continue? Or do you want to go back to the studio first? Yeah, I tell you what, we'll just do a quick recap if that's OK. Then we'll come okay. straight back to you in just a moment's time if that's okay. all right. Lovely. Yes. OK, I'll see you in a minute. See you in a moment. Thank you very much. Uh, I absolutely love it. This is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, but isn't it lovely when you see all those pieces coming together? And like I say, it doesn't take much for you to get a really lovely page. And of course, the lovely thing about the journal is you feel. And in fact, you think about the ones that she was showing us at the very beginning of that, you know, some of those are sort of half complete, but they've already then done the work on the pages then, just the, the fun bit then again of it, adding even more of those memories, those images, um, the little uh, keepsakes, like for example, that, uh, that Esther has sent to her, the photographs, for example. That's where it really comes together and it becomes really personal magic. I mean, actually, there's sort of, the, the labour of love is a really good phrase, isn't it? Because it's not just what you look at at the end, it's the fun that you enjoy what you're actually making them. You know, remembering the times when the photographs were taken, looking at those, imagining and remembering how the garden did look in the summer rather than when it's all sort of uh, dead deadheaded again in the winter, for example, and uh, the autumn months. So it's, it is a labour of love, but really lovely. And what this kit allow, allows you to do is to really home in on those areas, whether it is the gardening, whether it's the nature, whether it's the fun, whether it's the idea of friendship, whether it's about family, whether it's about memories of good times, for example, and looking again and sort of seeing those, you know, a grandchild picture, for example, there. 
lovely to be able to sort of, as those photographs, as the little boy, the little girl gets old as well, to carry those on with all those memories, which is absolutely fantastic. And then when they go to get married, the best man speech or their 18th birthday embarrass them. So, always thinking, always thinking. Now, I will tell you, it's really busy. We've got a lot of people that have got them in their baskets as well, but we are now approaching limited stock. And I wanted to stress what I said at the very beginning, is that when it's gone, it's gone. There are no more coming back on an extended delivery. This is everything that is there and it's available. And again, over 80% at the beginning of the show and now approaching limited stock. Please, if they're in your basket, for your own sake on this, don't come so far, then miss out. Check it out of your basket. Your item code, if you've not got it in there yet, is 110541. Please take advantage. If you're not yet a Freedom member, with all the benefits and the perks, the question's got to be, and I mean it in the nicest way, why not? Because actually, the saving that you're getting on here, even if you pay to become a Freedom member, it's still, you're absolutely quids in. And... You're also then going to enjoy, of course, for this next month, because you can stop and start it as and when you want. You get those unlimited uh, free delivery, of course, then carried on for the rest of the month. So really good opportunity. Now, if you're still thinking, how else could I work with these? We've got some lovely clips here we put together so you can have a little look at even more inspiration with the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Have a look at this. Really lovely. Do you know when I'm looking at those as well, what's nice is you've got some really big dies on this to work with your pages, you know, you got your today, this week, for example, to put your wording in, to give the sort of the, the, the shaping of the pages. But when you look through there, there's lots and lots and lots of dies with lots of littler, a little smaller elements that you're going to find in there, which is those are the details, whether it be the leaf, whether it be the wildlife and the birds, for example, uh, whether it be the little plant pots, uh, whether the, the tinier frames that you see in there that work with it. All of those that's the lovely part I think when all those come together that's what makes it interesting to look at isn't it now the other thing that was mentioned uh, that Esther mentioned of course then when she was doing the demonstrations was the reinforcer die set now if you haven't seen it yet and she said you know it's really worth having a look at because it really does give you that fantastic way of carrying on a theme whether it be mechanical grunge whether it's floral um, whether again with the sort of the travel and the tags for example but you've got great ways of even making those reinforcement areas areas carry on that theme really personalizing that and keeping it now you're going to be getting 12 dies for only 18.99 12 dies there for 18.99 which is absolutely brilliant you know you can cut more than one lot in one go on that pass that through but that is a really brilliant but not just even for your journaling on this particular project now, i think this is something you'll use time and time again want to go for this one pop it into your basket 296019 that you can work with. Again, if I just show you there, gives you a little idea then, of course, as you can see then once they've actually worked through a little, uh, a little uh, uh, opportunity to get those and really personalise uh, those dies and work with them lovely. 1899 296019. Uh, we've got only around about 15 minutes left then, as to so. Uh, are we okay to come back to you for another, another treat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, and no pressure again. That's what <laughs> no I hear. Pressure. <laughs> I always feel like I'm putting pressure on you. I really don't mean to. You know I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll be fine with 15 minutes. Great, you've yeah, got no six. Problem. Oh, so <laughs> okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but should people... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people will think I'm crazy, don't they? <laughs> uh, no, not at all, okay. not at all. No, I'm, I'm sorry, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk, <laughs> to talk about the seat pocket, and that's also one else did yesterday, but, and then I heard her talking about making a mini book, but she didn't know I already made a mini book, so oh. that's what I'm going to shoot, <laughs> show, show to you now. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, Els will be later on today, and she will be doing some other things with the die sets again. So it's all versatile, and for people who haven't seen Els, they can see it now. Absolutely. So I hope that's okay. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Here I've got some of the seat pockets made by the design team. And as you can see, they're all different again. This one is made, uh, if I'm correct, by Marjolein. And this one is made by, let me think, Anne. And then we have Jamie over here. It's a different style again. Mm. And uh, obviously, this is Marie Claire in her black and white style. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, we saw, we saw so some of her really work cool uh, this morning as well, didn't we? In the yes, that's white. correct. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it really stands out because she really, yeah, the black and white is mm. it's her signature, you know. Mm. So that's really nice uh, for me to show them to you this way. Lovely. And I made a few, yeah, I made a few myself and I took the same paper for all the pockets. So uh, that's more my style. And as you can see, I didn't put seats in it, but I put uh, little labels in them. So as you can see oh, here, okay. some stamps I, I already prepared. Uh, more labels, and this is also really nice to make a gift for a friend. That's with, lovely, that. Yeah, little, yeah, with really uh, small bits and pieces in it. Yeah. And I'm going to, to assemble one now for you. Great. And show you how to make this, so you can make your own closure. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, I obviously uh, cut one uh, in advance, so I don't have to do that now. And you just have to fold it on the score line. Oh, and this one is not... Oh, the paper, I cut it, uh, how do you say it, off-center of the paper? Steep. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not straight, you see? The paper wasn't straight on my um, cutting board. That's what I see now. But, hey... We'll forgive you this time, Esther, we'll forgive you. Okay. <laughs> okay. It makes my day. Now I can sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you make our day, okay. I, I promise you, you do. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Okay, the double-sided adhesive again. Oh, and think of this, this, if you want to make a window and you want to close it down, uh, you have to uh, attach this before you close down the pocket itself, because right. otherwise you can't get in anymore. Right. And it was a good tip, tip what, which else mentioned yesterday. Um, if you want to use it for seeds, you have to make sure this is really... Uh, closed, so the seeds won't pop out. Um, of course, because you didn't glue it down really well. No. So I'm trimming it down a little bit, and then I am adding the tape to the sides of the acetate paper, acetate sheet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a, these are lot. I love these little pouches, though. I think they are fantastic. Like you say, for for little treats in there, like you, it might be all for seeds yeah. if you are keeping them from. Uh, from the flowers as well. Certainly if you've got photographs of them as well, once they're actually in there on yes. that page. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, they're great. Okay, so if you apply it this way, then, and, and you do use uh, seeds to put in, um, they won't go out, they won't no. fall out. So, because it's really a good closure like this. Yes. And I'm applying a little bit more tape over here and here. And then you can close it. Are you are you oh. a keen keen gardener yourself at all, Esther? You talk a lot about seeds and florals. And... <laughs> no, I no. have to be honest. My garden is a mess. <laughs> 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 but but I like I like to work with uh, the the gardening style in journals. Yes. So maybe that's a little bit of compensation for my bad gardening in real life. Right. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. And it's a lot better extra... to do it that way. I think. Yeah, yeah I agree. Lot... Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, there's a little frame, an extra frame, which. You you can glue around here so this one when you uh, die cut it it's a stitch edge over here and it also has an extra frame in the set which you can glue down oh, over here nice. if you want that yeah. makes it stand out nice uh, and now for this one i see i forgot to put a double-sided adhesive in the back so i'm taking a little bit of glue now so i can apply it and as you saw uh, at the mini book, they have the yeah. ring holes on the side, and they are not here yet. Right. So you can you can use the pocket as a pocket, like it is this way. But if you want to make a mini book, or uh, you can apply uh, some rings, and there are three different, <clears throat> sorry, elements in the die in the set, 
and which give you the opportunity to attach things in your journals without damaging them. Because uh, you can use this part and glue it down here and it goes into your planner. Right. Uh, let me, yeah. So you can use this one in the small one because the three holes are here or here. Oh, I see, yeah. And, yeah. And this also goes in the large one because the, the distance between those holes is the same. Okay. If you can use it here and here too. Uh, if you want to use a bigger one, you can use this one. And I'm just showing it to you. Yes. This one goes here if you oh, want to have yeah. it in the middle. But this one doesn't fit in the large one because this one is the, it, that's the difference between the large uh, and the smaller right, one. Right. It's the distance between those rings. It's not the same. Right. Or you should uh, make an extra hole if you want. Okay. You can do that. Thank you for that. And that's that, nice, and, yeah, nice and clear, and, actually. And, yeah. And there's a large one which goes, uh, this one is especially for the large binder, but you can also use it as a decorative peach, uh, piece, sorry, peach, <laughs> piece uh, on, on other pages. Oh, uh, right, yeah. So yeah. it's, again, you can use this uh, all kinds of way. Great. And uh, can I just interrupt you very, very quickly? Sorry, sorry, yes, uh, yes, so just yes, to mention, yeah. uh, just to let our friends that are watching with us in America, uh, I think yesterday we mentioned yeah. that, uh, that we wouldn't be able to um, uh, get uh, ship uh, out to you in America, but guess what? Okay. We can now, so uh, it's all uh, sorted really? out. We're back on, so if you are watching in the States and you really do want to go for this one, then we are now okay to ship over to you in the States, so that's good news, uh, uh, a good reason yeah. to interrupt there. Sorry, I just wanted to let, let everybody know that. No. No problem. That's fantastic news. <laughs> yeah. Does it does it have to do with the the, the, the Brexit? It was more difficult for you I'm to not, ship to the US. I'm not. I'm not qualified to answer oh. that. I don't know. Okay. That's way above no, my no. pay scale. That kind of information. Okay. Esther. <laughs> <laughs> That's my first impression. <laughs> That's my first thought. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it was just a box with a tick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this envelope doesn't have a closure uh, in the set because um, when I had to make a closure in this set, I'm going to show you, um, yeah, uh, it needs a lot of space over here right. and only for making a, a small hole. So I choose uh, to, not to do so, so I could add an extra frame. So it's a little bit technical, but uh, that's something everybody can do her, him or herself. So I'm going to make a closure with one of the decorative elements which is also in here. I fold it, uh, not completely in half, but a little bit. Uh, I think it's two thirds, one third. Okay. Uh, no, not it's not. But there's a little um, dash in between, and that's why I folded it. And uh, now I have to make me think, yes, the short one on the front side, and I just glue it down in the middle. And the longer part, uh, I'm only not gluing, putting glue on the, on the last piece. I see. So just glue, gluing it down like this. And now you see my frame over here and I need it because I am, don't want to cut between uh, all the two layers of paper. So I'm putting a little bit of uh, a dot here and here. And then with a little craft knife, I'm going to make uh, an incision. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. 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 To, um, so you can close the, um, the envelope. And I think I need to put something there. Okay. Okay. Are you, uh, is 911 on uh, by hand, you know? <laughs> if I need, um, <laughs> Don't worry, we've, we've got you back. You know? we're, 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 we're good okay, here. Okay, okay. We're better at helping people spell um, rather than <laughs> anything else. But uh, yeah, we're, we're with you. <laughs> okay. So here's a little incision now. And then you uh, just slide this one in. And then you can oh, close yeah. the envelope. It's just an idea. And you can also do a string closure, you know, with those two of those circles oh, yes. and some thread. Yeah. A wind round. But yeah. this is also a way to um, to close it. Um, yeah, this was this. And because we only have so little time, I'm going to put this aside and show you uh, a little fun extra thing. Okay, um, just what we're talking about. We've many... got uh, four minutes. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> oh, what I also <laughs> wanted so, to say. I feel awful that, when I say yeah. the time being left, but I'm sorry. Yes, that, that, yes. That's what it that's goes my so job. Quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it goes so quickly. It does. Uh, I wanted to show you these. These are from the new stamp collection, stamps, and the frames are from one of our previous sets. So I always think when designing new things, how can we combine it with the things we already have? Yeah. So 
it's not you can use it m multiple times so these stems for example go on those frames which are from an earlier set it's called retro labels for anyone who is interested oh so just to let you know <laughs> nice nice little bit uh, of info yeah put those aside too here's another pocket i made uh with one of the uh, file folders the new mini file folders and i made one here too <coughs> And I just take them out. Oh, and I want to, sh yeah, there's so many things I want to show to you. And it's a shame we only have an hour again. I those know. cute frames, yeah, those cute frames are in two sets. And they are meant to be, well, that was what I was thinking when I designed them, uh, for layering. So, for example, if you make a card and you have a, a, a cute flower or something, just put them behind something. You can use a staple to attach them. Or over here, you can see them in black. Oh, yes. Just as a decorative piece, I put them on the back over here. Yeah. But also cut out of vellum. They are really cute to use. So as you can see uh, over here, and this is the same uh, file folder I attached over here. And this one is stuck down, and I uh, left it open on the top side. So you again, you can put something in. Little, little pocket, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, cute. a little pocket again here are my two girls. And this ticket comes from the, the Reminiscence book too. So it's um, it's They're in here. They're lovely stamps. I love those stamps. And, yeah. Yeah, and the, the, the tags are huge, but they are really cool to use. Where are they? Oh, yeah. No, these are the different ones. Yeah, yeah, now I can't find them, obviously. <laughs> okay, course. that's a waste of time. But they are in here. There are three of these large tags over here in the book. So they're so yeah you can use them anywhere and here are some more of the file folder pockets which i created and you can also for example use them in one of the um fold out pages i did earlier this oh, morning yes. or yeah. this afternoon and you can glue them in there just like uh, anita did i think here's my granddaughter again with one of the stamps and i thought <laughs> girls talk was a really nice uh stamp to use to go with that so as you can see, it's really yeah. yeah versatile to use, and yeah, and it's so much fun working with those uh, elements Very and bits and so. pieces. Well, yeah, and Esther, this one oh, oh, sorry. is also really cute. Uh, uh, well, no, this, no, no, I, no, I'm I just, fine. I'm good. Time has been time has come against us now, uh, unfortunately, oh. Esther. But uh, but but thank you so much uh, for the last hour again. Uh, it's always yeah, lovely to, to watch your demonstrations and uh, yeah. and also to to catch up with the grandchildren. It's been a while, so yes, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> they grow so fast. Oh, <laughs> uh, Esther, listen. Yeah. Th thank you so much, Dee. Take care, and we'll see you very soon. You're welcome. Okay, see you soon. See you bye soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, there she goes. Absolutely amazing. Uh, listen, we're down to our last thirty seconds. I want to know we are limited stock everybody on the one day special and if you were thinking just out of interest if you were thinking by the way of going for and um, adding on to of course uh this, this the kits here that you've got here uh with the 12 of those dies if you could have put those on details for that at the bottom of your screen if you want to add that onto your flexi it only adds another six pound 33 onto your payments your, your your three payments of course on each one of those so i hope that helps as well spread the cost uh, thank you so much well done if you got it in your basket you're gonna have a lot of fun with that but don't go anywhere we've got more on the other side of this I'll see you very, very soon. OK, everybody, then it is now time for your craft treats taking you through. Then lovely Leone be with you, of course, and Hayley for All and Create. And then we've also got Ali's Stitchy Fingers coming up. What a brilliant Friday afternoon. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. 
Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we're going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Emma, the cricket demonstrator here on Hochanda. Cricket is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. I love cricket because it allows me to take craft projects I have in my head and make them a reality. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood fabrics, the possibilities are endless. On the shows on Hochanda, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with cricket. So make sure you don't miss the cricket shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Well, good afternoon. We have got a craft treat in name and, of course, demonstrated and products for you. We have got the beautiful Italian Karen, how are you? I'm lovely, thank you very much. How are you? I'm very, very well. Now, we had a busy show early on. We certainly did, yes. yes. And we, you show us lots of different techniques. Mm -hmm. yes. I, are we going to see more of them? We're going to, I've got some demonstrations planned, mm -hmm. as obviously you do. Uh, and then I've got a couple more things that I can just quickly show through and Fabulous. Uh, quickly do, yeah. Now, Craft Treat, can you tell us a little bit about the company? Because it's the first time that you represent it's them. It's the first time that I've done. I don't know much about it. I've, um, I've only just been given this a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So I do need 
to investigate, but I know Stuart's been dealing with them from quite a like, quite a, ta a, a time. Yeah. I know Good Archer is the distributor for them. And we do your work as, with. As we do, so yeah. there we have got immediate dispatch. Immediate dispatch. All the stock is there. It's immediate dispatch. There's no, di di uh, there's no delayed dispatch. He's got all Fabulous. the stock there. Now we are going to have a first look at the very large stencils, a set of three 12 by 12 stencils. We are getting a little a dose of positivity. You can say it. I yeah. can't. I'm struggle to say that. Uh, well, that's probably the only word that I struggle and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want a little bit of positivity, uh, here we have it with the gorgeous teapot and the tea cup as well with those beautiful flowers. Now, my first question, Karen, is could we mask off the flowers and then just create a beautiful uh, cup of tea? Certainly. You can, as with all stencils, you can mask them off. You can uh, mask the teapot off, mask the cup off. Just just use the words, uh, just use the letters out of it. As long as you know where you're masking and, and you, you, you're very gentle, then you can, can do anything that you want with a stencil. Absolutely. Almost, any, and you almost can, anything, yeah. Almost anything. And you can layer them closer together or you can just put them onto a card. So you have got both the positivity teapot and positivity teacup in there. I just thought it's so cute. But not that's not the only stencil that you are getting. You are getting dream big and we like to dream big, don't we? Uh, with gorgeous uh, of course a beautiful uh, dream catcher here yes certainly certainly so that had some stencil paste through and then uh, just went over with um, chalk paint gold chalk paint but with a beautiful sample down here that uh, our Sam's done if they want to if you want to uh, okay. get that she's done lots of texture into it lots of bright colors that's her little granddaughter but she's used the words on it dream big and then she's made her own little words little little one but yes yeah. uh, absolutely there's loads of texture loads of feelings feeling yeah. onto it but it doesn't have to be one color it's the color of the rainbow yeah, that I must, love that. Rainbow. Must be how our granddaughter makes her feel yeah, like a absolutely. rainbow. Absolutely. And then, of course, you are getting the large mandala as well. Now, it is large because, of course, it's filling up the 12 by 12, so it is rather large. But we can use again bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Just use the center part, just use the. Uh, the flourishes from the outside, do it onto the corner like I've done on my journal, whatever you want to. Or if you want to, you, like we were speaking about previously, spray your windows with the fake Absolutely. snow, you've got that. Or even use it to put paint through onto your walls. Absolutely. You can make yourself a beautiful border along oh, the top. Oh, that would be amazing. Like a Moroccan, a Moroccan uh, you border. Know, you know, also I was thinking this one for a kind of, well, if you have got a, um, like a um, lampshade to stencil onto it because it's such a large, beautiful yes. size. Yes. Right, if you want to go for this bundle, uh, 845572 uh, is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Uh, now, of course, it, I believe if I see thirty percent of the stock has thirty percent of the stock has already gone, so check out your baskets if you want a dose of positivity. Uh, it's just kind of I'm so proud I can pronounce this. You don't know how much proud how proud I become when I can pronounce something in English properly. Anyway, uh, right, moving on to um, the next bundle. We have got a set of beautiful four uh, six by six stencils. Now we are going to small size, but there is so many possibilities. And I believe these, all of them are kind of two step. Or there, there are two steps. So then you've got the feathers uh, with the outer edge in it, and then you've got the two centers, but you've also got the positive and the negative of that feather. I did call them uh, leaves this morning, but it must be, watching all the green leaves falling that m my brain didn't work Aww. you've got the peacock we did a little demonstration with the peacock mm -hmm. and don't forget i did it in glitter paste you can do it in in different colored inks um, draw through it and then you've got the two-step paisley but you don't have to use it as a two-step you can use it as you said part of uh, in your journaling you can use them as uh, inverted commas commas and then the the paisley itself Absolutely, and look at the, I love the uh, kind of feathers in here, the two-step, the weight. I mean, it's actually a four-in-one, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yes, definitely. It's, it's one that I'm going to regularly go to because I like feathers. I, I think they're I, very I, evocative, very kind of mystical. Uh, yes, yeah, but they also, they also say, you know, that when a feather falls, it's someone 
it's someone that's from your past oh. that's, that's sending you a message. Oh, well, and that's good. Yeah, I've I can't got remember. Yeah, belief, I can't remember. That's belief, gorgeous. That, yeah. yeah. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 0432927 nine is your item number. Numbers. Uh, anyway, uh, now this is very, very popular the hour before and also is this hour. Love those eyes. I mean, they are just those eyelashes. 60% of the stock has already gone. So if you want to, please be sure to check out your basket. Look at those beautiful There's eyes. There's 10 eyes there. Yeah, you can use a left and a right. You've got a pair. Uh, you've got five pairs there, but don't forget, you don't have to use them as the stencil says. You can bring them closer together. So if you're practicing on 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 uh, drawing faces and you want you're yeah. drawing you're drawing big faces, you've got eyes there. But there's also something there that you could you could draw through it and learn to draw from them because they are realistic eyes. I mean, b beautiful blue eyes here, and of course you can color them. Uh, on a, now again, oh, that's a very good idea from our producer. If you are wearing contact lenses and you have got the case. You can stencil into it with permanent ink or acrylic paint. And then you and have you know the, which is your left and which yeah, is your right. Absolutely. Definitely, yeah. and, and then, of course, I think, I also kind of really would like, I mean, this is a little bit creepy, but uh, maybe you put it into light, an, a light panel and then kind of pierce through the eye, so the light comes in through the this, eye. And there's all sorts that you can do with an eye. Uh, um, it, an eye's not for everybody, but if you like an eye, yeah. You, they're, they're, they're the, the ones to go do. for. I like an I, I like an eye. I mean, now, now I also also kind of think that the reality is an eye is difficult to to draw. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, for instance, to go like I think also I had the the pen, the mechanical yeah. pen for the Catalola, uh, and of course you could do that and then do, do the shading with the pen as you well. You could go straight into the Catalola. 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 Yeah. With the uh, with a stencil absolutely. and then uh, and then just build it up and build it up. Well, that's and one. And you drawing your own app. Absolutely. Now, of course, you, that's one stencil that you are getting in this bundle. You are getting three more. A life doesn't need to be perfect to be wonderful. With the beautiful butterflies, remember that you can mask the sentiment and then just do the flower, either butterflies or vice versa. Then you have got friends are the chosen family. That is a glorious, and I love the birds in here. Again, I think this is a red kite or an eagle. I like that, or a spray. And uh, you can see how different does it look with the kind of the negative in there. And then finally, we also are getting in this bundle, water your dreams, uh, make them grow, make them you know, feed your dreams as well, it kind of has got that bit. But look at the flowers, I could kind of uh, like that as well. It's a very, very polar, three quarters of the stock out Scott. <laughs> three quarters of a Scott has gone. Three quarters of the stock has gone, now gone. Uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 786383. Uh, right, I had, like, if you watch, uh, was it 11 o'clock that I had the words start of a show, kind of almost ever? Um, you know, this continuing that trend of. Stand, stand back, not knock anything. All right, uh, now we have got a set of four stencils, and now six by six flourishes. I love this set um, because you have got different sizes. Now you could build a full on flourish uh, with just using the quarters. Yep, yep, the you, can, you can do it. You can do it into put it into co into the corners to make a frame. Yeah, but also don't forget you can do them back to back and then start building Absolutely. building shapes and and doing borders. You've got the bigger ones, the small ones. You've got the negative and the positive of the flourish. Um, a very very versatile set of stamps if you like home decor or you like to have flourishes. I love also the negative and the positive flourish in there as well. So it gives you a two different looks. Uh, perfect for a gateful card. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Seven four four two three six is your item number for all four of them. Now, incredibly popular uh, in the previous hour was the amazing uh, decoupage papers. Now you are getting sixteen sheets, uh, sixteen designs, so one of each. Um, now it's approaching sixty percent of the stock already gone, and what you are getting is four designs per family and you're getting four families so look you can see here 
you can see here the gorgeous birds. So you are getting four designs featuring birds. They are papers and they have got like that linen texture. Yes. yes. Now, could we use this for traditional decoupage as in with furniture and upcycling, things like that? You certainly can. They, they, even though it's got a linen texture into it, they do, they do lie flat. Okay. It's just the texture on top. So if you do the furniture with them, uh, you, if you decoupage onto your furniture, you get a nice feeling. Very much like you were saying about old book binding yes. and, and that very oldy, oldy feeling of, of what paper used to be. Absolutely. Look at those gorgeous colours as well. So we have got in here four sheets that have got birds, four sheets that have got like peacock, and then four sheets that have got the uh, peacock feathers as well. So it all coordinates, all creates beautiful designs. And of course, that paper weight means that you can bend it over and kind of make it uh, kind of uh, adapt itself with the shape of, for instance, a bottle. So if you have got a nice bottle of wine, I think this one was white because it's transparent, so you can turn off the lights. Can you see? Could you put the lights down? Because um, what I like about it, oh, look at that. Because what I like is because it's paper, it kind of, kind of the light comes in uh, through it. Yes, yeah, yeah. So there was nothing in that. That was the bottle bought, bought as it was. Yeah. You know, I don't, I, um, I'm not a wine drinker, so I wouldn't have any empty bottles. And uh, if you saw my empty bottles, you'd, okay. you'd, uh, you'd know exactly what they were. <laughs> All right. Uh, 9 .99 is your price. 8 4 9 7 8 3. I, I just thought it was white because it was a transparent um, it's bottle. It's been done with white gesso. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, just put two coats of white gesso, and that just gives a nice base for the decoupage to go on. So mm -hmm. rather than putting it straight onto the glass. Fabulous. All right, we have got, uh, that's of course, the layered stencils that we have got here. Next, we have got the puppies, the leaves, the butterflies, and the pansies. Uh, layered stencils. Um, now, do you do the solid image first, and then we do the rest, or how do we go around? It depends how you want to do your colours. I always do the bigger ones first, yes, but you can, do, you can do it with two, uh, with two colours, two, three colours, blend as, blend as many as you want. Or if you just do it with one colour, you do it into the big one and then the little one on top and you get two shades of the same colour. Absolutely. Uh, then, of course, you can do that with uh, the pansies as well. You are getting the puppies, you are getting the leaves, the butterflies and the pansies. Right, and then we have got another set of four. This is one of my favourites uh, because it's absolutely stunning. Uh, now, be quick to get that one. Postal, uh, which is that one. The corrugated, which is that one. Uh, oh, Magna. Uh, and then we have got also the splatters and the newsprint. So all of them you are getting for £15.99. It's such a cool one to build those layers, isn't it? It's very, it's very, very much to build the layers, yeah. It's, I would say that that's a staple as well. When we're making our own background papers and you don't want anything that's too generic, um, you've got lots of little elements into it. The splats one's got coffee stains on it, drips. Uh, it's got uh, ink coming down, different types of splatter. Um, the, the postal one is got all sorts of um, postal marks where if you're sending like from memories where you've been traveling, oh, that will go for that one. The corrugated one is is anything that you can make a normal sheet of paper look like corrugated oh, card yeah, okay. without having to add yeah. the dimension and painting Absolutely. the grooves. Yeah, I, lo I love that. Uh, now, 584-305 is your item number. That reminds me also of a movie from the two early 2000s where it starts everything and it's kind of digital numbers coming up and down and it's just really kind of sci-fi, kind of futuristic. Uh, £15.99 pence is your price. 584-305 is your item number. See, if you put it like this, it looks like that, that's not it. All right, we do have got more decoupage papers as well on the show. Uh, you can see them, they are the beautiful florals. Again, you are getting 16 sheets of it, four with featuring hydrangeas, four peonies, four red roses and four lemons. But each of those uh, sheets included in the spouse are different designs, so you are getting actually 16 designs. 
Now we also have got uh, some uh, essentials on the show. We do have got the glue uh, from Outward Archer. It's a transparent. I know that Akarid uses it. Uh, it's made in, in Britain as well. And you can see that 13 pounds and 98 pence for a, 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 a dual butter bottle of uh, 225 ml. Uh, 788279 is your item number. Right, uh, you're right, Karen. That's what? a quarter of a litre for 13.98. Wow. Yeah, so um, what I have started doing is I've got one of John's little glue pots. Uh, yes. And I've popped a little bit of water in it because the Oakwood Archer glue is quite thick. And then I'm using that, and I'm saving a lot of. Lot, Johnny's right. You do save a lot of uh, a lot, lot of glue. And it has got some fine nozzle. Hasn't a it? really fine nozzle, yeah. and I don't get it everywhere as well. Absolutely. So, uh, right, sorry, Karen. Before we go into the demonstration, I do apologise. No, for you're this. fine. Uh, now, now the first one, the the larger stencils. I have the stock now is gone. Please, uh, once this is gone, is gone. So, if you wanted to check out your basket, so sorry, Karen. Absolutely wonderful. Not a problem. So we're going to go with one of the ornate corners, and if you look onto the onto the stencil, it's been like um, engraved, so you know that that's the way to use it upwards. And I'm going to make four corners with it because it's got a little bit of a, um, a border. I know that if I pop that there and I do it all the way around the four corners, yeah. it's going to be it's going to be level. I've got no measuring to do. And I'm just going to put some low tack tape on so I don't want it to move. I've got three purples because I wanted to do it more of a, um, a, an ombre. Oh, an ombre. 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 Yes, yeah, so I've got seedless preserves. So um, you mean as in an ombre of colours? An ombre of the of same colours, yeah. yeah. uh, the, same, the same family. Not, not a, the word, you don't want to create a man. Uh, Spanish, in a Spanish. Oh, right, right. I, never, I, was, I was awful at languages. <laughs> awful at languages. I got all my languages mi mixed up. It was, a, it was a bad joke that I made. <laughs> like, all my jokes are very bad. Oh, no, I don't think so, Paula. I don't I know, people think laugh so. at me, not with me. No, they laugh with you. They no. don't laugh at you. No. So, no, I don't believe that. But I made them laugh, so that's all that matters. And that's it. And I've got another square. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a background, but I'm going to clean the brush. Oh, right. Because I've, I've only got two brushes, and I'll start contaminating yeah. if I don't. So I'm going to just start off. And I, the reason I've gone into the corner is because I've not taped this down. Yeah. And it's a nice, deli delicate area. Then clean the brush out. And that will make, like you were saying... I'm going to make a background. A yeah, it's going to be three colours and I'm going to make a background. Is that... Uh, which one is the first uh, violet that you put? Well, the first purple. one is Seedless Preserves. Oh. And it's like pinky, a pinky, nice yeah. pinky purple. And then you do that right nice and gentle. Again, oh, I'm going to yeah. clean that. Clean that. And I'm not worried because I know they'll all blend in. I'm keeping the top... The, the, the last one shaded lilac which is a very muted a muted lilac and unfortunately I'm very very heavy-handed so I end up with lots and lots of ink on to it yeah. oh, God, I'm nice. gonna do what you what you say and lift my little finger up and hopefully not do it yeah you gave me an hint and a tip and said Did lift your little that? finger up and then you don't go as hard because I'm really really heavy-handed but just taking that off, and that's where I miss. So you do have to be careful, or, or you tape it down. Yeah. You do one or the, or the other. So there is enough gap in there to tape it down, but I've just got the one, the one piece across. And of course you could do, like, all that ink that is now onto it, spritz it. Spritz it, clean it, put it onto another bit, part of a background, yeah. Nothing is wasted. Well, I'm not wasting it. I'm not I wasting love that it, but preserve. having it on the, having it, and you can see because I've not taped it down, I'm just brushing straight to the corner so that I don't get that mistake again. And again, clean my brush, and we're going to do this for all four yeah. corners. 
Uh, and, and I love the way that you're do, it's showing how you can make them really pretty and kind of vintagey, kind of inspired those colours. Oh, very yeah. romantic colours, isn't it? I love purple. I really, I, I've loved purple for a lot of years, and I love red, but red and purple don't really go together sometimes. But um, it's funny, I, I, you know, I love pink. So the seedless preserve is right up my street. Yes. Purple, I kind of sometimes I'm scared of it. Is this such a? It's the colour that sends everything to mud, isn't it? Oh wow! Purple yeah. is the colour that we all love, and then we all add things to it, and then you always end up with mud. So you mm. have to be careful what yeah. you mix a purple with. They can mix with both, but you do need to be, you need to be just careful and aware yeah. of what makes yeah. mud. It's because it's got yellow in it and it makes brown a lot of purple. I've been doing a lot of research. Yeah, uh, of course. Now, now that looks amazing that you have used a, a six by six stencil and you're filling up a, a 12 by 12 and it yes. feels perfectly. So it's in design thinking different sizes yes yes so you can make big stencils do smaller things by using parts of it okay. and then you can use small stencils do bigger things by adding to them as long as you uh, you, you you mask them off and as long as you you fasten them down then you shouldn't have any problems and I've still got all that ink all over there what I am going to do with all that ink on on this one so you just I'm just gonna try and see if it will just work from the from ah, the from stencil. The, yeah. But you can see there it's a lot lighter. So don't think that you have to do it as deep as I'm doing it. It's yeah. I'm just gonna make it like that for all all four corners really. And I'm still just doing a mass of inking with there. And the bits of ink that's on here, I yeah. will be using that. I will be use, u using it. Oh, I was thinking, just, I don't know, suddenly, kind of, if you're using inks that will work, like for instance, VersaCraft, that will work on fabric once you heat set it. These stencils are big enough, for instance, on a jacket, the back of a jacket. Oh, and do four together, so, yeah. so you've got one, two, three, yeah. four, and you've or got... Or just two across the, the collar and the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can do anything with stencils, anything. It's not got to be paper crafts. Yeah. It can be anything that you want. I remember having a, um, a, a tiled fireplace Ooh. and I got a little bit fed up with it, so I painted it and then used stencils onto it and just changed it completely okay, yeah. with, with stencils. So I'm just going to bob that to one side for a bit because I just want to finish this bit off. And I'm not worried that picking me ink up from there. Now we have got, uh, we have received a lovely email from Caroline saying how she loves working with craft tree uh, stencils and also the papers. She loves those papers she's as well. She's done absolutely marvellous. If yeah. you look at the back, she's done wow. absolutely marvellous with the papers. Uh, the she lo loves the um, is it the car the the car yeah the pattern car stock the plaid one the vintage plaid because it's two hundred GSM so it's more of a, a you know kind of card actually because uh, technically speaking one hundred and ninety GSM is what um, the printing industry considers actually cars. Now you are getting two of each of the designs, so you are getting twenty four sheets in total, twelve designs, and of course you can see in here the different designs so I'm going to show them and of course you can see the designs and here as well the hand bone as well and then I'm going to show you another sample sorry about that no, I just always do an ad. It's perfect for construction because that's 200 GSM, as I mentioned before. And of course, you have them here as well. So, uh, right, uh, thank you so much for uh, that email, Caroline. Uh, back to Karen. Yeah, she's made some lovely pen pots and boxes and bags, and, and it's strong enough yeah. to take the bags. The construction, that 200 very, GSM. Very much um, so, yeah. So yeah, I opened the, bag, uh, the box of uh, samples when I got here this morning. I thought, Wow, she's like that. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you very much, Hello. Carolyn. <gasps> right. So, so what did you do? Enough? We've got the ink on yeah. from here. The and cleaning. I'm, the cleaning ink. And so it's a, a page of just cleaning ink. And I'm just not even worried <gasps> oh, whether or nice. not 
it completely covers. Yeah. You would normally stick these down. We don't. Do you use a uh, spray adhesive low tag? I, um, if it's a very very delicate one like this, yeah. I would spray tack this one. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. If it's not so delicate, um, like the splats one, I wouldn't. Oh, I yeah. wouldn't do do yes. that one. But I'm just. Oh look at that! I love making it nice and patterned. Yeah. And I've not put my. Um, brush into back into the uh, back into the oh, uh, yeah. the inks or anything. That looks more like a tone on tone. So it's to going to be a tone on tone, and it's going oh. to go into the center. However, I've got a little bit of paper here. Okay. Uh, just a little bit of paper, and we've still on your inks. Don't forget. Yeah. We've still got. Okay. Bits that you can yeah. wipe off. You, you leave it to soak in a little bit with cardstock, don't you? Yeah. Lead it to cook. So, so there, yeah. I could have the start of a Actually, journal. Actually, I have pager. to say that in real life you can see it much more than on camera. So uh, you know, it, it, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's just the one lights, of those things. That's oh, it. There it. That's is. it. The lights there were we shining go. on it. So yeah, that is uh, that's the, the start of another page or something, isn't it? Or uh, you can cut cut your die cuts so out and everything else with that. And then what we are going to do is we're going to go to the butterflies. So I wanted to decorate the butterflies oh, up. Yeah. I've cut that to size, so we're all right with that. Yeah. Just blend the edges in like you normally do. I mean, and that shows that by using a good stencils because they are mylar, um, the ink doesn't absorb too much so the ink goes a long way much it longer way it goes a long long way i always end up dirty but yeah it goes a long long way so we're gonna go we've got quite a lot of pink in here so we'll go with the dusty concord and you can see here you've got two mm. different butterflies Absolutely. there is a line round here so it shows you exactly where to match it up so i'm going to do um, dusty concord and i think we shall have one here yes and we'll stick to the same one on all three okay and then we're going to move that one to there i love that kind of soft gentle tone on tone and once the ink's dried i can draw around it if i want mm. to and then we'll have one there mm. now you can pop a black in or you can pop a different color mm onto the to to the center part but this is the one that matches there that one matches the other yeah. one because you see the wings and this one matches into here and just around the outside you yeah. can see through the mylar and you can see that that exactly fits where oh, i put the last one yeah. what i am going to try and do is another deep deep bit of uh, dusty concord Ooh. and let's see so so you've oh, yeah, got the tonal, tonal. Uh, you can tonal tonal. You can do it with diff different colours if Absolutely. you want to. Matching that Could up again. Could you do it with um, glitter stencil paste over it? Oh, certainly you could, couldn't you? Yeah. You certainly could. Shall we do that? If you want to. Yeah, well, we'll do that. We've got that. It's, it's up to you. No, I'm fine. We'll do that. We'll yeah. do that. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, you have right so i have got some oh we've got that gold well i want to remind everybody to check out their baskets as well uh, because we are busy uh remember to the, to check out the baskets right um, so we've gone in there and we, what we'll do is we'll go yeah. back over it now a lot of color from the ink the inks will contaminate this yeah you would normally let it dry at home yeah you'd normally dry the ink off but we're just we're just playing now, aren't we? Yeah. Paola? We're just playing. It's good to play. Sometimes. It's good to play. It's well, good all the to... time, actually. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Now, I really should have done that one before that one, but hey ho. We will get round it. You don't have to do them all of them. Oh, we do. We do. We like it. We've got to have a bit of bling on it now. Oh, bling. Yeah. Bits of bling. Otherwise, they will get jealous. <laughs> oh, look at oh, that. Oh, look at that one, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to keep my fingers onto there. I hope you can see from the overhead mm. why I'm doing that. Yeah, absolutely. It's just because I didn't think it through straight. 
which when you're going straight in, you don't do you sometimes. You know, absolutely, you think very And long you'll long. learn by your mistakes because next time you'll do yeah. it. So always plan. Yes, always have one. a think about it. Don't yeah. just throw straight or in. Or wait until it's dry. Or, or wait until it's dry, yeah. 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 I think I think this is a really cool, beautiful, very pretty for the you know, for the people in your life that like butterflies and pretty yes. and purples yeah. and pinks. This just puts a smile in your face. And, and also what you can do as well is we've got a background onto there. Uh, We're just yeah. going through with the same one. Yeah. Which now that's dried underneath, that's giving a lovely little texture. I love that. But don't forget, they're easy enough just to cut out as well. Oh, of course. So you can cut them out and three-dimension them. That's what Carolyn's done with the leaves part, you know, the two-part yes. leaves. She's done that with those. Ready just to... Uh, she's, yes. she's gone round and then she's hand-cut, she's fussy-cut them out, as we call it. Yeah, absolutely. And then you can make your dimensional ones. And then, of course, the overlay, she has used it for the border on the sides. So that's, it. that's, yeah, yeah, she's done absolutely marvellous. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. Doing that. So that one, this one now, we're going to stick this on. We would, now I'm going to give this, because I've got inks, I'm going to, from what I've been um, investigating, I would give it two or three hours to dry before I start going in with my white pen. Right. Yeah. For the simple. So if you if you put a little bit, uh, you know, if you use a heat gun or something like that, could you use it or? Yes, yes. Just okay. make sure that it's dry. Yeah. Because apparently the water goes through. Um, the explanation that I that I heard was, water going into paper is like a mattress. You push it in. Put put. Pour some water on the mattress, and it goes down into the middle, yeah. which appears dry on the top, oh. but it's not in between. Oh, I see. And then, so leave your water, leave your your th things to settle. Yeah. So that it does, and then we're going to pop that one there. We would yeah. put the greeting on with the Our friends with the friends from one of the yeah one, one of, of the, the other stencils, yeah, absolutely. and you've got a nice little on. Let me. That, is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. No light shining on it. Gorgeous. But that's just from two stencils. Yeah, how gorgeous. Well, no, three stencils. Friends are one from... Oh, friends, friends is the, friends other, other, one, yes. the other one, yes. Forget about that, yeah. yeah. So even little words from individual stencils, add them all together, always get all your stencils out, and absolutely. you can make lots and lots Indeed. of these stencils. Uh, and thank you so much, Karen. Thank you. So while uh, Karen Gretz resets for the next demonstration, let's have a look at the stencils from Craft Tree. What have we got? Well, we have got gorgeous, beautiful positivity uh, stencils here. Now, it's a dose of positivity. This would be lovely on a tea towel, wouldn't it? To stencil it in a tea towel. You know, and every time Make that you go... Buy, yes. cut, buy some some yeah. really inexpensive um, white tea way. towels and print it onto them. Uh, Absolutely. And then you've got gifts for Christmas and Now, birthdays. also, I was thinking of, you know, the um, trays onto trays, like tea trays, so you can serve the tea yes. and things like that. Yeah. Stencil it in. Aprons, yeah, that's a very good way. Uh, you know, or just like the plugs where you go into the kitchen, that's that's the thing that you see in there, positivity. Or like, if you've got a cafe that you have them on. Yeah, if you absolutely. have a coffee or know anybody uh, that's open, got a coffee, course, have yeah. them onto the trays that deliver the teas Ooh, and everything. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, or the um, placemats. Definitely. You can Definitely, have this, yeah. yeah. Oh, you can do everything like this. You know, all everything that matches. Our director is on it. Uh, she likes uh, everything that matching together. Uh, then you have got uh, the mandala and you have got the dream big as well here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, I love the mandala because it's like peacock feathers hidden in there as well. Can you see the kind of... It is, yes, yeah. yeah. And you've got the split in between it as well, so you could do each one individually. Absolutely. And I love uh, the dream catcher there with those gorgeous uh, feathers falling off. Uh, then we have got the flowers in here. Now, 60%, uh, 50% uh, of the stock has gone. So please check out your baskets if you want the set of three uh, 12 by 12 stencils. 845-572 is your item number.
Now we have got a set of four essentials. They are two separate. We have got the feathers in here, the paisleys, as well as the peacock. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, Karen did demonstrate these ones in the previous hour, which was at nine o'clock. So you can catch up in rim or rewind. Zero four three nine two seven is your item number. I love that feather, and that is a four in one because you have got the mask, you have got the stencil of the solid, then you have got two other stencils that you can layer on top of it. Very clever system. Then very, very popular, the most popular in fact of the hour is approaching limited stock. If you want yours, please do check out your baskets. What we are getting is five sets of beautiful alluring eyes in here. Ones that are looking at you, ones that are looking up and ones that are some of them you can see the personality some of them are like what did you just say the other one is like i'm looking at you and the other one is like oh well yeah really you think so and then the bottom ones is like looking at an art piece or something like that it's just that's there gorgeous now you can create them on any with any ink onto fabric you can bring in them into live a single one i love that i really love you know what i was thinking of it, this in a bathroom that would be quite funny <laughs> you know right? they were kind of really f or you know what, I would do this uh, because I always think my mom always walks into glass doors so that she has got this thing, <laughs> not always, but she has, she does. So of course, if you want to put these glasses uh, as well, or the back of the jacket, yeah, yeah, you could have that. I'm watching you, yeah. Or a hat, if you have a hat, you know, like, um, you know, baseball cap or something like that, having them like big, big behind it. Or also a kind of thinking, um, Oh, yes, that's a very good one. A makeup bag. So, you know, the makeup uh, a removable, um, you know, reusable pads that, you, you know, many of us were using these days. The ones I bag that you have to wash it with them so they don't get lost. That could be as well, the kind of a different idea. A swimming cap, yeah, that could work as well. But basically, what I was saying about my mom, she walks into glass doors quite often. Uh, so, it would be nice to have if you have got the glass door just to put the eyes in there. So, it's like floating eyes, <laughs> you know. Like there is a door glass or <laughs> uh, right or windows as well. So there is a, yeah, and then you can move them up and down. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea as well. Uh, or it would it would be right as if you know any ideas. Like I think it would be quite nice if something that su surprise like suddenly you see eyes looking at you. Uh, emails in at uh, uh, studio at hochanda dot com. Uh, you have one as well. Uh, water your dreams, uh, that gorgeous uh, water can and the dreams and the beautiful flowers. Remember that you can stencil any part that you want in uh, and, you know, mix and match. You also get a life doesn't have to be perfect, neither holding the cards perfectly to be wonderful. You know, I hold them. Yeah, anyway. All uh, right. So you have got the butterflies and the sentiment and then you have got friends, art, chosen family. And this is the word that Karen was using. So all of those four stencils are uh, 16 pounds and 99 pounds. 786, uh, 383 is your item number. Then the flourishes, uh, this is the ornate flourishes. And that, of course, Karen, we just seen uh, using them. And in fact, this is the stencil that she was using. How different does it look? And with that said, I mean, it's really, really different, isn't it? So imagine that. Imagine being able to uh, create a different uh, looks with the same stencil. Now here you are getting four stencils, but each stencil has got at least two possibilities, very distinct. You also are getting the gorgeous floral in here with the little tiny dots. And I think with Dover's, you could kind of color those beautiful flowers in different colors as well. 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 744236 is your item number. Now, if you want some decoupage paper, like Caroline was saying, how amazing they are to work with because it molds itself as well to other paper shapes. We are approaching 70% of the stock here. You are getting 16 different designs, one of each. So uh, 16 designs, 16 sheets, and they are divided into four uh, families. So there is the birds, there is the peacock, as you can see, with a beautiful, and there is captured very well the kind of texture that it has got. Oh, sorry, it has got, it has, right? It has the proper, uh, and then uh, look at that, yeah. 
And by the way, if you are wondering, yes, the male, usually in all the species, but humans, the male species tend to be more flamboyant, more be, you know, because they have to attract in, in, in the attract the females. In, in the humans, um, well, there's some discussion about that. Anyway, moving on from that sore subject. <laughs> Uh, you know, but yeah, it's true. It's like all birds, the female tend to be a little bit more discreet, less flamboyant, and that's because they are the ones who feed the uh, children, you know, like the, the babies, and therefore they have to be more um, camouflaged. Also, in many uh, species, like for instance lions, they are the lionesses, are the ones that hunt. Therefore, more camouflage also makes them, you know, easy, uh, easy to hunt. Whether the lions just sit there and sleep with their beautiful manes. Anyway, moving on from that subject, I don't know why I went into it. Uh, eight four nine seven eight three is your item number. Right, moving on to uh, the, uh, another set of four, and here we have got what is called a kaleidoscope of butterflies, because there's more than one. Uh, then we have got the puppies, we have got the butterflies, the pansies, and the leaves as well. And of course, you have got the gorgeous uh, hummingbird as well in one of the, in the pansy one. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price, actually. Is the pansy or is, the, uh, is that the puppy or the butterfly? Uh, that's about a poppy, not, not the pansy. The pansy is that one over here. Uh, and you can see, sorry, I kind of go into my own little world, don't I? Uh, you can see there, here, the poppy. I really love it. I love that two step. 15 pounds and 99 pence, 248909. And then the background stencils, one of my favorite favorites because the way that you can use them, if you want that look of distress, but you are. A control, you know, you want to control it. You want to know exactly where the ink is going to go. This is the way. You have got corrugated. You have got the stains and splatters. You have got the newsprint, and you also have got the, uh, you know, postal. Five eight four three zero five is your item number. Fifteen pounds and nineteen and pence. We also have got, of course, the vintage uh, papers here. The vintage of plaid. Uh, now, this one you are getting twelve by twelve. You are getting twenty-four sheets in total. It's two hundred. GSM, like Marilyn was saying, is construction weight in terms of being able to build quite a lot with 200 GSM. Uh, now, 999 is your price. Uh, remember, 12 designs, two of each. Uh, 218544 is your item number there. Of course, and that's the vintage papers which I have got here in my. Um, the, the apologies if we kind of the camera was a little bit um, funny, but the papers are just absolutely stunning. They do have got that kind of plaid Christmas, you know, sort of element to it. So I think that Christmas would look amazing with this look. And let me show it. And of course, if you are from up north, up, up, up north, uh, they would be absolutely amazing. Look how gorgeous they look. And that 200 GSM means that you can, of course, construct with it as well. Now, if you want to go for it, um, 9.99 is your price. You're saving three pounds, 218. 544 is your item number. Now, if you wanted to go for friends, our chosen family bundle, the one with the eyes, we are now officially limited to stock, which means that 90% of the stock has already gone. If you want to grab yours, well, check out those baskets and grab a beautiful set of stances. I love those eyes. They're mesmerizing, aren't they? And they're gorgeous, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, Absolutely. I love them as well. Right, so what are you going to show us? So, uh, while you've been talking, yes. what I have done is done one of the leaves. Ooh. And that's from the that's set from of... That's the big mandala. Yeah. yeah so, we've, uh, so that does represent or resemble a peacock leaf, a it peacock does. feather, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. In its own way, in its own, in, in its own way, yeah. it's not it's not true to form. But don't forget, you can just use use one part of it. What it should have done is just sorry, I, sorry about that. Sorry, Mark. Just put no, the um, uh -huh. tape in, down, yeah. and then we could have could have done that. So that was just a quick one, just to show you how that did. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do. Um, we've got the A4 uh, mount board. Yeah. Uh, not mount board. Uh, grey board, grey board. board, and I've put a couple of layers of uh, gesso onto that. We do have that on the show if you want to go for it. Uh, we do, uh, it's, you know, go. And then I've got three colours that you wouldn't think together. You've got the warms and the cools, but I'm not going to put them on really, really heavy. I'm just 
lightly yep. popping them on, she says. And just to make a little background, and I'm not worried where I'm putting them. And these are the three colours that I've pulled out of the, uh, the peacock on the picture itself. Right, so we have got here the grey board, and you can see it here. Uh, now, it's about, I would say that's like 2,500 micron or something like that. I wouldn't know. I think it's about 2 mil. 2.5, I would say. Is it 2.5? Uh, but, uh, I mean, I'm good with inches. With millimetres, I'm not so good. Mm, 2.5, yeah. oh... I couldn't, I couldn't convert that. I think it's that. a little bit more than 2 mil, but it might be 2 mil, because before, yeah. at, at 7 a.m., I had something that was 2 mil, and this feels a little bit a little thicker. bit thicker. So but it's, it a nice, it's a nice board to it work is. onto. It's, it's, it's a sturdy, sturdy little board. And then, again, as, there was, as I was listening to somebody uh, yesterday, if you make a mess of it, just get some gesso and repaint Absolutely. over the top of it. Yeah. And it will, take, it will take all sorts mm. of, uh, of mediums. Yeah. And... By the way, we do have got, a, a, I remember the limited stock uh, bundle with the um, gorgeous friends are chosen. Uh, it's very limited stock. Please, if you want it, do check out your baskets uh, because it, it's going to go any second. So. You'll not, you'll not, you'll enjoy that yes. one. You'll definitely uh, enjoy and that different one. as well. Yes, yes, yeah. yes something different. Is that crushed olive? It's crushed olive. Yes. I love olive. It's... I, uh, sorry, I meant I love crushed olive. <laughs> you love the crushed olive. <laughs> I love olives too, but I meant you know the crushed olive. Uh, no, it's not a thing that I would go for an olive. But all I wanted to do was just get a little bit of background onto it, and then I've got the 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 feather out, and this feather. I'm just going to use the, part, the the second part. If you remember the first part, we could we yeah. could put it down and then go into it. I just want these little these leaves. Uh, well, yeah. it's like oh. a leaf, isn't it? It is. And I'm not even re-inking or anything yeah. because I just want it. I ju just want it to to blend in and blend the colours oh, down yeah. as such. Yeah. And. If you, do, if you ever get any, into any difficulties with your colours, just do what I do. Get some more gesso, let it dry, get some more gesso and put it over the top. And it's just to blend the feathers in with, with the, whole, the whole thing and blend down the red and blend down the blue. But the crushed olive is, more, is taking more more effect it is a beautiful color that it is, is isn't it, isn't it? Yeah. isn't it gorgeous oh, I just, a, a random thought uh, sorry to uh, but it's um in spanish we have got two words for olive we have uh, olivas which is olive and aceitunas which is it comes from arabic arabic yeah and what does it does that mean olive? so olive i mean yeah, yeah it does uh, so olive comes from latin so oil, but in Spanish it's aceite, which is Arabic, from the Arabic. You have a lot to learn as Spanish people, as Spaniards, don't <laughs> we you? We are complicated. You've got, you've got completely three or four different languages all in one, haven't you? Oh, yeah, we do, actually. Yeah. So what we can do, we can cut this. However, I'm going to tear it. And, you know, to be totally honest, I don't want to tear too much because that will go straight on top. I'm going to tear it towards myself and if I just show here if you tear it towards yourself you've got the lower edge there ah, right if you tear so I'm gonna need to tear it away from me to make sure that I get am I gonna tear it to myself or away oh oh I want a feathery edge let's tear it towards me Oh. Because it's going to, it's going to half do it a anyway. Cleaner tear. Yeah, and I'm not worried about. I'm going to keep those words in. Uh -huh. You can cut this as well and blend blend the edges in. But I've got such a beautiful tail here on the peacock yeah. that I don't want too much. I don't want a flat a flat edge. So I'm going to. Try and just tear it. You always find that if you've got a piece of copy paper and you want to you want to photocopy something, All right? And um, you want to cover something up yeah. that you photocopy. If you put a nice piece of flat paper in, the 
the photocopier will take the black line. If you tear the paper and put it down, it blends it in and uh -huh. it, it doesn't show the line that you've covered something up that you're photocopying. You know, like if you copy yes. something, you want to take your address off it or something. If you put it on with a tear, torn paper, then it will you won't get that black line as in with a straight piece. That's, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, weird. It a, see, I teach you a little bit of Spanish, you teach me that. So I was like, I'm about tearing paper. And... No, I'm not trying to teach you how to work, do any fraud or anything, but if you want to hide something when you photocopy. <laughs> what, uh, sorry, I didn't catch quite that. Uh, I'm not teaching you how to fraud anybody by <laughs> photocopying and covering oh, up. Oh, I see, I see. But if I there's know, some, something that you've got you that know, you don't want people to share. You know what I heard? I mean, this is why I kind of had to ask. I said, <laughs> I'm not teaching you how to become fraud, though. <laughs> it's the Yorkshire accent. <laughs> oh, like... what were you saying the other day, Paola? Was it lovely, you said? I know. Waffler. Waffler. <laughs> Waffler. What's it mean? Well, basically, is because woof woof is the kind of sound for a dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know. So Daisy B Designs had the woof woofly uh, as a design. Oh, woofly, yeah, woof and they're from same. So uh, approved by Josie and Nina, a sound from Deep Barnsley. When I said, well, do you know that I, I, you know, their unit. I'm within five minutes walking distance of their unit. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, do you approve of my... I did, work? actually. I heard <laughs> it. I, I'm sorry, I'm putting the yeah. decoupage glue on and then going over the so, top as well. As long as it's clear decoupage, that will work with that paper. Yes, yes, probably. yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Go from the middle. Yes, I, I heard it. And I thought, of course, she sounds right, Barnsley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day I will speak properly with proper English accent as here me dreaming. Gonna you just you must pick up a lot from Leone. Oh yeah. So right. we have got a you know a technical sellout on and those are beautiful stencils of the eyes. The uh, parents are f a family, uh, the chosen family, and the gorgeous water your dreams. Life doesn't uh, have to be perfect to be wonderful. If you have it in your other baskets, you need to check out now. Otherwise, what happens is the baskets auto refresh themselves every 10 minutes. So then somebody else will grab them and check out their baskets, and you will miss out. And if you don't want to miss out, then there's one way: check out. Yeah, you'll 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 have find lots and lots of uses for those and little bits out from it. So I'm just covering my. Uh... Oh, I just had another idea for the eyes. Go on. On the wall or in the in the ceiling. On the ceiling. With a um, you know fluorescent needle, oh, so no, yeah. glow in the dark, glow in the so dark imagine, pain. Yeah, so if you want to do that like as a prank to somebody, so when they turn off the light at night, then suddenly have got eyes looking at them. I <laughs> do think you'll get a bit of a neck ache. You know, you'd be like Michelangelo, won't you? Oh, yeah. You'll need scaffolding to put it on. Put it on. That'd be scary, that. Well, that's quite fun, isn't it? Yeah, I thought about putting them on. Uh, Onto glasses because you know you yeah. can get you can go around with yeah. the stencils. I thought about putting them onto yeah. glasses and you can have party glasses and Absolutely. have eyes all way around. Oh, I and... just had another idea as well. So you know, like I like my chocolate, but I need to stop eating so much chocolate. So my drawer of chocolate, I should have those eyes. So every time that I open it, it's like, oh. I'm watching you, you're eating too much chocolate. <laughs> you know, that's funny. Cheryl's just sent me a message with that one about oh, yeah. uh, this little message in the fridge. Oh. You are not bored, uh, you are not hungry, you are bored, bored. so shut the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, with a, I write, yeah. oh, look at that. Good. So, so we've we gone have in with that. Just a to go. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. already stenciled it before, and then we're going to cut it out. We'll get our scissors. Yeah. Those ones are the awkward um, archers. They, they are, yeah. They're the staff serrated, and I'm not worried that I'm not going staying on the edges. It's uh, it's poetic license, isn't okay, it? Yeah, or creative license. I love. I really love how you have done those ones with those colours. Uh, we have got less than a minute to go, but that we is will just really be nice. two minutes. We forget that we are on TV, though. We do, we do. We, do. we, only, we, only, we only come here to enjoy ourselves, yeah, exactly. don't we? Yeah. These will go onto the top there, and yeah. I will sort oh. of raise them up, um, and then I'll go around and blend that in with a blue um, 
pencil, once it's dry, go over the edge with a blue pencil okay. and then watercolour it oh, in. Oh, fabulous. And this is what you can end up with. Fabulous. Look I've at this paper. Uh, right. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you ever so much. Now, Karen, when are you back? On the 10th. On the 10th? Sorry. On the 10th, I've got uh, paper rolls and jelly beans. Fabulous. So we will look forward to those uh, shows. Now, uh, to you, check out your baskets, especially for those ones that are very busy. So I'll see you tomorrow bright and early at 7. We have got All and Create after the break. Our Leon is there uh, with Haley. Then we have got Ali, set your fingers. I love Ali. And then final call when the one day special with Elizabeth Crafts Designs. Hi there, my name's Leone. I'm a presenter, a guest, and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child, and I absolutely love it. I love my job. I love the presenting side because I get to meet lots of really inspirational people, and that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leone Loose show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching.
Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hello and welcome. Oh, we love that. When our Marcus is in the head, he always says, cue the talent. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, anyway, it is so lovely to have your company. Second hour of the Mighty All and Create. This is such a cool show because it's up to you. Um, we've got different bundles, but the thing is, there'll be loads of things you haven't seen before or you haven't managed to buy or it's been in a different bundle but you didn't want the other, th the other stamps in it. Now you've got the chance to just choose whatever you want. Um, you've got two different things. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you lovely finished samples while I sh t uh, share the different ways you can buy the ones that you're seeing here. So your first option, you can go for any two bundles. Now if you're going for two bundles, it's working out about £10 something, £10.49 pence. Uh, per stamp set. Now, if you're going for that, you can choose any two, only £20.98. pence. You are still saving uh, £3 there, so you are saving some money, uh, but, but that isn't your best option. And look at the stamps available. That's not your best option. Your best option. For just under £15 more, you can go for six, um, what, sorry, five wonderful stamps for only £35.95. Now, that works out at £7.19 per stamp set. That is such a deal. So that is absolutely the best way of buying these. And you have got some phenomenal stamps. I mean, all of these that I'm showing you are in this collection and they are fabulous. You've got such a mixture of stamps in here. I mean, these are my, uh, these are my all time favorite from Janet, the little furries. I absolutely adore them. But then again, she has done chickens as well. Oh, the chickens are so... Oh, no, there are my other favourites. Oh, all right, then. Too many favourites. There's too many favourites. Okay, the chickens are... Oh, my gosh, they're the best. I love these as well, though. I just think they're amazing. Shall we show you what you've got? So loads of finished samples, amazing finished samples from the team. We've got some more beautiful finished samples to show you, but we'd better show you what's actually in this offer. So we will start from the top. So... What you've got, obviously, it is up to you whether you're choosing two, whether you're choosing six. The first one now, these are the heads. So, you know I'm always babbling on about chopping heads off and switching bodies. Janet did a selection of heads for us. Yay! Um, and these are great because you get the little heads, you get celebrate, be happy. You've got the crown there and you've got the flowers. I'm not going to flip over every stamp set. I'm only going to show you one um, because obviously it'll take forever because you've got a lot of choice. Detail stamps, quality stamps, handmade, um, sorry, I'm not handmade. Um, made here in the UK and obviously you are going to get so much detail. So that's your first option that you might want to go for. The next option that you might want to go for, the teddy bears. These are so cool. I love these because they, they do look like your dog toys, you know, because they're all sort of mismatched and they've got little stretchy arms. Absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes when you don't know what to say, a hug says enough. Gorgeous sentiments as well. Next, my favourite, favourite, favourite. It's the little fairies, yeah. These are, I love these. Um, faith, trust, and a little pixie dust. Um, you've got your little pixie dust. You've got your little scribbles, which are brilliant for backgrounds, but the fairies are ridiculously cute. I really, really, really love them. The ace. The next one now, I would highly recommend you get this one if you haven't already, because these little houses, they really match with Janet's other characters. They just go with them. Really cute, quirky little homes there. Home is where your stuff is, absolutely. 
absolutely, and a lot of it. Um, the next one now, this is such a good one. This is another one I highly recommend, the accessories. It's such a cool stamp set. You've got all those different lovely little hats, which, of course, are going to fit on your characters, or they're going to fit on your teddy bears, but they are well cool. Really, 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 really recommend that one. Next, backgrounds. Now, obviously, um, there's a lot of us that now layer, layer, layer. These are perfect for your layering. You are going to get um, seven backgrounds there, so really, really handy. The next one, the colour therapy. Now, you will have seen this year used a lot actually and it's a really handy stamp set you can make your color wheel out of it but it just makes really good backgrounds um a really cool little stamp set is that one. Now, the next one by Janet, and I really like this because it's it's kind of different from her, her cutesy characters, but it's just quite fabulous. You've got Balance, Inspire, Soiree, and then Grateful, and I love them. I love them with the things balanced on the head. I think they're quite marvellous. So that's your first set of stamps. Now, next, and you can see how gorgeous that looks when it's done. Doopy doopy do, which looks absolutely beautiful. Now, Next, um, do you want to go that side again? Yay, the windows now. Highly recommend the windows as well. Um, that one is one of those that you'll use again and again and again, and it fits your characters perfectly, as does the next one, your, your stand. Yeah, I love this one. And these are big, well, decent sized stamps as well. Really, really like this one. It's getting really busy. I highly recommend that one. That one you should definitely have. The next one you need in your life. Oh my gosh, this is well cool. These are the dog toys. And this is the first appearance of the chicken. Everybody loved the chicken that much. That's why Janet did a full section of chickens. But that says, and the, the dog toys, can you see the little monkey with his rope hand um, arms? Oh, I love a monkey. Monkey. Um, next, we've got the piggies. Um, and again, really, really cute. Janet's got such a way with drawing characters, whatever she's drawing. And that's your, your lovely little piggies, which we adore. We've then got, oh, I love this one as well, the owls and the chickens. They're just ace, really cool. Again, still got that quirky look, you know, with the, the funny pointy pointy chicken feet, brilliant. Um, the next one, your lovely little gnomes. And these are just, I love the little expressions, I think there is. And you've got the little toadstools there as well. So, of course, you can uh, mix and match these with the little houses that we've got and more. Now, the next one is really, really handy. All your little wings, because you can turn any of your characters into little fairies or whatever you want them to be um, with the beautiful wings. It's a really nice stamp set, is that one. I definitely recommend that one as well. Mm, recommend a lot of them, don't I? This is a beautiful thing. You're choosing five of them. And it's only costing you £7 on something pence um, per stamp set. £7.19 per stamp set, which is such a deal. Now, the next one that you've got, we continue with accessories. This is well cool. So now you can create your lovely little kitchen. You've got that massive fridge. You've got the cooker and all your little pots and pans and things. Things like this are so nice to work with because you build up so many different scenes. Um, the next one that we've got. Now, this one's really, um, oh, I love this one. This is a must. It's the car. Um, your little characters will sit in your car and it's, uh, it's really nice to, to colour in as well. Highly recommend that one. Um, we've then got for you more gorgeous backgrounds. This is a cracker. I've used this one a lot. Um, you've got some really nice backgrounds there, really cool little markings. And again, you'll use them time and time and time again. They're just really handy. The next one. Oh, the doggies. Um, obviously, this is very, very close to my heart. I mean, look at your little doggies. They're too cute. I love the one waiting for his belly to be scratched. Just love and again, the expressions. Janet is so good at drawing expressions. We've then got for you the numbers. Now, I like this. It's a quirky number set. Brilliant for birthdays or specific dates, but just really good for backgrounds. And you have got your birthday stamp on there as well. And the big stamps are those. It's a really good size number, um, number set. The next one that we've got for you chickens see now don't you just need this i love this one so you've got your chicken sort of looking like well, between his legs you've got one that looks like it needs a wee you've got one that's holding his heart one that's sort of squawking and uh, one that's possibly falling down and um, just fabulous absolutely fabulous foul play you've got best o'clock 
Uh, see what she's done there? That's your chickens. And then we had the dogs, so you can't go without having the cats. You've got the lovely cats as well. Home is where your cat is. And, of course, you've got loads of lovely little expressions there. And you have got your crazy cat lady. Um, the next one that we've got now, this is lovely because you've got tons of little accessories. And because it's Janet, they're all drawn in the same style. And that's why everything matches. So these will go with everything. You know, I mean, this is a lovely thing. Say you've got the, um, you know, the, the little shop. You could make a flower shop with those as well. And I, that's what I love about it. You've so many different configurations. So that's your little accessories. Is that it? Have we done it? We've done it. I we're ready to talk about more. Okay, this is your, um, your collection to choose. Um, choose any five for £35.95. and If you only want to choose two, you have got that choice. And I love it because the choice is utterly yours. 449346. Now, we did have the pick and mix at uh, 10 o'clock this morning. And with that pick and mix, again, it worked out uh, more cost effective to go for the bigger set, which was the set of six. Um, it actually works out at 4 99 per set. So really cost effective. And you've got, these are where all your characters come in. So you've got all your lovely little characters, which are just, again, adorable. Um, so please check. I mean, the by Janet. So everything works together everything's been designed to go together perfectly you know and that's uh, the thing about it they're, they're not you know they're, they're all designed to, to work um, so if you do want to go for any little characters have a little look um, choose what you want choose what you need if you're um, adding to your collections and make the most out of Janet's fabulous artwork obviously check out the website because on the website you'll have a look at all the stencils, we've got the dies, we've got all sorts of goodies. So what I'm going to do first of all is try and remember where I've put my acrylic stamping block. Because obviously I had it in front of me but then Leone walked away and, and I, don't, I don't know what I do. I've got skills in this. Oh, I drive myself mad. I'll just pick up a different one because I've got a pile of different ones. It's there under my stamp set. There. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is the windows. I love the windows, okay, because they're just such cool stamp sets. I've put one here, and um, that one I've already stamped because I've, I've cut that one out, okay, because then we can see into it. The rest of them I'm not going to, I'm going to stamp. Now, you think, the thing is with this, you could do just all, all the windows uh, the same, but I kind of like all the windows different. I want them all, all iggledy piggledy, so my house is an iggledy piggledy house. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I'm going iggledy piggledy house, and I just, I just think that's cool. And she said what, Pilot said what? Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> that's a good word. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of cool. I like that. This is an oopsie doopsie house. <laughs> um, so this is your window set. Love this one. And again, it's just a must have. It really, really is. Um, and of course, you can get that now. If it's part of your six, you're getting that for £7.19. It's a bargain. A set of five. Sorry, I do keep getting it mixed up with my other ones. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> she comes out with some good ones, doesn't she? I love how she mixes up her things. Mind you, my mate, uh, Rachel, used to do that. She's on from Manchester. Anyway, so next, uh, Rach, uh, Rach. Uh, Rachel, Rachel. Anyway, sorry, enough room, bad, bad Manchester accents. I do apologise to anyone from Manchester. So, what I've done is, Manchester, um, Manchester. Now next I'm taking, so I've already stamped them and cut out my masks. So I'm popping my little masks over the top. Now these are full masks so it means I can start working on my background. Okay. I've also done them an open mask and I'll use those in a minute and talk to you more about that. Um, of course with your masks you'll use these over and over again. So make sure you keep them on a piece of plastic or whatever so you can use them again and again and again. So popping that down and now I'm ready to work over the top of this. Yeah, it's got cool little windows on it. I li I'd like this house, you see. I haven't got a door. <laughs> well, this is the side. This is the side of the property. The side of the property is just windows. Um, yeah, the front door's around this side. 
back doors around this side. Actually, there's a little extension. There's an extension, and that's where the back door is. Mm. But but this is the, this is the side. That's that's what we're doing here. Um, okay, so let's get putting some colour on this one. Roll up one sleeves. Let's get colouring. So I want to go really nice and bright. So first ink pad I've picked up is that gorgeous pink. So let's go on with a little bit of pink. So bring in a lovely bit of pink in here. And a lovely little pink in here. Uh, Mo's very good. She just likes the house already, even though we've done nothing. Even though I haven't started my interior decorating yet. Thing is with this as well, I mean, you could actually do loads of little bricky things and everything. You could really play with, um, you know, with the design of it. Obviously, we're just going to use gorgeous stencils. And that, I mean, I'm going to use this big one. Now, I know this is on the show. Massive stencil. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm only going to go, I'm going to go pink over what I've already done because... I really like that because it emphasises um, the colour. It makes it even richer. And just allowing it to fade out. Look, don't look cool. Tone on tone. I really like that. I, I just think it looks really quite effective. So popping this, this is a beautiful, beautiful stencil. Check the stencils out on the website because we've got tons. I mean, we have so much on this show. So please have a little look, see. Um, let me have a look. It is probably in one of the sets. Oh, I love it. Say, I do love the different sets of stencils that we have got for you. But you do have quite a lot. No, not that one. These are the A4 stencils. You've got your A4, so it might be on its own, actually. Um, but, yeah, you have got, we have got quite a few to choose from. So just allowing that, sponging it on, and just allowing that to come out and see. Honestly, I really do like that. Colour over just the colour, I think it looks really quite effective. Um, so happy with that. I might try a cheeky bit of yellow as well. So let's get some squeezed lemonade on there just because I do love yellow. It's my favourite colour at the moment. A cheeky bit of joy, isn't it? A bit of yellow, a cheeky bit of joy. Oh, can't use that stamp pinking thing. Sorry, I'm trying to find a sponge that's clean. Right, get that one. And I'm not going to put much because I kind of like the open white spaces as well. I, I think that makes it look really quite interesting. There we go. So a little bit of yellow coming on there just for a different colour palette. There we go. And then what I'll do, I'll take one of our background stamps. Now, we've got tons of background stamps as well. I mean, there's so many options with your background stamps, and they are absolutely beautiful. And I'm only going to do a little bit of the background stamp. I'm working in the same colour again, because I, I just like keeping that palette quite simple. So you're working in the pink, pink over pink, and then the yellow over the yellow, which I really, really like. Now, this stamp set is a really cool background stamp set. And actually, we're busy in the first hour with this one. So if you do want to get hold of this one, it's cool. We can show you the picture for this one. Um, we think we got it. Yay, that's the one, animals. This was busy in the first hour, and I'm not surprised. Look at that price. Better than half price is that one. £11.97. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's such cool stamps. It was very busy. If you want that one, please check your baskets out, because uh, that is a cracking set of stamps, and that price is ridiculous. OK, so that's my first lot. Take your masks off. Always keep your masks nice and safe. Keep them with the stamp, because that makes sense. So just taking those masks off. I always love taking the masks off. I just think I love that pop of white when you... It always looks really good, doesn't it? You know, that, doesn't that look cool? And that lovely pop of white, and then it was going to be like that. Oh, I love that. I love those colours. And you can put a little bit of four brick in. So if you wanted to... Where's my little pigment liners? Because I've got my gorgeous pigment liners from the other day. My lovely Stadler show. So if you wanted to, you could easily just start popping in like a few little bricks. Only a few, you know, you don't need to go for it. You don't need to make a full brick wall. But just to give it kind of a, you know, the idea that you've got a brick wall going on. And I think that can look quite, quite nice, really. I'm going to wish I hadn't started this because now I'm going to be just building lots of bricks in that wall. Um, and don't, and I'm not even trying to get them even. It's just a few little bricks just to make it look like a little wall. See, I am. I'm getting bored of doing bricks. I can, 
feel myself going, oh, why did I start that? Looks good, though. And I, I, I do not, don't worry about it being even. Don't worry about finishing the, the sort of bricks, taking them to the end or anything. It's just an idea that they're there. I'd see, now I've started, I can't stop building bricks. There we are. A few more, just like that. Okay, stop. Oh, I like that. Okay. So, yeah, this is how villagers are built in, say, one brick at a time, love. Right, next. Now, this is when your other mask come into play. So, my other mask, once I put that there, it's going to mask off the um, the actual frame, if I can get the sticky stuff off the back. So, you will see what I mean. So, it'll mask off the actual frame like so so now i can come in and i can start filling these in so i've got i love her i think i'm going to put her in that window though no i'm going to save that one she's going to go in that window in that window so let me just rummage because i've got my stamps out but didn't get working i shall I use my chickens oh i need to use my chickens <laughs> i'm going to use the chickens it's going to be a right mad house this would be the kind of house i'd have so that's my first chicken so because i've masked off the window when i come to stamp these now they'll look like they're in the window so it'll look like you'll be looking at, up at the house and be like what on earth is going on in that house so you've got your little chicken now be careful because if i stamped if i wanted the chicken and i do like that but if yeah if you do this if you do the chicken upside down you need to mask off that top bit as well because otherwise yeah it'll look funny because otherwise you'll have him over there see so you've got him coming out there <laughs> honestly i love i really really love the chickens they're just hilarious let me just see if this one what would he do there no not that one you have to plan it Oh my gosh, it's really busy. Almost five minute queues on the phones. The other way of not getting on there is stamp, just stamping his little head. And then, so you're really watching where you're inking. Aren't they fabulous? You need chickens. He's the one that looks like he needs a wee. And it's when you take the masks off, they look so cool. Look. Ah, aren't they good fun? That, do you know what? That's what I love about these. They're good fun. You know, it's just, I'm playing. This is just fun. Right, my next window. What should we put in the next window? It's either going to be more chickens, because I do rather like my chickens. I have got my teddy bears, but I'm, I am very tempted with my chick. Oh, no, I'll put a little cat. Let's put a little cat sat in this window, because these are rather cool as well. So it's the house of all the animals. So you've got your little cat there. Yeah, cheeky little animal house. He's, oh, I quite like him. Shall I have him in the round window? Now, this is your set of felines. This is lovely, actually. The little putty cats are just quite cool. With this one, I were really good with this one because what I actually did, when I cut out the circle, I cut the outside edge as well. So that meant I didn't have to worry because the other ones are easy because it's just straight lines. This one is trickier. So if you, when you're cutting out your circle, if you actually keep the mask bit, to the outside edge as well it allows you to create that layer i mean you might actually just want to cut out the pin and not cut these separately it depends how you use it but there's sometimes you might not need it like that so popping that on if you do want your lovely little felines uh, the details are um oh obviously it's part of your bundle what am i gonna say uh, but that's your little felines that might be one of the uh, collections that you decide to go for so again make sure you check your baskets out there and i'll pop him it, now you have to work out where you want them because you have to look at their eyes because you don't want to do it and like chop off part of the red you want you know what i mean you, mind you it could be quite funny because if you just have like part of their eyes peeping over it they do look really quite funny and when you take the masks off, look how good he looks behind window. Aren't they good? Oh, I love these. Is it just me that absolutely adores doing these? I just like building them up. I just think it's really addictive. Right, my next window, I, she's going to be in the top window, so I know exactly where she's going. But my next little window, I think I need to go in that one, rummage time again. 
Do, 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 do. I might pop in this one. Oh, I might pop in one at Little Lads because he's quite cute. We might actually have a person. So this one is the one with the little baseball. So he's got your little baseball. Again, just one of your gorgeous characters. Now, that was from the first selection this morning, uh, which are still available and still a really good deal if you do want to get hold of those. Um, and honestly, the deals on this, are, they are really, really good. So if there's any you've missed, please check your baskets out. Do have a look a look at the website. That's where you can see all the different elements and different stamp sets available. Um, yeah, the prices are amazing. And with all of these, because they're such good quality, look at them, haven't you got some choice? It's just, yeah, you've got some really cool stamps on this. So please check that out. So many options. Janet has been ridiculously busy, hasn't she? These are all Janets. I mean, she has come up with so many different characters. And I love that because you will absolutely find stamps that fit people that you know are, you know, things that you want to create. There will be something for everybody. I've only inked him halfway, so it means I know I'm not too worried about um, getting stamping where I don't want it and of course with that one because he's got a bigger head I won't get all of his all of his face in but that's okay because I mean they're all peeping out the windows I mean if you did walk past this house you would actually be terrified because let's face it it'd be like can you imagine walking past and they're all just staring out at the window at you you would be like oh my word what's happening in that house they're weird yeah why is the child and the cat well there you go and I mean, look at the chickens. You, you'd be terrified. You'd be ter this would be the house that you would not want to move next to because you'd walk past it once and be like, yeah, we're not moving there, love. Not a chance. Have you seen it? It's, it's insane. Uh, but they're all smiling. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're all smiling at you. Um, but I love it, quite frankly. Hello. Would you like a cup of tea? Um, now, top window, of course. And this is a little girl. See, and again, if you did see this, because all these look mad, and then you've got a little girl at the top having to hug a bear. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, this would just be quite a strange home, but a fabulous home. So with this one now, I want her at the top there. Oh, I love that I've got pencils and things now. Because I don't want to stamp over that, I'm just putting a pencil line so I know where my frame is. Because I want her to sit in that frame. In fact, let me put the top so I know where the top is. Because obviously I want to see the actual uh, stamp in that frame. Now this time I'm, I'm happy to see the full image because this is going inside the card. Okay, so but I want her face so that's gonna be about so get the teddy in, get her face in so it's gonna be about there like that. Oh I'm blinking, I'm blinking, that's not a swear is it? I hope not. <laughs> no, I'm safe, I think. I, oh, I were really annoyed at myself because I, I wobbled then. I wobbled. Do you know what? If you wobble, you do this. You cheat and you put a die cut. I'm going to do it again because that will really irritate me. So I am not have it. I just can't have it. I'm not having it. Oh, I know. Yeah, I can stamp where I want now. I don't need to work it out. Although I do need it at that edge, but I don't need to work it out. But, oh, that's well annoying. That was one of the things we always tell you not to do, not to move it. When you stamp, don't move. That's like, you know, oh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> What's wrong with me? No swearing, no swearing. Oh, bumpy mat doesn't help, does it, kids? Bumpy mat. Blame your mat, Leone. Well done. You blame your mat. Don't blame your ridiculous stamping. There we go. And this is a thing. We all, every now and again, stamping goes a bit wrong. You just turn it over and stick some on it. And I think that's, like, a project like this, though, which is why I swear nearly came out, a project like this, there's no way you want to be starting that from the beginning because you're really happy with your madhouse. So it's like, I'm not starting that from the beginning. So you always have to think of a way around it if it goes a little bit... Um, what's Paula's word? <laughs> if it goes upsy dupsy <laughs> then um, was it upsy dupsy was it ooby doobsy? <laughs> she could have come out with all sorts, good Miss P. I mean, I mean, you know, if she were creating this house, I'd dread to think what her characters would be called. <laughs> uh, okay, so 
I've got my little look. You've got all your lovely little characters. And actually now I'm quite chuffed she's on that. I'm going to pretend that that was absolutely what I was aiming for. Obviously with these I do want to colour them in now. But what I'm going to do is pop my little sentiment. You could put the little lamp behind. That would require some masking so that's not happening. So, <laughs> but I'll put my little fur hole like that um we've got six minute cues if you don't want to sit in those cues get on the website chanda.com um as soon as you get through please check your baskets out because it will be first come first served i'm so pleased because i know people now are getting the stamps they wanted see i'm so chuffed with that what i do now is i'd obviously color it in i'd put drop shadows behind these windows because your windows now they need to um, come away from that background. So with my pencil there, can you see as soon as you start putting drop shadows on, it just makes your windows pop away from that background. Because otherwise your windows will just fade too much into that background. So allow it to fade away like so. And just darken that bit up. So round it, just darken it up. So you start to get that lovely drop shadow like that um you this is just my normal stateless hey i tell you what oh, my pen set now i am over the moon and i've once said I'd, i've been meaning to get some decent pencils for ages now i've got pencils and everything it's just so good and then i color in um what time is it because do we want to see me half past i'll do a tiny bit of coloring in only a tiny because just to show you how cool it'll look when you actually color them in and then of course i would work on the the front of it now these are our phil's pens of course I do like working with our fills pens for these just because they're so quick and easy. You've got a really nice point as well, so it really gets in there. So I've got my little lad there. I'm going to bring in, not that colour, that colour there. There we go, so a little bit round his face for a bit of shading. And I love it because as soon as you start to colour in, they'll all come to life. Good grief, there's eight minute queues now. Um, I think it is because we, we've all been collecting these, you know, they've been so popular. But this is such a good way of being able to get the ones that you've missed out on or the favourites or the ones that, you know, were in a, a bundle that you, you didn't want the others and just fill it. Oh, I've given orange hair. Um, just filling in the gaps. Nothing wrong with that. I like orange hair personally. I think it's quite fabulous. So he's got, but it is a bit neon, is this one. I, I thought I were picking up yellow, but he has got, <laughs> yeah, he's Ziggy. Oh my word, imagine that house then. You've got mad chickens in one window, a huge cat in the other, a little, a little girl having to hug a teddy bear and then Ziggy in the other window. I mean, that one would be walk past, re really walk really quick. <laughs> or go in. Let's just go in. I bet it's really good fun in that house. I mean, look at the windows. That house looks like they're having all the fun. I mean, best lockdown ever. Um, <laughs> um, there are The queues are ridiculous, actually. I do apologise. Nine minutes. I highly recommend getting on that website. We will get to you as soon as we can. Um, it is just seriously, seriously busy. And I am sorry you sat in the queues. Please get on the website and then you don't need to sit on those um, phones, but they will. Oh, look, now it looks really nice. I'll just colour in his jumper as well so it all comes together. Once you start, once you start colouring in, you get a bit addicted because colouring in's great. Pop a little bit there and then a little bit there. 10 minute cues. They aren't, they are there, aren't they? <laughs> There's they're right, yeah, they, it's really busy and it's just busy, so, so was, sorry, sorry, we will get to you as soon as possible. There, see how it starts coming. Do not, do not, do not forget to colour in the background, because of course with your background, that's, um, you know, that is part of your, um, oh, shall we give him sort of magnolia walls? 
there. If you're colouring your background, and also, I mean, your, your drop shadows again in the background can look really good. I mean, you can have really bright backgrounds, but I quite like a subtle background because it makes that the, the foreground pop forward a little bit. And although it's a bit of a madhouse, they are just going to have brown window frames. Which you won't think so, would you? You'd think they'd have like multicolored window frames on all the windows, but it is a natural brown that they're going to have on the window frames. Um, and no, it's not a bit actually. Shall we? No, they are. They're a, a triple glaze PVC because um, the you know they're making sure they don't waste any energy or heat. I mean, Zig is pretty good like that. <laughs> Uh, he's, um, he's looking after, he's energy conscious, is Ziggy. There we go. So just colour that frame in. Couple of different browns. You don't, do you not know Ziggy Stardust either? Eesh, by Jove. Yeah, it's, it's a character, not a thing. Oh, she doesn't know Bowie either, everybody at home. She knows of him. Oh, it's like one of them, in it? It's like, oh. <laughs> oh, well, eh. Uh... Hey, she likes Ziggy, everyone. My telly daughter likes Ziggy, phew. <laughs> right, shall I stop colouring in now? Because that's all. But look, look, don't it look good? Because as soon as you start colouring it in now, that drop shadow, do the drop shadow, because that will make that window pop and everything just works together beautifully okay our lovely Haley is going to take you sorry i hanging on to me back then when i got back um yeah Haley's going to give you a reminder well i probably just color in i'm really sorry 12 minute cues on the phones Haley west i know what have you done i don't really know the system. i don't really know well the thing is though now is the time for you to be jumping onto the website not only because of those cue lids i mean 12 minutes that's pretty <laughs> pretty much a record <laughs> i think but also the fact we stepped away from leone now so obviously we're going to go back to it we're going to see more demonstrations but if you've been waiting for that breakaway to get your basket checked out online then now is the time we are phenomenally busy and i think um yeah leone hit the nail on the head these are stamps that we want all of them and we can't necessarily get a hold of all of them in one go that's why a pick and mix is so fabulous because of course we see different collections come and go and there might be sets of six set eight however big it might be too big for you to take advantage of and this is a perfect opportunity for you either to get started with these maybe filling gaps and maybe sometimes you've not seen them come to air before and if you did miss out on them previously then now is your perfect opportunity but it's that sketchiness that you've got about these that means that they all work so well together and of course this is a beauty janet I mean, she's amazing. She's got that fabulous personality. You can see that through these different stamps here. I love that. Love the drama of a hat. A hat does make a difference, doesn't it? And there you've got loads to choose from. But then you've got your staples, your kind of bread and butters with your backgrounds, as you can see there. Love this idea of the colour wheel coming into a card or a project. But of course, it's got its practical capabilities as well to show you blends if you wanted to use it. And these ladies, I love this. Balance, inspire, soiree and grateful. I want to give them human names, though, to be honest as well because i think they've got real personality that way they kind of remind me of i don't know some characters you might find in a pantomime or something like that or larger than life characters that you know maybe in life but i have to say i think i am with leone with regards to the chickens i found out irish dancing chickens as well oh, really yeah because when you look at these i mean they start off and you've obviously got the they go kind of got a nice little pose going on there and as you work your way through them all you've got them but i think where's the card gone now i think i've jumbled them up because i was looking at all the different different finished samples we will come across them actually i've got it down here these don't they look like irish dancing chickens oh yeah they do, do. You know what they? no they absolutely do i yeah. think the st patrick's day yeah. They, yeah they're fabulous yeah i must admit i think i'd probably be the one there that's yeah <laughs> i'd be the one on, in middle who needs to wait something soft and comfortable <laughs> <laughs> but these are the kind of things, the stamps that you look at and you're adding personality to them. You're having fun with them. You're having humour with them. You're also using all your different skills, things like your colouring in skills and you're kind of building up designs, using backgrounds that you've got and things like that. But you're having fun with them. And these, oh, I adore these. They're like those little raggy taggy um, teddy bears that sometimes can yeah. get left behind in a supermarket. And you go back and you've got to find it. Yeah. You've got to reunite that little friendship, haven't you? 
absolutely adorable but the simplicity of these as well i mean look at that as a little i'm sorry card or something like that absolutely adorable. love the way that he's one arm's longer than the other absolutely can you imagine he's been dragged around by that one arm can't you <laughs> so it has ended up longer than the other but these are absolutely adorable of course we're looking at lots of the teddy bears featuring with these we touched on the fact that you've got the fabulous chickens in here as well love the cats and the little dogs as well so much personality in here i am sure you will be able to find something in here that's going to bring a smile not only to you as the creator of the project but also the recipient of the project as well not just cards though home decor and i think with some of the phrases i mean janet's got a fabulous way with words the phrases that you see appearing with these really do work so well along the characters and i think it is that the simplicity of the design of the characters little sketchy details but sometimes just simple phrases like that i mean you don't need a character on there don't you, do you at all sometimes when you don't know what to say a hug just says enough now sadly it's one of those situations where you have to be banking those hugs i think we need to start that off don't we like a little collector card of hugs that you can cash in at the end of all of this oh my goodness we're going to be going crazy aren't we but until then you can send your hug via a card and i love the windows the windows you've got so much opportunity with those i love that little kind of it's almost like a a, a garage sale kind of uh, podium that you've got there haven't you with your little market store but as leone quite rightly says you could set that up for anything that you sell and not just your lemonade as you can see there there. the characters there love them absolutely adorable there and then your piggy wigs absolutely cute love them all absolutely adorable so it doesn't matter which of these i mean again you've got chickens and you've got well there are owls featuring in that one as well so you kind of got the best of both worlds with both of those I mean, and the little gnomes absolutely adorable you can have loads of fun with these 449 at 346 you will collect these so keep a note of that item number while you've got the opportunity and don't forget we've got a couple of different ways for you get hold of your pick and mix so you can go for a couple if you're wanting to or you can go for your five two seven three five four one this is another set that you've actually found on the website so yeah don't blame me going for these ones very useful ones your square digits and your mini tribals and your circled numbers there as well this is something that Dolan Create do so well. Those little stamps, A7 stamps, just the right size for you to fill in those white spaces, but also build them up if you want to create a background. Another set here, this time we've got four, £15.96. You've got a £16 saving. That is an amazing saving. Definitely worth adding these in, because of course they're not going to take up too much room within your crafty stash as well. So sometimes it's nice to have a little box with those little tiny stamps in them. And again, stencils. Stencils are something that All and Create do so well and these are brilliant i mean look at these these are going to work with so many things that you've already got in your stash you can kind of see little checkerboard elements in there obviously your gears and your cogs there featuring in there um 13 pounds and 97 pence again another amazing price five three three eight four nine if you're wanting those but we have got another pick and mix now leone was here this morning with um a huge pick and mix still available during this hour Lots of you taking advantage of it. And you can see the details are on your screen there. Look at that. You are saving £18. You're choosing six. Oh, my goodness. No wonder we're busy when we've got deals like this. Works out at just £4.99 per stamp set. My goodness. That's almost pocket money prices, isn't it? Um, and again, keep a note of that item number. You can see there, the details 203392 will get you your pick and mix of any six. And again, it's up to you which you collect. I love this one here. Anybody that's into it, well, there you can see baseball featuring. But there's nothing stopping you switching that around and changing it and using a football, maybe from another set of stamps that you've got. Or changing the characters around there. Again, you've got a little go fishing one there. But again, that character could be alongside it at the baseball if you wanted to. It's exactly as you want to build up these characters. And that's the thing. It's almost like a little modular system that you've got with these because one stamp set works so well alongside the next and you're almost building up your own little storyboard with regards to it. I love the little pooch in that one. Absolutely adorable. Um, oh, boy. For a fabulous um, a fabulous little phrase that you've got there and here adorable the little characters the sizing of these means that they are perfect for your cards your small cards particularly because you can just do those little characters build them up if you're wanting to make your larger uh, projects but so many of us are getting into our planners now and these are perfect but like today our little hero she had to go to the vet today to get her ear looked at to make sure it was all healthy again and uh, i could have used a little pooch stamp in the uh, the little space on my um planner i hadn't got anything to put in there the flowers again 
same doodly flowers and these may encourage you to give it a go yourself but building them up all together you are going to create some fabulous projects again there i mean the plants you could quite easily have those plants almost creating your own little shelves and then of course the little girl there is i love those wellies that she's wearing absolutely adorable coffee is like a hug in a mug isn't it just could do with one of those now um, and there she is but it could be hot chocolate she's got in there or soup or anything absolutely gorgeous love it and then of course you can see their little books um, featuring with these get lost in a good book that's always a good bit of advice isn't it books apparently books and jigsaws are the things at the moment you can't get hold of jigsaws anywhere apparently at the Sorry, moment the jigsaws really went yeah off, mm. yeah um, but there you go bear hugs as well if you can't hug a person hug a bear there you go <laughs> i think that's good advice you can have that one <laughs> um can I look at that one yeah love it blaze your own trail definitely so again with these ones just absolutely brilliant characters whatever the occasion is so uh, there you go if you wanted to get hold of those you're going to choose any six of those and then as I say you can build up your design now this one's got a few of the stamps being used together again not necessarily coming from the same stamp plate but because of the style that you've got of Janet working throughout all of these they all work incredibly well together the little pooch there as you can see there love that be the person your dog thinks you are <laughs> Dogs can give real filthy looks when they want to, don't they? You feel guilty and you haven't even done it. Um, go fishing. And again, this is another one that gives you the opportunity to try out those different techniques that we all um, love. And we see, obviously, the people like Leone teaching us as well. Absolutely adorable, each and every one of these. A little bit of zaniness in there, which I think we could do with, couldn't we? Love this one here. It's almost like a little mini book. Love the way that the little cat here is looking up at the direction of the sentiment there. But there you go. Bring your own sunshine. It's good advice, isn't it? little mini books absolutely loads of them. these could be stamped up without any color at all and then you kind of keep it in your bag or in your glove box or wherever you're going and then you've got something that maybe to keep yourself busy when you have those few moments or maybe for somebody else 29 pounds and 94 pence you can choose any six of those 4.99 that works out per stamp set absolutely brilliant value for money and a very popular bundle 203392 now what we'll type back oh she's back up she, she looked like she's hiding under the desk for a moment then <laughs> i will yeah, rummage in again <laughs> rummaging I, I spend a lot of my time rummaging sadly <laughs> um okay so let's start let's um let's start doing a little bit of stamping so what i'm going to do first of all i wanted to um to create a background obviously and what i thought would well, i saw this um a lady on and I'm really bad at this. I see things on Instagram and then forget the artist's name. But I really liked it. I thought, ooh, that's a nice way of using stencils. And basically what she was doing, she was putting the ink down. I will try and find it and share it so I, I credit the right person. Um, but she was just getting a stencil, picking up the ink that she'd spritzed on the on the doodah on your mat and then just picking it up like that and i thought oh i like that i'm going to make it more watery because i just thought it's quite random but now this is your tribal pattern i know we've got this on the show it's an a4 stencil and I, this is what i love this stencil it's such a good stencil i did use it in the first hour as well um it's a cracky it will be on the website then it must have been on the first hour must have been on the first hour um so you will have to shop by brand have a look it is of course um all and create now whilst that's still wet um you know me there's no way i'm going to be uh losing that ink because that's that's terrible so pick that up with a scrap card and that'll pick a little bit of the the color up the rest of it i will pick up with my rice paper and then i can use that later so um, it is it is definitely in the early, uh, it was in the earlier so check this one out um, and I know a lot of the stencils are available they are just quite fabulous so I use that one and then this which other one I bet the big ones were in earlier hour as well weren't they were these are these in this hour no these are my stencils as well I've got that one and I've got that one I'm gonna go Yay, we've got these ones. I love these. Gonna say do the same thing. Um, if you do want to get hold of these, um, oh, they're such good stencils. Absolutely love these. Uh, you're saving 12 quid on these. It is absolutely worth looking at the website. We have got so many good deals. 033099 is your item number if you want to get hold of that. Really, really good stencils. And the prices are ridiculous. So doing the same thing, just picking it up. So you need a nice way of stenciling. I like that. 
I just think, um, mm, and I like layering the colours. I think that looked really good. It's, I love Insta because you can see so many different ideas. But I am, I do need to remember to. I normally do credit if I if I share pictures and stuff. I will absolutely credit the artist. And I did. Uh, anyway, shut up, Leon. It's no point keep going on. But look at that. Doesn't it look pretty? And I like the the layering of the colours as well because um, obviously my my paint that I'm now putting on is mixing with the ink, so you get that lovely sort of that lovely sort of green coming through there, which looks beautiful like that. And I like this that technique because I like the open space of it. You know, I like that um, the white. I think it looks quite effective. Popping that back over the top. I don't think there's any ink left, uh, paint left on that stencil, but just in case. That obviously just picking up, but um, it means I've got a nice background. So bring this back in, get that one with my rice paper and Bob's my uncle. <laughs> Robert is my father's brother. <laughs> um, so let's see, now that's one of the dies and I love that. I really like that. I mean, it's just such a cool die. And I like these just popped on. I'm working on a bigger surface area than I'm planning to keep, but who knows? These are just fabulous. If you do want to get hold of these, oh, they're just too cool. Uh, it's just so all and create, isn't it? Because they're cool. Um, look at you, you're saving, t look at you. Uh, you're saving 10, <laughs> you, what a very weird expression. Uh, you're saving 10 pounds on this selection. Oh, and they're just so cool. Um, that is 270852 your item number for this um, they make great backgrounds obviously if you're just chopping them up and using little elements from them they look really really cool but you see I like that because I like it kind of just sitting into the background almost of that background I just think it looks really cool you don't even need to add any any color on it really however I'm just gonna bend down and get my, my aqua pencils oh. So we had these cheeky monkeys on the other day, didn't I? And these are quite far. Oh, I've only got five minutes, so I better not play too long. But just add a tiny bit of colour on there, like so. And they are aqua pencils or crayons even. So it means just a little bit. Yeah, it is a loud water bowl. So just a little bit there. <laughs> I thought, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry everyone, I'm giggling because our mall has got the loudest water bottle ever <laughs> and it's just really funny. I only noticed it because you said so when I heard that noise it was like, what is that? <laughs> it's, it's proper hefty is that. Let's have a look at that colour. That's gone a bit muddier than I wanted, but I'm not going to worry over worry about that. There we go. It's cause, and I know why it is. It's because I'm doing my normal thing and not letting it dry underneath. I'm working over the top of it, standard. But that's okay because I can go in with another colour when it's dry. Now I've only got four minutes, so I shouldn't really be faffing about with my background. What I should be doing is showing you what I'm doing with my stamps, um, because look, I've already got these two. Ah! I love these. So I've got my gorgeous little fairies, which are going to be coming in. And these are your little pixies. I mean, they're fabulous. And they are more pixie because your other one that are sort of flying um, are bigger than these. Oh, these are just adorable. So these are your beautiful pixie ones. If you do want those, £35, £95 in that uh, wonderful uh, collection of stamps that you can go for any choice. It is up to you. But yeah, they are absolutely adorable. Now, what I am going to do, I want to use the numbers, but I want to use these as backgrounds. I'm obviously not going to finish this. So if you want to use these as backgrounds, um, pop them on your, your block, but don't don't put them on like properly. Do you know what I mean? Uh, mix them up a little bit so there are angles. Now I say at angles, but I'm really rubbish. at. I, I won't put them straight. I'm terrible at that. I don't like um, uh, having them at quirky angles. I'm a little bit obsessive about that. But now I've only got two and a half minutes, I need to not be. I'm going to use these, I'm using them as background. So I'm using a really bright, but I'm not completely inking it. So just light taps on there. And I'm just going to pop and want a bit of colour here, a little bit of colour there coming off. Oh, I love that. And they just make such good backgrounds as well as feature stamps. 
So they're going to come off there, so it's that whoosh down, like so. I won't faff about with that because I know I'm nearly out of time. I'll use another gorgeous background stamp. This one will just be now filling in. So this one just adds. So where I've got my gorgeous background here, this will add my other layers. And my sort of, my muddy bit here, don't worry about that. Because I will, or you see how nice that. So that all my sort of my pink is all sat, is all concentrated around here, which looks fab. And then and there we are. So I'm just popping that there, like that. Oh, that's really offended me now. I love it because. <laughs> Honestly, honestly, it is funny because all of a sudden it's all you can see and it's like, oh, that does me head in. Because of that, I will go over with a stronger colour. But where I'm going to go with this, I tell you what you can do. If something like that really bugs you, you just get a die cut, put it over the top. So what I would do is die cut that again and put it back over the top. That's absolutely what I'd do. Um, but then, obviously, what I'd be doing, I'd bring in my, my little beautiful, pixies oh there you go sorted put your little pixies there on that stamp set you've got the other little pixie dust as well i'd stamp that and i put a lovely little sentiment and bob's your uncle i love those because even though there's a lot going on you still see your gorgeous little characters that's me done i won't see you now till next wednesday thank you very much our lovely Haley. no problem at all uh, 251 is that actual stamp if you're looking for that one Include it in your pick and mix and then you can create those fabulous little pixies just like our lovely Leone did. But of course, don't worry, you've got plenty more of choice with regards to that um, pick and mix because you're going to choose another four of them. Anything in your baskets though, please do check those baskets out. We are incredibly busy again as we leave you and go back and watch Leone's show. I shall see you next Wednesday then, love. Thank you. All right, take care. Oh, and I don't go anywhere. Ali is here with the stitchy fingers. I'm working with her later. Cannot wait. Then it's final call with the one day special. My goodness, where did that day go? And then a little bit of decker patch with Nigel. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process.
exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Headaches. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope. Well, hello everybody and welcome to Hochanda. We've got a great hour with the lovely Ali. You hear us talking a lot at Hochanda. We say that there's a nice family atmosphere and we get on so well with the guests. Genuinely, Ali's not a guest. She's part of the family. She's friends. And you, I've got to say, tell everyone, you're really, really sweet because before the show we always have a production meeting and uh, you made a lovely little bib, a personalised bib for Archer, my little boy. Thank you. Oh, you're very no, welcome. It lovely. It really is. And I'll, I'll post a picture when he's wearing it and I'll, I'll send it to you as well. Lovely. Uh, how are you, Ali? You right? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, good, yeah. good. You've brought us yeah. some great stuff as always. Do you know what? I love working with you because you really do think from the same perspective, you're a crafter through and yeah. through. But you bring us projects and kits that we would all use. It kind of fits into our lives. It's what I need at home. So yeah. I know that if I need it, other people are going to need it it's as well. It's a good sign. So true. Yeah. Well, should we start here? Uh, this is the case in hand. Let's have a look at our Tommy tablet stand. So most of us, or a lot of us, do have tablets at home. And I te we tend to use tablets for so many things. Like, for instance, you might have the Hochanda app on your tablet and you might watch Hochanda. Uh, the other day, I was doing some cooking and I was following a recipe on my phone yep. and sort of resting it up. But same principle, if you've got a tablet and you just want to watch it, tablet stands are so handy. I do that all the time. When I get yeah. up in the morning, I go down to make Mark's breakfast. I have my tablet stand there with my tablet, with Hochanda yep. on, and it is perfect. So that's why I made like it. That. God, make him breakfast. He's living the good life, isn't he? Into just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk me through it, because there's so many little features to the tablet stand. Now, we've got options, and I'll go through everything that you're actually getting in the bundle. Let me just lift up. This is the blue option, and I'll show you, and I will sort of deconstruct in a second. But you've got very handy pockets in there as well, so if you wanted to put uh, a little paper, that's, that's that's cool, by the way. I like that. Uh, you got your pen. And let me show you, this is where the magic happens because there's some uh, little hook and loop in there as well. And obviously, you've got the reverse side. So what that does, you can see here, all your fabric, it just folds over. And then that goes in. And there we go. We have the stand. It's decorative. It looks good, but it's, it's so functional. It's sturdy as well. The, yeah. the, um, the magic is in the interfacing, and that's what keeps yeah. it so rigid. Also, the shape, it's a V, it's a, it's a triangle, yeah. which is a very strong uh, shape. That's it. So, it, it works brilliant. What you've done so well is pick such beautiful fabric. And I showed you the, uh, the option, the blue option, you've got that wonderful sewing design, but have a look at this. Here we got the dogs, this is the other option. 
So there's all the fabric that you're going to be getting. I mean, for $16.99, look at the amount of that is just for that fabric. Come on, Ali, I love it. I do too. So you've got the cutest dogs. All right, you're getting all your fabric, but then, as Ali said, this is where it really comes into its own. So we've got a hook and loop in there. Then we have buttons, obviously, if you want to add some uh, decorative buttons into the mix. That, Ali, is that, that little bit of foam, is that for anything? What's that, sorry? There's a little bit of a... a I didn't know if that's part of it. No. Okay, that's off cut. Okay, awkward. Uh, and then, I didn't know whether I was going to throw off something that Might was integral. Might have been at the bottom of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, then we got, now this is what you are saying, we've got our wadding and also the interfacing, so that gives you that uh, stiffness yeah, and structure. Yeah, it gives you the rigidity for it to stand up, yeah. Okay, perfect. So there we go, that is your bundle. The only choice you need to make, are you going to go for, I'll hold them both up actually, so we can see. Oh. Oh, no, we got the pink as well. I apologise. So we have got the pink. Let me just show you. Here it is. So we got the pink option too, and I apologise. So here we go. Let me just fold that over. So that's your pink option. So very similar to the blue, but obviously it's in pink colour tones. And then you've got your pockets in here as well. You, you think through everything so well, Ali. Well, you really are very good. The reason I do it is because I, I do a lot of uh, projects with tutorials. So you have your sewing machine, but you need to have your um, tablet or mm -hmm. phone at side of you. And obviously, if you're going to have something that's taking up that much space, yeah. you're wanting to have storage in the back. So yeah. you can put your pen, remote controls, rotary cutter, scissors. So functional. Yeah. What I'd say if, uh, and this is how, you could have Hochanda, watch whatever you like, but just think about Hochanda. If you'd like to watch Hochanda on the go, let's say you don't have a TV in your craft room and you'd like to have us on for company, the Hochandra app, absolutely free. You can watch Hochandra on the app. You can shop if you want it on the app as well. Uh, all I would say, if you are using your tablet uh, and watch, just make sure you're on Wi-Fi, obviously, so because it will use up a lot of data if you're out and about. So make sure you're on Wi-Fi. Uh, Got to tell you, the doggy option is extremely popular. So if you don't want to miss out on the doggy option, we've only just seen it, and a third of the stock has gone. That has to be my absolute favourite. I mean, I love the other two. But you, you, and I don't have any more of that, I can tell you special. now. It's special, okay. It is. And Ali said, we do not have any more of that. No. It's just different, I've never seen fabric like no, that before. No, I know, it's gorgeous, yeah. absolutely. It's quilting cotton as well, yeah. so best quality fabric. You can feel it, yeah, you can feel that. Okay, got to move on. Uh, we've got another great option for you. So tell us a little bit about this. Which no. is the Bobby? Yes. Is oh, it? here we go, yes. Yes, yeah, the Bobby here. is yes. um, one that I brought out just before Christmas. Uh -huh. And I brought that out because... I'm a Yorkshire lass and I'm tight, Yanis. Yeah. And I went to the supermarket and yeah. they were having this deal on. But you needed to have your club card with you. Oh, OK. So you can guess which supermarket it was by that. Yeah. Um, I know and the one. I, know I didn't the one. have mine. So Nothing I more lost frustrating. quite a lot of money. Yeah. Because it were all added up at the end and you received so much off. Yeah. And I didn't have it. So I thought, I need somewhere to put all my store cards and my credit card, or debit yeah. card, whichever. And... Um, that's why that came about. Just something small that I could tuck away and I've got them all together. That, and look, when you think about this, store cards, um, gym membership cards mm -hmm. as well, loyalty cards, because nothing more frustrating, you go to fill up at a petrol station yep. and it asks for your reward card, and you go, oh, I don't have it. So putting all your reward cards, all your cards into yeah. one uh, place is fantastic. Again, fabric. Oh. Ali, that, I that's new, that isn't it? Gorgeous. That. that is the electric universe. I love it. And then the outside as well is such a beautiful fabric. So That's cork. Yeah, you can see it. It looks great. Uh, it's cork design uh, on there. So No, it is cork. Is it actual cork? It's actual cork, yeah. You're kidding. No. Do you know, I felt it. Wow, it feels like fabric. Yeah. It's got a fabric I'm, back in, yeah. but it is cork. I'm very glad you're here to correct me. So that, <laughs> that is actually cork. Ali, you've done, and you can see there, it's got the fabric back. That, yeah. I've, again, I've never seen anything like that before. It, it is quite an expensive product, so yeah. to have it at that price, it's, you know, it's, it's a good one to get. Well, 9.99, you get a wonderful project, you get all the instructions, so then if you did want to dip into your own stash and make a few more, you can absolutely. Uh, but what Ali always does is give you everything that you need. So uh, we've got our feature fabrics in there, then you've got your, how do you, the bind, what do you call it, binding? Binding. Yeah, binding uh, yep. in there as well. Only thing you need to decide is which option you want to go for. So two different options here. We've got the red and it's got a bit of a, ooh, sparkle to it like that and then we've got the galaxy or oh, the electric universe sorry 
correct myself. So $9.99 the price. There is a £5 saving here as well. It is a special price for the show. How long this is around for, I cannot tell you. But $9.99 for something that you're going to make and treasure. And also it's going to be so practical. That is a great buy. 516-364, your item number. Okay, now, retreatment books. Oh, yeah. Now, so, these are a must. Tell us, how did you get the idea for these? Well, for this, I go on, well, I used to go on a lot of retreats. And um, when you go into these retreats, you can go on classes. Yeah. So you go in, you stay in a hotel. So you need somewhere to have your room card or keys or whatever. Yeah. So inside there, there is a zip pocket. So you can put a bit of cash and you've got card slots for your cards for your hotel room but then you've got a notebook so you can take notes down at the um tutorials or perfect uh, seminars whatever you go into um so you've got absolutely everything pen. with you your pen because when you go in you've got your machines you've got all your fabrics you've got your threads you don't want to be having to think about taking a handbag with all your essentials so you just grab that and go you even get so we've got the zip pocket at the front then the card slots or however you want to use those as ali was just describing you're getting your hardware so your magnetic clasps are included in there and then you've got obviously you can add your own uh, notebook into the proceedings but and you've got even the uh, little toggle for your pen your pen holder too i love the fabrics <laughs> you you really are and i know i've been saying this with each one and this is a new option actually with the donuts you're so good in picking your fabrics for projects i only i only pick what i like yeah it's a good way to do it because yeah. if you like it i think we'll like it as well yeah. <laughs> um there's something about the donut one i just think it, it's fun yeah. But nice colours too. It's not too out there. No, it's not It's not too in your face, I no. don't think. But uh, I think it's, it's nice and bright and cheery. Yeah. I think it, mm, it, it's one option that captures me. I'm liking all the new todays. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but then when you go for the classic ones, and I can see this really appealing too. So we've got our blue option. Let me just... Uh, well, it could be either way. And if I open that up... There you go, so you've got your magnetic clasps in there, the uh, zip pocket, which is just so handy. I did have it the wrong way, I thought I did. Uh, and then you've got your uh, little pockets in there, and then we've got our notebook inside. So that's the blue, which is very handsome, never going to date. And then we've also got the pink as well. So that is your pink option. There isn't a bad option here. I mean, there never is with you, Ali. Oh, I keep People are buying those to make more and sell. Yeah. Uh, and I think for, for anybody, you don't, you don't have to have a, a hobby of sewing, you know, they're good for the office, good for, um, you know, just taking on a day trip out. If you were to make, to sell, let's mm -hmm. say, because, we, and actually I'll ask the question, uh, uh, Ali, not to just assume. So let's say we've got a project, we've made the donuts, we love it, we're using it, and then we've still got the pattern. Mm -hmm. We dip into our stash, we make another one, could we then go on and sell that? Absolutely. As long as we made it. It's fantastic. Yeah. My I mean, daughter's a swimming teacher okay. and um, she asked that. me to make her one yeah. so that she can keep track of all the lessons that she's got. So they're, they're really handy, yeah. That's great. It's, it, it is just as a notebooks go that you, you can't go wrong because no. we all need this. No, no matter what you do in life, just having something like that, even if you just had it by the phone. You can fit your phone inside that slip pocket, uh, that little zip pocket as well. Yeah. So it's nice and secure in there. Leave it in the car, take it on the go. Yeah. We like it. Okay, if you do want to pop it into your basket, you are getting an awful lot for your money. So just showing you, uh, you've got the hardware included. So we get the magnetic clasps, you're getting your zips, you're getting your fabrics in there. Such beautiful fabrics, you're binding. And of course, you're getting your interfacing as well, which is really important. So all of that, $19.99 your price, and look, the pattern. That's the main thing as well. You get the instructions. Uh, I have to say, from experience in working uh, with Ali for uh, a number of years now, you are really good in writing your instructions. Thank you. And that's important. It because, is, because it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, but you, you kind of write it from, a, it boils back to what we've been saying all hour, that from what you would want from an instruction? Yeah, as they what sell? I do is I, I actually write it as I'm making it, okay. so that I'm actually writing down exactly what I'm doing. Makes a difference and it shows. I know you and get I very do good tutorials reviews. for people to watch. So yeah. if you don't follow written instructions very well, then you can always go on YouTube, my website, um, Facebook sometimes. Yeah. There's, there's uh, videos on there as well. well. We've got to give a mention to social media because you're great on social media. So if we do want to follow you, it is Alice Stitch Fingers on yeah. Instagram and Facebook. And you've got a group as well? Yes, that's yeah. a Facebook group. Yeah. That's Alice Stitch Fingers. Yeah, it is. Alice I do Stitch live Fingers. tutorials yeah. on. 
Tuesday evenings and Friday afternoons. I'm supposed to be doing it now, but I'm not, so if you're okay. waiting there, I'm here. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on, but if you do want to go for this, option 862-678-0809, number three different choices, so whether you're going for the brand new donuts, and then we've also got the uh, blue and the pink. Okay, moving on, needle keepers. Practical. We all need it in our lives. Yep. These, just everything looks good. It does, but I've also used it for keeping my um, machine feet in, and I have them labelled uh, so that I know exactly which foot that it is, because sometimes nice. they look similar. Yeah. Um, I got those from Haley Smith as well, with all the set, yeah, yeah. and it's perfect for them. So you can just see, for your needle keepers, fantastic, but um, Ali touched on a really, really good point. What about putting your uh, feet in there, and then what I would do, I've got a label maker at home. Me too. Yeah, so just literally write the label. Yeah. And, organize all your feet and you know exactly what foot it is for what project you're doing this is a nice one well that's one of my own fabrics I, I want to show that you can actually go on then to make more I think I've got must be seven now and yeah. I'm making another one today for the new feet I've just got from Haley. well that's lovely so once you have got your patterns I know that Ali's really passionate about getting you uh, getting you sewing enjoying yourself and what you do so go on use the patterns and make more discover your stash just having a look um, you're getting an awful lot in the bundle. So, whichever option you go for, the two choices are you've got your pink or your blue, but within those choices, you are getting four MDF thread keepers. So, you're going to be getting those. You've got, look, it's the little touches. I love that. So, you're getting your ribbon in there. You've got, this is nice. So, you've got a little charm as well. And then you've got all your fabrics in there. To the point, You've even got the PVC cover as well, and that's what you're going to be stitching through. And that's obviously being clear, then we're able to see everything. So that's, I, you put a lot into your kit. Yes, I put everything in. Well, if it's something like a, a toy, then I don't put the stuff in because yeah. it's, it's too bulky to post out this. And everybody's yeah. got a bit of stuff in yeah, it yeah. lying around. So, yeah, I put everything that you need in there. Well, I'm just seeing, again, I'll, I'll open up the blue so you can just have a look at these. There we go. Imagine organizing all of your threads, but showing you the fabrics that Ali gives you are beautiful. I like this. I really do like this. And it's, it's something that I think we use and it'll be practical for it's us as well. It's been very popular. Yeah, I can imagine. For sewers, you can't go wrong. And the way I like to see it is how much would you pay? I mean, rhetorical question, but how much would you pay for just one pattern? Arguments sake, what, between five to ten pounds? And if that's the case, let's say top end, ten pounds, you're getting everything within there for eight ninety nine. So that's how I like to break things down. Uh, one eight zero nine nine six, your item number. Now, we do have a pattern bundle for you as well uh, that Ali is offering. Just going to give you the details on your screen. So this is Ali Stitchy Fingers pattern bundle. It includes two pattern magnetic clasps, and you're getting MDF shapes in there as well. Uh, one four nine nine four one, your item number. Fourteen ninety nine your price, uh, and that is for the uh, that's for the thread needle keeper. So if you want to get hold of those, and also the retreat notebook pattern as well. So if you do just want to stock up, you can. Uh, you've got the MDF shapes in there as well. Right now, something else, and I remember you're on before with these, and they're very busy. Am I yeah. saying that, Ellie? I've been clearing out um, okay. because I'm bringing a lot of new fabrics in and I'm now working from home rather yeah. than in the unit. Oh, okay. So um, I've been clearing out and I thought that I'd actually sold them all on the last show, but I found a few more. Right. So I brought them. Fast as fingers first. I love these owls. Look at that. The fabric feel, I mean, that feels it's like such good hard. quality. Yeah, Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a nice upholstery weight fabric. Mm. So I've got a coat made out of the leopard one and a handbag to match. So by buying your fabrics like this, um, you've got quite a lot of, you've got half a metre of the main jacquard and then you've got a quarter of a metre of the faux leather. Mixing them together, you're going to make quite a few projects. Wait, for 11.99, we're yeah. getting the faux leather and it... It's together. an excellent price. That re I'm going to open it up and just show you because that really is... I mean, look how much you're getting of the jacquard. So an awful lot there, half a metre. Beautiful quality, though. It really is heavy weight. You know, this is something you would absolutely pay a premium for. And then I will show you, you're getting such a sizable piece of the faux leather as well. I lift that up, and that is a quarter of a metre. So a lot you're going to be doing with that. For 11.99, 
that is your first option. 804 846, your item number there. Good quality faux leather as well. It is good it's quality faux leather, yeah. It's nice and soft, but it's also not too flimsy. Yeah. So it's not going to stretch out. Do you know, it's like sometimes with faux leather, I felt very good faux leather. When you felt bad faux leather, you, you know, know it instantly. You yeah, know no, it, that's, yeah. That's really nice. Okay, love it. So there we go, details on your screen there, 11.99 your price, 804.846. We've got another option for you, so different colour of your faux leather, that is a wonderful sort it's of maroon burgundy. It's a lovely rich colour, yes. Yeah, love that. And then it complements beautifully the batik fabric that you're getting as well. So jacquard fabric, the batik is in relation to the design. Uh, so there we go. Beautiful boutique fab um, design fabric. 40% of the stock has gone here, so if you don't want to miss out, there's a good chance these will be selling out, and uh, I think once they're gone... They are gone. It. They are yeah. gone, okay. Maybe the leopard skin one, because I bought a few rolls of that one, but the other two definitely gone today. Okay, good to know. Uh, finally, we have another faux uh, leather, so that is... Is that black? That's black. black. Yeah. And then you've got the leopard. I should have put my coat on with my bag. Don't you, it? You look fantastic. It's lovely, even though I say so myself. <laughs> look at that. There we go. The, the, the fabric feels so it's, good. It's his absolutely really stunning fabric. Yeah, this is nice. Genuinely, and I always say, uh, being a presenter at Hotando, especially it's, it's uh, shopping TV, with fabrics, you want, you want to feel it. It's the first thing we always do, and that instantly from the touch, you know when something's good quality. I always think, Yanis, if you're going to make something, you're going to spend your time making something. Yeah. Make it with the best quality fabric you can afford. Yeah. Because you've put in all that time and effort in there, and you want True. it to last. Such a and good And you point. want it to look good. Yeah. The finished results show when you, yeah. you choose, uh, when you choose chosen the quality yeah. fabrics and it is quality trust me i'm your hands uh, so just feeling it for you and i'll never lead you uh, lead you astray got to tell you with the uh, middle option we are now limited stock so 10 uh, percent of the stock remaining here it looks like it's going to be the first to sell out actually it's now uh, just technically sold out so if it is in your baskets please make sure to check out okay we took some time going down the counter we're just going to show you a couple more things then we're going to head to demonstration having a look here we've got a sequin a beautiful sequin pencil case for 11.99 you're getting that kit uh, so you're getting the pattern and you're also getting the goodies to make that pencil case 11.99 that's such a good value uh, 268023 your item number there uh, then we've got a fantastic messenger bag as well I'm a big fan of messenger bags uh, so here, this is your Ali Stitchy Finger Cork Messenger Bag. Wow! That would look amazing. Cork Messenger Bag, oh it does look amazing. That's great. I can imagine like a, a doggy walking bag if you want to put yeah. all the doggy, you know, doggy and bags and treats. Triple pockets as well, that one. Fantastic. So, yep, love that. Twenty-five ninety-nine. your price there. 804 700 your item number. Uh, and then we've got the Abbey bag for you as well. Just having a look at that fantastic Abbey bag. Uh, so it's a padded bag kit. Nineteen ninety-nine. your price there. Beautiful fabric. Got two different options, cream or blue. So just pick the option that works for you. One nine two two zero five. your item number. Uh, last but certainly not least, we have the caddy kit for you as well. Ooh, love that brightness of the uh, actual designs, the sunflowers, and then you've got the peacock as well, so there are options with this. Ooh, that's nice. like it. $22.99 is your price. 706 746 your item number. Uh, we're going to get to demonstration now. Ali, what are you going to do? I'm going to do the Tommy tablet holder. Lovely. Um, what I've done so far is I have put the interface in on the back. And as you can see, you're going to leave little gaps in between um, on here. And that is what gives it the foldability. Excellent. So I'll tell you exactly which ones you need to do in the instructions. And it's um, a fusible interface, and so you just iron that on. So I've done it to the back and to the front. So you can see they're both exactly the same. And um, uh, what I recommend you to do is write on the actual interface in what size they are, because it's relevant to how it folds. Okay. So as you can see, I've got 6.5 and um, the other one's all written on as well. So first of all, I'm going to put on the um, hook and loop. Mm -hmm. And um, I've got my instructions with me just to remind me which piece goes on which because there's quite a few little bits and pieces, but it's a very simple project to do. Lovely. So I've got the main fabric, and on the side with the six, I'm going to turn it over and put on the uh, hook part. Okay. So that's going to go over the top of the um, interfacing on the opposite side. 
Right. And I'm just lining it up by eye, but if you want to measure it, just to make sure it's absolutely right, you can do. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stitch down each side. And it doesn't matter, it overlaps. I'm just seeing that it's just gone over the fabric you want it to... No, I'm going to slip it down. Yeah, OK. No. It's always better to have it overlapping, then you can snip it to the oh, right yeah. size. Better to be bigger and then you can obviously yeah. trim down, yeah. The first one I made, I um, did it shorter and I sewed all the way around, mm -hmm. but I found that it was neater to tuck right into the seams. Yeah. There's yeah. usually about three or four before I've got it right. Well, that's, it's interesting hearing your process when you're designing. So you, yeah. do, you make three or four sort of versions before you're happy. Yeah, usually, yeah. yeah. Very rarely does it come out first time. <laughs> Right, so now what I will do is take my scissors and just snip that flush to okay. the side so that you know it's all going to be exactly right. Okay. So I've got that one done and I'll just turn mine. I don't usually have to look at my pattern because I've made that many, um, but I am doing because I need to make sure I stitch it on the right one. Okay. Right, so I'm now going to make the pockets and this is where you've got a bit of a choice. I'll give you enough fabric. Oh, no, it's here to make one big pocket or two different size ones. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a big one at the back that you could put um, a notebook in. Yes. Because I, th I think it's nice to have these in, in your living room as well for if you need to take notes down if somebody phones you. That's a good idea. Yeah, for your remote yeah. control because yeah, they're always perfect. going missing. Ali, so, do you mind if I just tell everyone? Um, so just showing you what we're looking at here, Ali was explaining the part where you can put your notebook in. This is the dog option and the reason I wanted to mention this is uh, a lot of you putting it into your basket, over 70% of the stock has gone gone for our uh, dog option and Ali did say that with the fabric uh, once it's gone that's it she hasn't got any more there we go sorry to interrupt Ali no that's absolutely fine because that one's definitely not coming back not in that fabric yeah so what I'm doing is I'm doing two pockets so you basically got choices what you want to put in them and I'm not stitching all the way around I'm just stitching down both sides mm -hmm. because I'm going to turn it through the end it's a very simple project. A beginner, a beginner won't have any problems. Yeah. And as I said, I will be doing a tutorial for this. Great. So just to remind anyone, if you want to find your tutorial on YouTube? YouTube or our website, which so, has been down for the last couple of weeks. We're having to rebuild it, but I think it's more okay. or less almost done. Good. So I'm just turning that through, which now it's a tube. Right. And what I like to do is just hold it flat. If you roll the ends and then give that a press, you'll get a nice flat tube for your pocket. Uh -huh. So I have got my little ironing um, caddy here uh -huh. with my ironing. Handy. Shows that I do use them. <laughs> so I'm just yeah. ironing that flat. And we do have that ironing caddy actually on the show, so uh, we'll bring up the details there. Very practical. Twenty-two ninety-nine your price for your ironing caddy tool uh, and kit, fabric, lining, wadding, and zips. Within there is a heat. Um, yeah. There is so you can just fold it up if you were uh, went out and just. Yes, yeah, the insulated wadding. Yeah. So if your iron's still warm when you're putting it away, it's not going to do any damage. Um, I wouldn't say it was totally heat proof and put a red hot iron in there, no, just no. a warm one, yeah. it's fine. That's fair enough. So I'm now just stitching along the very edge to hold that in place. And on the top part, I like to put two rows of stitching. It's, it's purely decorative, but it does look nice. Mm. So that's one pocket done. Excellent. So on the larger one, I'm going to do exactly the same. Put them right sides together and just sew down the two long edges. Okay. Lovely. Oh, easy to follow, Ali. Uh, I think so. I have brought out um, a tablet pattern before 
um, but it was one of those triangular ones that's stuffed mm. and it does work but I found it was a little bit precarious sometimes if you didn't get the tablet in the right place yeah and I find that this one I've never had a problem with it I have one at the side of the bed, so I can watch my YouTube videos on a night. Perfect. Do you know what I'd be tempted to do um, with the fabric? So, remember, we've got three different choices. Dog is still extremely popular. We are approaching limited stock for our dog option. Can't get hold of any more of those. But I don't want to detract from the blue and the pink as well, which are beautiful too. This is where my mind would be at. So, get the, cat, uh, get the stand for yourself. You've got beautiful fabrics. So that's yours. But then what you could do is personalize these because if you know somebody in your life, it could be little people. So you can have some fun fabrics, maybe for younger members of your family. It could be your husband, your brother-in-law, your cousin, whoever it might be, the neighbors. Everybody will use this. Everyone. I actually think it's a, it's a project that would be suitable for any member of your family. Yeah. Um, you know, older people with Kindles. I've got arthritis in my hands and I find it hard to sit holding something yeah. for a long time. When I've got it in there, I'm absolutely fine because I don't have to touch it. Yeah. It's, I think also my little grandchildren like to watch um, nursery rhymes and yeah. things. Um, I'm sure you'll, you'll get this to come in, uh, Yanis, <laughs> and uh, you get sick of hearing them over and over and over. But I don't want them to mess with the tablets because they're always poking and yeah. they see us doing it and that's what they do. So you yeah. can actually set it away from them and they that's can good. sit and watch. Yeah. Also, I'm thinking like now a lot of us being at home, the new thing is doing some exercises at home. So if you wanted to do a workout video online, then have on a tablet, you can just stand Perfect. it there. Yeah. We will kitchen living room bedroom it I've doesn't got matter one who in you the are. kitchen one in the living room uh, no sorry not in the living room one upstairs in the bedroom one in the kitchen because ours is all one now yeah. and then i've got one in my sewing room on my cutting table and there's one at the side of the computer wow. there is actually i've got to say there is a warning with regard to the uh, stands and this is an important one because you're going to make it your family are going to see it and then people are going to start saying can you make me one definitely it's going to happen so you have more, but you've got the pattern, uh, and I know you've got the stash at home as well, so uh, enjoy him making it. I've got to tell you, the dog has gone limited, so if you do want to go for the dog option, only 10% of the stock remaining here. Looks like the dog is going to be going on its walkies. Right, what I've done now is I've laid the smaller one on top of the large one, okay. and I'm just going to stitch down the middle of the small one. That's going to give me two compartments on the small one, but the big one's still going to be one main space behind. So I'm just doing it by eye and I'm going to back tack. This is things that you can all personalise for whatever person it's going to go to. Lovely, yeah. And you could do a little bit of a, if you wanted to truly personalise, and I'm just thinking about the, um, the bib that you made Archer, if you have got the ability to uh, personalise, yeah, embroider on there, uh, maybe names, that'd be nice. Yeah, you can do it by hand if you haven't got an embroidery machine. Yeah. Um, you know, you can just do some cross stitch or some um, uh, back stitch on there. Nice. I think this is the beauty of being able to sew. You can actually basically do whatever you like. Yeah. Right, so now what I'm doing, I am putting the pocket on the back and I'm okay. just making sure I'm going to, do it, going to do it the right orientation so that the uh, pocket can be used. So that's going to go like that, and that's like that. Yep, that's right. So it has to be, you've got the, your hook and loop at the bottom on the top end, yep. and then you're at the bottom, and the, uh, the pockets are facing up or down? Up. Up, up. yeah. Yeah, that works. So what I'm doing now is I'm making sure that it's where that fold is, yeah. because that's going to be the base part, and I need to make sure I can fold it. So I'm putting it just above the fold. It's all in the instructions anyway. And I'm going to now mm. stitch that onto okay. the main piece. As we stitch, just to let you know, the dog option has technically sold out, so well done to everyone who's got that in their baskets right now. Technical sellout means all our stock is either sold or in your basket. If it is in your basket, do make sure to check out because it's a fantastic option. If any do bounce back, I'll let you know. So how long, I know how long's a piece of string, Ali, but Generally, for, uh, say, an average sewer, how long would it take to make something like this? I can probably make this uh, without stopping in about three quarters of an hour. Well, that's so a nice project. I would say somebody doing it for the first time, maybe an hour and a half, something like that. That's a nice project to do. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's nice to have these projects in between your big ones, uh, so you've got something to just fulfill quickly. Yeah. But it is something that, that you were saying, because you've got several in your home, you are going to make more. And, 
what we need to you don't have to find uh, search around for the components in your stash so some fabric some hook and loops and buttons and you're good to go yeah I think this is one of those projects that if you've got stash at home once you've got the pattern you're going to keep making yeah. the only thing you will need to add is maybe this uh, interface in because yeah. that's the one of the um, that's a secret. pieces but yeah. you know it's, it's available but a lot, a lot of sewers at home, you will have, you know, you have a stash of that at home. It's yeah. kind of a bit of essential. So, and if not, we've got it on our website. You can find it on our website. Right, so I've put the pockets on there now. The top part is where it opens up. I'm mm -hmm. just going to stitch down the side to hold all that in position. Okay. You can see it's almost finished anyway. Yeah. Perfect. So I have got my walking foot on to try and stop this from moving as I'm sewing. If I'd have gone the other side and sewn down, it wouldn't have been as bad. But... Yeah. It's going in the seam allowance anyway. Mm -hmm. so, what I mean by that is it's just a little tip for people who are new to sewing. Because I'm stitching this way where the fabric's going, yeah. if I sew this side, I won't have to tuck it in. Right, so that's the front. I now need to put the loop part of the hook and loop. Where did I put it? Somewhere safe, obviously. Has it fell? Oh yeah, it's got in the bin. So now I'm going to put the loop part in, mm -hmm. and the loop part is going to go onto the small piece here, okay. and it's going to go where that fold is there on the bottom. It's going to go above it. Right. So this is going to go to the opposite side of the main fabric. Okay. Like I said, the, the positioning is all in the uh, instructions. Yeah. Sally, do you get excited when you discover new fabrics? Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, yeah. And do you tend to have an idea for a project and then go and search for the fabrics or do a fabric inspire you? It differs. Sometimes um, it's the fabric first. Yeah. Sometimes I get the pattern and design it and I think what would suit that pattern mm. like the dog fabric i've actually had quite a while okay um and i think i was saving it for this project because oh. it looks so nice it really does yeah right now what i'm going to do is i'll tell you to cut some wadding to the same thickness as the interfacing okay i'm going to put them two together on top of one another and i'm just going to stitch down to hold them you could use a little bit of basting glue if you wanted to I really do like this pattern though. It's one of my favourites. Well, it's proving extremely popular. I'm pleased because instantly, and it's funny as a presenter, we know, you know, we're walking down, you instantly I'm thinking, if I see something and I know it worked for me, the whole team, Maddie was yeah. saying that it worked for her. Uh, we've got Charlotte and Holly in the gallery as well. Everybody said the same thing, we would use it. So. Yeah. Do you know what? I've, during this lockdown, i um, done a lot of FaceTiming. Uh -huh. And when you're doing your first time in, especially when you're working, because I haven't stopped working, obviously, yeah. um, it, you can actually um, put it there, carry on your working while you're doing your first time that's in, so you can keep idea. in touch with all your family. So think about, and that's such a good point, I hadn't even thought of that. So uh, if you Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, so when you, just being able to rest it there. And the good part is, if you're doing it as a family, there's, you, normally you've got somebody holding for yeah. ages, so you can just rest it down and all get in the picture. Yeah, you can sit around it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it, it has come in really, really useful. Mm. Right, so I'm just now stitching this on top of the interfacing. And this is basically to give it that mound to stop the um, tablet falling off. Yeah. You want your tablet to be secure. Uh -huh. I actually ruined the tablet by putting it on one of those tripods. Because oh. uh, I do filming, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I had it in my room, moved my chair back, hit the tripod, iPad went down and oh, no. uh, smash. A oh. very expensive uh, yeah. mistake. Wow. Right, so now I've got that on there. Uh -huh. I'm going to take the full sheet of wadding and put that over the top. Okay. So I, I have been quite careful to make sure that what I'm adding to this is going to make sure your tablets are all right. Yeah. Or whatever you're using it for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a big stitch on so I can just base this in place all the way around. In fact, I'm going to put wadding down and have the fabric on top. So you can see now this piece here has got quite a few layers 
and that's going to make that s stand up a little bit yeah. to make it proud of the um, hook and loop. Okay. So it's just a very big stitch just to hold it all in place. Mm -hmm. um, Ali, I'm conscious of the time because we're over halfway through the show. When would be a good time to break away and just have a quick recap? You can go now while I do this, Janice. Is that okay? Yeah, that's absolutely yeah. fine. Brilliant. Okay, well, we'll do that. I promise we'll get back to Ali and anything Ali does, we'll talk you through. So we're not trying to uh, interrupt the demonstration. We're just, we always know new viewers are joining us and we want to let you know what we're selling. So um, we're having a look at these fantastic Tommy tablet stands. We've got two different options. We did have three, but one sold out. So right now we've got remaining the pink or the blue option. I mean, still great options to have. Um, I like the features in there. So you've got that triangle pyramid shape, uh, which gives you that stability in there. And I'll go through the kits and everything that you're getting. Ali's very clever because it looks good, but also she gives you all the pockets you need. So whether you wanted to put in, I love these, uh, you want to put in your little um, pad of paper, you've got little pockets in there for pens as well. So everything that you need, and then you'll be resting your tablet on here. So let me go through the actual um, kits. I'll show you the blue and then we'll have a look at the pink. So there's your feature fabric. So you're getting all your fabrics in there. So you don't have to, everything's included in this kit. So you're getting your fabrics, you're getting your buttons as well. So you can just see there, you've got your buttons. Uh, you've got your hook and loop. You've got your wadding, and this is important. You're also getting your stabilizer in there too, and that's what gives you the stabili uh, stability. So all of that included in the kits for $16.99, a great price. And of course, you're getting the instructions too. And it is one of those projects where I really do think that once you've made one and enjoy it, so obviously you make one with the fabrics that Ali's offering, and then you will go on and make more um, with your own fabrics and dipping into your own stash. Okay, gonna show you the pink very quickly as well. So the only difference with the pink, absolutely the same, is the actual uh, the color tone. So now we've got pink color hues and also the buttons and that's it so the buttons to the pink are very jazzy so there we go okay so those are your choices oh sorry just before we move on i showed the wrong side of the buttons i thought, I thought they looked a bit different so there we go that's for the um, they got the stars on there i'll show in the back that's it okay Right, now we've got our hobby card wallet, uh, bobby cards wallet, sorry, but it could be for your hobby cards. Uh, so there we go, this is your bobby card wallet, 9.99, saving five pounds. What, um, and we have got two different options. So that is the brand new option, which you can see here. That's your electric universe, and then we've got the sparkly red, which I'll just tilt that and you can see very sparkly. So what Ali wanted to do is give you a little wallet where you can put all your store cards, your loyalty cards, your gym membership, whatever it might be. What I love about this, that is actual cork. It's a cork with a fabric base. I'll pick it up and show you. So you can see that it's got a fabric behind, but that's actually cork on there as well. So something that's a little bit different, but looks good. For $9.99, you're getting your binding, you're getting everything that you need, and of course your pattern there as well. Uh, 516 364, your item number. Okay, now we've got our retreat notebook. So the retreat notebook, just from a practical stance, again, everything here you will use. I think as so as some who's crafty, they're just incredibly practical. So uh, just showing you here, this is the brand new option with the donuts. So we have our large zip, just gonna show you there. So you've got your large zip pocket. And then, I just love that donut fabric. And as we open up and 20% of the donut has gone, Beautiful batik. I mean, have a look at that. And it's got sparkle to it as well. That is a lovely fabric. Uh, you've got your space for your notebook. So there's the pocket for the notebook. There's a little loop for your pen as well. Over here, we've got pockets for, uh, and there's stabilizer in there as well. You've got pockets for, well, whatever you want. You can put cards if you wanted. And you're also getting your hardware in there too. So you've got a magnetic clasp, two magnetic clasps in the mix as well. Just gonna close those up. There you go. So. You're getting all of that, and that is your uh, brand new option. Let it stay, I'll leave it there. Uh, we've also got two more as well, so exactly the same as I've shown you, but you've got the pink or the blue option too. And within the kits, if I drop those down, you can see that you are getting everything. So hardware, zips, fabrics, course the instructions, and very good instructions from Ali. Uh, and Ali was mentioning, just for anyone who might have tuned in, if you need that visual 
uh, you, you, when you're making something, you prefer to work off vi visual reference, then Ali does put a lot of her patterns uh, and her projects onto YouTube, onto her, her website as well, so you can see her making them up. So uh, 19.99 your price there, pink, blue, or your donuts. Eight six two six seven eight. You guys, the number. It's made me want a donut, Ali. You make the team Sorry. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. We got our thread needle keeper for you. So, sticking with the practical basis, but Ali's very good at fusing practicality with uh, the design and style as well. So, whatever she brings you looks good, but is incredibly practical. Point in question. Let me just, oh, that should be inside, but I'll just fold that back. So, you can see, nice little back, but then when we fold it down, you can store all your needles, all your machine feet as well. So whatever you want to put in there. So that's your blue option. You've also got your pink as well. So those are the two. Let me just show you. I've got it here. There's your pink. Oh, this is nice. Just showing you where you might put. So this is actually a completed. So with, was I showing the wrong side there? No. So what you can do, you've got that little bit of ribbon. So you can put the little guide on there. You've got your uh, a charm as well. And then as we open it up, that's the completed pink, and that is your completed blue. So those are your choices. Sorry, guys, I should have shown this. I, I, I showed a, another one, but these are the ones just made up where they're not filled. Uh, within there, you are getting four needle keepers, or thread, thread keepers, I should say. So you're getting those four. You're also getting your charm. It's a lovely little um, scissors charm. I think this ribbon's cute. So you're, uh, you're measuring the ribbon, and then you have your uh, fabrics, and you've also got your wadding in there as well, and your plastic, so your PVC, uh, and that's important, obviously, in the design. So there are your choices, an 1899 your price, pink or blue, that's your choice, 180996, your item number. Uh, fabrics, got some updates for you. So, have we lost two? What have we lost? Oh, well, definitely lost our boutique. So boutique has gone, I'm afraid, that's gone. Have we lost the owls? Oh, and the owls as well. Okay, so those two I'm afraid have gone. I'm not going to tease you by showing you those. I have to say, though, there is a silver lining because the leopard is still beautiful. Look at that. So we've got the leopard fabric, and then you've got that beautiful fosway in black. Perfect playmates. That you could make something. What would you, what would you make with that, Ali? Because they can make something very special. I've got a bag in the green room made with that. And well. Dakota Horn. I you, we've got time. I don't know if whether we can. Uh, we'll see. We might not be able to do this, but maybe we can get the bag just to show everyone. Yes, definitely. Yeah? Is okay. it just in the green room? Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if we can do that. Uh, right. Eleven ninety nine. Your price. One option remaining. But for Ali, for eleven ninety nine. I know. It's, if you, I should have brought the bag in. Really, I yeah. should have brought it. Cause, um, it's, it is lovely. Okay. It's a really nice bag. Right. Uh, we're going to head back to Ali now yep. and continue our demonstration. Right. What I did was I went all the way around the outside edge, mm -hmm. and placed the uh, lining wrong sides together with the main fabric okay. and what you need to make sure is that you've got the hook at one side and then the <coughs> excuse me the loop at the other side um, and I've just gone around the edge again and trimmed it it's finished now apart from the binding okay. so you can see if I just went like that and fastened that on there that is the actual um, uh, lab uh, yeah. yes tablet tablet holder finished yeah. I've got my pockets at the back with two smaller pockets at the front. Okay. So I can do the binding or I can move on to the next project. Uh, I think for time's sake, maybe move on to the next okay. project. Uh, I'll just tell you what I've done with the yeah. binding and how you would do it. Basically, you just fold in um, a centimetre of the fabric, fold it in half. I've joined it at the halfway mark to make it longer. Mm -hmm. Take that apart and... I like to start somewhere on the lining side in the middle or on one of the short edges and you just line all that up together yeah. and stitch about a quarter of an inch all the way around. It's all in the instructions anyway and then okay. when you come to do the other side when you've got all the way around you fold that over and back over the other side which is what gives you Perfect. your binding. And it gives you such a lovely finish. It does. It gives a nice, yeah. neat finish, yeah. So that's another tablet holder finished. Okay, I'll just show you the options as we let Ali set up for our next demonstration. I've only got two remaining, pink or blue, but they're still beautiful options. So 16 your price. It's just the fact I think everybody 
can appreciate. If you've got a tablet, this is going to help you in life because uh, just very, very handy being able to stand it up, whether it's in the kitchen, your office, bedroom, wherever it might be. 545-322, uh, I mean 342, your item number there. Now, we've got the Bobby card for you. I'm just going to show you. This is going to be the next demonstration at $9.99. The price is so good. 516-364, your item number there. Uh, you've got red or you've got the universe uh, in there as well. So two different options. Okay. I just need to change my bobbin and then I am ready to go. Nice. I mean, as we're looking at this, Ali, $9.99, saving five pounds. As a sewer, that's, you can appreciate that's a blooming good price. It really is. I've got a lady who phoned me yesterday. Hello, Margaret, in uh, Margaret Land, if you, uh, Planet Margaret, if you're watching. Um, she's going to make some to um, sell at the hospice for raising funds. Oh, that's and, nice. And uh, I thought that's a perfect one because it, they don't take long to make. Yeah. They don't use a lot of fabric, but they are very useful. Mm. And I like the cork. I love the cork. Well, when, did, when did you stumble across the cork? Is it oh, it's, used for a while? It, yeah, it's been out a while. I've had, uh, I've had some projects with the cork for a couple of years now. Okay. I've personally just never seen it. I love it. Right, so you don't need a lot um, of the cork because it's just on the outer. Okay. You have got the interfacing, which makes it a bit stronger. Right. I do tell you in the instructions how to concertina fold your um, pieces up so I've got these ready purely for speed okay so these are folded up just valleys and um, mountains yeah. to make the card slots so what I need to do now is put them right sides together okay and stitch the two pieces together making sure that when you put the cards in they're both going to go towards the middle of the um, the wallet right Oops, I've still got a massive stitch length on. Turn it back down. So I will just go over that, because otherwise it might come undone, because it's a bit uh, large, that stitch. OK. Right, so all you need to do now is press that open. And what... Oh, no, I need to do the top. So I'll just press that open first. Yeah. This is 100% uh, cotton again. Um, it's a bit lighter weight than what I would normally call quilting cotton, although it is still classed as a quilting cotton. Okay. Now, all these slots here, I'm going to top stitch those right on the very edge, about an eighth of an inch, and that will just make sure they hold the place. And it makes them look nice as well. Nice. So I just move them out of the way when I've done one and they will just fall back into place then. Okay. They say nice projects to do and it's one where once you've made a once you've made the initial one you will then go on and make more with your own stash. Definitely, definitely. Because yeah. they are so easy to do. And with a lot of your, your kits and patterns, Ali, you kind of appeal to all levels of ability? I think so, yeah. We've got some that are... Um more advanced yeah. um, but I think most of these today maybe the retreat notebooks a little bit uh, more advanced mm -hmm. there's quite a lot of pieces to that it's more of an ambitious beginner this one and the uh, tablet holder are really simple yeah. there we go. and no zips at all mm -hmm. so now what we're going to do is just let these fall back into place okay And then we're going to turn it over and we're going to fuse the back. So we're going to get this interface in, place it on the back, cut off what you don't need because it will stick to your ironing board or your iron. Okay. So just snip that off and then fuse that in place. And it's, it's mainly just to hold and give it a little bit of stability. 
um, to your piece. You don't, it's not going to be anything like the tablet holder. So I'll just hold that on there, just turn it up a little bit. It fuses quite quick. This is a woven interfacing. Yeah. So I've pulled it out of space now, just okay. a minute. Trying to do it at odd angles. Huh. Right, put that back down there. Okay. Concertine of these back up. Yep. There we go. I didn't want to burn me with wire of my machine. Nice. There we go. So, Ali will be returning at 7. The only reason I say that is we've got about two minutes left on the show. Right. What are we going to be doing at 7, Ali? Um, I've got uh, the retreat notebook ready to do in the um, donuts, so mm -hmm. I could be doing that. Brilliant. Um, I've got fuel patterns, actually. I've got a thread needle keeper. But to tell you the truth, Alice, this one's almost finished as well. If I put that stitch up a bit. Okay. This one only needs binding as well. So Thanks that so. is how quick you can get these done. Wow, I mean, that is quick. It's a really quick project. Excellent. Take that out. Uh -huh. The cork cuts just like fabric, so just trim all the edges even. Yeah. And if you wanted to put a little hanging loop on, now's the time to do it before you put the binding on. So if you wanted to hang it inside your bag or um, to hang it, you know, somewhere in your car or um, somewhere in your home, then just put one in there before you put the binding on. But that will find its own uh, memory yeah. after a while. So if you just crease you down there. Find that to perfection. Brilliant. Ali, thank you so thank much. You, Come Dennis. to the end of the show. I can't believe how well you timed that. Uh, <laughs> so all you need to do is add the binding and then you're done there. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful job. project. Ali, thank you so much. Thank you, Yanis. So Ali's going to be returning at 7 o'clock. She's got plenty more that she would love to share with you. She's going to be joined by Hayley. If you uh, can join us, it'll be fantastic to keep them company. And I know that uh, it's another fun hour ahead. Ali, thank you so much. Thank I you. enjoyed that. Uh, do make sure to check out your baskets. We had a lot of sellouts this hour, as we should do, because Ali always brings us such fantastic projects, but stuff you're going to use and such beautiful things as well. I hope you've enjoyed this now. Plenty more though coming up here at Hochanda. Don't go anywhere. So the one and only Elizabeth Craft Designs, Elle's One Day Special up next. Love Elle's. Uh, then we've got Deco Patch and after that Kleiner will be here launching another One Day Special. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty.
Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowing Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Welcome back. Well, it's four o'clock. It's our final call out. It's the last opportunity for you to see a current one day special live. Now, I'd usually be saying to you, but you're okay. You have up until six o'clock to take advantage of this deal, which you do, but that's only if stock permits them to, us to last that long. Way less than 10% um, remaining with regards to this one. You can see already it's on your screen there. It's limited stock. You've got the details there. If you're wanting to go for this, then please do not dilly-dally. This was launched at 6 o'clock last night to resounding success. Everybody has been waiting and loved the collection that's come to us here. It's complete Sidekick Essentials 2.0. We will explain that as the hour goes on. You've got 39 stamps, 101 dies. Oh, yes all coming together at the most amazing one day special price you can see they've got a saving of 12 pounds that's actually on top of the savings that you will get with different bundles that this is made up of so overall when you are looking at this one you are saving at least 48 pounds on this one i say at least because freedom members you've actually got an additional saving on this one it means that you are going to be saving 67 pounds and 14 pence and then if that wasn't good enough you can spread the cost over your three payments makes it such an affordable way for you to get hold of such a usable set. £57.41. You've got an amazing deal, as you can see there on your screen there. Now, if you want to take advantage of that, then please do so. You've got all the details there. We're single figures with this one. I think very quickly, um, Els, need to introduce Els. Hi, Els. How are you doing? Hi, Hayley. I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> You've caused it's, a it's stir. It's been a great... I'm sorry? You've caused a stir again. 
Yeah, yeah. It's you know, it's it's such a great collection, and uh, I think people are really excited as well that Esther, actually the designer of the of the uh, line, uh, did two shows as well. So I think yeah, it's been fabulous, and honestly, it's such a fun line to play with. And it combines so good with our planners as well. I'm going to make cards in the last hour because that's what I kind of like to do to show people what they can do different than using them in the in the sidekick or the planner. So it's going to be a fun hour again. So I hope we can keep playing. Oh, definitely. And it's the kind of set that you do keep playing with because there's so many different components. Like you say, the, if you're using it for your planners, um, add into your planners as well because we've got 2.0 being significant within the title of this one. Yes, so this is the second release of the Sidekick. And Haley, if we, uh, if we have some time, because I actually have really nice samples uh, with the first release as well. So if there's new people watching, if we can take some time to go over those samples, that will be nice as well, because that gives people other ideas. So I think that would be great to I take think a few we will minutes need, for that. I think we will need to do that, because we're down to single figures with the one day special. So I don't think it's going <laughs> to last very long. So we'll probably will have a look at those cards first and then have a little look at the side kick as the uh, I'm sorry um, where am I um 1.0 should I say um a little bit later in the hour now it's proven to be such a popular um bundle I mean you've got a mix of dies in there you've got your stamps in there as well large stamps large dies all sorts of different components yeah yeah and and especially with this collection I think Esther is such well with everything but she should just a great job uh, with the designs, filling up the open spaces uh, with fun little elements, which I will show you as well, because that's what, what we always say when Esther sends in designs and she has some open spaces that, oh, Esther, we can put something in there or there. And then she comes up with the most fun little element. And that really makes it value for money for people. So there's so much to play with. I think that's just fantastic. I'm just glancing at one of those. I love the angle po poised lamp there. Very retro. Looks fabulous. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. I'm going to show you. Uh, yeah, that one is really great. The little paper clips with the scalloped. Uh, no, that's in the, one of the file folders, I think. But I'm going to show you those. If you see, uh, you know, how those are cut out. And they're tiny, but such a great detail. And that's just, you know, that just makes it... I think that's that's what makes this collection such a fabulous collection. Um, and I think that's the thing. It's about the detail. And talking of detail, you definitely need to be adding this in alongside because these are going to be reinforcing, obviously, the holes that you're creating with your planner um, dies when you're cutting those out. I love the fact that you've got that little connective hole at the top there. Now, if you're adding this in alongside your one-day special, you can see the price on your screen there will be split, um, spread over three payments as well. So that just works out at um, just £6.33. Definitely worth doing because they are such usable dies. With these, you've got, obviously, you've got your large die, which doesn't mean that you're going to have loads of little tiny dies that you've got to find. So it's going to cut out all of these reinforcers in one go. I love the fact that you've got the little hole there at the end, so you can put these onto a little key fob or something like that, and then you've got them all together that you can literally just flick through and choose which of those you're going to be um, working with. I love the little flowers that you've got there. Love these little ones here that almost look like little press studs there. But definitely do add those in alongside as I say, it's such an affordable way for you to kind of secure those pages as well. That's the key thing, because when you're putting the holes in there, they become a soft point when you're actually flicking through those pages, so that's why you need those reinforcers. Now, with regards to our one-day special, the details are there on your screen, as you can see there. You need to be taking advantage of this one quickly, though. It's got extended delivery on there, which I need to explain to you. We're just looking at the 15th of um, February. That's the case for anything that we've got on the show, because obviously we are talking about an international company when we're looking at a Elizabeth Craft Design, so we just have to allow that time for it to come to you. But when you do receive this, my goodness, it is definitely worth that waste. It's not too long a waste, to be honest, but you've got all sorts of elements there that you are, be able, are going to be able to use in your cards as well. Now, before it sells out, we better go over to see Els in just a few moments, because of course we've got some fabulous demonstrations with Els. So, Els, oh, this looks interesting. What we got here? Yeah, so this is, I was waiting for these because uh, they actually just arrived yesterday, uh, late afternoon. Uh, one of our design team members, Annette Green, and I thought she might have used Graphic 45, but in this case, she actually used the Reminiscence, the book. Uh, so there's all kind of paper from the book in there. But she sent me these pages, and that's just a totally different style again. So uh, what uh, Annette did, she used the wave pocket here. 
she put that little, you know, those file folders are such great dyes. That, you know, and that's what I mean with the little elements. Look at that jar here Cute. that she created, that dragonfly here. So she raised this a little bit. And then we have the a label here. And what she did is, I actually have some of those ready to go as well. But she used the uh, the words from uh, one of the dice, and you can just put it in there and make it like an inlay in a label or a page. So that's fantastic. Then here you have the little globe with uh, some decorated paper behind that. Here she did, uh, that's from the hexagon page. So uh, Annette used the hexagon page here, you can see that. And then that's that extra element to go with it. And then this little tag, I think that's in one of the first sets. I need to see. But uh, that's also one of the elements. So I love her style. So she did a lot of inking. And of course, you see the reinforcements. If you don't have reinforcements yet, you you know, you know use those all the time in your planners, in your sidekick, uh, on your label. So they're very usable. And then uh, this one I got from Annette. So this is actually from the first series of flowers. We had the flowers on the show last week. And then the stamp, that's from one of the stamp set. And I love how she stamped it. Uh, in a color, because I stamped them in black, but they're actually fabulous in color. You see the flowers here, that background, that's also a stamp that she stamped in a color. And I really like that. And then I have a few more of her. So the seat, um, so the seat packet set, and I know I saw the last, it was five o'clock in the morning uh, when I woke up, so, I, so or 5.30 or something. So I saw the last piece of uh, Esther's show this morning. And I know she did the seed pack. Um, she showed different ways to use that. So uh, she has happy gardening on here. Uh, she embossed the leaves, I think. Yeah, there's some embossing on there, if I'm correct. And then that bee stamp, and that's a stamp set. So especially, you know, Annette is always very thorough, so she writes like on a there shopping list. what to use. I know. And here she used a little magnet. You oh. see, so there's magnets underneath here. So you can actually close... Um, your uh, seat pack. I really need to get my, a hold of that. But um, I know Esther showed something different this morning. So especially for people here in the US, if they missed seeing Esther, because it was just normal people would have, you know, been asleep at that time. Um, uh, you know, uh, make sure you watch that back on her channel because uh, Esther had some great, great samples to show. She and then did. this one, yeah. And then this one is the last one from, uh, Annette, and I love to see that because she actually, I prepared something with a scallop as well for a card. But what Annette did here, she did a slimline card. She made her own envelope with some uh, decorative paper. And then, um, so she used here, she used one of the pages. The hang in there is actually from um, the Planner Essentials. So if people have that set, they can use that. But I love, you know, the hanging basket with hang in there. It's just a fabulous idea. So uh, she used a scallop page here. Uh, sorry, the kind of, um, I don't know, ruffled page. I don't know how you call it. And then this one, a scalloped one. So that's both from the line as well. And, of course, the hanging basket. So I think that's a fabulous card. So that's Beautiful. just some new samples that I wasn't able to show yet. And it's lovely. And I love that style of um, that matting and layering style that you've got there. Because it's something a little bit different. It's, it's a change from our rectangles and our ovals to have that interest feature in there. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Now, you probably will have spied those fabulous little um, folders that uh, Els was sharing with us. We've got three different item numbers with regard to this one. Should we start off with the olive green with that gorgeous gold embossing on there? Absolutely beautiful. They're all identical in their format. They've just got a different look about them. So they've all got that elastic that's going to wrap around them and also that kind of edge protector that you've got there that's going to sit on the outside edge of your um, obviously your folder when you're working with it when you open them up you can see how you've got all the holes down the center there now these correspond with all the holes that are on your dies so when you do work with those dies they will automatically fit in there beautifully to create your pockets to create your overlays to make it really interesting to work with and the beauty is with regards to this and this is something I only learned quite recently this little button that you've got at the end there that's so as you can actually close up your um, um, your rings now do you push it in or push it out I can't remember which way around it is now it's one of the ways anyway um, and it might be that um, you pull it but yeah basically it clips it all together like so got your pocket at the back there so if you're wanting to add extra bits and pieces you can do obviously your tab there if you're wanting to put a pen in place and of course pockets over here again with that fold there so if you're wanting that particular one then the details are up on your screen there that's your olive green 19 pounds and 99 pence again spread it over three payments if you're wanting to now the next option that we've got for you with this one is the beach now, this is a gorgeous kind of vintage. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. 
beach. Well, I was thinking beach sand kind of beach. <laughs> so, so your beach is that gorgeous turquoise it's the ocean isn't it that's what we're looking at there that dipping your toes in those waters in there absolutely beautiful then of course you've got your wrap around there that we spoke of with your elastic and of course your protector for the edge there again it's going to be very very similar there's your beachy tones with your sand there with your toes running through there absolutely beautiful and then if you fancy the espresso which is the last one that i just gave you a sneaky peek of then this is that kind of vintage travel look if you see with regards to this one so so £18.99, whichever of those you choose to go for, you are buying quality with those. As you can see, a classic look that's going to lend itself to whatever project you choose to put in there. Whether it's a memory album, whether it's a planner to get you organised, doesn't matter, but make sure you are adding it in alongside your one-day special. Details for your express, though, if you're wanting to get hold of them. Now, of course, we saw some beautiful papers being used there with the demonstrations, uh, not the demonstrations, the flick-through that we saw a few moments ago. Now, this one is brilliant because it comes alongside your washi tape so you're going to get both of these six reels in there and they're different widths as well and they correspond beautifully with the pages in here now these um, these books are always very popular i think they're brilliant again you've got some fabulous pages here very in keeping with journals and kind of keeping uh, notes and i love these kind of uh, teller sheets that you've got here that you might be jotting down little things with i love this here you could actually be cutting these out photos are a return ticket to a moment otherwise gone isn't that lovely lovely little phrases all double-sided so some of these you might just simply want to take them put the die on there the holes have been created straight away it can go into your your binder so pretty to work with these an instant kind of gratification with regards to the results but lots and lots of content as you can see within here loads and loads for you to choose from some repeats with regards to that because i think when you come across some of those you won't want to just have one piece of those you'll want to have several but they are all double-sided right the way through and then you've got elements as i'm sure you spied there with things like the seed packets there so you are wanting to replicate what we saw then you can do both of those coming together, there you go, brilliant value at £25.99, 042887, and again you've got a £9 saving with those. Right, one day special, while we've got the opportunity, it's literally hanging on by a thread. We have got queues on the phones and the website is busy as well eight and a half minutes on the phone line so if you are looking at placing the one day special i hope you manage to get through in time because of course if the orders are placed on the website and it disappears and goes out of stock then sadly it doesn't matter how long you've been on that phone for then you will miss out on this one so if you can jump onto the website please do so so else let's get to it before this sells out what are you up to well, I, uh, as I said, I prepared a card, so I just cut some pieces, found some pieces together. But what I wanted to show you, because Esther said, oh, else I had this prepared, like the nice sample, but I didn't get to it. So uh, talking about details. So here we have five little clips. So those are five little paper clips. Let me hold them on here. You see how fun is that? Oh. So a bottle of wine, a crown, so uh, then one that's a little bit larger and smaller. And then here, like an ant, a bug kind of uh, paper clip. So that's what I mean with detail. They're, they're so fun to see. They're so and, and I thought I cut them all out of black, but I think if you do this out of gold or silver, of course, the crown, uh, you, you can call it a bug. So you can do this out of a bottle, wine, kind of a green so color clever. as well. Yeah, there's actually a little label uh, embossing line on there. So if you want to, you cut that out and you add that uh, as an extra layer. So th again, that, that is what I mean with detail. It's just, you know, it's just fabulous. So what I did is I just cut some pages. Or, yeah, I cut a page, I got an extra piece. I took the hexagon part. I have some frames. So And I have the little file folder, which I may... Uh, put inside because I cut this piece for inside. I'm just going to rough that up a little bit. And then um, I thought a little envelope will be nice in there if you, um, you know, if you want to send a card with a little, like a money envelope or something. Oh, so yeah. I thought it would be fun in there. Good idea. And this paper is also from the, from the Reminiscence, the book. So in that book, you have the two weights. Uh, so you have the heavier and the lighter. And some of them have like a background with labels. And I really had trouble starting to cut those up, use those at the front. But then I thought, you know, I have two. So you have the heavy weight <laughs> and the light weight. So um, if you save one, you, you still have all those labels. But uh, it's such a great paper paper book. It's And now, of course, you get that washi with it. And while yeah. we're talking about washi, 
let's just add one of the strips because the washi is so, you know, it's so easy and so fun to use. So I'm just going to add like here, I'm going to add a little strip. Let me cut this because it's just, you know, it gives an easy, it's, it's an easy add on and it just gives some extra, you know, fun, fun, fun elements. And that's why washi is so nice to use. So it's lovely just going it's, to do it. It's coordinated perfectly. So the color tone on um, the washi tape is going to coordinate perfectly with the papers that you're working with because they've all come from the same palette. They come from the same palette, exactly. So that's that one. So I just do an edge here. And then let me put that little envelope together. So what I did for this one, so I, uh, so you cut the envelope and that is, let me show you. That is this die set. So I cut that. Then what I did, because I first cut that window like in a smaller piece, but then you need to kind of trim it yourself. So I thought, what if I take this side? Because if you use this side, of course, it will cut the window. So what I did with the vellum, I cut this part and then you just need to trim it ah. uh, straight on the on the fold. So now I have a good window Clever. that will fit perfectly if I line it up perfectly. Of course, it's always with TV. With live TV, if it all works out perfectly. But now, if I do tape here, it should fit perfectly. I'm just going to go here, and then I do another strip on this side. Don't and then forget, I'm going to do a strip. Um, viewers, if you are watching and you're thinking about things like the adhesives and everything that Dells is working with, do check out the brand section on the Hachanda website. You'll find all these goodies there. Okay, that's great. And then I'll just put one at the bottom here. And then I think it should be a perfect fit. And then of course you can, uh, with the file folder, so what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to close it on three sides, or uh, two sides, sorry, because the bottom is already closed. So it stays open. And then you can put something in there if you send it in the mail. this and now moment of truth it should fit and otherwise I, you can always trim it off a little bit but no it's i think that i'm pretty good, good there yeah and uh so now i am going to do two sides of tape so only on this side and on the other side And then you have a fun little file folder, you see? And then Aww, I can put this adorable. and I can actually, isn't it nice? Yeah, it's fun. Now I need to see where, oh, here's my card. So I thought if I put that inside, but I'm going to build the, yeah, I, you know, let's do that right away. But I'm going to, no, let me build the fir fronts first because I don't have a, like a real plan plan. So maybe it ends up on the front, but I think okay. inside will be better, especially if you want to do it as a, um, if you want to put money in there, you want to have it on the inside, doesn't show on the front right away. So this one I'm just going to add. So what I used here is the page, uh, that is the brr, the, C, the window folder set, I think is this one. Well, but I think I don't know if they're still sitting. I, I'm impressed that you can remember because there's a lot of dies to work your way through to get the right <laughs> one there, Rose. 101 dies in here. Well done for remembering. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that. Yeah, maybe. So. No, I, I, I think I said it's correct. So this label, and I love those. So this is one of those labels that come with the book. So smart, it looks good in you. So wow. I think these days we need some... Uh, we need some fun and uh, some encouragement to smile. So I thought that's a good one. And then this, I love that B stamp. If you look at the detail, it's actually a uh, UK made, but um, if you look at the detail of that butterfly, or, or the uh, bee, sorry, it's just, it's amazing. So it's quality of the stamps is really, really good. So it that's looks one. looks like it's professionally printed. Yeah, they are, yeah, they're really, really nice. So. Just going to add this. So this one, I actually cut with uh, adhesive on the back. So I don't need to uh, kind of have trouble with that gluing down. And uh, we had the adhesive on earlier shows for sure. And it will come back. So, uh, you know, we, um, we will make sure that if you don't get your hand on it right now, or it wasn't on the show, but if you want to have the adhesive, we will 
bring those big roles back on the show as well. Yes, I know they're always those popular. A lot. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So just this one quickly, and then we can start building. So this part I have here, that's actually a part uh, from the uh, seat packet set, and I know Esther showed it in her um, videos in her. Uh, uh, Skype as well. So this one is actually made for the regular planner. Uh, so again, if you didn't uh, watch my show yesterday or this is the first one, make sure you watch back on our channel because um, there is a explanation about those pieces uh, in there for sure. So let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to put tape on the parts first, the big parts, and I see how I build up that. Oh, this one I can just do a little part, sorry, a little part here. And then I'm going to take the thin one on the side. Although, you know, sometimes things that don't need to be glued back perfectly, uh, glued down perfectly, because it's nice to have some, um, you know, some some movement going on. So what I want to do, this is actually fun as well. So you can actually, you know, in this case, it actually doesn't matter if you see those pieces, but I think I want to put this on here. So I'm going to put this one down first. So instead of using it for the uh, seat pack, for the back, I am um, just going to use this as a decorative piece now. I love it. There now, just while you're sticking those in place, Els, um, I need to have a word with our viewers because we are incredibly busy. Lots of you popping these in shoe baskets. Don't forget those queues. They are a little shorter than we left in with you um, a few moments ago. They're looking about six, six minutes or so. But the website, we are very, very busy with regards to these. Obviously, the set that Els is working with, there's lots and lots of components. She's working with them in a card environment. But as you saw earlier on, they are designed to use for your planners and some. So so lots of these elements have got those holes in there. So these are going to build up those pages. So there you go. You can see the die there just on the left. Here, and that's the one that um, Alice is working with all the numbers and the letters featuring in there. Don't forget, you've got additional elements. So when we were talking about seed packets, you've got things like your little kind of markers there. Putting your sentiments in place as well. Those dies are going to kind of cut almost like a stencil-like sentiment out of your design. But then you've got that elongated banner or tag that you can actually use to turn it into something that can be 3 dimensional dimensional and actually be attached. The different pockets that you've got with these, you can see the die that you've got on your screen with that gorgeous wave to it, but then there's a fold up of that, creating a fabulous pocket at the bottom, as you can see there as well. So absolutely loads and loads that you're going to be able to do with this. I love it. Absolutely amazing. 110541. If you want to take advantage of this, you need to be quick. We are down to single figures on these. We've got five left. I don't know if I meant to tell you that or not, but it's out there now. So we've got five left. So the next five people that place their orders for this will get it. You'll be successful. Sixth person, sorry, what can I say? You need to be quicker. You need to make sure that you are checking out your baskets. If you've got these in your baskets, it's not enough for you to have them in your basket. They are reserved for a short while. But what I can say to you is if you're not planning on getting them, if you're not planning on checking the baskets out, please do the right thing and let them go to somebody else because we've got queues on the phone lines. Now, if you are on the phone line, the problem with the phone line is you can get on the phone and you can be sat on the phone for maybe five minutes on this occasion. It could be more like six, the way that the, uh, the, the kind of the, the lines are at the moment, should I say. But if you come off that all the people that are going onto the website they're checking out their orders before that six minutes is up so that means each time somebody's on the website and checking out their basket that's another one that's being taken away from the possibility of you getting hold of these if you're on the phone now it's not difficult to place your order on the website you can still take advantage of the freedom members discount even if you're not a freedom member you can tick that box as you are checking out you've got a 48 pound saving with regards to this but if you're a freedom member for that extra five pounds and 97 pence you are saving 64 pounds and 70 sorry 67 pounds and 14 pence i got me four and me seven the wrong way around so it makes it a why not deal so if you're not a freedom member already you can tick that box as you check out you'll see your six, um, five pounds and 97 pence membership appear but what you will see then is your post and packing disappear because you're a freedom member you won't pay that but then you'll also see that discount coming down we're getting fewer and fewer of these if you're wanting to get hold of them please do not miss 
this up. We've not got extended delivery with regards to this one. Obviously, we've got the extended delivery because of it being in, um, uh, well, I think they're in um, Europe, aren't they, I think? So that's why we've got an extended delivery, 15th of February. But when the stock has gone, it's not like I'm going to be saying to you, oh, we've got an extra 10 days on top of that. Uh-uh, this is it. If you want it, you need to make your decision now. Details are on your screen. If you want it, 110541. I hope that we get to the end of the demonstration with ours before it does sell out because it's going to be one of those situations that it is literally in the balance as to whether we will or not. So I just wanted to draw that to your attention. So if you are planning on getting hold of it, you are checking those baskets out. Can't emphasize it more because I know how you'd be if I didn't tell you and you missed out on it. Be like, why didn't you mention it? So there you go. So, um, Els, we're going to come back to you, Els, with regards to your demonstration. Yeah. So what I did, Haley, I uh, so I did the tape on the back of this one, but then I wanted to add that one of those little paper clips. So I have tape here already. So if I just slide it on here, you see how cute is that element now? It's such oh, a it's fun adorable. little detail. Yeah, and then I'm going to put this down. I think I cut it. Yeah, so that's the same length as the cards. I think I'm not totally straight, but that's fine. Then I have this element that I thought about putting here. So this is from that hexagon um, hexagon insert page. Uh, so I'm going to put that one here. So I etched everything, you see. So and that's you know it's it's just building up that it's it's fun to do. It's really fun to do. I have to say it's. You know, and of course you can stick a little note under there if you want to. That's also fun. I'm going to put this one here. This is the kind I'm of so card that who, whoever receives it, they're not going to want to put this. I mean, I, I don't know how long you keep birthday cards out, but we tend to keep them for about a week in our house. But this is the sort that people will be looking to buy a frame to put it in after the birthday or the event. Yeah, you know, it is really nice. It's, it's, you know, it's just building and kind of make it more like a mixed media element or, mm. so it's just really fun. And what I had here, so I had the, uh, the frame here and those frames are actually very, I didn't put them, uh, tape, I didn't put tape on the back in this case because uh, you can make them loose, you can uh, kind of staple them, but these are the frames. And Esther um, started to explain that when it was time to kind of mo go. But these are the frames, and there's some in one of the other sets are some ovals, but that are very decorative. And you can just use those as little element behind the behind your kind of images or pictures. Because you can imagine this one, you see, if I have this, and this would be a picture, you see, you can kind of yes. frame that deftly. Yeah. And then these are, so what I did... I stuck them together with tape. Oh, they're actually going loose now. But I had them together with tape, cut them like that. And then these are your leftover pieces. So that will now have that edge. Oh, right. So you have all these pieces. Oh, sorry. All these pieces left over that you can use as well, of course. So there's always a lot, a lot of different uh, things you can do with the set. So basically, these are all leftovers. I'm going to work with these now. But it's just, you know, that there's... There's so much to do, so much to see. So, uh, yeah, I, I love that uh, about the sets. And so I let me uh, talk about... Those little frames, have yeah, they sorry? got like a little deckle edge to them, like a torn edge that's so difficult to achieve? Yes. I mean, you couldn't even achieve that, that in a frame that skinny. I was I was actually looking for that word, deckled edge, when I was talking about this one. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, so what I'm going to do, so this one kind of frames this nice, so let's do a staple, because that's, of course, when you do that, stapling is always a fun element, so it holds it in place, Wonderful. and it just gives an extra fun element, and I think I'm going to cover it on the other side. So I, Can you believe yes. it? What, six o'clock last Mr. night, you launched these. We are down to the last one. This is it now, oh, the really? last person to get hold of this. We had a huge quantity of these. It's always popular when Alice brings us um, a fabulous one day special, even more so when it's part of that collection. But we do know that it is, right, I mean, the price on this, it's not like you wake up and think, oh yeah, I'll have one of those. It is a considered purchase. But when you think about the content that you've got in here and how you're going to be using it for many, many years to go, you've got 101 dies, so you've got a lot of dies in here. Not just dies creating those larger pages, but the way 
that these are putting put together, I mean, it's so clever. The manufacture of these means that every single area of those dies and the waste area around them has been used. I mean, you've got elements there, that starburst with that hexagon. Love that idea. Love that little cloche that you've got there. I mean, that could end up being like a snow globe, couldn't it, if you wanted to? Or you could have um, anything contained in there. Love the little, uh, the fabulous little, um, the, the owl there. I mean, I, I'd be doing that in white for a certain owl with a certain name beginning with the letter H. Then you've got your little jars in there you've got your little robin in there you've got so much content in this i think when you get this home and you start cutting everything out you will be astounded by the possibilities that you have got with regards to this now of course in order for you to take advantage of this we've had to make it as affordable as possible so we've done that in a couple of ways freedom members you've got that 31 pounds and 14 pence saving don't forget that is on top of the savings that you get from the different bundles that are available as well so what that means that overall you you are saving 60 well if you've already got it then you have saved in the past tense because it is now sold out um we thought it was going to get to that point sorry i didn't even have a chance to finish off the figures with you there so it has gone so thank you to everybody that's taken advantage of that you have been loving that um so we kind of preempted this was going to happen and Els was talking about um, kind of the first version of this so we did speak to Els prior um to her getting started with her demonstration we'll, we'll go back to Els in just a few moments but we have got a while stocks last now and this is kind of the predecessor of the one day special so if you were thinking about the one day special and because it being a considered purchase you thought to yourself well hold on i don't know if I, I can commit to that well we have got a bit of an alternative for you so this is the one that came prior to the one day special that we were sharing with you we have still got an amazing deal for you with this one so if you did miss out then you could get hold of this one dare i say it if you did get hold of the one day special you can get hold of this as well I don't know, you may well want to do that, which you can do because it is open to everybody, whether you've got the one day special or not. But this works alongside the one day special. So everything that we're seeing there is compatible with everything that we're seeing here. So you'll see, again, you've got those elements that are going to combine perfectly. You've got your pages with your tabs on there. You've got your elements of creating your own pockets that you can be able to put those little tabs in. You've got the interactive nature of this one. I love the tabs on this. When we saw this the first time around, I love those little tabs you've got with all the days of the week in there so if you're turning it into a practical planner then you obviously have got the ability to do with that the tabs that you've got down the side of those pages as well and at the top of the pages as well means you've got that indexing system as well so this is where the practicality of it comes in not just a decorative um, decorative elements but something that means that you can literally put elements in there and detail them and of course a fabulous little entwined hearts as you can see there it's not just about the dies though you're getting the stamps as well and if, of course if you are creating creating your own planet you're going to need those months of the year well you've got those in here as well you've got your little elements there as you can see they keep the moment what a perfect way of popping a little photograph in there and if you are using it as a planner then you've got the ele um, elements there that will allow you to make your lists to make the notes to get those jobs done absolutely amazing so with regards to this one Again, we're making it as affordable as we can. You can see on your screen there, you have got your three flexi buys again with this one. So it means that you are just investing your £37.50 with regards to this one. If you can't stretch to this, um, then we're giving you a couple of different options. So we're breaking it right the way down. So we've got a couple of different sets. Now, we've got two sets um, of dies. So it's kind of been split horizontally. So we can see you've got the whole bundle, which I've just explained to you, but then we're splitting it down the middle and we're just concentrating on the top level now. If you're wanting these, then the details are on your screen. So you've got your saving of £17. That £17 saving has been carried forward to the big bundle we were just looking at. And there was the additional saving. But if you're wanting these by themselves, £29.00. 48 pence and this is set one that we're looking at at the moment as well again details on your screen now if you want in set two which is the other half is at the bottom there which is another 17 pounds saving so again if you're wanting to go for just half of the collection then you can do that's okay that's what you're looking at at the moment so you'll still get those pocket and um, pockets you'll still get your tabs your pages all those different elements that we could look at I love the foliage there absolutely amazing we've got a pocket die as you can see here as well so there's lots of content and you are going to get stuff as well so you're getting stamps and dies in both of them but if you want to take advantage of those two 17 pound savings so we're looking at 34 pound saving 
and an additional six pounds so that's a 40 pound saving overall then the details have changed on the screen to show you everything now there's lots of you getting involved with regards to this one obviously the affordability of the one day special may have been too far um, which is okay that's fine we're, we're all working within a budget that's not an issue at all and you might be kind of thinking right, i'm going to make a mental note i'm going to get those in the future well if you're wanting to get started then this might be the nice set to go for 111 pounds and 90 pence you don't have to pay for it all in one go you can spread that cost if you so choose over three payments of 37 pounds and 30 pence but 20 percent of the stock has gone now we we weren't really expecting to get here um uh, so i know i also wanted to have a little look at this so we are going to have a look at some finished samples that she's got with related with regards to this because she wanted to kind of explain how the whole concept comes so else we're going to come to you in a few moments details on your screen viewers if you're wanting this 311433 else again i mean you've got a lovely collection of dyes here and everything just works so well but i love this because you kind of got the foundation with these yeah, so, so what I have here are samples from the uh, first release uh, created by Esther, I have to say right away. So it's again her, uh, we actually saw her adorable grandchild uh, like growing up in the other, uh, in the second release. So uh, this was when she was younger. So what we have here, so we have uh, basically Sidekick Essentials 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this uh, set. But uh, I know online we split it up uh, as well so people can buy uh, smaller sets but uh, what I have here so these are all the base pages with the tabs and I actually have the samples in here as well and I will show that in a second but here you see all the tabs you see so and we also have tabs at the top so that's why you see with the pages and I was just going through this one because we you know this was from the first year when we introduced and that was when uh, COVID was there already and we're still in it. Yes. But uh, Esther sent me those pictures at the time because actually I created these ones. It was for a magazine uh, in, in Canada. But um, so uh, she said at Rescue Dogs, you know, when we had that toilet paper thing going oh, on that everybody was checking. I was trying to I think, know. Oh, what they got. are they emergency dogs for emergency toilet paper? <laughs> Yeah, emergency toilet paper, exactly. <laughs> and then, uh, and I love this picture because Esther had, I know these are two, her two dogs, and I think this is from one of her kids. But um, Beautiful. so uh, I had this one, and they said social distance, even the dogs know. <laughs> Stay safe in 2020. I can, I can change now. I can make that 2021 yeah. now because, uh, you know, but that's how uh, oh, time flies. Oh, who's this little and, character? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then, you know, talk about time. And it's honestly with, I think, especially with the planners, with the journals, with the art journals we have, that people really are getting into it because we have so much uh, time to, uh, you know, to spare, to craft by uh, staying inside. But also uh, with this whole concept and with Elizabeth Craft Designs, we have a great community. And if people are into the planners and the journals, they uh, should go to the ECD, so Elizabeth Craft Designs Short, ECD planners and journaling because you can post your own work and what the people have posted there during this past year has been amazing. So it's really a, you know, a great community and we also have the Elizabeth Craft Designs family, but uh, you know, people love, love being there and posting there and give each other compliments and you know, which we all need, you know, you need a pat on the shoulder every now and then. And, and that's with that community. It's and is, yeah. that, is that good for people? Maybe people are making the transition from making their cards into their planners and the journals, and they might be a little bit scared. So is that a good place for them to go and see what people are up to? Oh, absolutely, Hayley. And, it's, uh, and we say creative freedom. This is a loose leaf system because you cut your pages. So by doing that, if you make, don't be scared. Just cut what I did, how I started, I just start cutting pages. And then you go from there. And because it's a loose leaf system, if you make something that you don't like that much, you can actually take it out. So it's not with a, you know, sometimes you have those journals that's a fixed book. Mm -hmm. Then I always say, you know, you start the first page, it's nice. Second page is nice. And then with the third one, you think, hmm, not so much. You put it in the cupboard or you tear a page out. And then you think, oh, that's a waste. That's a shame. And with this one, you don't need to worry about that. And I'm pretty sure that everybody has a stack of scrapbook paper because we love, we crafters love our paper. Yes. And yeah. by, yeah, with this system, you can use any paper you want. So 
go through your stack. You don't need, don't need to invest in that then. So, you know, there's so many possibilities. It's really, really nice to do. And it gives us the perfect opportunity to get those photos off our phones, off our digital cameras. I mean, we're all too quick to share our photos and, and kind of scroll through them and show them on the screen. But there's no personality attached to that, is there? And I think it's lovely to kind of add um, the, the kind of the content and the feel of that photo um, and who the subject is. Now, we're very, very busy with regards to this. Um, over 30% of the stock has gone. Don't forget the price of this one will go up. So if you do want to take advantage of it, you need to be quick with this one as well. It's a wild stock last deal so when it sells out that will be the end of this in a similar way to the one day special but if you're wanting to get hold of yours you can do for that first payment that first investment um, delivered to your door for just 37 pounds and 30 pence if you are a freedom member obviously as we've mentioned before extended delivery with regards to this one the 15th of February if you are wanting to get hold of this just be aware but you've got everything I love that you've got your little frames in there you've got your sentiments your phrases your foliage all these elements are things that you will use on other projects as well so whether you are card making or scrapbooking or getting yourself organized with a planner then you've got everything that you need within this bundle third of the stock has gone now as well so yeah again it's another popular one and don't forget do add in those extras so Els has been showing us the fabulous little binders we've got three different binders they've all got different item numbers dependent on your choice of uh, the color scheme that you're wanting to go for so you've got your olive green there with that gold um, foiling on there and of course you've got your protective elastic there with your binder holder so again when that opens up you've got that gorgeous kind of creamy tan uh, look to it lovely look with regard to that one the beach one you've got that gorgeous turquoise ocean look with regard to this one and you've also kind of got like a mottled effect almost like when you're looking into a swimming pool absolutely beautiful and then again there you've got that gorgeous beachy sand tone there and the final one if you want more of a vintage look then this is perhaps the one for you because again you've got that gorgeous kind of aged leather look with the espresso and again more of a tanny look on the inside there as well and you can still uh, add this one in alongside your um, fabulous wall stocks line uh, and last bundle and spread the cost over three payments as well another thing you would certainly need to add in are these fabulous reinforcers now what you've got here is a series of dies and you can see they've got the little holes at the end there so you can put them all together on a key fob and you can see that you're going to cut out multiples of these now these are imperative because when you are creating your little planners and journals you want them to last and these have got a practical application not just a decorative look but they're going to reinforce the weakest area which is the hole when you're actually pulling them through the binder and turning your pages so you definitely need to be adding that one in again you can do um, 18 pounds and 99 pence if you're wanting them that spread the cost over three payments six pounds and 33 pence and then of course the papers that Al's has been working with we have got those available as a bundle the two coming together with the washi tape um, at just 20 is it 25.99 it was indeed what a memory um, 042887 but rapidly approaching 80% of the stock of these so the saving that you've got on your screen there kind of works out as if you are getting the washi tape um, included because you'd normally be paying 25.99